Hello, we are now on the screen, everybody. Oh, hello! Hi, chat, hi, chat, hi, chat. I'm so sorry Fast. for the wait. Um, long story short, my computer decided not to uh, work. So I had to switch everything entirely over to Jazz's computer. And so now I'm in Jazz's room. We have switched. <laughs> but it's fine. It should hopefully work. Um, and we're not even gonna do a long intro, we're just gonna fucking dive into it, because it's the fucking season finale! Let's fucking go! Um, also, you guys, um, you guys can talk, by the way, like, it's not just on me, so... Fuck! It's on there's all something of us. Fuck, Fuck, there's something I'm... on the chat, there's something... So close to Oh, that. that's what it is! It's the Ravenwood! The, the sweatshirt that you should all buy. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> this wow! Is wow! It's wow. Oh, what? And it can ship to your house, and then you can pretend that you're also, you know, you squeeze. You Part of Ravenwood. Support yourself. Yeah. Yo. You can support. And Yo. we all have one. I think. Yeah. It's unisex. It's cozy. It's comfy. It's very cozy. <laughs> it's Not only is it immersive for. The free entertainment they get every time we do this, but it also supports the creator that they it are entertained does. by. So I could spend a week so working versatile. on episodes. True. Please. Yeah. True. I like that. Um, and Bob, you want to drop how many pages of notes you worked on this past? Yeah. How long you were working on it? So, so this this, this specific episode mm -hmm. for notes. That doesn't mean Probably it's going to be super long, but for notes for myself, there are forty three pages. Huh? Yep. Who <laughs> wrote a 43 page essay the last time? I know I have it. I don't have it. <laughs> they no. are notes for myself, okay? It's okay. It's all right. It's fine. Um, yes, we did a set so swap. Much. It's great. Um, let me know how voices sound because we have different microphones. We have different everything true, 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 true. is like swappy swapped. So I don't know how loud I am in comparison to all the babies, and I don't know how loud they are in comparison to me. So, keep check. Yes, 43, okay? I- I go too heavy in detail. Okay. Whoa. Okay. As you should. There's a lot of secrets this episode, alright? Secret? I'm so excited for the secrets. And someone's gonna die. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, oh yeah, God. we were Why? talking about- I- I mean, I'm <laughs> absolutely, absolutely gonna make so a swapped. Ravenwood bingo board now, though, for sure. Like, that's gonna I be- I kinda want someone to die. That's I gonna be awesome. Do Arlo murder arc? <laughs> Maybe I'll die. Murder? <laughs> Arlo, a psychopath? Maybe arc? we all die. <laughs> Maybe we all die. Yeah, I didn't tell Maybe you guys. I didn't tell you guys. Ravenwood is actually just going to be one season, and this is like. Oh yeah, this is the end. Like, actually, <laughs> the for series well, finale. Guys, <laughs> it's actually actually the okay. session finale. Um, the campaign finale. I would cry. Yeah, I would cry also. Um, so. <laughs> uh, yes, for the chat, I'll give my little spiel really quick, so then we can dive into it. Um, yes. So, um, as you guys know, we dive into D&D and we do it without really looking at the chat a lot. So we will not be answering messages or answering if there's any uh, donations, things like that. We will, I will do so afterwards if you stay. Oh my God, I hit the microphone. Sorry. If you stay through to the end. Um, I did put a new little like thingy that shows members and subscribers and stuff like that on the top. And Kiwi, thank you for seven months. Oh my God chaos um and yeah so we are like basically just diving in and doing our little narrative and you are here to hopefully enjoy the story um and again for, for sure. those who don't know it is the season finale if you are not caught up it's okay you can watch whenever you want um for now maybe if you just want to be here live and present for the season finale that's real cool and then you might get some spoilers but like it's fine it's fine you can buy what isn't us. linear exactly exactly and you'll, you'll pick up on things quick i'm pretty sure there's not really like a whole lot to get but uh, if you know the characters i guess at least um but yeah so we're gonna dive in uh it's the sports festival as well as the celebratory ball all merged into one i'm hella fucking excited there's a fucking fly and i'm really trying to kill him right now um but we're just gonna dive into it because i don't want to wait any longer because i already kept everyone waiting for like an hour so it's fine actually i think to be kind to myself it was maybe like 40 minutes but still <laughs> i switched rooms entirely it's fine also stream elements is actually doing my commands now so that's great we fucking love um but okay, let's let's fucking go. Let's fucking go, guys. 
Um, is there anything you guys want to say or do before we dive in? I will be here to banish any bots, so please okay. ask that. Just so if you know, you... my microphone is really sensitive, so it'll hear all your typing. I will not. <laughs> I just I heard like and I was like oh <laughs> and then I realized you just said it so I was like I'll just say it oh you're good oh valid you're good you're good yeah if there's any bots um my stream element should snap them because I, the spam control thing is on but nice. um we'll see we'll see how it goes I haven't seen any recently so we might be okay just in case yeah just in case though um and be patient with me because I have currently everything set up in weird ways I have like stuff on tiny computer and then like because I don't have a double display when I'm suffering. So it's fine. It's okay. We're just going to get into it. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready to fucking go? Do you have your D6s and your D12? Let's fucking do it. Let's fucking do it, mate. Um, so pretty. Yeah. All right, let's fucking go. Let's just fucking get into it. We're going to take a big, like a biggish break um in between sports festival and fall so we have like that little little moment to like recuperate okay all right i am gonna try and make this bigger on my screen but i don't think it's gonna work <gasps> fine i'll do it myself okay do you think i can kill this fly probably not I'm yeah. going to close the door really, really quick so I don't get any um, other shit going on. You know, Memento. You know, Memento. Ah! Just glides Awkward across time. the floor. Okay. Um, so, we did speak briefly as well um, about, like, if there was anything particular some of you guys wanted to do in the morning. Um, I didn't want to go into large detail because I basically was just going to dive immediately into the sports festival. Um, so we can, like, get a good start on it, and basically the ball is entirely on you guys with, like, role play. so I was like, I'm going to make sure that the sports festival we get through at a steady rate, because I know how you guys love to role play. So, <laughs> okay, so, um, <clears throat> let's get into it. Oh, how do we sound? That's another thing. That's another thing, another thing. We sound good. The one thing that I saw was um, D sounded a little bit quiet. But other I think than that, my I microphone was turned down, so I might Ooh, sound a little quiet. bit better now. I mean, How do I sound, everyone? Do I sound <laughs> How does D sound? You sound amazing? great to me. Okay. How do I sound in comparison to you guys? Am I, like, <laughs> like same, same kind of level? Same kind of level? Uh, you guys sound good. You guys sound even, uh, even. I'm good. I'm adjusting Vay real I just had to wait for it to update, but you guys are good. Oh, valid. Does it work for yours, or do you have to zoom out uh, my own camera? Um, it's, for some reason, it's pretty zoomed in, but I think it's because I have the cam, like, the, um, the web browser, like, kind of squished more, like, this way. Um, okay. but I adjusted it a little bit. Does that look better? Is that more cozy? Oh, yeah, that's a little bit better. Okay, I think cool, cool, cool. I don't know if it's... It has the little blue line, but I think that's okay. I mean, you look, I think you look great. You look about the same as, like, how Haley and, uh, uh, Jazz look, so. Fair enough. <gasps> okay! <gasps> <gasps> so we sound good, then. We sound good? We sound good? We sound good? You guys sound great. We all sound really even, so it's good. Okay, cool. Nice. Awesome. Love to see it. Awesome, so awesome. Okay. <laughs> so, sorry, me grabbing casually out a wipe because texture. So, mm. <laughs> um, it's fine. The events that took place yesterday in Ravenwood Academy, but quite a few weeks ago for you guys. Um, the events that took place yesterday for all of you could certainly be classified as exhausting. It was a day full of hard work and athleticism, confessions of all kinds, emotions and revelations and words from distant connections. It was a day compact with chaos and the unknown, the unpredictable, and the enlightening. And today will only prove to be even more extreme. As today, you are all expected to complete, compete in the final two phases of the sports festival. So, before we dive immediately into the sports festival, is there anything that you guys specifically want to do with anything? Anything you want to... 
I know that Andromeda wants to do something. Is there anyone else that wants to do anything? I know that Dar uh, I think Theron, you want to do something too, right? Okay. So, <laughs> Andromeda, would you like to explain what you are going to do? Yes. Okay. Um, so I had this image in my mind of her sleeping. So she fell asleep next to Mud mm -hmm. in her bed because she had a little breakdown after there was a new passage in the book her brother left for her. Mm -hmm. um, so I imagine she woke up in a cold sweat in the middle of the night and just had an idea come to her. And she, I'd sleep, I like to think she was sleeping on the inside, so she, like, sat up and then, like, climbed over mud and then got on the <laughs> ground. Valid. Um, and she grabbed the book out of the drawer that she left it in and grabbed a pen out of her bag and went to her desk and started writing. And I imagine it took her about few a few drafts before she had something that she was uh, happy with. And she wrote it down in the book, uh, a page over from where the new passage was. So the new passage was like right in front of the old passage, right? Mm -hmm. It was like one page over. So she wrote it uh, right in front of that one. Okay. Um, so it's on its own page. Would you like to read what uh, you wrote? Yes, I would like okay. to read what I wrote. <laughs> um, I did a little write and write. Yeah, it's very good. A little bit ago. And then I will send it in the chat after I read awesome, it out. Awesome, awesome. Um, so this is what she wrote. She wrote, uh, ba -ba -ba -bow. Wandering Willow of the Wilds, half torn from homeward bound, a hopeless drifter. Everything bears your resemblance. Everything calls me to you. Rivers will always run towards the ocean, pulled by the tides, grasped by the bonds. Effervescent in blue, yet golden in hue. Are we not kin, yet a river can never be an ocean? Raging tides, a, temp a tempest matched by no other, even a river may have its limits. Year-long rest from the passage of red death, over and over, dreams are stolen and locked away until the river meets the ocean one day. Hmm. And that is what she writes. That's so good. And so I will send it in both chats. I'll send it in the YouTube chat too. I got it. If that's okay. I got it. <laughs> You got oh it? God. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. That's, That's impressive. Nice. Very nice. Thank you. Also, yeah. your book is very cool. And I'll see if anyone can get the message left in the... <laughs> I accidentally added a letter that I didn't need it. That's so valid. <laughs> that always happens, no matter what. W-H-A-E-R-E. Wire. Wire. I don't know if I can format this correctly in the YouTube chat. Wire. Oh, you're good. You're well, good. Let me see. I'm just gonna send it and then. Bam. You send it in the oh, oh chat. no, there's too many words. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll send it in the I'll send it in the Ravenwood chat, like the. the do you want to? The um, Discord. After everyone looks at it, do you want to reveal what it says? Yes. All right. Oh, should I spoiler it? Oh, do it later. Spoiler it. <laughs> I don't know how to do that, so I'll do it later. Um, valid. Yeah. Okay. Valid, valid. I'll just send it in two parts in the chat here, and we'll see if that works. Oh, wow, get into it. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, Heck yeah. I just realized my head is shaped like an egg. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Theo. Very quiet. Can you see it? Oh, please. Very nice. Hey, look. Egg boy. It looks like, egg I look boy. like a boy guy. Egg boy. It's a very nice egg. <laughs> oh, very nice egg. A great egg. Nice a great egg. egg. Oh, thanks. A forest egg, if you will. A forest egg. A forest egg, if you will. If you will. If you please. If ye oh, please. please. Almost done. You're good. No! Okay. Well, I'll send it later. And I'm so sorry. Cannot sleep. I cannot sleep! I cannot sleep tonight! 
<laughs> Gracie said Fego for Theo. Fego. Fego. Fego so was. Fego. Fego so was. 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 So she wrote in her little poem. Uh, it's each letter, uh, the first sentence of all the of all the sentences, right? Uh, <laughs> it letter. says, "It says, where are you?" <gasps> all right. Dun, dun, dun. And with that, with that, um, that was smart of you, kind of, you know, big kinda brain, genius, big brain. Uh, no Aaron, was there anything oh, you no. wanted to do this morning? You know how we talked about me like trying to find like the perfect answer yes. and like thinking about a lot. I yes. didn't do that. Oh, uh, I went. To Are bed you going and... to avoid it as as you said initially? Theron would do. You no, can. No, will make it more awkward. But do would you... Theron do that? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> then there you go. <laughs> I think he'll probably leave it till after the sports festival, All like right. the evening of or something. For context, like that. if you guys remember, at the end of last session, Darian sent him a very uh, curious message about whether or not he was going to the ball with anyone. Um, for obvious reasons. For obvious reasons. <laughs> he was asking. So, um, we could double date because right. Claude and him are besties. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm, well, I'm saying it. I know. I <laughs> a know. double date. They are, they are can't escape his friendship. You can't escape Arlo's friendship. You never will. Um, he can no, try. Okay. He doesn't want so, to. So, you avoid it then? I assume? Okay. He is going to the ball with Arthros, just putting that out there. But oh, Who raised their hand? Me. Like, oh, Theo. Would you, would you, oh, Theo, yeah. Uh, Go for I it. have an Arlo request. Yes. I don't think he got much sleep. Valid. He's really stressed out right now. <laughs> so valid. So he's going to be sleepy. It was a bit of a stressful day. You found out that the person who was supposed to compete in your place for the sports festival was uh, did not show up. No Isn't one has seen them. Um, so that's a little bit he's frightening. He's also stressed about, about people being not here anymore. They're valid. Like, valid. Missing. Goshi is still unheard he's of. He's worried. No one knows where Goshi is. Um... And you've been flung into the sports festival that you completely did not plan on competing in. Um, yeah. Which is definitely jarring. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, Julian and Arya, is there anything you guys would like to do? Before diving in. Not really. Not really. Cannot think of anything. I imagine Arya is her same anxious self for the final phases of the sports festival today. Yeah, I think she, she's going to need a cup of coffee. Valid. <laughs> Any cup of coffee. That's so valid. Julian, how about gonna you? Grind. She so, go, she's going to what? Gonna nope, nothing in particular. The outfits after. Oh, yeah. Finish the outfits, right. Nothing in particular? Do mm. you um, leave the strange scanner device on the roof? Yes. Still? Yes? Okay. Alrighty. So, um, with that, we're going to dive right in. Um, I forgot to say also, Arlo, Nari does offer to paint your nails um, for oh. the sports festival to make them festive. Um, yeah. So we got that purple and gold going on, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we are going to dive right back into the sports festival. I'm really excited. I put so much of I'm so excited. Okay. Um much like the day before, you all make your way to your respected places amongst outsiders alike on the field. You wear your designated uniforms and sport your school spirit the best you can, with a lot of you ranging from determined to fearful to nervous to exhilarated. Everyone joins their respective teams. Mud and Koo wave at you all and then move to do a little odd handshake with one another before splitting off. Nari smiles at you, Arlo, before she heads towards her own group. <laughs> oh, sippies. Um, Silky hops off of your shoulder, Julian, with a short quip of good luck before scampering off. You all do the same, spotting Chadwick across the field, back in his human form, of course, 
long blonde hair bright in comparison to the bleak light of the day. Everything begins much like it had before. The dean arrives once more, directs his attention to the crowd that's gathered and, seated, and seating themselves, to the vast amount of people of humans watching intently, staring at the competitors on the field like you're all abstract art in a museum. He explains the course of the day, announcing phase two and three as the schedule, and even states the same disclaimer as before, that the audience is safe, but the competitors aren't quite off the hook. The guards do their rounds as they had before, eyes glued to every small movement any outsider may make. Before the festival begins, however, as the audience takes their seats and fulfill their place bets, as the dean welcomes everyone to the school once more and the guards glance over at competitors, Artair Chiron, the assistant to the dean, leaves the dean's side to walk amongst the competing students. He stops before each student and orders that they give him their hands. He takes their hands a moment, palm face, off, face up, stares with an intense focus, and then drops their hands once more. He approaches you all, eventually, with the same intention, stating, please give me your hand. I assume you all do so. Can Arlo ask why? Um, you can. Uh, and when you ask, why? he he doesn't respond. He just extends his hand and gestures towards it. Oh, he's stressed. He's like, <laughs> I don't uh, like that one bit. Andromeda goes. Andromeda goes. Sorry, they are sweaty. Oh. Um, I, I feel like Aaron just like probably... slams his down aggressively. Like, <laughs> Arlo probably has to look to somebody to get the encouragement valid. to do it. That's so, valid. but probably looks at I don't know somebody, whoever's before you. you. Yeah, valid. and then is like, yeah. And I'm like, okay. Chadwick just kind of nods and goes like this, and you know, like hands his hand over. <laughs> um, I assume the rest of you as well uh, offer your hands very uh, hesitantly. Um, Julian hands his uh, out, and as they go towards his hand, he moves it real quick, and then lets it stay wherever he moves it. <laughs> gotcha. That little bit of <laughs> like mode. too slow. A little bit of anxiety. Um, he takes your hands, all of you. Looks at it a moment. Um, he goes through all of you with his face remaining stoic and unassuming. He simply holds each of your hands for a mere few seconds and then steadily moves on. Once he manages to complete everyone competing, he moves back to the Dean's side, so unassuming, returning just in time to translate each important and necessary word to all of you listening. With that, the Dean pulls out his TCD, taps, and within moments, things feel different again. It happens the same as it had before, like the flick of a switch or the press of a button. The world around you is vibrating again with that same static energy, a new sort of magic that affects you all so very differently and yet warms your bones alike. The air around the field burns aglow with magic once more. And with that, you hear, may phase two of the sports festival officially commence before you see a blur of blue hexagons across your eyes and hear the crackle of holographic imaging and feel the world shift around you. So, can you please all roll for initiative for me? <laughs> what do you want us to roll? Yeah, what are we rolling? Um, roll a d12, that's fine. D12? Or d6, whatever, whatever. Oh yeah, d12, no, yeah. Which, d12, which sorry, d12, d12 yeah. Because d6 <laughs> doesn't allow okay. ones, so we- Okay, everybody put it in and then I'll put it in chat. All right, Haley, you and I are going to have to reroll because I got four, too. Hey, yo. And uh, Theo, what did you get? Nine. Nine? <gasps> okay. You oh, again. Ray, we're on the Hey, yo. Hey, you... <laughs> you and hey, Theo, that was yo. such a super reaction. I was like sending my, my <laughs> hand out to you and you slapped it away. <laughs> I, I swear, swear last time we had to like fight again. We had to roll again. To ah, I killed it. I think it was me and Jazz too. Also rolled okay. the same. So yeah, we have to roll again. Watching, yeah, yeah. 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 It was oh, she she last time. Sorry. Look at y'all go. Last time. I'm gonna assume oh, that Julian is going to be yeah, first. Round Damn two. Damn it. There you go. I got yeah. two too. <gasps> you better stop right now. No, I think you can't do it. I said round two. Oh, round two. I didn't roll again. What did you get? Now I'm nervous. 
<laughs> no, what I'm nervous. Yeah. Not nervous. I kind of want it to be a two. What is it? That's <laughs> a nine. Okay. Well, <laughs> you're welcome. I gave that to yeah. you. Oh, sure. Aaron. Okay, so we're the second. And then it's going to go. Uh, Haley, what did you get the second time? I love eight. Eight? Okay. So then I'm going last. Very fun. Because I got a two. I was listening oh, to I the music real quick, or the sound, and we all sound No, no, awesome. we're fine. <laughs> um, and then Andromeda, Andro. You better stop right now. <laughs> you better stop. You better stop. Okay, end list. Okay, awesome. Thank you. I'm gonna run it in my little notebook real quick. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna pin it too if I can. All the A names are in, are in order. No. That's, cute. that's wholesome guys it's so oh, weird wow. sometimes yeah. when i'm working on like stuff for the campaign i like swear to god i like forget one of you but i always have all of you there and so i'm always like who is this mysterious other player There's that i always think i forget <laughs> and, like, mysterious I like i'll look at them i look at them and i'm like I don't recognize you know what it the is sixth my player theory behind that because actually growing up with four sisters i always was like who there's a sixth person there's <laughs> definitely a sixth i think person it's when here. you you like love a group of people so much they feel like more yeah that's valid that's wholesome. i think like, that's like, what it is i think it's what it like is that's wholesome um chad here yeah, chad. yeah. oh yeah chad chad <laughs> or it's chad or it's chad or it's chad <laughs> well, our, our love and friendship has actually. manifested chad into <laughs> existence <laughs> i got a two for chad six of us on the well, screen don't forget about don't huh? forget about our our, our yeah. enemy chad is last looking out for oh yeah uh Mark. <laughs> Mark. No! Mark. Mark is the seventh player. He's the seventh player. He's been here. He's the seventh player. Um, I I did I did talk to my brother. I talked to my brother about um because my brother loves oh my brother loves D and D and Mark. He's always wanted a campaign. He's always wanted to have his own campaign. And so I was like, hey, if you ever want to be a guest NPC on our campaign, so I hope he does. He could that play would Mark. Be really nice. I would he love that. Mark. He could That'd play. That'd be awesome. Mark. I want him Predetermined to meet character. you all also Please. because that'd be wholesome. Okay. Awesome. Very. Um, That'd be sweet. So, Julian, we start with you. Oh, you are first. Ooh. On you go. Julian. Julian. Let me oh, scroll you forward. Julian. Julian, as the holographic imaging happens around you, um, you suddenly see clouds everywhere. Um, you see the sun burning bright in the sky above you. The platform you stand atop is simply a cloud. And you find yourself staring out at a cotton-clad sky, clouds of all sizes floating aimlessly around you, it seems. It looks peaceful, but perhaps not so peaceful to someone who would prefer to stay grounded in their endeavors. Ultimately, your little agility course, you are surrounded, you are in the sky. Completely and entirely in the sky. Um, when you look down, you see nothing but more clouds um, and blue. And the sun is blindingly bright. Um, and you see that your first obstacle in front of you is a series of cloud-like platforms that you must jump across. Huh? I'm Mario time. Yeah, literally. Um, Mario, Mario, time. <laughs> Mario time, boys. Um, I'm just saying, it's Julian, what I pictured. Valid. Can you roll um, your 2d6s for me, please? Yes. Mind you. Eight. An eight? Yes. Right. Are we adding anything to that, like dexterity um, or. You could add dexterity if you wanted to, um, or strength. One of those. Whatever is your preferred one. Um, in this situation, I'm going to go with dexterity because you're jumping and leaping across platforms. Ah, yes. I'll so... add nothing. Oh, okay, cool. Well, you got an eight. That's not bad. Um, so you make it through this obstacle quite okay. Um, you, you put aside this um, kind of terrifying image of not really standing on anything solid that it looks like. You're standing on just like this see-through, almost iridescent, um, they're like cotton balls in the sky, obviously. Um, you can see straight through the cloud that you're standing on to the bottom, um, but you do not fall. Um, and as you jump, you make it quite okay. Um, you don't seem to have a problem. It doesn't go over 
perfectly smoothly. Um, you do lose your balance a few times, um, but you manage to make it across to the next platform. And um, your next obstacle appears in front of you. And it appears in a way before you that you might not have expected. Um, from the platform that you stand upon, a rope drops down right in front of you. The top is hidden with another cloud. If you were to look up from where the rope fell, you would not see it. Um, it simply disappears into the sky above. Um, and so it's, it's unclear as to where you'll be climbing. I keep hearing the fucking Discord notifications. I don't know how to turn them off. <laughs> I keep getting... <laughs> The chat's going to hear them Apparently constantly. Apparently the stream can hear it as well. Yeah, yeah they, they're definitely going to be able to hear it. I can, I mute. can mute the channel. Yeah, I'm going to do uh, that. On Discord. Yeah, you, can, you can mute it. Okay, I muted it. Oops. You guys are fine. You, I want you to talk. You're good. You're good. Let me just... No, you're fine, Peter. You're fine. Okay, I muted it. I muted it. I muted it. <laughs> right click on the right click on the Sesame Tracks. That's how you mute it. Yeah, I did it. We're good. I just muted the entire channel. It's all good. It should work. Um... And mine automatically mutes on my computer. I don't fucking know why. Uh, okay, so um, it goes all it goes all weird. My computer just freaks out. All right, so your next obstacle is this rope that has no no destination in sight, but you know that you must climb it. Um, it is within that moment, as the rope drops down, as though a switch is flicked. And all of a sudden, the clouds surrounding you turn dark and gloomy and decrepit. And lightning strikes through the area only a few feet in front of you. You are now caught in an onslaught of thundering rain. Um, and with that, you are also going to roll with disadvantage. Because it is slippery to grab a rope in the rain. Um, could you roll your 2d6s for me? You can still add your, uh, your strength modifier. Okay. As your... Rolling with Pulling. disadvantage, the two d sixes would be rolling three d sixes, right, and then taking essentially the two lowest. Uh, roll your two d sixes twice and take the lowest. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunate. Um, but at least you can't get a one. There's always that. That's great. That's a four. A four. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> So, um, as you leap forward, you grab onto the rope, um, and you, you're able to kind of grab and go up a slight bit and pull yourself up, but it's within moments that your hands feel rough and slippery against the, uh, texture of the rope, and you fall. And you keep falling. And keep falling. And keep falling. And keep falling. Um, when you fall... It feels familiar to you. Something about the weightlessness in your gut, the feeling of gliding at a speed like no other. Down, 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 you feel as though you felt like this before, and the thought of an empty memory pulls at your heart. Within a moment, you feel the falling, and the uh, feeling in your stomach cease, and you find yourself on the platform again. The rope is in front of you. Would you roll your 2d6s again for me? I go again! <laughs> uh, seven. Okay. That's a little better. <laughs> oh, this is a little bit better. That's a little better. Sorry, I'm doing math because is there's, Julie, a, there's a point is system. Is Julie Mary Poppins? <laughs> <laughs> That's my new theory. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. <laughs> Mary oh Poppins, y'all. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. Sorry, I, I have accepted. to do... Julian has tons of stuff always available. Has lots of knowledge. We haven't heard him sing yet, but he might be really good. You're not wrong. He's really good. I've never good. seen him in the same room Julian. together. <laughs> Julian, you um, grab hold of the rope. And this time, with a little bit more dexterity and a little bit more movement, um, you're able to clutch it tight enough that your hands do not slip. Um, you use your feet as well to start climbing up the rope. Um, and with a good bit of time, not as quick as you would like to complete this agility course, you make it to the top. Um, and as you make it to the top, you see, let me check my thing, you see Theron standing there. Theron, you don't see anything. You, you're, you're in like a world of darkness right now. Um, 
But Julian, with the baton in your hand, I forgot, sorry, I totally forgot to tell you that there's a baton. You have to pass, oh. it's, <laughs> it's passing the baton. Um, that's my bad. Uh, I forgot to mention the baton. <laughs> I, I said it last time, so my brain is like, I expected y'all to remember, Where? but Where it's fine. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's a it's an agility and baton how, course. How are you climbing with the baton? So Was it in your mouth? Were you like yes? And then, like, you can't hold and climb at the same mm. time. Put it in your mouth. Not very well. Put it in your pocket. You have pockets in your pants. Anyway. Put it in a baton in your pants. It's a it's a it's like this big. It's like this big. Bruh, y'all minds in the gutter. It's the perfect size. The perfect size. Anyway, you pass the or baton. To like Theron. average size or like below? It's, it's like yeah. <laughs> you pass the baton to Theron, and Theron, your world suddenly <laughs> comes into view. Wow! So um, it's just in pitch black, like in a dark. Black yes, room. Julian, you are in a pitch black room now. You cannot see anything. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Theron, can you? Well, let me give me the vibes. Let me give you the vibes. Theron, when everything comes into view for you, mm. you see a swampy wasteland. The trees surrounding you are Is angled this? and bent in unnatural ways. Vines and moss hang from them like tattered cloaks. Water surrounds you entirely, murky and uncomfortably still. You can hear the onslaught of bugs surrounding you, as well as the occasional splash from the water somewhere off in the distance. It is unnervingly void of any actual movement, even though it sounds as though the environment is alive. You find yourself standing on a stone platform a few inches above the water. Your first obstacle is a series of abnormally sized lily pads to jump across that lead to another stone platform. Can you please roll your 2d6s for me? I just know that there's sarcos in this water out there. <laughs> you did this intentionally. He chomped, he chomped, chomped. he did the sarco chomp. He did the chomp. <laughs> Okay, um, do I do 3d6 or 2d6s? 2d6s. Yeah, and then. Eight. And whatever. Oh, uh, you're good. Oh, it's not yeah, good. you don't have disadvantage here, okay? I'm getting That's my phones six. to send you guys the references for things. Because I, <gasps> I have references and I'm dumb and I forgot that I have references. I do like giant lily pads. Because my brain is everywhere because I don't have my shit in front of me! <laughs> <laughs> Suffering a little bit. Now it just looks like I'm texting people. <laughs> Priorities, honestly. Let me um, send these. Real quick. <laughs> oh, no. oh, I thought that was the me. reference for a second, and then I look over. I texted you. Shrek. No, I'm just kidding. I texted you. <laughs> I'm being a silly boy. Oh, constantly. That's okay. Um, but yeah, you best. This was yeah, the reference yeah. for you, Julian. Um, hopefully, I described it well enough. I'm sorry, I forgot the reference. Mm -hmm. Rango Burr. Um, and for you. <laughs> there the sky. This is your reference. Oh, that's reference. oh. references. This is the bias. <gasps> I love it. Ooh, wait, that's actually really pretty. Hey. Aesthetic to do without the cobwebs. Spooky swampland. Spooky swampland. <laughs> what have you rolled, my love? I rolled the six. A s oh, okay. Just you know, it's it's it is what it is. All right. So, Theron, as you jump to the first lily pad. They're abnormally large lily pads. They don't look like regular ones. They are large. Um, as you jump to the lily pad, um, you stand there for a moment, catching your balance. And as you do, you start to feel the lily pad under your feet sink. Wait, you wait, feel... wait, Can I add dexterity to this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Then it's a seven. Okay. Uh, it's a stone like right. Does it change much? <laughs> And I don't want to die still an av It's still an average roll, though. That's that's. It makes it an average roll, which is great. Um, exactly. So you feel the lily pad beneath your feet start to sink to the point where you start feeling water, murky, gross, smelly water sinking into the scales of your uh, your paw pads, I guess, kind of your feet, um, <laughs> <laughs> little paw pads, um, and you realize that uh, the longer you, sorry. Hello. My mom just donated money to the stream. That's adorable. Oh, uh, that's so sweet. I love you, mom. Um, so, <laughs> so um, Lisa. Oh, Lisa. as you jump on top of the lily pad, you feel the water, and you realize that these lily pads um, are timed. 
and if you do not move quick enough, they will sink to the depths below. Um, so, realizing with your quick with your quick wit, you dive across the lily pads and um, take them two at a time, essentially. With your you're quite a large man. Um, <laughs> you dart across and you make it to the next stone platform without anything to worry about. <sighs> Success. As you make it to the next platform, this time you hear a splash closer to you. When you turn, you almost miss it, but you see a pair of eyes floating just above the water. Are you kidding me? Watching Is it a literal you, Sargo? Watching you intently, black as night and pupilless, like that of a demonic possession. And I'm going to send you the rest. Silas. <laughs> it's just Silas in the water. He doesn't have pupilless no. eyes, and he's shirtless. Not and he's, he's not. and it's it's just a it's a, just for a, little a man bit. for <laughs> a man you're cr- for <laughs> a man you're crushing on. You should know what his eyes <laughs> look like, ma'am. Um, um, he's in period wear. <laughs> he's soaking right, wet. I'm sending <laughs> a you. I would welcome that. That's, that's not a. <laughs> this is what you see. Oh, good job, boys. Oh, that's not a sarco. That's oh, that's not, not an alligator. That's something mm. else. What is that? Uh. Maybe they're friendly. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. Give it a kiss. They're, they're kind of cute. A so bit. the next is a seesaw like platform. Is uh, it what? A seesaw like a. Mm. Um, it is steadily balanced, directly in the middle right now, awaiting you to jump across. Oh jeez. Can you roll your two d sixes for me? Oh yeah, you should definitely. And uh, like you can do you can add dis- dexterity again. Oh, good. For the chat, the creature that I sent a reference um, in the chat for, it looks almost like that of a water nymph of sorts, um, but a lot more terrifying. It has horns and uh, white ombre to red hair that floats across the surface and very dark pupilless eyes. A little bit of a spooky thing to see in a swamp, methinks. At least for myself, I would literally die. Yeah. What's the game that you like? That the little like kid has to jump. From yeah, the it lo- oh, I, the it's inspired one. by the one from Inside. Yeah, Inside. Yes, yes. Oh the, my God. the little like creature that like she swims that and her hair is really long and she yeah. does like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, you down if she catches not. you, she'll Stop, drag you down. Yes, down. yes. I wasn't scared of her until you said that. She I gives me the 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 They that creature freaks me out in that game so much. So scary. It's horrible. It is horrible. Don't fall, Theron. Sorry, what did you roll, Theron? Well, unfortunately, even with Dex, I rolled a six. So, I don't know if that's enough to get me across and not die. Um, Theron, you jump across the platform. And as you grab hold of it, um, you realize how quickly this seesaw starts to fold with your weight. Um, You grip on tight, but with... With the slippery, what is he? Why? Oh, there's a person at our door. One second. Oh, it's Rocky. We're good. We're good. <gasps> it's Rocky. Rocky. Okay, our neighbor's dog. <laughs> um, oh, so that's cute. Sorry for the barking in the Back background. To me not dying, please. Yes, <laughs> you you lose a grip of the seesaw and you start to slide towards the bottom of the water, and you feel the back half of your body start to sink into the murky water, and when you turn, you see the creature begin to slowly move above the water towards you. Um, and as she starts to get closer, you just see the head go under the water. And you see ripples of movement leading up to where you are. Don't do it. Don't do it. But with the little bit of dexterity that you have and the strength that you have as this dragonborn, you manage to grip hold of the seesaw and pull yourself up into the middle enough to balance it the other way so you can quickly crawl across and get to the other platform. It ain't pretty, but I made it. <laughs> it wasn't a sexy move, but I made it. Um, Slinking across. <laughs> so that's terrifying. That's ter- That's like my worst nightmare. Cool. <laughs> As you get to the next platform, um, you see Arlo standing there. <gasps> Hi, Arlo. It's the boy. It's the boy. Oh, Hi. You see Arlo standing there, and you pass the baton, and with that, the um, baton was in my mouth the whole time. Arlo, you stop like, seeing black. And suddenly, you see something far more terrifying. No! What I it? have some references. Let me save them so I can send them to you. 
He's already so nervous. <laughs> yeah. He wants to be in the sky. Put up in the sky. <laughs> you know I did not deliberately put you in the sky, sir. All right. Um, let me send you the reference. Let me describe, okay. and then I will send you the reference. Sorry for my okay. scatterbrainedness. Everything is in different oh places now. We're having a good time. Arlo, you Do see that. absolutely nothing but water for miles and miles oh, and miles. Nice. It is night, and the stars would look quite beautiful in the sky above not if night. you were not standing above an abyss of dark, unmoving water. The horizon is dark and still, and the world is so silent around you as though nothing is alive in this forsaken, watery chasm. You stand atop a platform raised high above the water that looks to be stemple-like stones, gray and charcoal-colored, with moss climbing on each rock. Here is your reference. God, Lord. It freaks me the fuck out. Um, Good. Awesome. <laughs> Endless water. I gotta stop looking at the- I gotta stop looking Cash at the- Yes, uh, Bub, I am gonna warn you, if there may be, depending on his performance, something that would really trigger you, so don't look, okay? Oh, goody! Mm -hmm. I can delete- I'll delete the reference after I send it, so you don't get triggered. Um, oh, I know there's a big-ass shark. <laughs> Not so, even sure. It's yeah. just big ass. There's some sort it's of just big like, ass. It's like in one there. of those big ass mouths that come up and they're like, you're like the size of a pea. No! That's um, what I'm of. So, All right, I better roll. Arlo, in front better of you roll. lies your first you obstacle. You better roll, bitch. There are <laughs> multiple <laughs> stone platforms to leap across. Can you please roll two d6s? <laughs> yeah. Or a d6 twice, essentially. I gotta do okay, some I got a math. five. And I got a six! Shit, sorry, I was doing math. <laughs> um, You're good. A do five and math. a six. Okay, more math. Okay, 11. Very nice! Um, okay. What's up? So, what nothing, nothing. You're good, you're good. You're good, thankfully. Um, so. <laughs> Either way, I want to see what the creature could have been. You. Just, yeah, I'll, yeah, I will. I'll still send it. Uh, okay. You push your fear to the back of your mind for a moment. And you face the that. obstacle ahead of you. You see these... Yeah, megalophobia. That's why I'm not sharing this picture with the chat also, because it's not it. Um, so, you see the platforms laid out before you, and you think in your head, it's fine. It'll be fine. You just have to... It's just like playing... It's just like playing hopscotch. You're just gonna... You're just gonna... You're just gonna dart across them. You're gonna be fine. It's gonna go great. Yeah. Um, yeah. And as you do so, uh, sorry, oh my god, brain. As you do so, um, rolling an 11, goddamn, um, you make it across the water in record time. Um, oh, you, thank god. you dart from platform to platform with each leg. You go with one leg to the other, to the other, to the other, like you're playing hopscotch. Yeah. Um, yeah. with all this water surrounding you, you decide not to think of the negativity, um, but instead you think of lying with your cheek pressed against warm sand, your body exhausted, and look up to see the warm faces of two elderly halflings that look Ugh. worried and concerned with kind features. This mm. spurs you onward. Um, your next obstacle oh. <laughs> is a giant net that rests against two tall platforms. You must climb this net horizontally and upside down. Huh? It's one of those that you like climb like this, so you have to bring your legs like very Spider-Man climb. That you're climbing I, upside down on. Um, can you right. roll? The floor is lava show. Yeah, yeah. It's essentially that's what it's supposed Jeez. to be kind of like. Uh, can you roll two d sixes for me, please? I can. I don't have as much faith this time. <laughs> oh, a fucking... There's one more flag. It keeps killing me. And three. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> a four. Oh. A four. A four. Do you have any dexterity or strength? Do I? Strength would be it. Let me look at your character sheet. For every every dice that is given, she taketh she taketh away. <laughs> she taketh away. Can't. Why can't I find your character your sheet? Cupeth runneth over. I don't think you do diceth. have any strength <laughs> on there, but your mom just said, "Ooh, upside down, blood to the head." Oh. You're so right, Lisa. You're so right, <laughs> mom. <laughs> Lisa, you're correct. <laughs> your mom, should, we should we should have her come in, uh, do DM DMing. I would cry. Can she play? Oh, can she can she be Miss, Mr. Wilson's new girlfriend? <gasps> oh, 
She oh, plays mental oh, health card. That'd be so cute. He's an awesome guy. Theo, why can't I find your fucking character sheet? That's so rude. Can we second. look for it? I think it's in your. I have. I think I have a link for it in my thing. Cause I am prepared. Yeah, look at me go. Oh, I have it too. But you got it right. Yes. Oh. Okay. No. Oh, I have plus one. You have it plus one. Okay. Three. So you get a five. Okay. Thank God. Uh, well, that doesn't do anything for me. Uh, no, well. Uh, so. It's a nice thought. Uh, Arlo. Yeah. You jump onto the net. Right. You place your feet atop it, and you place your hands atop it, but you move right. at a snail's pace as the fear okay. begins to get to you when you turn your your back to the water. <sighs> um, instead of thinking about the positives that you can uh, tie to water, you instead think about the blinding pain at the back of your throat, how every breath would only bring in another flood of salt water, how it was bitter and burning and your eyes were stinging, and every time you opened them, it was just dark abyss, and the surface above so close, yet so far, your arms aching and your legs unable to kick any longer. The thought makes you so unsettled that you glance down at the water below over your shoulder. What you see no! is not okay, something yeah. you would like to see in this situation. Do. <laughs> when you're looking down at the water below, the dark. Oh. Yeah, but you can tune out if you want to, because I know you're very not good with this. Um, the dark, gloomy surface uh, shows something that wasn't there before. The water is still very still, but beneath the water's surface, you see spindly legs, gills protruding from a face of utter horror, and a large mouth a gape that looks like a hollow ghost. The eyes are glowing stones in a dark abyss, and the entirety of the creature is the size of the entire obstacle course before you. I'm gonna send the photo in references, okay? Uh, it is from an upwards view, but there's a okay. boat in this one. Just pretend that you're essentially the boat. Um, oh, good. I can't wait bub, I'm boat. sending it, so if you don't want to see, just don't look in references for a minute. Oh! <laughs> what is that thing? He's kind of cute. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> He's kind of cute. That shit. That shit's not not cute to me. Uh -uh. He's kind of kind of cute. Not cute to me. No. He's just a little guy. Um, uh, if he not. were a little guy, he's not he a little guy. All I hear is, all I hear is, he's kind of cute, and it's just a little he's just guy. Just a big little guy. Not, uh, not okay. the one in the water. I'm do you, do you want me? Do you want me to unsend it? I'm so curious. Do you want me to unsend it? I'm so it? curious, okay, but I don't think I should look at it. If, not, if his mouth was bigger, it'd be funny. He's not. He's not. It's not like a big open mouth. It's a creature. So if you want to look at it, no. But that. But like, is it like? He's proportionate. No, he's not. Proportionate. Okay. <laughs> Not to the oh, boat. Shit, I could, like, is there a boat? Okay, I can't look. Then. There's a no, small. Like, there's a it. small boat, and he's beneath like the boat. Canoe. Nope, I can't do that. Okay, I, can't. Okay, I will unsend it. Better real start quick. rowing. It's the it's the, the it's the seeing how so how small okay. one you can, can see the yeah. against the that. size shows the size see. shows. A oh, Gracie saw it. It's giant. I deleted the. Oh, thank you, Gracie. That's smart. I didn't know I could spoiler images. Oh, That's good. All I saw was it's bad. Nope, nope, nope. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so you thank guys can you. still see it then. Okay. I Woo! forgot right. that that was a I thing you could do. So Arlo's Ooh. there. Arlo, <laughs> please you Arlo, don't. Please be careful. <laughs> you manage to not <laughs> do it. lose your grip, even with the fear that is coursing through you. Am I dangling right over this thing? Yes. Nice. Um, now, how tall is like the net? Like from the, the net's water? it's sizable. It's very much like what you would see in this picture, like that kind of size above. Like if there was a boat beneath, that's how far up you would see. Like a very regular, like canoe sized boat, I suppose. Um, so the perspective is kind of accurate. Um, you manage to climb across the net without losing your grip, without falling to the watery depths below. Okay. And as you find your way to safety, finally putting your feet back down on a solid platform, it is only seconds before you see Andromeda standing in front of you. Um, and you extend 
the baton to Andromeda. I'm obviously traumatized. With shaking hands. <laughs> the girl is like, hey! Uh, Andromeda, you do not see Arlo, but the black oh. blackness oh, okay. around you immediately turns to a new environment. Jesus Lord. She's like, Hello. Anyways, Arlo falls to his knees in the blackness and has a little cry. <laughs> has a and moment a cry. to himself. Andromeda. Cry. <laughs> As the world comes into view in front of you, you see a world of orange and white. The horizon is so riddled with heat waves, it is nearly impossible to make out anything at all. The warmth around you is blindingly hot. You can already feel your palms fall slick with sweat. Before you are pillars of sandstone, layered high and towering, brick in texture and curved in fossilized formations. Below is an abyss of absolutely nothing. Musty and so full of hot dust and density, it's impossible to know just how far of a drop it would truly be. You can feel what you can only assume to be some sort of sun scorching rays digging through the thin fabric of your shirt and biting into your shoulder bones and spine. It feels so real, it's almost unnerving. And as you stand there, however, you can feel your dryad skin soaking in the warmth of the star, burning across your arms and legs and the golden layers of your hair. For a moment, you feel recharged, but something tells you it won't be long before the heat becomes too overwhelming. You must move quickly. I have a reference for you. Let me send it very quickly. Oh Sorry. You thought they weren't going to be attuned to your characters? No, you're not. Please. Why are you not now? <laughs> Why are you not now? All right. Let me send this. I have reference. no idea how the cloud thing and falling was attuned to Julia, and, and that worries me. <laughs> Now you should be worried. <laughs> now you should be worried. Um, all right. That is your reference. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> awesome or right, wholesome? Time. She immediately bursts into tears. Oh. You know, she's crying immediately. <laughs> like, she was like, she was so ready to go. She's like... <gasps> <laughs> so... Um, if you're crying immediately, I'm going to have you also roll with disadvantage. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's too wood. <laughs> your first obstacle awesome. is an extended platform leap. One platform, but quite a distance. The sandstone sits several feet away, beckoning you forth. Please roll your 2d6s for me. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Okay, I got a 7 for the first one. Nice. Okay. Hope you roll higher. I got an eight for the second one. Nice. So, okay, seven, so seven. Eight. So, Andromeda, you can feel the tears falling, but they don't last long on your cheeks. It being so hot, they basically immediately evaporate. You okay, Tio? Bathroom. Oh, <gasps> bathroom. Gotcha. Okay, awesome. Um, so you feel the tears evaporate on your cheeks, and you try your best to kind of. Take a deep breath. <laughs> Use the sun's rays um, to your advantage. Um, and with how distraught you are, it seems to be one of the only things that is kind of helping you right now with the fact that the sun gives you a little bit more strength than um, you would typically have. Um, and you take a couple steps back, you get in a ready position, and you s run into a speedy jump. And you make it to the platform but to the point where your elbows collide with the rock and you're holding on to the sandstone and you have just enough of a grip that you can lift your leg over and climb up the rest of the way. Trying not to look down at the abyss below you that you cannot see the bottom of. Your next obstacle is a spherical platform. In the middle of the circle sits a mechanism that spins a horizontal pole. It spins counterclockwise. Basically one of those things that, you know, just goes, like, in a circle mm -hmm. that you have to jump over. Mm -hmm. Can you please roll your 2d6s? Yes. You can add your dexterity to this as well, if you like. Sweet. Oh, um, I don't got anything. Don't worry about the disadvantage, because you've kind of... My tears dried. through that a little bit with the I last... lifted my chin up. <laughs> okay. That is a seven. Nice. Six Interesting. One. So, um... Six and a one. Six and a one. So... You, uh, oh, do you go to the left or to the right when it's spinning counterclockwise? Right. right. Wait, counterclockwise. Right would be following the 
the direction of the bolt. Yeah, she'd follow. Okay. She'd go... So, you make a smart decision there by following the direction of the spinning pole. And as you dive across onto the spinning platform, you manage to stay in time with the, the pole that is spinning quite quickly. Um, to the point where you can stay right behind it without getting knocked over. Um, and you speedily dart and jump across to the next platform. Even though you were in a position where your mind was bringing back old memories, thoughts of heat waves surrounding you, um, bringing strange images to your mind, feelings of blistered lips and splintered skin, of cracking feet, of figures in a wavy, blurry horizon, you manage to push all of the thoughts to the back of your mind and make it through the course. As you do so, you pass the baton to Arya, and within moments, you see the dark abyss once more. Arya, you feel the touch of a hand handing you the baton, and immediately the darkness turns into something somewhat familiar to you. Arya, you see walls of solid rock covered in sleet and icy snow that glisten in the little light that shines across the frosty wasteland. Industrial looking spheres and foundations surround you and they look frigid to the touch, metallic and covered in flecks of ice. Below is a solid abyss of thin ice and strange colored water dancing beneath it. I have a little bit uh, of a reference for you. Ooh, horrible. <laughs> Send it. Ooh, awful. Show me. Ooh, sounds terrifying. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, that is the Welcome back to chat. Huh? <gasps> Welcome back, Tio. He did a pee pee. Andromeda survived. Andromeda made it. I live, oh. bitch. Oh! oh, this looks like a more industrialized version of The Witcher season two. I cool. love that. I'm pumped. This is cool. So, Terrifying. Uh, you can feel the cool air biting at your cheeks, frosting over your lashes, melting within your braided hair, and your fingers are trembling, your legs are shaking, and your veins feel warm in contrast to the frigid touch of your skin. Your first obstacle are spheres that sit above the ice and across the platform you stand on, three of varying size that you must jump across. Is this fucking white bound? What the hell? Yeah, well, they're, they're not bouncy. Oh, good. And if you That's fall, good. you collide with ice. So maybe not and so metal. Ideal. Yeah, maybe not so <laughs> ideal. Um, can you roll your 2d6s for me, please? Yes. Uh, 2d6? Is Sherlock in there with you, by the way? Uh, I don't know where the boy is. I think so. I can't tell. Okay. thought I heard him walking around. Okay, so that was five. Seven. Seven. For the lowest. Oh, you don't need disadvantage. You're good. Oh, okay. Have you seven. started? Are you crying? Or are you like visibly no, going just... through it or is she just kind Froze. of frozen okay haha <laughs> all right you're okay then for now have you started you crying before. yet That's have you started crying time. yet <laughs> so That's uh, you said rule. seven right yes all right so the first obstacle as you uh take to these metallic um spheres you find that your feet slip quite easily on them um, but with the sturdiness that you are very aware that you have in your feet, you manage to stay atop the spheres very easily. <laughs> I'm not going to go into that detail. You know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Wow. <laughs> um, wow. My feet. Mm, your feet. So, um, I got nice feet. You, you grip on to the spear and manage to dart across to the next without slipping too much that you lose your balance entirely. As you fall onto the last fear, however, you do quite what Andromeda did in the fact that you lose your footing a slight bit and you're holding on, basically wrapped around this thing um, for dear life. Uh, but you manage to slowly pull yourself up on the ice and get a sturdy perch on the sphere enough to jump to the safe platform. Mm -hmm. The next obstacle is a ladder that leads across to another platform that you can barely see in the onslaught of sheer ice and falling snow. It is essentially monkey bars um, that you have to use your upper body strength to go across. Um, so if you do have a strength modifier, you can add this as well. 
Um, <laughs> I believe my strength modifier is negative one. So oh. well, I'm then... going to be subtracting one to whatever yeah. I roll. Okay. Great. Do you think this? Oh, Lord, help me, Jesus. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you know what's funny? Um, with <laughs> that strength mod, that's going to be a three. It's going to be a three. Aria. The, the dirtiest little three. The nastiest <gasps> three. Oh, hey, we congrats. That's awesome! Hey yo! Congratulations! Did you just get your little message? <laughs> that Alexa, I saw the list of images. That's awesome. My thing is it actually oh. muted. Hold on. Okay, there you go. <laughs> That's awesome! Oh my gosh! For those that uh, do not know why we're freaking out, um, <laughs> uh, D got accepted into Halloween Horror Nights to be a spooky, spooky person. <laughs> Good for spook. you! A spooky spook. <laughs> I was like, I opened my email because I was like, oh, maybe I haven't looked today. Bro, you're winning today. You got that news and you're doing D&D. It's like, it's a and Haley I day. Really oh, <laughs> it's a Haley day for sure. Truly. Nice. Truly. Love to see it. Sorry, I'm adding up points. Okay. Aria, sliding back yeah. to you. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Aria, you're, as you look, um, at this obstacle course, as you dive to grab hold of the monkey bars, um, essentially. You grab hold of the first bar, and how cold it is almost makes the memories swell in your mind once more. You feel cool air, or sorry, you feel, well, you do feel cool air, but you, you see memories of striking pain. You see blood against white snow. You feel biting cold under the lids of your eyes as burning tears fall to only freeze against your cheeks. You feel the sting of weakness holding you in a pit of sleet and soft snow. And with that, you lose your grip on the monkey bars and plummet to the ice below. The ice is just thin enough that you fall through it. It cracks as you hit the bottom, and you feel a slight bit of pain as you fall, but you manage, uh, but because it is so thin, it's not as bad as it could have been. Um, you fall into the icy water below, and as you look up, you see the ice close back up as though someone has essentially glued it back together. It looks as though it hasn't been cracked at all and you are floating beneath layers of ice underwater, holding your breath as tightly as possible. Can I do anything? <laughs> For a moment, you oh, simply goody. float there in the terrifying abyss of just simply clear, not clear, just solid water. You can't see anything around you. You can't even see the bottom and Suddenly, you feel the cool air once more, and you feel your body shift, and you are back on top of the platform facing the monkey bars again. This time, dripping wet. Oh, goody. <laughs> um, can you please roll your 2d6s for me? Yeah. With disadvantage. Like... <laughs> Advantage? Okay. Oh, yeah, some cool. And wet. Cold and wet. Very true, very true. Okay, so with this advantage. Okay. That's a seven. With this oh, now it's a six with this advantage. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Arya, it is not easy, but you manage to get a sturdy grip on the monkey bars. All the while glancing steadily every now and then down below at the ice that you only just fell into. There's no cracks in it. There's no break in the ice. It is like it had never happened. You continue along the monkey bars, trying to push back memories, trying to push back thoughts of red and white and how they contrast together in your mind. Are you okay? I just realized I had something that could have helped me with this. Oh, valid. Yeah. That's okay, that's okay. Um, you make it to the next platform and you make it all right. Um, 
all right, I guess, is kind of a loose term, considering what you just went through. Um, and Barely. when you get there, you see Chadwick, and you pass the baton to Chadwick. For Chadwick, I'm not going to get into too much detail. Um, I am going to roll for him, though. Chadwick gets, essentially, mountain peaks that he is hopping across. Seeing as though he is able to shift into wolf form, he does have quite an advantage hopping across certain peaks and certain obstacles. Um, let me roll for him to see how well he does. Woo! My bad. Wrong dice. Okay. Okay. He manages to make it through the course fairly okay. He does averagely. He doesn't do wonderfully, but he also does not do poorly, and he does not lose you guys any points. Uh, yes, the points basically are going through every time that you fall, you lose points. So, <laughs> you guys did fairly okay, considering only two of you fell at one point. So, um, let me scroll, sorry, my notes, my notes, my notes. As Chadwick finishes his course, the six of you are teleported back to the middle of the field, all standing amongst one another. Those of you who got, um, like, for example, Theron and Arya, those of you who were dripping wet for a moment, you're dry now. Your clothing is dry. Your scales, Theron, are dry. Arya, your hair is dry. And, um... Uh, Julian, you no longer feel that little hollow pit in your stomach from falling. Um, Arlo, you're still quite traumatized, um, as well as you, Andromeda. Both of you are still quite traumatized from what you saw. Arya, you as well, of course. Um, and Theron, I'm sure you still have thoughts in your head of the little thing watching you from the water. Um, uh, the audience is watching you from the sidelines and they are cheering enthusiastically, as well as the other outsiders and students that sit separate from them. You notice other teams appear through pixelated teleportation beside you as they finish their own courses, holographs flickering them to life around you. On the television screen, there's a moment in time when you see Zophiel doing his own agility course. He's tucked in a tunnel of sorts, running speedily away from whatever is pursuing him. His wings are tucked tight to his side and he pummels forwards through an exit out of the cave, narrowly squeezing through before his wings extend out into the new space around him, shuddering out into their full glory and lifting him from the confines of the enclosed space. For a moment, his face can be seen and it's clear there's a look of utter peace beneath all the battle-ready determination clouding his features. At another moment, you all see Nari, her slender build and hard-earned muscular form proving to be her best asset as she swings from bar to bar across a blistering desert of heat and fire. Close-ups on her expression show her to be grinning from ear to ear, her teeth showing sharp and pointed, a look of utter exhilaration in the ember shade of her eyes. At another moment, you see mud darting through a dense forest, leaping over fallen trees and sharp-edged rocks. His tall physique and density aids him in his pursuit to the finish, and the cameras catch sight of his furrowed brow and small, eager smile, his features alight with the urge to prove himself worthy. There's even a moment when you all see Silky. Her course is atop a river. Its current is rushing everything forward, and she uses her speed and size to cross it with fervor. She darts across lily pads, avoiding the sharp jaws of fish that leap outward and overhead, and their unnaturally pointy teeth. Her paws splash in the small bits of water that sit across every obstacle she crosses, running on all fours, her tail helping her in her need for balance and speed. She is a picture of focus, and it is clear, while she may not have been incredibly, while she may have been incredibly afraid only a night previous, she is certainly not afraid now. And lastly, moments later, whilst you all wait for your next courses to begin, alongside many other outsiders panting and exhausted from their agility trials, you notice the screen lights up with another member of Ravenwood Academy sports teams. Ku, big and hulking, jumps from platform to platform, brow furrowed in determination. He darts across an arctic tundra, much like yours, Arya, avoiding the cold water below, feet slipping from time to time on the ice he must so carefully travail. 
He's doing great, using his lion's strength to avoid obstacles thrown his way. The next obstacle, however, proves to be more difficult. He leaps across the water to catch hold of a wall of ice to climb. Claude paws, grabbing hold of the sharp rocks protruding from the glacier. As he does so, his grip isn't quite strong enough. His arm gives out, and within seconds, he's falling down, down, down to the ice and water below. His height proves to be a negative factor, and as he falls to the water, his head hits the back of a sheet of ice, a resounding crack sounding out across the large screen donning the field. And Ku sinks into the icy water. The crowd around you gasps, and some stand to get a better look, others simply cheering and yelling. Within a matter of seconds, a holograph appears in the middle of the training field, and it is Ku, fur wet and entirely unconscious. A collection of guards dart toward him, as well as some humans in cleric-type clothing, and to Hildy, the school nurse, of whom you recognize Arlo, a blonde centaur. She gallops towards him, yells several inaudible commands, and the guards reach down to help all lift him into their holds, dragging him the best they can away from the field and in the direction of the school's infirmary. <laughs> okay. So, oh, we just saw him come back on Are the field. Are you kidding me? He's back on the field, but he's unconscious. But they're being dragged away. Mm -hmm. What happens if Arnie just starts running towards it? Do you do that? Yes. As you start running. The minute that she sees him with like everybody else, mm -hmm. Like physically on in the space she runs as you run towards him mm -hmm. you are getting closer and closer but mm -hmm. immediately are teleported back to where your team is the bracelet Damn. on your wrist sizzling the audacity into action. Damn. the audacity no, sizzling not in like God. a in like a ow this hurts way or sizzling in like a haha like uh you hear it crackle almost as though like it's like technology was used essentially like the holograph was used no! Is he, like, being dragged out by this point? He's being dragged away towards the infirmary, yeah. Is he gone yet? He's a good distance away. He's gonna go again! <laughs> you teleport right back to where your team is. Damn it. Hey, boy. I'm sorry. Oh, but I was getting, like, as I was oh, reading yeah, that, no. as I was reading that, my chest was doing the thing it did when we had our first session. It was great. It was like, I was getting so excited. Ooh. No. I'm so I'm so proud of this episode. Please, okay. I'm so, so excited. <laughs> this next part, phase three, is like one of my proudest oh, moments, boy. honestly. Oh, also, I'm can so Arlo immediately go comfort Arya? There's no of way that course. Arlo didn't absolutely. Like... You're, like, oh, you're like, all standing next to each other. Quietly, just hold your hand. Like that's it. Yeah. Theron is just like alert and like <laughs> precious baby and is... like. Andromeda grabs know, the other edge. hand of Arya's. Arya's and then, not like, good right now. Arya's like, no. he's fine. He's fine. He's yeah. fine. He's fine. Yeah. You know he's fine. You know he's fine. We don't know that. We don't know he's fine. <laughs> no, he's, he's fine, Theron. Shut the fuck up, Theron. <laughs> <laughs> he's fine. Theron, <laughs> Theron. <off. They're> <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We don't know I'm that. <laughs> Big dragon don't man. Don't build her up just, just, to, just to have um, her fall down. So, with this... The rest of the teams finish up their agility courses, and phase three of the sports festival is soon announced to commence. The dean, followed by Artair in translation, informs everyone of how different the point tallies will be this round. Luck, he says, is a factor here, and certain actions will be rewarded based purely on performance. The six of you are led in, into position once more, side by side on the main field, in front of a crowd of eyes and voices. They watch with curiosity and bewilderment as though they are watching animals in a zoo. And within moments of putting everyone into position, Artair and the Dean announce phase three. They describe it to be a series of trials that will take wits, determination, and most of all, utter and complete honesty. Your team is announced, your names are recited, and then you can all feel your bodies go light for a moment before you are in a different place entirely once more. How are we feeling? Would we like to take a break here? Or would we like to continue through? There is another good place for I'm a good. break. So I'm feeling um, okay. Oh, I'm feeling good. Good. We should keep going. <laughs> we should keep going. <laughs> we should no, no. Keep going. <laughs> Let's keep power going. through, brothers. There's um, power through. there's several trials, really so strong. I might I might do a little like five minute break before the last trial because I think that'll like, okay. that'll be a good um. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. Ah, Emma. 
I know hello. Nah. Nah. Yeah, we say hello. Nah. We say hello. Yeah, we say hello. Nah. Nah. Oh, I love how the nah. chat the chat is like sobbing, screaming. Yeah. I am screaming I'm and crying, throwing up, up right up. now. <laughs> <laughs> screaming and crying and throwing up right now. The little lion man is okay. My, my mom super chatted. My mom super chatted twenty bucks. I know. That's so sweet. What the heck? Twenty five, technically. Oh my oh. god. What's happening? Lisa, Lisa uh, did another Lisa. twenty dollars. I love Lisa. Lisa. Love. Thank I love you. Her. Big fan. Uh, do you guys you guys aren't hearing anything when this happens, right? Yeah, it's just tiny, just a tiny. tiny? Okay, is it like it's quiet? Okay, okay. it's because whenever I move, the, it like hits the mic a little bit, so I get worried. Oh, it's, it's like, fine. It's okay. No, no yeah, it's not like a yeah. boom. it's not taking away from like my voice. I was really not. So. Awesome. Okay, cool. I didn't even hear it again until you. I had to listen Valid. really hard. Okay, okay. I mean, I did it purposely that time, like I was actually putting it on there. So, mm. all right, laddies. Suddenly, you are all enclosed in a dark room. The walls are. Yes. I need you to know that I'm super into this right now. Oh, I'm so glad! Thank you! I want you to know that this is great. Always, you can always Me raise too. your hand for that. I'm, I'm, the angst is good, I also. literally am so excited with <laughs> phase three. I'm like, uh, I'm really happy with how it came out. So I hope it all goes, I hope it goes I'm smoothly like, as I'm yeah, expecting. You do, do what Stranger Things three. can't, which is, is stakes. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm nervous. What's gonna happen? You fucking gonna know lose? it. You fucking know it. I don't it. know. Um, no! so, so, suddenly, you are enclosed in a dark room. The walls are decrepit and covered in moss and vines of green. The air is damp and stale. Then you can hear the faint trickle of water dripping down from the top of the room. Aside from this, the area around you is nearly silent. There is no shuffling of feet from the other players and teams, no timer above you in the sky like the first of the phases. You've simply been placed in a damp, eerie room surrounded by walls of rock and moss. There is a slab of stone on the wall across from you that looks as though it could be a door. The only other thing noticeable in the room is three small pillars of average height that stand before you. Atop them sit three buttons, one in red, one in blue, and one in yellow. There are no directions, no words placed anywhere around the room, not a single instruction, merely three buttons. A voice sounds out over a loudspeaker, the words crackling out in Artair's voice. You may now begin the final phase of the festival. No hesitations, no mercy, good luck. As soon as the speaker crackles back to silence, a holographic timer appears above the door and the stone slab. The number flickers in a light blue and states the number 15. Within a moment, it begins to count down. What do you do? This is a team-based thing, so you can all talk together. Oh God, okay. There is a red button. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. 15 seconds? 15 seconds. 15 seconds. seconds. It's going 15, 14, oh, shit. 13. <sighs> There are do something, three... Aria, do something, yes. Aria, do something! There are three Aria. buttons, there are three buttons, one, three buttons, Aria, one in Julia, red, one in blue, one in yellow. You know I want to press the blue button. Does the slab say anything? Nothing says anything, there's nothing said. No, there's it's just the timer time. counting down from 15. Red, blue, and yellow? Yes. And everything else is empty? Yes. There's just the timer the and the three door buttons. And investigate it. Like, is there any handle? Or is it just a There's no handle. It's just a slab like, of stone. We literally have out of the way. Have I love the panic that's happening right now. This is making blue, me so happy. Blue, blue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Blue. Blue. I said blue. Oh, blue. Oh, there is slams the blue button. Yes. As you slam the blue button, the timer goes back up to fifteen and starts counting down again. Oh good. Okay. Okay. Hit it again. Try it. Press the blue button again. <laughs> like, is this more time? Do we get more time? Did it time? You press out? the blue button again, and it goes back up to 15. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. So it, um, okay. I'll okay. stay here by the blue button, so just let me know so, when you want me to press it. Yellow or red? Andromeda's like, yellow, I am yellow. Yeah. All right, sure, press yellow. Okay. yellow. Might mean yeah. You press yellow? Yes. Um, It goes back up to 15. Oh, dear. Okay. Um, well, isn't there a red one? Mm -hmm. yeah, we should try so it. We, we've done blue and we've done yellow. Okay. It's at 15, so we should probably do red next. You hit red? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It goes back up to 15. Sweet. Okay, 
Let's all press the e, like different buttons oh, at the same, same time. time. Ooh. I love. I you. call blue. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Do you press them all at the Are same you, time? Do you want red. Sure. Yes. Go. Boom. That's all it. Right. Okay. We all flash them at the same time. It yes. goes back up to fifteen. I press okay. yellow. I press can yellow. Can I like slight like? Can I like smash? I hold yellow. Before? I hold it down. <laughs> it goes back up to fifteen. And I'm holding it. <laughs> Can I look around the room to see if there's- is there any entrance hey, wait, 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 or exit wait, 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 wait. or anything in here? There is- Guys, wait, real quick. What if we let the time run out? Oh, that's a good idea. You are... dangerous. We're gonna die. die. Uh, It'll, it's gonna explode the response, room. <laughs> in response to you, uh, D, you to, there are yeah. no- nothing else in the room. Nothing there's not even an the entrance from where you came in. There was a dripping though, right? You teleported. Oh, there's a, oh. a faint trickle purely because you're in a cave. Can we, we type, <laughs> type temple? Cave ambiance. Press each button well, at the same time. Probably come somewhere. That's what, what we did. Do you, are we oh. going... Does Theron yeah, want to do one? Do or are you guys doing... Well, if there's any other ideas, I mean, we'll just keep pressing the buttons to go up to 15 until we, like, decide on anything. Okay. Oh, God. Just let it go down. 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 Are you going to let it run out? <laughs> just let it go. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm holding on to Andromeda. I'm holding on to Andromeda. We're holding on to Arlo. Let the time run out. You're letting it go down? Okay. I close my eyes. The timer starts to count down from 15 since the last time you pushed the buttons. And it goes three, two, and one. And the door begins to open. Hey! When the holographic okay. countdown reaches zero, the stone slab across from you begins to shake and slide into the rest of the crumbling rock walls, opening for you all to enter. You can feel the vibration in your feet, feel the ground shaking as the stone scrapes the ground and the vines and their leaves tremble that are in the room the what? air only grows more frigid and dense as the next room is revealed just so you guys know you guys lost points for every button you hit oh Ooh. god damn it oh, hey, I, 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 press. we pressed it we got blue twice we pressed the yellow the red and then all we pressed at once. all three of them okay. at once. we have lost seven points god damn it I yes. um, seven. I think I I think I counted six, so you're good. Because I'll go with six. Let's go with six. It was let's go with six. Red, yellow, yeah. let's go with six. Aria, yes. we're going with six. We're going with six. I clearly remember uh, it was six. I'm shutting the fuck up I've now. I've this puzzle before. Yeah. In what? one of my own games. So Valid. I was like, I can't say anything. You can I say it. I don't mind. So you might know. You games. might know several of them. So we said not that again. But if you see them like really struggling, then yeah, it's kind of funny to just let them just throw us a bone. I figured because I I said when I when I was working on this, I was like, I feel like James is probably gonna know a couple of these, but I'm gonna do them anyways because probably. brain. What was Chadwick doing? Standing there in shock. There. I totally forgot he was there with us. He's honestly. still in wolf form, so he doesn't have hands oh, to press buttons. Oh, oh boy. boy. He could, he could press Wait, buttons. what kind of wolf like beat is he? Is he like like Twilight Wolf or like? Twilight wolf he's or like Twilight wolf. wolf, yeah. Awesome. Oh, yeah, he's this big yeah. boy. A big good, boy. Can I ride him? I love Twilight Wolf. Oh, good shit. Can I ride him? Do them. Uh, Not sexually? Bit of an awkward. <laughs> Claude is just like... In a way. Claude's like... <laughs> oh, <it's> like, <laughs> nice. Um, yep, yep, so, I think we would lose points for that. That made it worse. Probably. Okay, I wouldn't have <laughs> As you Anyways, enter the next room. Get off your own shoulders. <laughs> you <laughs> As you uh, ceiling. Your head true. would be in the be ceiling. Too tall. There's no ceiling. There's a ceiling? Isn't there a ceiling? Yeah, there's a, a ceiling. Room. You're in a room. By definition, um, I, it has a ceiling. I guess I never really imagine ceilings when I think about things. Oh, I look down. We were in a cave, so um, a very cramped space. He was constantly, like, on a set. He was <laughs> outside in the box. Oh, yes. the camera Lights, the camera, action! So. I can't, sorry. You're good, you're good! I love you guys. Um, I, I love I'm dog. happy. Love I'm you. happy you guys are vibing. Um, as you enter sense. the next room, the walls around you look the same as the room previous. Dark rock is covered in patterned moss. It does feel colder, there's no breeze or wind of any sort, but simply an aura of cold air. The entirety of the place feels as though it is trying so hard to be real that the facade feels more apparent the further you go in. Um, the room has the same sort of door-like slab of stone the last room had. I hear you guys giggling. You're not muted. 
I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I don't care. I'm just like, I want to keep going. Um, this part's important. Uh, there's much more to take in than a few simple pillars. On the cobblestone floor beneath all of your feet is some sort of painted marking. The shapes are red in hue, and they stand in stark contrast with the dark stone ground. To your eyes, the markings form a Venn diagram of sorts with six individual overlapping circles side by side. Um, I do have a visual. It's very shittily like drawn on a piece of paper. I'm sorry. Um, but this is what it looks like. The numbers aren't. I was about to draw, I so the <laughs> numbers aren't on the floor. They're okay, just, cool. um, that's just there for your uh, All right. brain. So directly in front of the circles, closer to the stone door, sit a collection of objects side by side atop a pillar-like table. From where you are standing, you can see, there's one fucking fly. From where you are standing, you can see a few of the objects somewhat clearly. There is a small golden bird statuette about the size of a hand. There is also a box of some kind with a latch that indicates it can be opened. There is a mirror with a golden frame lying flat on the ground. There is a small token with something etched and carved into it that you cannot quite make out from your stance at the door. And there is another box, small and simple and wooden. This one with no latch. What do you all do? Um, are they supposed to be like similar to each other in a way? So you're supposed to put them in the, in the diagram that corresponding to which one is the most similar to each other? You could try that. What are they? We got a lady, a small. We have, I will send. Them, I'll send them in the chat here. A small okay. golden um, lady. Is that? Well, one? you guys can get closer. In, or do you yeah. guys get in closer and inspect them? Because from where you're standing, you're a little bit far away, so you can't really see. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah looking, okay. Yeah. We'll I'm looking right at them. Things, okay. So. Can you pick them up? Yeah. The bird statuette <laughs> is is just that. It is just a bird. It is a golden okay, bird. It's a bird. Doesn't it's do bird. anything. It's just. Does it taste weird? Simply a statuette. Did you taste it? Yes. Andromeda, how does it taste, Andromeda? It just tastes metallic, like gold. Um, metallic. <laughs> keep that in mind. You might need it later. We might need that. Uh, Surprise, they're... Later. Are they all gold things? No. The box. No, the wooden, there's a wooden box. Um, oh, the wooden box, the right. wooden box gold. Uh, has a latch on it. Do one of you open it, whoever is looking yeah. at the object. I'm looking Arlo? at that. What's inside? Yeah, what's up? When you open up the music box. Um, okay. Oh, music box. There is a, Cute. yeah, it's a music box. When you open up the music box, inside you see a small figure um, on a little, like, platform. Um, and they okay. are holding a lute. Um, okay. They don't look like anyone in particular. They're just a figure holding a lute. It looks like as okay. though they are playing it. And the music box melody, do you, well, do you wind it up first of all? Yeah. Okay. The music yeah. box melody itself is very familiar to you, Julian. You recognize oh, the sound. Cool but you do not know from where. The mirror with the golden what frame. What is Julian's character in lore? First off, how Julian flies and how he's like a little loop boy in a music box. Like, what does this Who mean? Who fucking knows? Who fucking knows? So, um, I'm really curious to see how quickly, no one knows. how quickly you guys get this. Um, I don't think it's going to be very quick. ring light down a little bit. Is okay. this song, does this song have to do with only Julian's lore or does it have to do with the puzzle or both? You think I'm going to tell you that? Um. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the mirror. Arlo, are you Arlo's picking? I'm assuming Arlo's like picking all these up. I'm like, I don't know why, but I'm okay. About this That's one. so valid. Wanna, Arlo, the always... mirror, the golden mirror, or the golden okay. frame. Uh, the mirror sure. does not show any reflection. Okay. It looks so it like a mirror, and it gets the entirety of the background around you, but not. But it does not like pick vampire? up the person in the mirror. You're a vampire. Okay. Mm -hmm. A vampire. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm vampire. Immediately, I go and check to make sure everyone out. else is like that too, because I don't want to be the only one. I'm scared of it. And then I'm like, oh, okay. It, it's it's awesome. everyone. Everyone disappears in the cool. mirror. We're all vampires. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Drummond is like, no way. The werewolf is like, I'm a vampire. I'm a werewolf. I'm a werewolf. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Chad's like, this is really confusing, guys. <laughs> guys, bro. Um, Seriously. This so, is so totally unstoked. This is totally, totally unstoked. Totally, right totally bumped out right so now, So unstoked man. right now, bro. Uh, there's another small token. Um, a little object. Uh, it essentially is like, you know those stones almost that like can be engraved that they'll sell for like, like 
Um, mm -hmm. A lot of the time they sell them with, like, little pictures on them and stuff. It is a stone like that, but it is engraved with a sun and a moon on top Ooh. of it. Okay. The next box is a small box with a strange symbol on top of it. Um, Do we get to what it looks like? Neither it... of you recognize the symbol, but I believe I have a reference somewhere on my phone. Hold on, let me see. I don't want you guys to image search it, though. You better not fucking image search it. We both it. image search it. Oh, I'm on. I'm on. <laughs> All right. All right. No metagame. I like that hot horse guy. I Chicken played Slayer. I yeah, played by the rules. Chicken I play by I'm the curious. rules. I want to see what it looks like. It I looks... Know. I, I'm a visual learner. Same. Valid. <laughs> I'm going to actually draw it and do it that way. So then I don't oh? even have to worry about that. Um, You're going to draw it? Yes. It's very Ooh. simple. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's think about it so far. So we got a bird so, made of gold. I'll we send you a here with no reflection. Yeah. We have a music yeah. box that That's Julian's really like, this is my jam. This is my jam. <laughs> For some reason, <laughs> he doesn't know why. <laughs> we have yeah. a sun and the moon. Uh, there, there's something in me that wants to put the sun and the moon in the middle because it it's like a- it's Two symbols. Right. So uh, for now, the light and the dark. Yeah. Almost. Where is where in the middle though? Are you placing it like, so in the in, in the in between? Like, in the oh, big in square between. or in the in between? In the in between? All everything I'm gonna place in all of the in betweens of the Venn diagrams. Okay. Let me send you this um little Ooh, who's that? There's only five in betweens though. Oh there really and six is that... circles. Oh shit. So you gotta put them yeah. in circles. You're right, you're right. But maybe like the similarities are like the Venn diagram, like you have to put the objects that are like similar to each other. So or, like, have a connection possibly. somewhere. So there are five. Have, what, the, what is connection is this fucking triangle plus his triangle friend gonna have? Well, I mean it's similar to the other box, maybe. Or it could also be a similarity between sun and moon. There you go. Pretty sure what's on the like, rock. The oh, there's the rock. The sun and the moon. There's the yeah. the list for you. The moon token, mirror that shows no reflection, no idea. Wait, that's only five objects. There's only five? Two. Three. <laughs> no, is, is, is there any- Don't look there's at me there. for help. That's the- those are the only objects in the room. Okay, that's okay, all. Okay, so there's five. <laughs> Sorry, five I thought you were like double checking okay. like, there's only five objects. Boff, there's only five objects. I was like- <laughs> <laughs> I'm just double- yeah. Like, yeah, I need valid, there, valid. I, I thought there were six of There are in but, fact only five box, objects. Only the box, is the, is the box the symbol- the box is gold and it has a symbol on top. The box- Yes, and it's got a strange gold? symbol on the top of it, and that is there's the a gold box, and then there's a wooden box, and the wooden box is a music box. Mm -hmm. And this symbol just has. And the, can I open up the box, box with this symbol? symbol. Box? It doesn't open. It's basically just like a rectangular prism, I guess, because Ooh. it doesn't open. Yes. What's your thing? Okay, wait. I have an idea. Okay, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. only there's only five items, right? Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Okay. How many senses do we have again? Is it five? Yes. <laughs> Touch five senses. No, 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 that's the movie. That's the movie. Yeah. <laughs> six is a movie. So yeah, we have five six normal senses. Sorry. That's that's so sorry. Six Some of us have a six one. <laughs> I don't have. What if it has yeah. like the five gonna... senses and it's like yeah. music box is like hearing and then uh -huh. the mirror and is sight. Sight. Yes. And then tasting? what's the bird? <laughs> oh, okay. <You> <laughs> It's just like metal. Touch. Oh, that was really good. Actually, it's that right. humor is oh. layered. <laughs> there is layers to that joke. Um. Okay. So, no. <laughs> smell. Um. Hmm. I guess okay, I the, touch. The, the the triangles kind of have a nose. Look like a nose. So maybe that's smell. <laughs> Think of it. Think. No, we, we, pay attention we, we, to the number of circles and the number of inner parts of the circles. Yeah. So we. Yeah. I think like we got this one done. The like, the oh, there are five in between. So it's yeah. It's just the. the one. Yeah, so we we come yeah. to the okay. in between the Venn diagrams. Okay. Um. I think. I'm not sure about the order though. Yeah. I mean, they were laid out in a certain order, right? Shows no reflection. Yeah. Were they in an in an order or were they just like? In like a pile, they're just in a pile together. Oh, just oh, in a pile. Anyway, so, I remember you saying something about like a. So there were the circles. The numbers aren't actually there. The, the numbers I... are so that when when you guys try to solve it, you can tell me what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing. yeah. Okay. Yeah, but they're actually not there. So, items were in front of it. 
The door was behind us, and that's the only thing in the room. Mm-hmm. Well, just Bernstein the objects and the, and, like, the music the box. I have a question. Those none of the, none of those things have anything together. to do with any order of things we've done recently, like like the sky thing and the water thing. Nothing, no, that's a nothing like that. Oh. Okay, I didn't think so. And oh right, because it's a puzzle made. Okay. What the fuck is chat? Yeah, chat is picking up on it. I'm not really? Oh, I won't yeah. look. I won't look. I won't I look. I'm not going. Really look, but yeah. I'm so oh. tempted. I was gonna say that like the gold bird sings and the music box also sings. That's so put, yeah. Like, those next to each yeah. other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm so confused though about these this triangle looking thing. It's, it's a triangle thing that gets me too. It's I really want to say sun and moon, but I don't know. Or like. Wait, have we opened the box? Is there anything it, it in the box? It doesn't, open. Open. it doesn't open. The it doesn't the straight. Okay. If it, I grab it and like start banging out on the ground to see if it'll oh, open. Oh, maybe not. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it is like a solid I... block with that with that thing on it. It's not the anything. With no reflection gets me. I don't know what that is. Mm. It is a very. I, I will say, the reason I'm gonna help you a little bit is because it's a very metaphorical. Um, okay, wait, then puzzle. wait, 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 oh, wait, no, no, I want to get, I want to get, James, it. do you know this at all? Wait. Do you know this puzzle? It technically is a puzzle that I found no. somewhere, but I, made, <laughs> but I made it no. personal for Ooh. us, so it's, it is not really, we like, a connection oh, okay, it's personal. Yeah, okay, but no, I mean, like, that... I made it my own, I guess. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's personal. Read into personal. everything. Bad. Well, There's, I mean, he, don't he knows the music box. Right? Sorry, there's only five tools and we yeah, have five objects. And there's six people. There's, there's six there's yeah. six of us, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. The chat. Okay. Yeah. Wait. So they don't have to do with us, do they? No. I don't think so. Think of the no, other no, think no, of no, objects. Chat. Think of objects in the room. Think of how Venn yeah. diagrams work where you show when you Two put something in the middle, between it's things. the similarities yeah. between things. Okay. Yeah. So only then, objects okay, in the so, room are these five objects. But there are other yeah, so objects in the room. What are the other objects in the room? What are you talking about? We yes. didn't mention another object in the we room. We are objects. Oh you my god, wait. Oh, who are you? Who? Oh, the bird? Oh, 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 Wait, I was going to suggest we also stayed in the circles, but I don't know where the other objects were going to go. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> Julian at this point is just repeatedly <laughs> turning the music box. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, valid. <laughs> valid, Julian. I'll take the bird I will say, I will say, um, Chad, uh, transforms back. To himself oh, um good. and hi chad he i think chad what are like, these hi chad <laughs> i think hello. i honestly think up, the red sun and moon token i think chad should stand by the moon given the whole like and throw oh. that's my only thing though yes. is andromeda the sun then I yes. Like, yes i like the bird though <laughs> i know you what like are... the bird but um is 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 mine the reflection? It may be. Mm. So, okay, so, so we have. Well, James takes the music. Ari is gonna. Ari is gonna walk around and like take, like put her hand on Chadwick's shoulder and kind of like move him into one of the the, the farthest circle. Okay. I think. The six. Let one, me. Then, yeah. Let me. Yes, yeah, number six. Sorry. Yeah, you good. I should have explained that. Sorry. This is so fucking fun. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. <laughs> such a good time right now. Okay, oh, so... I can sit here and do puzzles literally all day with you guys. Oh, and yeah. Anyway. This is like, I really want to go to an escape room with you guys. I know! Yeah. I would love. Uh, that would be so fun. That'd be so fun. I would fly into Orlando just to do it. I would Please. fly into... We'll fucking do it. We need, like to go to, we need to go to like England. They have, a, they have a Sherlock, <laughs> they have a Sherlock escape room <laughs> in London. Well, well we're going yeah. to London then. Yeah, we, we have to. We all dress up. We have to all dress up. Like, London! London! That's hot. Okay, so you put Chad in the last one, yeah? Yes, and then okay. she's gonna grab the sun. And then put the moon okay. in the sun. Mm-hmm. We'll all go to, sorry, I'm stuck on the next We'll all go to London, and we'll all dress up as different okay. versions of Sherlock and John, and then we'll have Team yes. John and Team Sherlock. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, I would want I would want Sherlock team to lose at that point just for the the laughs of it. <laughs> I feel like that would be pretty equal. That would be equal team. You yeah. I anyway, we'll I really want like Lestrade and Moriarty and We like, might get too we might get we'll just distract each other too much. We will. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll have to have like no time limit, otherwise we'll all right, all right. Focus. All right. <laughs> moon and sun. Moon is gonna be 
on the side that Chadwick is on with number six. For chat, um, this, sorry, I'm gonna show chat what it looks like. This is what it looks like for chat. Oh yeah, you don't know. Yeah, right. I forgot to show the, sorry Good. about that. Um, I think, it's like. no, there's, it's Andromeda, not Arlo, that, that's the sun, right? I think Andromeda, given she gets her energy off of the sun, like, yeah, that's what I think. It's a big okay. yeah. thing for her to be like, I really felt like the bird shine girl, like very like. Oh, Although you are so a ranger, are you are Theo? What did you say? You're a ranger, right? So the animal, mm. like the bird, Ooh. could be yours. Yeah, that's true. Oh, that's a really good point. Yeah. So are you putting Andromeda next to Chadwick in number five? <laughs> In five. Yeah. She sadly gives the bird yeah. statue away. She's like, <laughs> oh, oh wait, like the bird could be the bird could six. also be in between like it could be in between like <gasps> yeah. four and five. So Ooh, and wait, five. Hey, wait, 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 you have a weird thing about having flying four. powers or something that we don't know about? Aren't you kind of like a bird type of thing going on with you? <gasps> I don't think you're a bird. I don't know. <laughs> can, dra can Dragonborn oh, fly? Like, Arya's ignoring the bird statue right now. She's going to bring Morgan and just kind of be like, uh, uh, Ju sorry, I have to do Arya's voice. Uh, Julian, is there a reason why you're still holding the music box? Because He's I, just repeatedly cranking it <laughs> or listening no, to I, it I, over I, and over I, again. But it has a loot, so I feel like that's... Aria and is it, there something about the music he's connected to it? Well, the song that's to, in the well, music box, I will say, the the rhythm, the music, the melody that the music box is playing does not specifically have to be a song that might be played on the lute. So don't but, don't attach ooh. the two too closely. Okay, cool. Oh. But the um, there's melody. just um, mm -hmm. something recognizable about this song. I don't know. Okay, you could be next to the bird. Well, maybe then, maybe we'll put it next to you, just in case, because I'm thinking, uh, mm -hmm. with Moon, Andromeda, you're the sunshine gal, so I'm, I'm assuming it's the sun. Uh, also, Bud. Bud. Bud? Uh-huh. Bud? Oh, bird. <laughs> <laughs> Your accent was like, Bud? Yeah. Hey, buddy. A bod. Yes, a bod. A uh, bird. But, uh, Julian, maybe bud. we should keep you with the music box. Maybe me next to it if we're going by the whole Venn diagram being close to each other. Um, so maybe you're not music. Maybe I would assume. I think I think Arya's music. bird. Honestly. So there's the mirror that's left over, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we have that's it, just the mirror. And we still have the small the box with the symbol. Yeah, right. small box with the fucking symbol. Oh, with the triangle. That gives me Theron vibes. Mm. Is yeah, is, is Chadwick in number Looks six simple. right Looks now? Like a dragon. Yes, you guys Chadwick put him in the there. Arlo puts Arlo now. Chadwick is in six. Arlo goes, "You're gonna be in six because no one has anything in common with you." Sorry. <gasps> <laughs> like in a really nice way. Like Arlo's just really fucking. Oh, sorry. Oh. I'm like, sorry. I don't mean it like that. I just mean we don't know you. I don't really know anything about you. And then I just go back to the phone. And Drummond is like, but somebody's in five. Which... <laughs> I, you're like, I, I, I have something in common with them. <laughs> I was okay. mostly a joke. That was mostly a joke. Chad doesn't. Um, <laughs> Chad's just like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. He like stoked. daps you up. He's like. He's like, yeah, saw it. It's stoked. <laughs> stoked about it, man. Stoked. <laughs> All right. If, if Bob and I were saying stoked too many times, it's because I'll show you this video later at break. And <laughs> it's, good. it's good. It's good. It's good. Chad's. Um, um, okay. So we have the box or the cube with the symbol left. So, so where have you put everyone? You have the bird in the place between four and five. Who's yes. next to the bird? So, uh, yeah. So there's Chad and six, mm -hmm. Sun and Moon in between six and five, mm -hmm. Andromeda and five, Bird in between four and five. Okay. I think that we're leaving that one open right now. Four. Okay. And we're gonna move to Julian. Okay. Wait. Wait. Mm. Four could be Arya, which is like the bird no, and the music box yes, could be in three. Yes, Ooh. yes, I was just thinking that. You are absolutely the bird and the music box. You are in that spot. Do any of us For know sure. that, though? I yeah, do! No, no. You don't we know, know any of us. Not character. Oh, and the oh, truth is, true. Arya wouldn't say that. So she's that's leaving you open. Point. <laughs> Arya trying yeah, to come up for a reason are. why she's related to birds. It open. Um... <laughs> um... <laughs> oh, this this cube with the with the symbol. What what is going on here? Um, I just don't understand I, who would be a bird. 
I say that right to Aria, like directly at Aria, cluelessly. Wow! Uh, what about the cube? I don't even know what the cube is. She's <laughs> acting weird about the bird. <laughs> yeah. You are very oh, weird about this problem? bird statue. Why are you acting weird about, you? about the bird? Can we please think about the other side of the of this thing? We don't need to do this thing. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Do you have ma a fear of birds? Thank you. Uh, okay. Um, I don't know what this symbol means. Does anyone know what this symbol means? It looks familiar, um, but I don't know. It looks like, really yeah. like, um, oh, good. like that. Oh, they're like very much kissing. They're kissing very aggressively right now. They're like, like alchemy signs to me. Whoa, <laughs> alchemy signs. Oh, well, that's better than kissing. Wait, I have a question. Is that one triangle <laughs> not have a bottom? <laughs> yeah, it does not have. It, it goes like this. It doesn't connect. Oh, it opens. Oh, oh that means something. Ooh. That Could definitely air means or water or earth and sky. <gasps> Wait, is it water or something? Them. I don't know. I don't remember. I didn't say this. Oh, it's <laughs> like a mountain. It's, it's like it's a mountain. mountain. I know that like, the triangle it reminds me of air, but I can't remember. <laughs> Who's a mountain? Can I make like a roll Who to see if I can recognize yeah, or like... I can I do an insight check on all of these objects? I have, a, I have an ability. I have an ability that if I remember something, like if I recognize something, you have to give me a, information on it. Okay. Oh. Can I roll to see if I can remember it or I get any off of it? Sure. Okay. Four. Cool. I remember. Oh what do you want me to roll for? It? I can also roll with disadvantage too, because this is a far shot. Uh, I just, can't even look at the chat. Roll they normally. Probably know. Huh? You can roll normally. Roll with what? A uh, twelve or? A oh, uh, you can do d six. D six is fine. Cool. Uh, seven. You've never with seen it before in your life. Oh, fuck. <laughs> You know what else doesn't show up in meters? <laughs> yeah, yes. Robots. Robots! <laughs> Julian, oh, robot. What does that have to do with that? <laughs> robot theory. <laughs> do you all, do you all want to roll? Do you all want to roll to yes. find out? Yes. I will say there might be one, there might be one of you who knows. Uh, oh, okay. 2d6s Two 2d6s. Oh, can I assist, um, Farron? Yeah, assist me. Can, sure. Can I assist you? I have arcane art. So I can successfully success. You what get me? a plus two instead of a plus one. Oh. On top okay. of whatever you roll. Nine. Nine. Okay, I got a six added to what? Nine. Or oh, six okay. and an eight. You got an eight. <laughs> I got an eight. Okay. Um. Do we have points? Oh, we got uh, Arlo, you got. You got six. Six. Unless okay. I got an extra one for dexterity, but I don't think. No. So. <laughs> Do <I have laughs> Unfortunately, <any? laughs> no. Andromeda. The dexterity of the brain. So, Andromeda. He's working hard. Um, you don't recognize this at all. Oh, this, is if, this isn't anything that you've ever seen before. Are um, we doing all the objects or just one of them? Are we just? Oh, doing you're doing it for right that now? shape, right? The, the um, the box. shape triangle thingy. Sure. Um, uh, so, yeah. Theron, it looks familiar to you. That's what I've been saying. It Wait, looks like something dragon. that might be something you've seen in your past, but you can't okay. quite put your finger on what it means. That's how, that's how I feel. That's how I feel. That's what I'm doing. Look at my tongue. Arlo. <laughs> Arlo. If there's nothing more Hi. Hi. It looks familiar to you, but you have no idea why. Oh shit! You're on. Ooh, oh, there you go. That's good oh, enough. Okay, put it between us. Put it between us. I'm gonna roll for Chad as well. Chad, let's yeah. go, Chad! Come on, oh, Mr. Wick. You're on hand. Platonically. Huh? Chad also. Oh, oh, Chad hand also hand recognizes. Shit. Oh, okay, okay well, we need to change that. Take my hand back. back. He has something what? in common. <laughs> Arlo, please. <laughs> so, does Chad say that aloud that he recognizes it? Yes, kind of. so, um, he kind of turns and he looks at the, um, sorry, I'm getting so caught up in just, you guys figuring this out, it's funny. Uh, <laughs> it, it's really fun for me. Um, so he, he looks at the, the little, yeah, uh, square box, and he's like, oh, cube. It's like, yeah, I've, I've seen that before. Like, totally stoked about that, dude. There's like, I've seen, I swear I've seen work. that before, dude. Like, it looks familiar, these, dude. Though. No, Carlo grabbed Chad by the shoulders. Chad. Remember, he remembers. What does it mean? Um, 
He's like, he looks at it and he's like, it's like in Sherlock. I think it's like, something. Remember them. I think it's something to do with like, I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> no, wait, what do you mean? Like what? We're still done. Can I assist not him to try again? He needs words. Can you what? Can I assist him to try again? You can. Because sure. more. Yeah. Thinks really hard about it. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh. So I'm thinking with him. I have my hands on his shoulder still, and I'm thinking with him. We're all like, 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 going around in circles. Andromeda's circle. on the floor. She's like grabbing his calf very gently. I'm looking like directly into his eyes. <laughs> What's your? What does your assistant? <laughs> I want to see this drawn. It's plus two, oh whatever gosh. he rolls. Okay. Plus two. <laughs> okay. He got a ten. Ooh. Okay. So, um, That's better than what he did. He looks at it and he frowns and he says, "Um, I think it has to do with like." Change. Like, change. like, like yeah. the thing that that, that the Starbucks like, people give you after you buy something. Like being something more than what you are. Oh, you know, dude. Very deep. Totally yeah, stoked dude. about it, bro. Oh, okay. And you so, can turn into like scary you. wolf that's man. Kinda like, yeah, mm -hmm. that's kind of like you. Okay. I mean, you can turn. Yeah, yeah. Can turn. it's like yeah. a symbol of like. I think it was supposed to be change, like that kind of change, but also like, you know, change. <laughs> no, no, but like, like in your, like, like oh, in your self, please. bro. Oh, oh, yeah. Ooh, okay, like, like what the move? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So maybe we move everything down. So, because if Chadwick remembers something or knows something about this symbol, maybe he does have two things in common. Arlo. <laughs> he was, oh, that was Arlo's, Listen, that was Arlo's I'm kidding, I love you. Moment I'm kidding, I love you. That's on his mind. That was his predisposition. <laughs> it was his, his neurodivergency was showing. It's We're okay. changing. I felt it. I felt it. He's changing. We're changing, bro. Like, oh, totally we're stoked changing. about change, bro. So, who so, felt, who's felt like they've had the most change while being at this school? I feel like I've not changed at all. Dramana? I've had a big change. Mm -hmm. You're on? Okay. Because now I wear clothes all the time. Wait, no, <laughs> in words, okay, in no, words change. In words change. Okay, Theron, I have never felt uh, <gasps> the um, oh. love emotion before. Oh, guess, the love emotion? The love emotion. He's not emotion. This is a very, very bad time blood. to admit that you are in love with me. <laughs> no. Or oh, me? <laughs> no, none of you. I'm not not interested this in isn't like the that. time, Theron. <laughs> He's got uh, hell blood. I know the photosynthesizing was Luckily, very fun, but it did not yeah, have romantic undertones to that. Carl absolutely says that, by the way. That's canceled now. <laughs> Please um, don't take any. You're, you're any... just looking deadpan at our No love. romance in the photosynthesizing session, please. Mm -hmm. What do you want? <laughs> tonic. The peace and anyway. tonic. I can't it's tonic tonic for video, right? it's, it's a big character growth that might count. All right, I think that is a pretty good growth. You can feel love counts. now. Um, that's anyway, so great. moving on to any other topic ever <laughs> in life. So, are we scrapping what you guys have set up, or are you keeping it the way it is right now? I think that we. I think we that we probably can... start over. Yeah, honestly, I think we do. <laughs> I think that is some <laughs> ideas, but I think fuck it. <laughs> Scrap it! Scrap it! Six. <laughs> uh, yeah, I should write this down. I mean, we can still leave Chad at the end five. if we want to, and then I will be next to him with the box, maybe? But the thing is then, and drop the box next to the sun. So if he has to be towards the middle, it okay. would have to be something like, you aren't connected. Somebody can't be connected to two things, technically, unless it's connected at the end of the circle. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. It's, it's, it's okay, not, wait, it's, wait. There's, so we there's have two people who are only connected to one thing. Okay, let cool. me think okay. this through. Let me think this through. Wait, two people. Okay, yeah. So we have. The ones let me the think about this. Mm -hmm. We have Chad, Mr. Chadwick with the sun Mr. and the moon. Chadwick. With Andromeda, with the bird, the with and the bird. you, Aria, with the music box, with uh, Julian, with the um, music box. And um, on the other side of Julian, what's left? What's left? The mirror. The mirror. The mirror. The mirror. With the symbol and then Theron. That's my guess. I can't visualize that at all. I'm going to say. <laughs> I mean, I'm like trying to. Hold on. I would suggest. That down, I would great. suggest putting. Um. Oh, never mind. Go ahead. Don't say it. Please don't say it. Please don't say it. 
changed my mind. It's cheating. Yeah, yeah it's cheating. A moment of enlightenment. How enlightenment. wrong are we? Well, there might be a chance that if you were to put something down in the right place, it would tell you that it's correct. Oh, so just it go wrong. Oh, okay. I didn't think oh, about let's that. Let's test it. Let's test it. Let's test it. Let's test it. Can we all um, just that maybe position? I can um, go. I could maybe go easy on you in that sense if you'd like. Um, okay, okay, so it's like yeah. box in. But I don't uh, want you to use okay. it to okay. your advantage. Now, now we know. Now we know though that Chadwick and Andromeda aren't connected to the Sun and the Moon token because it, nothing Are happened. They not? Well, Chad yeah, could be the pretty working place. Wait. Oh, is it because like it could have been the wrong circle. Couldn't it could have been the wrong circle. I guess that's or, true. I will yeah, say, I will say there is a specific order that I had planned out that they go in. Okay, so, so that's okay, what so I'm going to go off of. Um, yeah. For so I would say Chad is definitely the moon and also the box, like the symbol. The change, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Do, I'm gonna draw this should out we just bit. move? Should we just move Wait, the objects into you the think place? That Chad is the change. What kind of inward change has Chad gone through? He's like, well, he's well, maybe, into a hole. Maybe he's like, he said inward. He said inward. Well, he, he said, said both. it could have been in both. 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 Maybe he's more confident now. He said it could be he a change. Was the only... okay. I've never seen that man in my life. Okay, but he's the only one that recognized <laughs> it. So, <laughs> if we're going by rec like recognizing things, yeah, he also recognized. he's the only one that recognized it. Well, like, as a change. Baron recognized well, it as well, and so did Arlo, but not what it means. Yeah. But not what it means. They recognized the symbol. Mm, yeah. I will say yeah, that if true. you if you put the items in the right mini circles, I will tell you if they are correct. Okay, I let's think... do that. Let's do that first then. Yeah. Like, okay. Put the items down, and then we'll figure out the. I think Arlo orders like the change. Okay. So can we just like, like place the, like, like the Second put a moon like stone in different areas, and you'll tell us which one it goes in. I will tell you if it's right or not. Depending okay. on which which I place one it in the first in. little Venn diagram slot. The first one. Uh -huh. Okay. Let me look at my order really quick. Like between one and two, oh. or five and yeah. six. I mean, there's um, I'm just gonna call like the little slots like one through five because. Okay, so that makes more sense. Le left to right. What yeah, is it? Like what if what if we do A B C D E F? Oh, okay, that works. The little slots yeah. are letters, numbers are the big ones. Yeah, that works. So I put it in slot A. Slot A. Yep. Also, I assume that if there's a specific order, if we do it backwards, it still counts. Since it's still the same um, set of people. Just I mean, if you're about to tell us direction. where, like, which one it goes in, I don't think Yeah, you should that. be fine based on that. If you do okay. it, like, because it will have to work the way that I have it written out, essentially, if I yeah. tell you where the things go anyways. The so it should be fine. Um, let me just write it down so I have it, like, for my brain real quick. Yeah, you're good, bud. You're good. Um, I'm not going to write I don't have it. I don't, I don't use pencils. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're insane. insane. I don't believe in pencils. Thank You're insane. You know. This is so fun. This is so, really I'm so glad. I'm sorry if it's like tough. I wasn't sure if it would be. No, I love no, it. It's, 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 tough. it's okay. Tricky, it's better than it's too excited. easy. And we just, yeah. you know. It's like, yeah. We figured out the first one pretty quickly, which was nice. So, I yeah. Better I'm glad this. that this was, that was a little bit was tougher. Because I was. It's good because I feel like. Yeah, go ahead. I was worried it was going to be like. Too, too easy, I guess. So I'm glad that it's not. It certainly is not. Did you, did it you doesn't help that some itself? of you, some of you don't even remember things. Yes, I, I did. Think I did pick them. Things. That is cool. No, they're really nice. I like it. I created them myself. I all did of your a really good puzzles? job. You did a really good job. Oh, like, not all the like, puzzles. None of them. I thought you said the. I I took puzzles I saw online and tried to make them personal to you guys, essentially. Yeah, but you did a really good job at making the objects feel like. They could all oh, be up, objects. or none of them could the be up. The objects, also... the objects, I did choose myself. Yeah, it was good. So it was good. impressive. Thank you. Impressive. I know you guys. Okay, we placed the stone in uh, slot A. How slot do you A about that? Um, is incorrect. You're okay, placing the sun and moon B. stone, right? Yeah, that's what you're doing. Sun and moon stone. How how do you feel about slot B? Does not like it. it slot nothing C. happens. What about five? Nothing happens in slot C. And e. D. Oh wait, D. Yeah. Slot D, e, C, D the e. red marking yeah. around the Venn diagrams turns green in that oh! Number four? That was number it's four? In, it was, uh, it's it's D, a small four, thing between D. four and five. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, so Which sun one is that? Is... What item's that? So, D. Uh, D. Sun and so moon. it's right sun and moon. So, okay. mm -hmm. yeah. 
Yeah. That's, that's, that's the that's the moon and the sun. Is that what that is? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, is there on the stone? Can you like draw a picture of like where the sun is and where like is there like is yes. it we, where it's sun and moon? Can we put like... Andromeda? It's what? just like it's like um kind of. Uh, how to describe it? Like, it? like, there's a little sun, and then the moon kind of curves around it. So it's like they're intertwined. Oh, it's like one of those. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. It's, it's more so just like, moon. yeah, it's more so the just like showing the sun and the moon more so. Okay, um, cool. Can we place the drama by the sun? It, I will tell you. I'm not gonna tell you the answer is based on okay. where you put the people. People. Mm -hmm. people. Okay. Okay. Cool. So let's but just put the let's put the items in first. Yeah. yeah. Probably. Do yeah. Let's put the items in first. Okay. Yeah, I think that's yeah, a good yeah. idea. Yeah. Do you want to put the symbol box in E? Can we try that? The symbol? Oh, yeah, oh, the symbol box. E. The box. The yeah. very last yeah. middle part? Yes, uh -huh. the last part. Uh, that is correct. Yeah. Let's go. It lights green. Okay, we're doing good. We're the doing very good. very last one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Between five and six. That was good. That was good, Theron. Good job. <laughs> good job. And maybe Andromeda's number four, so th three and four would be. So a symbol box, so five bird? would be bad, possibly? I need to write this down. I was thinking maybe bird and sea. <laughs> this is what it looks like. <laughs> I need to write I mean, this down. Let me write this down. Can you get better? Um, um, for real. For real. Yeah, that's what I got so far. One, just two, three. <laughs> so, I'm going to like try and draw it. I don't know if this is going to be bad. The bird so and sea. Is... Let's see what yeah, happens. Yeah, can we try the bird and sea? The... the bird and sea? Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, it does not, nothing happens. Interesting. Mm. Let's put it in B. A. In B, oh. nothing happens. I think a. it's A. Yeah, it has to be the A. Bird, yeah, yeah. It does light up green when you put the bird in A. Let's go. Okay. Bird! Bird in A. a. Okay, um, can, I put, a. can I take the music box from Julian and put it in B? Yes. And when you do, it lights green. Nice. Ooh. I had a feeling. Okay. Okay. So, I, yeah. And then the mirror in the last one. The mirror is in C. And you put the mirror in C, and it also lights up green. Sweet. Okay. Wow, y'all guys, that's <laughs> noise, noise, guys. So, okay, just to clarify, so I can write this down. Mm -hmm. In spot A, there is bird, bird, bird. music box, and mirror. Again. Oh, sorry. Okay, then I'm gonna put Theron. Theron's gonna stand in Here? circle six. Mirror, sun and moon, and then the box with the symbol on it. Okay. Change. Oh, this is so difficult. I love it. Oh, thank you. And then can we put Chad in five. <laughs> yes. You're putting you're putting Chad in five and Theron in six. It, it, does everybody agree with that? I agree yeah. with that. Do you concur? Yeah. Arya, 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 yeah, writing this down is much easier. It's too much for the brain. Yeah, I'm a yeah. big visual learner. This is- I love this art. I'm so obsessed with this. This is so much fun. <laughs> I'm so glad you like it. It makes me happy. Okay, let me- so we have- hold on. Our, okay, I'll just send this. This is my little- symbol symbol wrong and I wrote it in pen, so you're gonna have to get- forget Ooh, me. Low. Very nice. Low. Very nice. Low! Low! Whoa. Larry. Love, love. Oh. Come in. Larry. Come in. If I go really close, maybe? Blurry. It's, oh, it's, it's the um, autofocus. Oh, effect. sweet. Oh, okay, it's there. It's <gasps> okay, hold on. Oh, can I turn it? Oh, that's okay. All right, we're going to put Theron in six. Uh -huh. Julian has to be in three, then, if he's connected with the music box. Julian's in three, I believe. But the mirror as well? Maybe mirror there's something well. in the mirror. Well, maybe, we don't know what Julian we'll is. Think about so it. it's so like, we were gonna maybe... say, yeah, well, because Arlo and Julian both are anomalies. Yeah, that's true. That would make sense. And mm -hmm. then Arlo is in. They also. Maybe it's like a disconnect within ourselves. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then Andromeda would just be connected to the bird with one. It's and Arlo the sun. <laughs> Cry. Oh, my guy is sun. And maybe. the moon. Well, well, Andromeda is the bird. Because I thought the sun and the moon was definitely Andromeda. Andromeda. That's and what I thought so too. Birds. So yeah. it should be Andromeda. So maybe so yeah, maybe it should Andromeda. connect to the mirror at all. But why would Arlo be in the bird? Herd? Yeah, that's a good point. Actually, I have no idea. I don't think Arlo he's a mirror. ranger. But ranger, like, yeah. Animal. But a bird out of everything. But Andromeda can speak to birds. It's I like can talk to birds. Oh, you're right. Andromeda can speak to birds. 
So Andromeda, <laughs> That's why I'm you can't perfect. speak the birds. Yeah, I would say Andromeda in one, maybe. We can switch. Can we? Uh, Sorry. Yeah. Well, we can just, just throw ourselves in there, and if it's wrong, then and then we'll if it's wrong, we try. If it's wrong, then we lose a point. But I feel like we could be right. Yeah. So yeah. Aria in two. Yes. So it's Andrew. Yep. Aria. Andromeda. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Oh no, you go on. Oh, and Julian in three. Three, and then it's gonna be Marlon four. Yes. Which is Sun and then and Chad and then mirror. And then Chad in five. That's good though, because then Julian and Arlo both have the mirror, which is like inconclusive. Yes, exactly. That is cool. I like that. Mm. And Theron is kind of sex. You kind of sexy. Kind of sexy. Sex. Okay, sexy. sexy. I assume... I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna platonically hold Julian's hand now. Oh. oh. Okay. I assume. <laughs> I assume you like, all what? step in the circles in this order. Yes. yes. Okay. As you do so, this placement seems to do the trick. Yeah. Oh. Within moments, you feel the room shifting again. I have a connection to the yeah, statue. Connection. The stone <laughs> slab the bird. slides roughly against the cobblestone floor, crackling Jeez, against guys. loose rocks and pebbles and dirt. Look at us go. The ground vibrating once more beneath your feet. You Woo! can almost hear the echo of cheering from outside the entirety <gasps> oh, of the tricky. room. But perhaps it's simply another illusion. Mm. The phase mm. continues forward into another room. Good job, As guys. Win, win, win. Well, yeah. Yeah. We would not have done that without, like, so many hints. That was oh, so much okay. fun. You know, I think I it was so good. <laughs> you guys got the no, last bit. Um, really? Well, the last bit is easy. Yeah. That was easy. As long as we got what the symbols were, then we could like just... the items and stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the items. As soon as we figured out who was what with the items. That was cool. Shit. Yeah, that was fun. Okay. I'm glad. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna send it in the Ravenwood chat too, so they can see it as well. Okay. Um. Okay. All right. Good job. I think you guys did really good on that. Thank you. Like Could even with me, there. even with me telling fun. you where the items go, you still like got the order clicked. pretty quickly. So it all clicked together. Oh. Yeah. I'm glad you liked it. All right. So that was a lot of fun. I'm, I'm so glad. Um. <laughs> As you, um, uh, giving me serotonin. The best team. <laughs> As we really leave fun. the room, <laughs> yeah. Julian's just gonna briefly, like, mention to Arya, since they're right next to each other in circles as well. So, what's the connection with the bird thing? Yeah. That... You were worried about the bird. Did you have a fear of birds? Or, I mean, apparently it's it's not quite that, but... Did you know a bird once? <laughs> Can you talk to birds? Like, maybe, and maybe I knew care? them too. Wait, lover, can you perhaps? can you understand me? Wait. Are you rolling for something? <laughs> yes. Um, Arya is gonna get overwhelmed by all the questions. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and just start walking forward. <laughs> Maybe we should ask her about this. I think I think it's a touchy kind of thing. I think it's so. a weird subject. Yeah. Must be an ex or something. Yeah. <laughs> he dated her. Uh, Julian's gonna go. Or maybe you just all asked her like ten questions at the same time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was probably that. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> all right. But that's that's just how our squad communicates with each other. Really. We all just also know. before. <laughs> yes, Julian. Yeah. Also before Julian leaves, he's gonna play the music box one more time and try to. Can he take it with him? Just at least. Yeah. I mean, you can. I can't promise it'll still be there shirt. when you leave. Put it in take your it in case. Put it in your case. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just... Can I take the box? Oh, there's music coming out. Okay, it's a music box. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> um, yeah, you can hold on to it, but uh, as everything It'll is a... Disappear. Yeah, is a mirage of sorts. Who's to say that it will still be there? Um, so, the yeah. room you walk into test. next... Is whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> noticeably different upon entering okay. from the rooms Ooh. prior. In the middle of a cracked stone floor is a sizable divot, a hole of sorts, an area that seems as though it could hold the average size of a single person within it. <gasps> it's a grave. The ceiling, th that got very Sherlock for a minute there, season four. Um, <laughs> the ceiling within the room is much higher than any of the others. It looms far above, far enough away from the lanterns within the room that sit in it, that sits it in almost complete darkness. Essentially what I was saying is you can't, you can't see the top of the ceiling, sorry. Because <laughs> um, it's so dark. I, I manifested that. Okay, well, good. Well now you can't uh, see the top of the ceiling. There is not a ceiling. You so did this to us. It's Our just darkness. Um, if some like spikes come down on us, it's your fault. Uh, okay. There is yet another stone slab <laughs> posing as a door across the room. 
but aside from this and the divot in the center of the room is completely plain. The only other truly different detail is a bronze plaque above the shut cobble door. As you all enter, an engraving appears, as though engraved in real time. It sparkles and shines in a golden light above the door, and as it carves its way across the plaque, you see the words appear slowly, and within moments they read, only one may continue. As it finishes the engraving, that's not true. As it finishes the engraving, the ceiling above you makes a rather mechanical noise and suddenly oh. thunders into movement. I the vines and spiked. moss aligning the walls tremble where they sit and dust and dirt falls to the ground around you, disrupted from where it has been sitting dormant. A gust of cold air whirls around you and you can see that the ceiling is beginning to descend upon you all. No! Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that. Oh my god, I hate that. Okay. I um, really wish I didn't say anything about a ceiling. What do you do? <laughs> yeah. Can Theron go over to the hole and like inspect it? Yes, there is nothing is it, in is it. Is it grave shaped? It is like a square that could fit one person. Oh. So like upwards or like long words? Like laying down. Doesn't like matter. Right? Add long words, yeah. Sorry, I'm really uh, no, 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 you're good. I'm trying to. Uh, it's like either way works. It could be going either right. way, either way. But it is going vertically for more. But it's for one person. Visual. It's for one person. For one person. Only one. Can. The ceiling. Really is warlocky. The ceiling so above you person. is flat. Oh, there it is. It's gonna smush us. It's still gonna smush us. Yes. Though. Whoever well, goes in the get divot in that hole. is the person who can continue. <laughs> somebody get it. Because they're in a hole. hole. Because everyone else is gonna die. Can we dig more holes? Is like the is the ground soft? It's all stone. Oh. Oh, who's going through the hole? Well, it's not me. I'm stupid. Who's next? <laughs> what? The the Can engraving. The, rest of the, puzzle? the engraving above the door it... flickers again and says, "You must decide." Well, okay. Do you think it? No, 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 no. Not rock all shoe. Obviously, it needs together. to be. It will if it's strength, then it should be Theron. But if it's if it's <gasps> brains, then it could be Julian or Arya. And if it's anything else. Maybe it's me or Andromeda. I can I can lift things really hard. Hard. <laughs> like, Andromeda does have a hell of strength. Things. She does. I'm strong. I'm, I'm can actually. canonically stronger than Theron. Oh, okay, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> <Don. laughs> this unassuming yeah, little so tree. Like it. You're very compact. It's because she is a tree. Maybe she we is Chadwick go. Thick tree. We tree. You're thick. Huh? Maybe we should let Chadwick go. <gasps> Chad oh, what does Chad say? Chad, Chad just go. looks at all and he's like. Yes, sir, dude. I'd be, I be, to I'd be totally, I'd be totally, I'd be totally stoked to go. How big's the hole? Together, and maybe there's a, maybe there's a possibility that he can use both. What the door in the hole? You can't be serious. It's just a plain right hole. You think Chad? He's the only one we don't know who, who, what he's fully capable of. That's the problem. What if we don't decide <laughs> the and then we all die? <laughs> I don't know this guy. And Drummond is gonna run towards the hole. Yeah! She's gonna run towards the hole. She's, she's running towards the hole. I don't think this is the way. Wait, wait, I don't think we should sacrifice any of us. I wait, don't is think that... we're sacrificing anyone. I think the, it's a... the hole saves. It's the other way person. around. The other way around. The yeah. hole will save one person. Arya, I think it should be you. Oh. I don't think yeah. it should be me. Why not? Because I'm the one saying that it should be Chadwick. <laughs> Chadwick is an idiot point. coming from an idiot. He's not. The ceiling is getting that. lower and should lower. Be, should we group vote? Look at him. Look at him. After, out of character, I honestly think that you should never separate the group. And Chadwick is the only one that's not part of our group fully. <laughs> You're right. Um, the if you engraving. Can't separate the group. The engraving above the door. We'll be fine. Flickers <laughs> alive again, and it says, "Decide okay. or suffer punishment." Oh, oh. damn. <laughs> well, um, look at punishment. I'm just kidding. I mean, I'll not the kinky switch. kind. I don't not the kinky kind. Damn it. Okay. Um, I think I also honestly... Squid Games. Okay. Who's <laughs> <laughs> going in the hole? Bad. Like, I quite honestly don't think he's going in the hole. I'm not worried about that. It's not going to be me. That's I nominate Arya. What? Yeah. Votes for Arya. Raise your hand. What? What did this become thing? Fucking cry. Majority rules get the wall. Chadwick, Chadwick's like, yeah, totally, totally stoked for you, Arya. You're the leader. You're the leader. You've always been the leader. That is a lie. That is a complete lie. I don't know who the hell I'm leading. Okay, okay. Okay, Arya just. I can't. I can't. I can't. Okay, and she just goes. The ceiling. The ceiling is about to touch. Okay, she goes. She goes in the hole. Wait, oh, 
I need to push down. I grab her hand bit. and I'm like, you got this. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> you won't let us go. <laughs> you dive in the hole? Yes, I dive in the hole. Okay. Is it a dive or is it like a step? Or like, what is the, what is the depth? How deep uh, is the hole? It's deep enough like, that, no it's deep in? enough that if you're laying like, the ceiling is like right there, I guess, so. It's fairly deep, deep enough to fit I your body. Alive, I am going to kill you all. As you, dead, though. <laughs> as you lay fully in the hole, dead. Um, the ceiling shudders to a stop. Oh, good. The ground feels unsteady beneath your feet as it freezes in place, shaking the walls of the room with fervor. The stone slab door is triggered open and begins to shift, allowing you all entrance into the next room. The plaque above changes its words once more with a flicker of light, and it now reads, you may all continue forward. I have chills. Uh, we just have to uh, be ready to die. <laughs> oh. I Arlo and Mason. <laughs> we go. Yeah. All right. Arya's eyes are just closed. Doesn't know what's happening. Valid. It was about oh, it. Okay, it. You guys did it quick enough, but it was about to like skim the top of Theron's horns. Oh. <laughs> and drama to go to the hole and reaches get down the ground. Arya, get out. <laughs> I'm like hunched over a little bit. Come on, Arya. Come on, Arya. Well decided group. I'm not sure if well, Arya's gone through group, it this, but... this round. Truly. <laughs> That's right. All right. <laughs> Arya's just quiet. Just... Arya's. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, even Arya's not Percy Jackson. Right choice, She's not... There are Percy Jackson. You are moving into the final. You're moving into the final phase of this trial. Oh, Would shoot. you like to take a break here, or should we go through it? We can always it. take a break right afterwards. I'm fine. Yeah, let's yeah. do that. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's fucking do it. Because right that'll be our big break before ball mm -hmm. time, right? There is a little bit in between ball. I mean, we can just do like oh, a yeah. five, ten minute break, and yeah, then we'll do five like, minute. Yeah, ten minutes. and then we'll take a bigger break. Right? That works. Chill with me. So, this room of all the ones you've seen stands out the most. And it may or may not be due to the giant golden spider that sits above another door. The creature Fine. is a grandiose statuette. The entirety of its body shimmers in a decadent gold, pure in shade and practically dripping in shine. Pretty. It is covered in small engravings Dude. of symbols and patterns, textured with small carvings. Who is she? <laughs> it sits still. Its golden <laughs> legs are surrounding it like an elegant frame. It blocks another entrance or exit that looks more like a door than any of the others did. An arched Rain shape danger. to it, as well as something that looks to be a handle. The sumptuous spider blocks any notion of leaving the room, like that of a large eight-legged golden lock. The room is similar to the ones, similar to the others in outlook, moss-covered walls, dark rock beneath your feet, rough walls with uneven stones and bricks lacing their entirety. The room itself is much bigger than any of the others, however, and you can imagine it must be to take space, to make space for the size of this trial specifically, because before you sits a surplus of chests. There are, they are elegant in design, gold plated and bejeweled, emerald gems lining their locks of which are small golden spiders. Their legs are holding the chests tightly closed. They all have small engraved numbers atop the spider-like locks the highest being 26. There are 26 chests in the room. As you all enter the room, a voice crackles to life and it comes directly from the mouth of the spider. The creature does not move. It simply says, choose a chest. You is must this decide. deal or no deal? <laughs> it's, no, it's, yeah, it is, it's the same, same concept, but it's the same oh, concept, but different. Joking. Yeah. <laughs> No, it is. It's genuine. Genuinely, is the same concept. Oh my god, it's oh awesome. Wait, do we get to see? Okay, is there the like guy? sexy ass models, Wait, and they're like holding 26. it. Spiders so only. Spiders. 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 spiders only, models. my guys. Um, Are they wearing like little twenty six? There's twenty six. Four letters in the alphabet. Oh, you must there's decide. There's in the alphabet amongst right. one another. It could be like our initials, but then there's three A's. Like, guys, I haven't even head. said oh, what you're it. supposed to do. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Already going to puzzle mode. Alphabet. Oh, word. Alphabet. Oh my god. Oh, our initials. <laughs> oh my god. There's three A's already. Shit. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. So much. I love. <laughs> you all really read into that one aggressively. First month. Okay. Anyways, you must all decide amongst one another, one chest to choose. Oh. A number one through 26. Weird. Oh my gosh. 
Okay. And there's no clues. F for friends. I was saying, I was going to go for four. <laughs> you guys have a number you want? Fire! No! I'm joking, guys, please. Fuck. I was going to say four because there's a possibility of us. There, if there's 26 chests and there's six of us, there's like rounding down, it's four per person to choose from. There's also six of us. We could do six. We could also do six. Chad's probably like, yo, we should get the W. No we should deal. pick W. Oh, he's so he's we get a W. <laughs> oh, he would. would we? Wait, he is there letters would. too? No, it's just no. no it's well, just, if, it's oh. like, if it's like deal or no, no deal, then it's just all just chance. Them. There's no, there's no, yeah, there's no rhyme or reason. Yeah. The dean did say the dean, did say the dean did say that this trial includes something with luck. luck so yeah. Oh, okay, cool. I so will say. Inside each of the chests roll a dice are a randomized number of points that you can add no. to your final score. Oh. Oh. Andromeda, Andromeda's gonna raise her oh. hand and be like, um, I would like seven, please. Andromeda says what? seven. You guys all we have only to get decide. One chest, though, right? You all have, have to decide. To... Mm -hmm. Oh, for, for ourselves? One chest for, for all one six one of you. All of us? Oh, okay. <laughs> Seven's a good number. <laughs> seven is a lucky number. Two. Lucky sevens. <laughs> I rolled a 14. I lost it down. I just have 17. What about a 12? 14? That's Did our, you really both our... roll 14? 17 is a good number, and it has 7 in it. Guys! Oh, <laughs> 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 weird. 17 is a good number. I like that. <laughs> it is also what a about, what It's about his birthday, 12? too. Like a natural 12. Okay, okay. okay. Let's figure it out. Even or odd? Yes. Odd. 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 Okay, odd. we're going with odd. Okay. What were yes. you gonna say? Jake. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I try to begin a ritual to Ooh. figure out which chest has the most value? Ooh. Sure. We can Magical cheat our ritual. way through this, guys. And if Let's this is the we can have this. the viewers pick a number so that if it's bad, we can blame them and not us. Yeah. Sure, <laughs> we'll we'll have a we have a chat. <laughs> What number you uh, whole time? Pick a number. Pick a number chat. One two three six. I have faith in Julian. I have faith in Julian. I, I also have faith in Julian. What do you do? Do your ritual. Let me go to your uh, thing. Witchy man. Roll a d12 witchy for me. Man. With the witchy man. man. Oh, it's oh, the oh, ritual song. And it says He's the GM will give you one to four number. of the following conditions. That'll give us awesome. points okay. to do the ritual. What were the con- uh, let me go and let, let you find your page real quick. Or your thing. Ritual song. Oh He's going to find that box with the he points in it. Yeah. He's gonna, gonna get that go box. Go. I hate this He's more than the camera song, I'll be honest. Because it's more sensual. Because it's more sensual, yeah. it's more sensual. okay. It really is. <laughs> Why? Sorry, I have to- my thing's making me wild. Yeah. Find that box number, Julian. We're counting on you. Julian, robot. Let's go. Julian, robot. Yeah. Where's the? Give us the rap. Where's the rap part? Yeah. Wait, who's who's the who's the rapper in the group? Not me. It's Chad. Oh, Vay. Come on. Come on, Vay. Come on, Vay. Julian got a chest. We will take care of the rest. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, I think that's yeah. cool. Cool, yeah. yeah. We, Chad is kind of dumb, but we yeah. said he's Love yum. Him. He's kind of yum. Yep. And, yep. and if there is a <laughs> spider, then we will be more the wiser. And we yeah. Yeah. <laughs> will not have a spider. Which well, number are we going to pick? Okay. Yeah. Two or Ritual. will it be 26? Yeah. Hey! Oh! <laughs> Oh. Okay, <laughs> Julian, what did you roll? Beautiful. I you... rolled a twelve total. <gasps> oh my nice. god! Nice. Oh, natural twelve. Actually, dirty twelve, but it's a twelve. Baby. But still, we'll take the it. nastiest twelve. So the nastiest twelve. I'm, we're also cheating. Nice. So. I'm gonna choose the uh, with the with the one to four following conditions. Um, the best. I can give you is a lesser version or an unreliable or a limited version. Um, huh? So, uh, okay. it's, it's in uh, his notes. Um, so, I will tell you that 
Hmm. Numbers above the number eight and between eight and 23 will give you better chances of a higher number. I'm telling you, uh, 17, guys. 17, you're right. 17. Are you me? 17. You I'm gotta do so... 17. <laughs> I'm I'm so so you gotta do 17. 17. But also, Mom, don't blame it on me if it's not because I don't know. 17 matters. sounds like a I good number, you, not gonna lie. There, there are, there yeah. are, um, <laughs> That's just that's just has the higher majority of points between those numbers. There are okay. other chests within the other numbers that might have higher amounts. We have better chances. But those have better chances. Oh, yes, better. you have better that's chances good. in that area. Yeah. I say 17. Mm. Sounds awesome. You can go crazy and we can do six. Like the devil. <laughs> we'll just, like the we'll devil. just risk it. Like the devil. <laughs> like the devil. No, no, don't do that. You already said we're going to do odd numbers. Yeah, yeah we're going to do great. Right. Right. Let's do 17. Myself. I'm putting my vote in for 17. <laughs> okay. Well, let's be safe. Oh, let's yeah. do 17. 17? That's not safe. Save hands for 17. Are you sure? What do you mean? Don't yeah, tell us. We're not going to blame you. We won't blame you, I promise. Yeah. We won't blame you. Theron, you, you have big you. teeth. <laughs> 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 so there's, there's, so what the spell said is the ones within that range are like a good bet. Mm -hmm. The ones outside of it could be low or it could be really high. Yeah. But the ones yeah. inside that range. It's a good medium. It's a good medium. Yeah. Between Better chance of higher points in that area. People who play no. Dealer don't eat, don't don't no fuck. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I no, fucking no, dude. Do no, 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 you no. know? I fifteen three times in a row. Oh, that's all. I will just huh? tell you. I watched like three episodes of Dealer No Deal in preparation for this. Okay. So I, I, I enjoyed so it. I enjoyed it. I used it. to watch it obsessively. Uh, me because, too. I God, loved. I favorite. loved me too. Dealer No Deal. It was so good. So, this, so good. Oh no, that's too dark. Go, 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 now go. I want to watch uh, movie with you. Howie Mandel, that bald I love man. Howie Mandel. A good guy. Oh, he's so good. Great he's guy. so real. He really he is. is. He's so um, real. He's so real for that. He's so real. He's so real. He's so real. Um, <laughs> he's so genuine. Who wants to be the one? Who wants to be the one to pick up the chest? They. they. Oh, wow, that's they all going on. They go here. over to <laughs> number seven. Let's go, the rod. Let's go, Theron! Right. Yeah. Go. You pick up your chest, Theron, oh and the voice okay. says, please step back. Oh. And you step, step back, back, like back oh, towards oh, where the group is. Oh, okay. God. So, you have the number 17 the right next to you, Wait, and it stays... I have a question. Yeah. How high can it go so we know when we get the number, we know how well we did? I don't think oh, we yeah. you want to know, that, like, the highest amount of points? Yeah, because yeah. I want to know how much we lost or won. I'll tell you afterwards. Rude. Okay, okay, okay. It's going to be right. negative five points in the <laughs> <laughs> Minus two. I'm crying. I will say you cannot lose any. There are only oh, two sweet. games. Oh, sweet. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's so, awesome. That means that there was a lot of points that we could lose in the past two rounds in order for this to only be a gain. I mean, we so, did lose a fair amount of points in the last, don't, like, don't, don't, in the button don't, don't. one, I guess. And another team could also win. A lot of points that they're very Let's lucky. Let's hope everyone else sucked Sucks. really hard. I hope Nari really was lucky. doing really good. So I'm God damn it, Nari! Um, <laughs> I will Let's say, win. Always win. can you guys roll? Hey, we don't know what Ari's way. team is like. Maybe Ari's team is dog shit. We don't True. Know. She's carrying. True. She's carrying. She's carrying. She's carrying. She's carrying. She's carrying. She's carrying. Um, no matter who the yes. team is, she's carrying. Please roll for initiative for me. Oh, okay. shit. Twelve. Elvis. This is not happening. Use a. You can use your d6s. Okay. This is a very, oh, okay. very different type of deal or no deal, trust me. With higher stakes, as in, like, we could die. We have to fight Howie. <laughs> <laughs> he's, the, he's the final boss. Mega boss, Howie, Howie Mandel. Mandel. Howie Mandel. <laughs> now introducing your host. <laughs> Let me know the order whenever you get it. Uh, yeah, we have to fight okay. a bunch of models. Oh, oh shit! Okay, Farron, let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's go. I got wait. Oh, we're doing two. We're doing two. Sorry, I only did one. I only did six. I will say, yeah. out of so, out uh, of um a little bit meta, not really that meta. I'm putting Chadwick as last because um <laughs> I want him to go the less amount of time so you guys can go more. Valid. Um, okay. So okay. So I'm here for it. So, oh my god. Um, Farron. Arlo, Arya, Julian, Andromeda. This is a lot of pressure, guys. <laughs> and
and then Chad. Oh! <laughs> what happened? Oh my gosh! He that was like the first one I came up to. I ripped. I'm... It's the first one that comes up when you look up Shirtless Howie. <laughs> oh god. Shirtless Howie. Oh, damn. Oh, my gosh, you I look up. Get it, into it, it, sir. Sorry. I was joking, I was joking. Sorry, okay, the order. Arlo. Um, Arya. <laughs> I have to scroll up because of the Howie gifts. Oh, <laughs> I got it, I got it. There's no, so you're good, you're good. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's we're, the, we're just saying. It's stuff. hilarious. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Me just slowly scrolling past okay, a bunch of Howie Howie gifts. Okay, so <laughs> seventeen is removed from the batch. <laughs> wait, this is funny. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> are you wait, guys wait, ready? Yeah, we're not going to put seventeen. <laughs> yes, we're ready. We're ready. We're ready. You're okay. not going to find out what's in seventeen. I want to oh, find wow. out what's in seventeen. I oh yeah, that's how it. it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you don't find out. The what voice. The voice crackles mean? to life once more yeah. and says, Theron, please step forward okay. and listen carefully. Oh. Okay. I don't like that. Okay. <laughs> Theron. I do in fact. The step voice forward. comes on as you step forward and says, Theron, the world around you is burning. Explosions of heat and fire are shattering windows and glass around you. Homes are crumbling to char and ash. The pebbled ground beneath your feet feels like walking on embers. You are strong, strong and capable and determined. As you step out and past more flames and devastation, you see three groups of individuals all in situations of peril and likely, if no one is, into, is to interfere, situations that will surely end in their deaths. The first hey. is a family, a mother and a father holding tight to three terrified children small hands clutching at their parents torn and charred clothing the second is a group of elderly folk weak and brittle looking around entirely lost unsure of what to do to save themselves bodies trembling in the waves of heat surrounding them the last is a group of younger individuals seemingly of similar age to you they look strong and dense and determined as you do as well as capable or so you could only hope who do you choose to aid in the short amount of time they may have left? Do you choose to help a family compete, complete with young children? The elderly folk who are far too lost to save themselves or the sturdy, well-built and capable group who would most likely better your chances of survival? Please choose one. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this more than any other challenge that I've ever faced. That's really life. bad right now, Bob. It's okay. Are you it's all, okay. You're playing in character. It exposes our it's all, characters. All hypothetical. Uh, what did you say? Uh -huh. uh, yeah. You're picking. We're picking one. Uh, he's picking one to save. Is that what you said? Or he has to pick to one group to, to save. save. Or yeah, to, to help. Not to, to help. Okay. Mm -hmm. But to save. Or... Essentially to save. Yes. Yeah, because they um, said that, that they're going to die unless someone. Interferes, they will so, absolutely right. die if you do not interfere. You just have to choose which group you think you could Can... better help. You could go with the young people who would better your own chances of survival because they're all strong and capable. You could help the elderly folk who aren't going to know where to go. They're terrified and lost. Or you can help a family with three young children. They're not real. 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 That's not helpful. It's still stressful. Sorry. <laughs> it's real to me. <laughs> I'm. It's real to me too. I'm trying to. I'm stressed out. Theron, choose the family. <laughs> Don't talk. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wait, Theron, can we hear? The voice comes back and he says, Theron alone must make this decision. Sorry, yeah. the same body voice. <laughs> Come on, we didn't know that. Okay, 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 okay. Family. Old people. Ooh. Or youngins. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. So, if wow, you really don't want to make this Go. Whew. Okay, we're going with family. The family? All right. Nice. The voice comes back and says, please select six chests to remove from the room. Oh my god. <gasps> I wouldn't have chosen it 17 is if I knew that we had to 
remove them. I forgot how the Deal or No Deal worked. Well, the first yeah. one, isn't the first one <laughs> I also you have with you at all times? The first one you can keep till the end, or you can switch yeah. it at the end. Yeah. You can keep 17 if you want to. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Okay. Well, that makes it better. We're gonna so, get a banker deal. Choose do we all get to choose six? six? <laughs> there is no banker, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> silhouette. <clears throat> I considered it, but... <laughs> It doesn't really work the here. Is the spider, the it's Mark. Is That's who Mark is. It's Mark. He's the banker. He's the he is the banker. Mark is I hate Theron, which chest do you choose? Do I have to choose them, or does everybody else get to decide? You have to choose them. Sorry, dude. Oh, okay. Okay. Six chests. It's eight, eight through eighteen. Eight through twenty-three were the were the larger numbers. But you may between those two numbers. Those you are, are eliminating average, these. Good numbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are the average ones. Those are the average ones. Average leader. <laughs> I mean, this is a good way to do it, honestly. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, like, like, going in between, like, like the beginning and the end. So, valid. <laughs> okay. Um. And. Hmm. I'm so excited but nervous. This is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> He's going the logical route here. The up to chance. <laughs> Did you logical expect route. anything else? <laughs> no. You gotta work within the bounds. Work within and the bounds. And then maybe I'll throw a random one in also. Just, you know. Get your fun Alan. Be Alan. Okay. All right, we're gonna get rid of one. Okay. Four. Okay. Six. One second. One. Four. Six. I left you seven Andromeda in case you wanted to do something with it. Okay, one, four, and six. And then 14. 14. 24. 24. <laughs> and 25. And 25. 25. All right. Want to know what's funnier than 24? 25. <laughs> 25. I hate. Um, I, I can't. That. I really can't. That's funny. You select these six numbers, and after uh -huh. doing so, the small golden spiders that were locking the chests begin to crawl off of them. Their legs I unhook, see if I made the right and you hear resounding clicks and clacks emanating as they remove themselves and vanish beneath the chests. Their gold-plated legs tapping against the wood of the chests. They fill the air of the room with an eerie chorus of pitter-patter. I hate it. I hate it. Chest Thank number you. one contained ten points. Okay. Chest number four contained 300 points <laughs> okay so they go pretty high chest number six contained one point okay okay nice chest I'm number 25 so far, contained 90 points Ooh, okay chest number 14 God, 300 one was the highest chest number 14 contained 400 points <gasps> no! oh, oh, no! that's wrong chest number that's 24 rough. Contained seventy-five points. Maybe we got ten thousand points in honestly. Okay, there's no way to oh, Okay, all right. Sorry? Was that it? Yes, that was it. There's no yeah. way that four hundred is the top though. There's no way. Four hundred is too weird of a number to stop there. It has to be five hundred. It has to be five hundred. Five hundred's probably the top. And it's in seventeen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can Whoa. Just yeah, you. Somebody chose I like four in the beginning. And we didn't what? go with it. Oh, four? four yeah, it was yeah. 300. Mm -hmm. All right. 14, like, though. Okay, 14 yeah. is like the like random one that I rolled for. The riskier so. numbers. <laughs> okay. okay. I did one of the riskier numbers. Yeah, I I will say you did pretty good, I think. Um, good. Oh, that's a good thing then. Yeah, I only screwed oh, so up twice. Higher. So two out of We're six good. is bad, all right? The voice, no, that's not, that's the not voice comes back and says, Arlo, please step forward Thank and listen God. carefully. Calling you, Arlo. 
I'm done. I was like, I was, I was looking up the, 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 uh, the I Mobile look at TCD. Oh. Uh, so, okay, it's like, shoulders <laughs> in here and he's scared. I thank you. Okay. I want to die, but all right, let's go. You're not going to die. You're going to win. You're going to win big money, Arlo. Okay. You step forward, and Arlo, the voice comes on and says, you and your parents love the beaches of Hanburn in Ostradale. After all, it's practically all you can remember, isn't it? It isn't often, however, that they can take a break from working at the inn and the bar, but you ask them to for a weekend, and they always make time for you. Your father states he'll, watch to, he'll stay to watch over the inn, while your mother accompanies you. You invite Dimitri to come along as well. Scary Reef is known to be a dangerous part of Ostradel's ocean. But if one stays in the shoreline, it doesn't pose as much to worry about. You sit on the beach and watch as your mother and Dimitri navigate the waves, wading out amongst, amongst them. Within moments, everything changes. A storm brews overhead and the waves pick up in size. A monsoon of rain and wind throws water and waves in every direction. You realize your mother and Dimitri are at risk of being pulled further out to sea, where scary reefs, infamous coral and rock formations sit like daggers beneath the ocean's surface. You know you can save one of them. You have a difficult choice to make. What do you save, Arlo? Who do you save? Do you save your mother first, a poor swimmer that may not last as long as Dimitri? Or do you save Dimitri first, a fairly strong swimmer who may have a chance, but is someone you couldn't possibly stand the thought of losing? Please decide. <gasps> are they this they, are they watching me do this? Are they so they are they out there and I'm standing looking at them deciding? You're on you're on the beach of And Hanburn. everyone's behind me? Like the gang's behind me? It's do we see you. it too? It's just you. Oh my god. Are they watching me? Can they see me? What how do you mean? Like, like, us. Can, like yeah. Can they like, see the dark characters? Can we see the is this a very private? It's, it's simply it's assume. simply a uh, situation a situational prompt essentially um we just see it you're being asked to decide you see it in your head of course because they're describing this to you but no one else sees it they can only hear it arlo um is like pacing very quickly on the shore uh freaking out um trying to figure out if he wants like he's thinking about i mean he obviously knows that he can't go in and swim like that's not how this game works but he's thinking about it still and then he's getting angry with himself because he knows that he can't um not only because of the game but also because he couldn't if, even if it was real um all you have to do is decide <laughs> oh my god <laughs> it's not an easy choice um so <laughs> pretty i pretty real now doesn't it um so he's i feel like for a second he's kind of really in it so he mm-hmm. doesn't really he's having a hard time being like this is a game he's like he's thinking about going in the water he's putting his feet in the water he's saying like Get, hold on give me a second um i'm no I, i'll come i'm gonna come out hold on um and he's like freaking out and he's like yelling out to them and um i'm sure they're probably be like <laughs> they, he's not having a good time yeah they are simply struggling they are oh. struggling under the waves of the water and the uh rain um i think arlo would save his mom okay uh and really be upset about it valid arlo uh you make your decision and the voice comes back and says Please select five chests to remove from the room. Okay, he's not having a good time right <laughs> yeah, now. I um, imagine. <laughs> he's like, his demeanor has completely changed. Um, how did Vig, did you just pick randomly? What did you do? I think he rolled. Um, oh, you I rolled. I thought about like, like the specific. I'm going to pick all the numbers I don't like. Oh, that's valid. Valid. <laughs> I, you were, you were, you were just, I can't. That's um, <laughs> all right, I don't like I tried to do it like logically and then also by chance. I kind of like all the numbers. <laughs> How many would you like choose that you don't like? Uh, five. Can you say which ones um, we don't have to choose? Yes. Right now? We don't have one. It four, is. Four, Give me one second. Six. Here, it I'm going to write it down in the group chat. One second. Or, yeah, you can choose from two, three, five, seven, eight, nine. 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Wait, 17 is gone. Oh, yeah, sorry. I didn't cross it off my list. Yeah. Uh, so not 17. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, um, 23, and 26. Arlo chokes because uh, he's freaking out right now. Valid. Uh, and he picks the first numbers available. So two, four, five, six, whatever. Whatever those first two, numbers are. Two, five, six, seven, and eight. Two, yeah. three, five, and six, nine. seven, and two, three. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Because he just can't think right now. Okay, so you choose the first, like, the first ones Five. that come? Yeah, I okay. just picked the first batch. So, that's going to be Sorry, two. guys. <laughs> You're good. That's fine. Okay. Two, three. Chest two contains 200 points. Chest three contains five points. Oh, I thought you were going to say 500. <laughs> so yeah, I also thought Chest that five. That was that same thing. Chest five contains 350 points. <laughs> oh. Chest seven contains three points. Okay. Again. Chest eight contains 150 points. Okay, that's not great. Yikes. And that will be one, two, and one Sorry, more, guys. right? One, two, three. Oh, no, that was five. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's, that's five. five. All right. That's, that's oh, where you're at. Oh, I feel like the big 500s in the like, last couple or something. So. I want to say it's like Squid Game, so it's or in the ours. middle, but I don't know. It's, it's like what? It's the same thing, guys. I don't know. What did you say? Like I, I want to say it's like Squid Games, and it was the last one hmm. because nobody picks the last one. Interesting. That's just my brain going crazy though. Hmm. The voice crackles on also again and says, "Aria, please step forward and listen carefully." Good luck. Or okay. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. She walks forward. All right. Aria, you have worked years alongside your mother, so long it feels like an eternity. Sewing until your fingers are raw and bleeding and some nights staying up into the early hours of the morning to finish garments without any credit for your hard work. You feel that if your mother were to ever pass on the business and shop, that it should be left to you. But while she's still alive, she insists on being in charge of everything, including income. However, you pull a little stunt that leads you to suffer her wrath. She is wholefully disappointed in you, frustrated with your actions, appalled by your choices. She tells you that she currently has a magic pact sealed on the shop itself, that should she die, you will inherit the shop and all its remaining profit as well as its future profit. But she states that the pact is nearing expiration and that as soon as it does expire, she will have to write up a new one. She informs you that in said new pact, she isn't going to name you as the receiver of the shop after her death. As she feels indifferently now, she feels as though you will not, in fact, be able to manage such a responsibility. One evening, after a month has passed, your mother collapses. After being seen by several clerics, she is bedridden and of poor health due to a serious virus coursing through Drift Hollow. You visit her bedside and sit with her. Beside her on a small table rests a powerful elixir of which she has been taking in small doses to help with her pain. Tonight is the night that the magic pact expires. If your mother were to die tonight, the shop and all its fortune and profit is yours. Do you? Give her more than her required dose of elixir so that she can pass in her sleep and keep the magic pact valid? Or do you do nothing, dooming yourself and your future with nowhere to go once your mother passes after the short matter of days she has left? Please decide. Mm. <laughs> Beat that hoe. Beat that hoe. Beat bet that it hoe. all. <laughs> bet it all. That hoe. That hoe. This is not what I was expecting. Okay. These are so good. Bob. Thank you. Like, I'm like really, really loving this. Oh, thank you. But <laughs> not emotionally. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Good <laughs> like, storytelling, bitch. Right? Oh, God. Okay. So, um, your mother only has a few days left. So, either way, she is going to pass, but. Do I kill her? 
do you give her something that will cause her to overdose on this elixir and pass in her sleep peacefully Mm -hmm. and still get the shop or do you do do you feel you couldn't live with yourself if you did that you know, saying that doesn't make me decide anything. <laughs> I, I think you can live quite comfortably with your new shop. <laughs> Jazzy could. Mm. Could Aria? That's so is the question. Um, oh. And she can, like, imagine this, basically. Yeah, it's like you're experiencing it almost like in montages in your head so it's like you're seeing this all happen in your head as it's described in like vivid detail more than just like visualizing things that someone's saying to you it's like it's very vivid and very detailed like you're almost experiencing it but you're still standing in this room standing before this giant golden spider who's speaking to you i'm gonna make a roll just real quick to see where my brain's at okay because i'm feeling a little been a little um conflicted <laughs> not conflicted in the way you would think but in a different way valid Bay, you're back okay wait so <laughs> hello i was saying in chat that i feel like it's like you, it, this is kind of like Vecna, where like what did you, i oh valid you're seeing, you're seeing things with um, narrating where it's mm, not real aria is deciding whether or not she fulfills a magic pact and gets the shop that her mother owns her mother is very sick or um, her magic pack expires tonight. And if Arya is to give her an elixir to overdose her, she will get the shop. If she does not, the pact will expire and she will not get the shop. Wow. Kind of for- gonna... fortune over family, I guess. Do we have, we don't have a coin in here, do we? Cause what? I'm thinking of this, I'm stuck in between two thoughts of do i take this at face value does Ari take this at face value or does she try and think about first off how this is happening Mm -hmm. why this is happening like there is no why or how it just simply is happening no but not not in like in scenario like Mm -hmm. outwardly like Ah, are you looking at this test like how the hell do they know any of this Mm. Where is this also, coming from? Is this is there a point system for what you choose? Like, are they grading you? I, I don't know. know. We I'm don't not know. Gonna tell you. That's the thing. We don't know. These are just situations that they're giving like, you. You choose what you want to do. Like the best though. option is like, wouldn't the best option be to not yeah, kill your mom? Who? The best option for who? That's so true. Mm-hmm. It's like, that's the like, do I take that? <laughs> you would just like take the money and bye bye, or do I like? Well, obviously, like, yeah, yeah, you anyway, have to take everything into account, I suppose. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. so even, take a face value, odd, over- Either way, she is going to pass in a few days, so it's, I guess, oh, the okay. concept of- Okay. What's the okay. best option? So I rolled to take things aggressively, like, overthink it, which is great, because I'm already doing that. Um, <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I think- mm, Okay. Sometimes chat is so smart, it actually like blows my mind. True. They pick up on things real quick. Well, I'm trying to debate if, okay, if they're watching us do this test, if everybody is watching us do this test. <laughs> you right? are, you're going like ham thinking on it, okay. Yeah, well, because the thing is, it's like, I, I roll to overthink. Yes, there is a, there is a crowd of humans and people yeah. watching you guys watching do us. all of this. Debate, do I kill my mother and take her stuff in a, in a whatever situation, given that's how they're going to take it at face value, or do I let my mother's legacy go on, lose everything, just because I love my mother, mm-hmm. when they don't know anything about it? Mm-hmm. What would the humans want me to see? The humans... Honestly, screw the humans. I mean, true. The dean did say that honesty is imperative in this 
session oh, that's in this true. trial. And Arlo already chose the mom option, so like if you want to choose something a little bit <laughs> little more like morally gray, like it'll balance. Morally gray. You haven't out. seen Dimitri yet, but if you did, you would see how big of a <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh boy, I'd be upset. Okay. How big of an um, L that was to lose this <laughs> man. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, he's like flawed now. Like that's gotta count for something. Arlo oh, said he wasn't we'll any simp. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so what one more time. Decide. Yes. He kills mother, but inherits everything. If she, if you kill your mother tonight with the elixir, or like I murder my mother, she would pass in her sleep. Mm -hmm. You would inherit everything, all the fortune, the shop, everything that you own, um, that she owns. If not, if you do not do it by tonight, or if you let her live, she will pass in a few days. Mm -hmm. But can you live with yourself knowing that you essentially killed your mother? God, I just got another thought, and now it's even harder. Um, okay, <laughs> I'm... God dang it, this is really hard. Because uh, now I'm also thinking a about... Simply I know, a decision. but now I'm thinking about... <laughs> Is this even important to Arya? Is this even an important thing to Would her? she care? Would she want the shop? Would she want to inherit That's all of that? That's a wonderful question. We're not going to judge you on answer. your morals as Jazzy. No, we're just going to oh, see no. a little bit of character well, inside here. If we were judging here. my morals, this would be an easy choice. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> exactly. Because I, I know as Jazzy who, what I would choose. I don't know as Arya <laughs> what I would choose. That's valid. the problem. That's valid. Um, This fucking cicada's going out, and this is how I feel right now. Okay, no. I'm not gonna take up any more time for this. Uh, You're I'm good. Gonna, I'm. It's a hard decision. Hold on. Take all your time. Wait, I didn't make a decision. <laughs> okay, I kill my mom. <laughs> okay. Bye, mommy. Aria, as you Bye, say mommy. this, as you say this, um. Yeah. The voice comes back and says, please select four chests to remove from the room. Okay. Um, let me look at the list real quick. Um... Okay, I killed my mom. <laughs> An okay. Aria quote for, for the decades. Okay. I killed my mom. <laughs> I killed my mom. All right, so we have four. So four that we're taking out. Okay. I'm going to go... Okay. And remind me one more time. It was between eight and twenty-three. Eight and uh, that eight was and twenty-three. Even. I will say is even. There could be higher yeah. numbers outside of. There could not be. There could be lower numbers. There could be lower numbers. But that is the average of average. good numbers. Okay, I'm gonna go with. I feel bad, but I don't really like this number. Um, it's valid. I'm gonna go with 12. Okay. 23. Mm -hmm. Fuck the disciples. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the disciples. Um, I don't want them anywhere else. True. 12, 23. Um, fuck. Some of these numbers are just sticking out to me and I don't want to choose them. That's valid. And those are the ones I have. I just don't know what I don't want to choose. Um, Two so more. 12, 23. 10. 10? Uh-huh. Okay. And... 21. 21. Okay. I don't like the sound of that one. Chest 10 contains 500 points. Wait, which number was that? 10! God damn it! Chest okay. 12 contains 270 points. God damn. <laughs> I'm going to be so sad if <laughs> 17 has like, less than 100. I'm so sorry. 
You're, it's not your fault. It's up to chance. It's so funny, though, because, oh, like, yeah. as you were saying these we numbers, that. I was also, like, thinking of numbers, and I also would have gotten rid of 10, so. No, valid. <laughs> if you been, I would have just... gotten rid of 10, too. Chest 21 bitch. contains 25 yeah. points. Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, 21. Right. 21. 21. 21. Chest is... 23. 21 is 5. Oh god, no. what is it? No. Say it Chest on. 23 contains no. 700 points. What? Oh, oh, so it goes higher! Oh. It goes higher! It, it goes to... higher. It goes oh. higher. There's no way it stops at 700. 1,000 points! 1,000 points! 1,000 points! In our we chest! Really are, we really are not doing great. Oh, no, we are because we have a million okay. points in our chest. Yeah, we have, <laughs> we have the, the grand prize. <laughs> There's a million chest. dollars in our chest! We it's have so real. much confidence in number Okay, so wait, like, seven, seven, I, I do not have this confidence, guys. I'm I do. Either. I do. I feel. God. I feel confident. All right. Okay. So, what, okay so sorry. I forgot right which ones I picked. I picked 10, 12, 10. 21, and 23. Mm. 10, 12, Ooh. 21, 23. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <sighs> <Yeah>. I was <sighs> also thinking of 23, though. Like, I would have gotten rid of that one, too. Valid. Yeah, there's only so many you can get rid of now. We're coming down it's to the It's not even the ones that I can get rid of, it's the ones that I want to keep. Yeah, valid. Yeah. I, I look at them that. and I'm like, I want to keep that number for some reason. I could what never go on keep? Deal or No Deal, it would stress me the fuck out. Same. So... What, what, what ones do you want to keep, out of curiosity? I, well, I, I, for some reason I want to keep 26, I don't know why. And I really okay. want to keep 18. Because <laughs> it's a lucky number, it's boss lucky number, it's their birthday, and it's our anniversary day. Three Wait, are real? Our lucky numbers yeah. are right next to each other. So eighteen, I was number. Eighteen. I don't know why. 18. That's just that's just something Whether I know. Our birthdays are, are lucky but numbers. Is there's funny. also a possibility yeah. that because it's their lucky <laughs> number, they would go against the grain and make it the worst number. So <laughs> that's the I mean, right. that's possible. That's well, a possibility. The voice comes back and says, "Julian, please step forward and listen carefully." Ah. Uh... <sighs> We'll Good forward. luck, man. You got this. Julian, as you step forward, the voice comes back and says, Julian, you've figured out a way to bypass the barrier bracelet on your wrist so that you can freely use your magic here on Earth. You take the train to a quiet part of town in the darker hours of the evening and find a silent, secluded area to practice your magic. You're doing so under the radar, avoiding the eyes and ears of the humans that reside here, as you know quite well, that you shouldn't be doing what you're doing. You find a seemingly abandoned area, and once you're ready, you begin casting spells here and there. You cast a particularly violent spell after a moment, eager to practice your craft, but it backfires and hits a man who is sleeping in an alleyway nearby. Upon closer inspection, he is a human who appears to be homeless by his clothing and dirty cheeks, and your spell has just killed him. Do you, do you put in an anonymous report about the man's death with the knowledge that the humans will still be able to see that magic was the cause of his passing? Do you confess to your crime knowing full well you will surely be imprisoned for both the use of magic and murder? Do you simply leave the area unseen, knowing the chances of someone finding this person or missing this person are severely lacking? <laughs> the humans aren't gonna like this. Wow. Well. They will not. That's rough. That's rough, buddy. What the you ultimatum. Sarah, what did you? Oh, you did the. What was the right? anonymous one again? The was anonymous one, one was um, put in an anonymous report about the man's death, but with the knowledge that the humans will be able to see that magic was the cause of its passing, therefore starting an investigation of sorts. He'd just leave. He would leave? He All right. would leave. Interesting. The person on the speaker says, or the spider, I guess. It's not really a person. But um, the speaker says, please select three chests to remove from the room. <laughs> the humans are gonna... Oh. <laughs> so not Julian doesn't give, give a fuck. And, right. and he shouldn't. And he shouldn't. There are enemies. No, he really should. He's right. 
it's not even it's not even that option but the fact that it's a homeless man that no one will miss and julian's like <laughs> no i'm kidding it's not so much that no he if, knows that no one will miss if that i he doesn't want to bring yeah, consequence if i were in this position i honestly feel like people. i would do nah. the same thing because the characters in, in twilight did so much worse yeah well it's well, like well, in a society where you are like looked at as like the enemy like the last thing you need is for humans to find out you murdered someone yeah like yeah. your life is gonna be utter just, hell exactly it like perpetuates the, the scenario effects, yeah the scenario good. changes that yeah. entirely it's like not even a question of morals at that point because it's like a safety it's, it's like your own security yeah your survival yeah and your race is survival right. too exactly also i gotta choose mm -hmm. six chests and then it was five now it's four and then it's three and like we're just uh I don't see. even worry about it. Poor Bay had to I'm a little worried about it. I'm actually a lot worried about it. So uh, <laughs> 9, 13, and 20. 9? You did that so fast. Oh my god. 13 that was so crazy. and 20. How did you do that? I feel like, yeah, I know numbers. I'm just going to pick random words. So 9, 13, and 20. Mm -hmm. 9, 13, and 20. Or like that meme with the brain that keeps getting more expanded and bigger in <laughs> Julian's. The brain that's like, oh. Chest number 9 <laughs> contains 250 Wait, points. Wait, 9? 250? Mm-hmm. Chest number 13 contains 375 points. Oh. Chest number 20 contains two points. Good job, Founder. I'm so nervous that, like, that was really good. is going to be one point. <laughs> Sorry? Say again? I'm so nervous that 17 is going to be, like, <laughs> one point. I thought we already you, were you already disqualified one point. Woo. We could get two points. Oh, they're all different? Yeah, I think mm -hmm. they're... Can we see well, which ones that we be five points qualified? Or or which ones you've disqualified? The ones we you have, have you the ones you have left is 11, 26, 15, 16, 18, 19 and 22. You can put it oh, in. Oh, I mean like the point totals so we know like Oh, what's left? Relatively oh, how like safe and how unsafe we are. Oh, no, I'm not going to tell you. No. Oh. <laughs> no, so we should have kept no. track. No. Fuck. No, I did. I kept track if you want me to like do the math right now. I can do it. Of the all thing the is, you point done anything more than yeah, 700. Of there's points. been nothing more than 700. Yeah, I mean, there's still a possibility so, so of us less. going above 700. Yeah, there could be Maybe. 800. There could be 900. Yeah. My main worry is just how many thousand? small numbers are left. <laughs> That's fair. Valid. Valid. Well, we got. Well, I will we... tell you, <laughs> there are two smaller numbers left. Oh. Oh, okay. And how many do we have left? Left. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left without seventeen. So we have eight one, left. One, two, three, four, five, right. six. That's not too bad. Seven, of odds. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not the worst odds. You kept a lot of the average ones, so. Um Well, I am pretty average. <laughs> <laughs> the voice comes back. <laughs> the voice comes back and says, Andromeda, please step forward and listen carefully. Okay. <gasps> Andromeda, you step forward. I'm and the sorry. voice comes back and says Back at home, Andromeda, in the comfort of your little grove, amongst your ancestors and your vast family tree, you're awoken one night in a deep sleep by your brother. He looks distraught, his hands are shaking, and he's shaking you violently awake. When you ask what the matter is, he tells you, in a broken voice, that in all his rebellion he's murdered a member of your clan, an elder, in fact, someone extremely important to the sanctity of your grove and he's done so in cold blood. He tells you he hasn't been able to sleep and informs you that you're the only one he felt he could trust with his confession. The next morning, an innocent member of your grove, not of any relation to you, but someone you've seen around before, is arrested for your brother's crime. The grove threatens them with execution for the crime. Do you inform the grove of your brother's wrongdoings, encourage him to confess or stay silent in his confidence of telling you such a secret. Holy <laughs> damn. Um, can she ask him, like, would she have been able to ask him why? Would he have responded if she'd been able to? Or he killed them in cold blood. Just, just, just killed them because he, he felt them. like it? He, he rebelled and he killed them. And he doesn't know why, but he did it. And he did it in cold blood for no reason. This is so fucked up. 
It's so fucked up because I Thank know you. for a fact that <laughs> humans are judging us based off the human condition, which is not being able to choose between a good choice and the ones that we love. And they're acting like watching them in their little stupid couch room. And they're like, oh, wow, we can't trust these people because they would kill the, this person as if they wouldn't do the same thing. <laughs> um, I love this. Can she... I love you. Can she, is, so she, is she seeing this like in clips, right? Like in yeah, her eyes, like, like, a in, like a montage. Eyes, is she yeah. is she stuck within it as she makes her choice? Is there like a waiting room she's in, kind or is of. it she back? It's like it's like okay. So imagine like when you're playing a video game and the choice thing pops up, like until dawn. It's like yeah. that background noise that's just like floating there, and it's like you have your choices before you. The slow motion, mm -hmm. like everything goes. It's in like slow -motion. everything goes in slow motion, and you're seeing this laid out before you, and trying to figure like out what to quarry. decide. Mm-hmm. And she's gonna like look at, look at, like think of her options, and then she's gonna like look up to the ceiling. She's gonna be like, "He he wouldn't do that." The voice comes he... back and says, "You must decide." But you got it. You got it wrong. He wouldn't ever do that. Make your decision, please, or punishment will be awarded. I wouldn't say anything. And with that Andromeda, the voice says, please select, I believe, three, no, three, two, two, It'd be two, two chests yeah. that you would like to eliminate. This is very horrible, but I love it. <laughs> um, this is a ride, honestly. Well done, no, Bob. thank well you, done. thank you. I'm eating it up, every crumb. No. Oh. Thank you. It's such a cool way to like learn backstory and like character Thank traits. Like, very nice. I but... genuinely was just also very curious to to learn more about your characters and what they would decide because it's kind of a learning thing for me too. That's cool. So valid. It's a little test. <laughs> yeah. She is gonna choose twenty two. Twenty two. Because that is the age of her brother. Oh. And. Hmm. One more. Fifteen. Fifteen? Twenty-two and fifteen. No other reason for fifteen. Valid. Just cause. Twenty-two has fifty points. Fifteen has four hundred and fifty points. Okay. My bad, guys. Worse. You could be so much worse. You got one of the you small ones out. One, one out of two. It's like 50 points. That's really good. It should have made it. One more small one. I think. Mm -hmm. Probably. Huh? One more small one. There's one more small one. There's one more small one. Chadwick. 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 Come on, Chadwick. I did, I did write one for Chadwick. Would you guys like to hear it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna sick the chat on Chadwick. <laughs> Chadwick, bring out the money. Go get him. Uh, the voice bring comes the on. Money, the voice comes on and says, "Chadwick Lawrence, please step forward and listen carefully." Oh, he's cute. Lawrence. <laughs> Chad he's steps cute. forward. He's cute. Um, All right. Kansas Lawrence man. He looks nervous for the first time in a while. Um, and the voice says, know. "Chadwick, Ever. you're back at the beginning." young and immature and naive once more, and you cannot control your transformation when you change. You wolf out in ways that prove dangerous, always flailing your arms violently, clawing at the air, snapping your jaw in agony. You have no control over yourself, and one day you're beginning to change and you cannot contain yourself. You're about to lash out so aggressively you could kill someone. The people closest to you are your mother and a small child. Who do you face? Who do you choose to claw and bite and maul to death? Your elderly mother or an innocent child with the entirety of their life ahead of them? Oh my lord. What does he pick? Chadwick stands there and he's looking at the spider and he's like, Bruh, I'm so unstoked right now, bruh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, of course. Stupid. <laughs> Me too. So and unstoked. he says, um, Biggest dad. He says, uh, <laughs> You got this, Chad. Chad. I mean, he smoked too much weed. I'm gonna go with the fact that, like, I don't know this child, and so I'm gonna choose my mom. Oh, to kill? Yeah. To kill. Oh, to, to, to save. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm what gonna save mean? my mom, and oh. I'm gonna face the child and maul the child to death. 
Oh, okay. Thank you for the yeah. question. Harlow takes yeah. a step away. <laughs> <laughs> at least he's admitting it. Like, at least he's very yeah. much like, I'm gonna do it. Well, also, realistically, like, a dog probably wouldn't, or, like, a wolf probably wouldn't, like, attack their family, but they would be, yeah. like, more likely to this attack a stranger. This is true. That's a good so. point. A, yeah, they don't know them. Oh, oh my lord. Choice, okay. Chadwick chooses. He has to choose Logical. one chest. Oh, god. Now the pro li pro pro lifers are gonna come out. Are you out. gonna roll? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> uh, I am gonna roll to see what he uh, oh, does. Oh, just defeated. And I'm gonna do it <laughs> until... I'm gonna do it until I get a number that... Is That's on the so thing. Is on the board. Yeah. Wait, he's rolling for him. I hate this. I, I hate, also hate this. this. Oh wow! I actually, I rolled my d12 twice and it added up to the number. So, which one? He is going. The y'all are so fucking lucky. He's gonna go no with eleven. That's the one I wanted. That's the one I wanted. Eleven had. Eleven had, I was mouthing 11 11 last time. had twenty points in it. There are four chests remaining. Okay. 16, 18, 19, and 26. Okay. Four chests the, the voice comes back and says, Theron, please step forward and listen carefully. Why again? No, no. I chose six. No. This is unfair. I chose not again. Six. I just more of anyone else. Please I step not forward. Get another turn. Rama. Please step forward. Wait, so he, wait, one more thing, Bub. He mm -hmm. chose 11. Right. Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. It's 16, 18, 19, and 26 left. I also have and it written down, so no mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. 15, 18, 19, and 26. Mm hmm Okay. Theron, do you step forward? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess so. Okay. Theron. <laughs> Theron. I'm not happy about it, though. You find yourself falling no in love. Oh. <laughs> the person... The person is wonderful, kind, beautiful, and even better, they seem to be falling in love with you just the same. I hate it here. The I relationship here. is perfect. You like similar things, share common interests, and you find that you could see this person being someone you could love forever and deep into eternity. What if Arthros is watching right now? But I you find this. that you've been dishonest. <laughs> Wait, what? But you find that they've been dishonest with you oh. about something. Something big. Something life-changing and drastic. They tell you that you won't love them once they've told you the truth. In fact, they inform you that not only will their secret burden you, but it could also put you and everyone you love in danger. Do you ask them to tell you anyway? Do you end things now while you still can? Do you continue on in the relationship blissfully unawares? Wait, so knowing would be dangerous? Knowing would be dangerous to you and everyone you love. <laughs> I mean, if I only love this person and, like, maybe one other person, that's... Well, like anyone you risk. know as well. Anyone that's intertwined with you. Oh. Okay, mm -hmm. well, no, that makes sense. Yeah. Family, friends, um, all of the above. Curiosity killed the Theron. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Curiosity killed Possibility the dragon of born. killing the Theron. Possibility. Possibility. Yes. They said it was a possibility that you and everyone you love would be in danger. Right. It could but also it put you. Happen. It could what also put and you and, I love? and everyone but, you know uh, in danger. Yes. It could put you. Could. But that's what the person is saying. They are also saying that it would burden you. Well, like that's garbage so no 100 percent <laughs> burden you as if, i mean as if not knowing is not burden in itself said already like that's true. i don't know i'd rather not live with like a big secret in between us um i would ask them politely if they were comfortable with telling then i would love to know either way the voice says so you ask them to tell you anyway yes right. if they say no i'll respect that and we'll continue on but um if they tell me that'd be nice. Well, Consent king. So, the voice comes back and says, Theron, fuck off. Please choose a single chest. Oh, good. I only have to choose one. Um, I'm open to suggestions if that's an option. Nope. You must decide on your own. Oh my god. <laughs> Just send off the vibes, guys. I have a question. But, Just because yes. I haven't. <laughs> um, I haven't watched Deal or No Deal in a very long time. Do we just keep going down until there's only two boxes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Wait, 
And then you can yeah. swap it if like if you, you feel like this is the luckier one. Yes. Yeah. I love this so much. Like it's you narrow it down. Which we That's do know horrible. that all of the smaller numbers are gone now, so like what's left is pretty good either. Wait a second. But seven to choose the last one? Fuck yeah. that! Actually it would be Fuck that. it would actually be Andromeda. Oh, it's oh. On... Andromeda Good. Andromeda will be choosing the swap. She'd be choosing. Oh shit. Oh this great so guys. <laughs> awesome. What number do you um, choose? I will say though, like we're, out the vibes. we're down to like only pretty good numbers right now, and then oh, 17 boy. could be a really low one. We don't know anything. Is there about anything? It. Less so it than... is kind of safe to swap, just throwing it up. As if Jade will tell us. As if, as if the boff. <laughs> Bay, yeah, you wouldn't tell us down. anyways, but I'm just throwing it out there for us to make the decision. Informed. You've been writing down everything, right, Bay? Uh-huh. What is, like, the lowest high number we've gotten? Was it 100? Uh, 150, one I sec. think. Pretty sure it was 150. That's the lowest? Yeah. That was the so lowest was no high. That was the lowest, like, high number. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, I'm, like, sweating. Above 100? <laughs> I, would, I would be good with anything above 100 so true i would too that's our last so number. we've gotten but 700 under 100 is not that great we've gotten have we gotten what's the highest number we've gotten 700 yeah okay so there's a possibility of have we gotten 500 yes we've gotten yeah, 600 we got 500 um we haven't gotten 600 so there's a possibility of 600 also keep in mind there could be like 550 or 575 or like yeah. any of those in-betweeners. Yeah. True. I'm just but thinking we probably, probably don't we have, have anything under 100 left on the board, so. Yeah, with all the boxes that we have, mm -hmm. how many are going to fit into the big category? Well, that I have no idea. I don't know what the like, no, no, max no, I is. Know, yeah. yeah, I think it's mm -hmm. about. Okay. Yeah, um, it could be a thousand, or I mean, seven hundred is the highest we've gotten. So true, or it could be. And so there's one of those in betweeners that we haven't gotten, so I feel like we might have some more of those. True, true. What number do you choose, Theron? Oh God, Mister Rasboy. Raffles, if you must. <laughs> it's between sixteen and nineteen. That's I'm trying horrible. to decide. Mm, valid. I want to keep eighteen because of the birthday thing. Maybe I don't know, just because. Just do whatever. I, I also want to keep twenty six, just because I kind of buy into that a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm suspicious because you made seven a really low number, and I'm scared that your reverse psychology. Like, I don't know if you, yeah, you picked these silly. numbers or if you just did it if you entered it into like a website so that it was all random. Like, but I feel like if M, I feel like I feel like if Jazz knows. That 18 special, then you would know that Jazz would pick it. So, are you sabotaging us ahead of time? Yes. The answer is always yes to them sabotaging me. Just as a no. <laughs> or should I get rid of 18? I should. I should get rid of 18. Oh my god, I don't know. I. I'm it's curious. I'm gonna get rid of 18. I just want to know what right. it is. So I want them to tell me immediately. So I'm gonna do that. Chest right. 18. I want them to tell me immediately. 18 I mean, is I gone. What is it? How, how much was in there? Chest 18 contained 100 points. Hey, yo! That was a good team effort. Wow, <laughs> that, was good. that was good. See? Sabotage. 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 I don't know if it, but we're going with it. The voice comes back again and oh, says, oh. Arlo, if you could please no. step forward and listen carefully. Let's go. My man's what silent. He steps forward like a, a small little stick. Arlo, you find yourself in a wildly unique, impossible situation. Oh, You've boy, been blessed with an intricate new power. You can heal any injury or any illness, but only once. You decide oh, to keep hold of it for the most serious of emergencies or situations, and the perfect time soon arises before you. You find yourself standing between two people you've come to care for. In one seat sits Claude Meek. In another sits Nari Cesro. <gasps> Claude sits with a prolonged illness, a sickness that will certainly kill him eventually, but not for several months yet. Nari sits with a poisonous wound that will surely kill her in a matter of minutes. Nari. Who do you choose to save? The outsider who I will die Nari. soon, but quickly? Or the outsider yep. who will die far in the future, but slowly? Nari. Okay. I choose Nari. Interesting. Okay. So, 
Love that Claude is definitely watching this. Yeah, um, I know. <laughs> but I bet but Nari's Nari. watching it too. Yeah. It's Nari. No, it's Nari. I have. Oh, but we can spend time with Claude. That's not even an option. I'm sorry. You'd I, spend like, more I time with Claude. you'd spend more time with Claude, but he would die slowly and painfully, essentially. So, but. Uh, sorry, dude. I, I, <laughs> you get more time fan. with him though. I'm such a fan, and even if I had more time with him, like Nari's like valid, like Nari's. Yeah, and she'd be gone no, in a Nari's, matter. She'd Nari's be gone in a matter of seconds, so you wouldn't even mm -hmm. get to say anything to her. Yeah. No, I. Yeah, no way. Because you could at least spend your time with Claude before he dies. Um, so and he would know. also be so like he would be so like don't choose me. Also, like he wouldn't be mad about that. Maybe, maybe he might get mad. <laughs> I'd be mad. <laughs> Arlo, oh. please choose okay. a chest. Twenty six, sixteen, or nineteen. Um, I'm gonna go with nineteen because that's usually my go-to number. Nineteen. Oh, if it's a thousand points, I'm gonna literally leave. <laughs> chest nineteen contains hundred and seventy-five points. <gasps> That was good. 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 Yes. Beautiful. Excellent. Oh, done. Excellent. Thank, you, know, you, have no it. thank you very much. Wait, how much was it again? One. One seventy-five. I'm having a great time. Arlo is not having a great time. <laughs> Arlo is not. I'm glad you're having word. a great time. That was so good. Um, Just don't be. My excitement is not related to how Arlo feels at all. <laughs> the voice comes back and says, "Arya, please step forward and listen carefully." Ooh. I can hate this shit. She's just like mumbling, just like, oh god, I hate it. I hate it. I'm doing this. Please stop, please. Okay. Arya, mm -hmm. you find yourself in a position of particular choice. Only days prior, one of your friends has gone missing. You don't know where they are, nor do you know who took them. You search for them, going out into town and walking the streets, desperate for any sign of them. A particularly dark and unnerving man approaches you the next time you go out searching. He says he knows where your friend is. You ask him to please tell you, please. But he tells you that he can only offer you a choice. He can give you the location of your friend or he can offer you salvation from your deepest, darkest fear. The fear you think about every time you look in the mirror. He can take it all away and entirely for free. You'll never have to worry about what you fear becoming true ever again. What do you choose? The location of your missing friend or the erasure of your darkest lament? Oh, fucking hell, shit! Oh, damn, okay! Oh, um... You know ooh. what that fear is, obviously. I do! Oh, okay! Oh, dear! Oh, okay. Uh, why do I keep getting the ones that I have to think really hard? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a nat one! That gave me nothing! Oh. Um, she's taking a while. I'm gonna- I'm gonna say canonically longer than it did at the previous one. For the first one. Mm -hmm. Yes. But, uh, but, um... She's eventually gonna, like, look up and say, um... <laughs> True. Um, sorry, I just read it there instead. That's okay. Uh, uh, very sad. I'm... Good job, Sean. I'm going to choose... Uh, my friend. The location of your friend? Mm -hmm. Alright. Arya, please select a chest to eliminate. You have, so we have 16, 16 or 26. 26. 16's been riding under the radar this whole time. I can't tell if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Three of us have already adopted to this. 26 is a good vibe because it's the last number, so there's a possibility of it being really big but mm -hmm. that's a really really big thing to put on it but 16 is right next to 17. you going with 16. and that gives me ick that gives me the ick you want to go with 16. Okay. not yet one oh, second okay i'm gonna roll and see which one i get closest to and then i'm going with that okay 
Okay, we're going with 16. Yeah, we're going with 16. Okay. So say bye bye. I don't like you doing that. That was scary. Chest 16 has 550 points in it. It's okay, boys. It's okay, boys. <laughs> Take a breath, boys. <laughs> the last chest that remains is chest 26. That was a blow. Ooh. Which is your theory? Which is that, Jazz? Which That's is your theory, theory that twenty six is the last one, and it's going to be the best one? The voice. That's my thing. The That's voice so comes on and says, "Julian and Andromeda, please step forward and oh, listen God. carefully." Oh God! Both of them Ooh. together. Twin moment. <laughs> As you both step forward, the voice turns to you first, Andromeda, and says, "Turns to you." In theory. I know, sorry. sorry. <laughs> no, you're good, you're good. In theory. Um, Spider just looks at you directly. He um, is, yeah. Uh, that would be yeah. spooky. Um, Andromeda, you find yourself needing to make a particularly difficult choice. Your brother makes it very clear that he doesn't wish to stay at the Grove any longer. That he wishes to leave and never look back, see what the world has to offer, what he can achieve. He informs you that his parents... Your parents don't care about him anymore, that they want him gone, that they couldn't care less whether he stays or goes. This is true. They admit to it being so. However, before your brother leaves, he asks if you want to accompany him to go on an adventure, explore the unseen. He practically begs you to go with him. The rest of your family begs you to stay. They say how much they love you, how much they need you with them, alongside them. And they remind you of how much they do for you and how much they have always done for you. Of how the only thing your brother has done for you has been getting you in trouble. Two sides beg desperately for your company. Who do you choose to go with? And Drama's gonna raise a hand and be like, um, I actually have some notes for you about this choice. The voice doesn't say anything. Because they didn't want him to leave at all. It was quite the opposite, so those aren't my parents. The voice says again, this is what is true. Please make a decision. Eh, that's debatable, and I know it's, it's not true. Um, he still says nothing. He just waits. Well... Um, well, if in that universe, if those were my parents and they were kicking my brother out rather than the opposite, I would have gone with my brother because if they didn't want him there, I don't agree with that. They wanted him back, so I'll go with him. The voice then says, Julian, please listen carefully. Cool. Julian, you find yourself <laughs> you find yourself in a predicament. In a disastrous turn of events, a fire starts in the culinary classroom at Ravenwood Academy. The flames begin to eat up the chairs, the desks, the books, the appliances. Your teacher hurries everyone out, and you all hurry towards the door in a panic. However, you realize you've left your very special spell book atop your desk. When you turn back, you notice the teacher is stuck beneath a fallen ceiling plane. If you do not go back for your book, you could help them. You could guarantee their life. You could lift the debris and escape with both lives intact. Or you could save your book from turning to ash, from crumbling to a pile of embers, and allow your human teacher to die. What do you choose? They sound very judgmental. Julian says, um, before I answer that, uh, that particular question, I would like to very quickly just address the previous question uh, that was asked, because I'm very sure that there are plenty of humans out there that are very appalled at my decision, and I would like to make an addendum to my choice and say that I would still go with what I decided with, but I would stay with that homeless person for a little while and mourn their death, which is significantly more than plenty of the people watching would do. Mm -hmm. I would go for my spellbook. 
Very noble. I take myself. Very noble. <laughs> I love Julian. Love that guy. Babe. Julian, I love that guy. Oh, up. I'm Julian, oh, yeah. Julian, I love that guy. If Julian's gonna do one thing. He's gonna be saving that book. You know what I mean? Napoleon. It's we kind of fucking platonically romantic. ship Napoleon and Julian. We've been over this. I platonically? Know I know. Platonic. Less platonically. <laughs> I am not fucking a book. <laughs> Caress those pages. Caress those pages. I am not no, fucking I... a book. <laughs> quotes, <laughs> quotes for the Indra for the uh, Ravenwood uh, quote channel. I'm not fucking a book. Um, I'm not a book. famous Julian quote. I am not fucking a book. The voice states, um, "Julian and Andromeda, please decide whether you would like to swap the chests." Or keep them the you same. You both get to decide? That must Ooh. be nice. <laughs> Ooh, Julian, you are good at these decisions. What do you think? Hmm. Well, this entire sort of game is entirely up to chance. There's no really much playing mm -hmm. into it, aside no. from guessing which the numbers voice, have been out and the, the voice possibility comes back of... on mm. as oh, you say this back. and says, one of these chests has the highest number in the game. Oh, cool. How did we do oh. that? Um, I don't um, fucking know. Voice. Fuck you. We actually wow. did that. Yeah, you actually did oh, that. Yes. I haven't touched. Wow. I have it all of the points. It? All of the points have been as they have been. I have not messed with them. It and they. Jazz, we put our whole policy into this. Oh my yeah. god. This is gonna be so fucked wait, if we wait, get rid of this. This is amazing. And one of them is what? Just like probably. That's mid. all he says. He just says one of these yeah. chests has the highest number in the game. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go back voice. to. I'm sorry. Andromeda? Voice! No, yeah, voice. Excuse me, Mr. Voice. Go ahead. Um, can Mr. I, voice? um, like, sniff it? Like, the the thing? Like, you know, use all my senses rather than just luck? The voice comes voice. back and says, um... <laughs> my sixth sense. Luck. Should you like... <laughs> should you... Six senses. Should you wish so to embarrass yourself? Certainly. Uh -huh. But you will not garner any information what from doing so. What a voice. Well, oh, voice. I mean, you didn't say whether embarrassing myself would be not doing that or doing it, so I'm going to do it, okay? He says nothing. <laughs> okay. And she's going to walk forward and, like, <laughs> you sniff it? Sniff, sniff and lick the, 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 the book. The spider? No, like the, 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 like the, like the, the wood of it. Thing. The, the wood of it. <laughs> the wood. Can I see what kind of wood it is? Can I sniff it? The wood. The wood. The wood. You you get the no, wood, no information wand. from this. No information. No. Nope. Can I can I listen to it? Can I hear anything? Still like, no information. It? Can I poke can the spider? Is it alive or is it like a statue? It moves when it unlocks, but it is Ooh. currently not alive. Oh. Can I can I stare at it really hard and try to like insight check it? You can do all of these things, but none of them are yeah. gonna give you any information. <laughs> okay. Um, I rolled an eight for insight. Anything? Nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, Intromita. Mm. Uh, you good? Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> She's yeah. gonna try to walk back. She's um, so cute. I love her. <laughs> usually, with these sort of things, I, I would. It seemed. To at least from the spell that I cast, I think I have greater confidence in swapping. So it's, it's, uh... But the better chances were 8 to 23, and... Am, 20 am I allowed to talk about average. Average. Those were the average, average chance. good chances. The, also, the ones also, on the other ends were either high or really low. So this yeah, could be so the that there's so that point. Also, there's the another point that the odds of us picking the 1,000... The 1,000 points is... on the first choice is so low and much lower than the odds of both choosing the last one to be a thousand points because that actually makes sense with with jazz's theory i mean i'm down I'm it down. looks the best i i don't i'd be sad if we switched and it was wrong with that feels like it makes the most like there's sense. just a lot more points going towards 20 26 being the better yeah, option yeah yeah and like frozen only only because, 26 has better even if odds. you're only going off of one thing being that 16 was in the middle or 17 was in yeah. the, yeah. the average. Because if that was less of a risk, the then the risk wasn't as high. The high risk was 26, which is exactly. out of the range of 8 to whatever the number was. Yeah. Hey, I'm voice. I think I'm we so comfortable with that. Yeah. Boy, uh, voice. 
Oh god, oh god. Which one has the highest number in it? <laughs> there is no response. <laughs> There's no response. It's, no response. it's <laughs> better to ask. <laughs> it's okay, that's so okay. candid. Good question. I thought I'd ask nicely. <laughs> I asked myself. <laughs> so you decide to swap? Let's swap it. Okay. Let's swap. Oh my lord, I'm so nervous. Oh, I'm so stressed. <laughs> Why swap? I feel good about this. The last no chest, all of the chests that have already been opened vanish <laughs> before you. And the last chest sits in the middle. 26. What is that? What is that noise? That's me. Drum roll, oh like, my god, that scared me. I was like, what is that noise? <laughs> sorry, um, sorry, sorry. The spider crawls off of the chest and slides underneath the box itself. No. The top of the chest lifts open <laughs> and a holographic number appears above the chest. Oh god. What is okay. It it's reads... Quick. What is what is seven hundred and seventy-seven points. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take was it. that the highest number in chest that twenty-six? That was the highest number. <laughs> yes. I. Your other box had four hundred and seventy-five points in it. Oh my god! Oh, okay. okay. So good. We, we would have been good either way, but this is so much better. I don't. I can do that. I can do that. I you genuinely, I genuinely do not know how you managed to do that. It's blowing my Holy fucking mind that you did crap. We're just that way. Well. We're, we're so intelligent. This is oh my sort of like I wrote these yeah. points out like three days ago, and I haven't touched them since. So. Oh my god. I was surprised when you picked here. seventeen. I was like, that's a high number already. And then, like, 17 is good, and then 26 is oh good. So we stay winning. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> I'm still. I'm wondering how Howie like, Mandel comes I'm out. Thinking. Howie Mandel comes out and kisses us each on the lips. Oh! Wow. I get bald, bald head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kiss his bald head. Howie, keep that tongue inside. I'll go away. Did you um, actually pick them or did you roll them? Yeah. I just assigned random numbers to random. Uh, Wow! Did you purposefully make 18 an unlucky number? 18 and 7 and 7? Yeah, I did. Yes, I did! Oh, yeah. Why did you, you make like 7? Seven? Seven? I made 7 because and 7. Because 7 is a lucky number for like everybody. Yeah. Seven. Everyone always picked 7, oh my God. so I made it shitty. And the moment that we picked 7 and it was a low number, I knew that that number, I knew that 18 was, was going to be yeah. so low. I knew it! Let's so, good. I could rip off my shirt right now. I'm thinking, but I won't. The Jermos are like, yes! Chadwick, uh, Chadwick from the corner goes, <laughs> Radical, dude. Radical, dude. Radical, dude. As oh if God. he's not traumatized. Well done. He's traumatized. Well done. He's like, we all oh. forgot we made like horribly. Morally yeah, we wrong literally all forgot. It'll, it'll, it'll like, probably oh, catch up with you eventually. Um, I feel like I was just standing there. No way. <laughs> the golden spider. Our low is not well. The golden <laughs> spider on the wall <laughs> begins to move. Okay, it lifts its scary. legs one by one, shaking the room as they hit the wall. <laughs> with each slow movement, lantern like light anybody. shimmering off of the golden texture of its body as it crawls away from the door. The noise it makes are mechanical and loud. They sound as a building might if it were to stand up and walk away from its foundation. Wow. The door it was blocking swings open with ease, extending towards you all. Golden light shines blindingly from within the room, beckoning you forth. I assume you all walk through. Yeah. All right. Get me out of there. <laughs> Julian, the music box that you had vanishes. Just so you Aww. know. Oh fuck! Sad. Oh, oh, I was gonna do something. Just, I was oh, gonna no. ask Ari if they could translate it onto like paper. Oh, or I'm something. so sorry. I mean, oh, I guess Ari heard it. She could. Ari, I guess yeah, she remembered it. it. She heard it. Do it if you ask me That's true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Julian will ask. I'll ask. Okay. okay. Ari will do it for him. When you emerge from the bright light, I'm gonna get through this part and then we can take a little break. Um, when you emerge from the bright light, you realize that you are back on the school grounds once more, feet on the grass of the field. The crowd surrounding you is cheering, practically roaring with enthusiasm as the six of you mm -hmm. stand in the center of the field. The next team so to have completed the final phase of the sports festival. All oh. eyes are glued to the six of you. And the Dean congratulates you all over the speaker with our tear translating shortly after. The audience hollers and other humans at the betting table watch you hungrily. You should be proud. You should feel a sense of satisfaction, but do you? After the events of the final phase, how prideful do you really feel? More teams transpire into existence around you, phasing in with flickers of blue light. 
The other competitors look worn down. There are a few who look distraught, tear tracks lining their cheeks, others who look mindless, lost, and others who appear stoic and determined, not an inch of emotion on their exhausted features. Mm. It isn't long before the rest of the teams fully complete their final phase as well. You see them all slowly reappear on the field in varying states of emotion and headspace. Within a matter of moments that pass at a startlingly quick rate, you're all gathered together as the dean delivers a final speech to the crowd, shortly followed by Artair's translation. He tells everyone of how wonderfully so how wonderfully so many competitors prevailed, how proud he is of Ravenwood, how lovely it was to have the other schools visit, how eager he's sure everyone is for the results of the competition. He informs everyone that the winners will be announced at the end of the celebratory ball for the students of Ravenwood and delivered to the public the following day. He wishes everyone well, safe travels home, and good luck with the bets they placed on their favorite teams. He states for all the students to be dismissed following procedure, and they do just that. You watch as the crowds fizzle out, leaving the school with chatter and boisterous exits. All of you and the other competitors line up as you did the very first day of the festival. Artair, Adonis, and a few Adar armed guards stroll up to several competitors, anklets back in hand. They go through the motions of reattaching the anklet to the ankles of those they removed them from at the start of the festival. The outsiders they approach look disappointed and devastated, producing their ankles solemnly, eyes glued to the ground in grief for what they lose upon being cuffed. As though someone is physically clipping their wings. As they approach you, Arya, the guard asks firmly for you to extend your ankle. I assume that you do so. Yeah, I think she's, um, did she say like Zothiel or anybody yet? Not yet. There? Not yet, okay. Um, then she's just gonna keep her head down and put her ankle out and unzip her boot. All right, you unzip your boot, only down to the ankle, and you reveal uh, your knee-high aquafin socks that I assume you're probably wearing beneath. Um, you extend also your leg, <laughs> you extend your leg and foot still inside the boot, um, ankle exposed to the guard, and they clip it in place. The ink clicks in place solidly and the same heavy weight is there again, and it's almost a comfort for you at this point. Hmm. As the group reaches Zophiel, they ask him to do the same, but the tall winged elf doesn't move. There's, an, there's a cacophony of emotions splaying out against his expression, dancing across his features, and his hands are balled into fists at his side. They ask again, more firmly, and he still doesn't move. With a huff of frustration, the guard bends down to grab for Zophiel's ankle, aiming to yank it forward to easier attach the anklet. But upon doing so, Zophiel kicks at the guard, hitting him square in the chin. The other two armed guards reach for him then, grabbing for his arms, attempting to hold them back. His wings surge forward so fast and so heavily that you can feel the gust of wind from where you stand, a few feet away. With extreme force, they smack against the guard's soldiers, soldiers, shoulders, knocking them sideways. Artair steps forward then, grabbing one of the prods from the belt of the guard nursing his bleeding chin and jabbing it forward. The shock of electricity hits Zophiel and in an instant, the winged elf is on the floor on his knees bracing himself with one arm outstretched. He breathes heavily and his wings shudder. The guard quickly grabs for his ankle and clicks the anklet in place, all while wiping at his bleeding face. The other two step back and watch as Artair takes a step towards Zophiel. He reaches down, grabs his chin, chin, and yanks his head upwards until he looks Zophiel in the eyes. From where he stands, you can hear him slowly say, there, that wasn't so difficult now, was it? before he drops Zophiel's chin and glares at him as he and the guards continue on their way. When Zophiel can find the strength once more to get to his feet, he is withdrawn and does not say anything. Yes. Can I have that Arya walked over to him as soon as he was alone? Absolutely. Yeah. So help him up? Even if he doesn't take can it. help him up? Yeah. Um, he doesn't lean Do on you or anything. He just slowly stands and he doesn't look at you. He keeps his eyes on the ground. Mm -hmm. Um, only a few moments later, Artair says the word and allows everyone to return to their dormitories. And if you would like, we can take our little 15 minute break there. Um, we are like, I'm really happy with the time that we got through that because, um, that gives you like two hours that you guys can like role play if you want and it'll only be like six hours. So. Yeah. 
Yeah, we oh did. Oh my god. How that was, was that so good? good. That, was so good. that was so good. That was so good, dude. <laughs> Thank oh you. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Really? Oh. Thank you. Like, we really, we really took the fattest right. dub there. I, we, I'm truly. so, so blown so away. I can't believe we did that. Like, that obviously, so like, obviously with like campaigns and stuff, it's like, yeah, I could, I, because I thought about making it that it's like, there's no chance you guys would lose. But I was like, no, because that doesn't, like, there's a point system, like, it that makes it fun, fun yeah. if there's odds yeah. and, like... We're worth it. Yeah. Well, we did and, anyways. like, y'all really fucking good. got the highest box. Like, of course, another <laughs> school, another school could have gotten it as well. But I was literally losing my mind as you guys were crossing these off. I was like, their luck is outstanding. I could not believe how lucky insane. you guys were. I was like, Jesus was fucking so Christ. <laughs> so oh, so Um... Yeah, so do you want to take the 15 minute break here? And yeah, then we'll, we'll do it. Yeah. We'll oh be my back. god! Yeah. I have some more. Amazing. I'm really excited for the next little part too. So. <laughs> I don't know. Question. So yes. is this our, like, our break before we do the ball? So I was going to throw this to you. Um, yeah. We could do 15 minutes now. Break. Mm -hmm. I have a little thing that I've written up that's your night um, in the dormitory, like um, the night before the ball. And then as well as your morning before the ball. We okay. could go through that and then take another 15 minute break and then start the ball if you want. That sounds good. You want to do that? Because then okay. it's like we have a 30 minute that we're splitting up and it's yeah. just a little bit of like yeah. night and morning in between. So I feel That's like it, it fits well. Yeah, I like yeah. that. So we'll do that. that sounds good. Do that. Boy, I'll see thing, you all. For a bit. Yeah, I'll see you all at 9.30 my time. 30, 30 your guys' time. 6.30 PST. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 7.30. Yeah. 6.30 and 7.30. Okay. Like, bye, bye, bye. Chat, go get your water, get your snackies. Um, we uh -huh. went for a while without stopping, so go get your goodies. Goodies. Mwah. Love you all. Go have fun. Get your goods. We shall return.
We are back! We have returned! I have eaten something, so I have a lot more energy now, which I'm really happy about. I was like, I hit my like, and now I'm good. Um, Hell yeah. <laughs> I dropped for a moment there. Um, Jazz made me a really good sandwich. It's Where? Like, it's got so much nice. mayo in it, and it's delicious. Woo, that's so, good. we are going to jump straight back in with your nights before uh, the, uh, the ball. Your nights in the dormitories. For some of you, there were some really specific things you wanted, and some things that we had talked about, and things that um, are kind of like the after effect of things that you have done. For some of you, there's not too much specific, um, mm -hmm. but if there are any conversations you would like to have, anything of the sort, this is obviously a chance to do it. Guess um, who won't be having an awkward night with their roommate? Me. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking right. <laughs> Cause you are loyal. It's actually true. She probably doesn't even know though because she's probably competing well, at the same time. <laughs> that's true. I wanted to tell chat this yeah. um, because I told I said it in I said it in our chat, but yeah. so that everyone knows, Arlo um wanted to pick Dimitri, but mm -hmm. chose mom because I think he felt it was feels right like it's the right to thing do. to do. Yeah. But wanted to choose Nari and chose Nari. <laughs> Valid. As he should. As he should. Yeah, There's yeah, different yeah, yeah. elements there that play very clearly in his mind. And it I mean, it's not, yeah, it's not super clear in black and white. From what I know, I it makes sense. So I get yeah. it. Yeah. I do get okay, it. Okay, cool. Um, we're going to start with Aria. Hello. Hi. Aria. Ah. Your night back in your dormitory is less than ideal. Oh, God. It's the first time, really, that you've been so alone since ending up here. Since being on Earth and constantly surrounded by others like you, or guards, or Ku. But with Ku in the infirmary, still having not returned, the dormitory feels hollow. And is, your heart does as well. Hmm? Is there any way that I can go see if they'll let me into the infirmary before remember, I go to bed? Remember yesterday when I was like, hey... I know that there's something you're going to want to do the morning before the ball, but I'm not going to tell you because it'd be a spoiler. This? There's there's that thing you can do infirmary. if you want. <laughs> yeah, uh, if, if they don't let her in the infirmary tonight, she's going to want to go in the morning. They won't tonight because curfew is pretty close, um, <gasps> but you can I'll go just stay morning. there. I don't need to go back to my dorm. I'll <laughs> stay there. They I'll beg to differ. <laughs> them. Um, the is Arya's on a loose thread right now, okay? <laughs> The no, silence in your in your dorm room Sorry. is unnerving. You're okay. Um, it's unnerving. You can hear a few thumps from the walls around you, um, from other people mingling about going about their lives. Um, but you no longer hear Ku's solid footsteps, his quiet uh, snuffling, his occasional purring. It is simply you and you alone for company. You also notice that his book is still resting on his bedside table. And the idea that he is not there to read it to you tonight is a jarring one. Um, what do you do with your night? Arya's like, again, I repeat, been fucking nice. Um, I imagine like for the first 30 minutes or so of her being in her room, curfew started, you know, she knows that she's can't leave. She has to be alone for the first time in forever, and there's nothing that she can, uh, like, to her knowledge, do that's gonna help her feel better. Um, she's just, she's just gonna grab at Ku's robe, put it on. Um, she's gonna grab her violin and, um, her little book with her sheet music that she writes in. Um, and she's just gonna, like, sit on Ku's bed and try and write out, first, Julian's, um, music box, as much as she can remember it. Mm -hmm. And practice it, just over and over and over, until, like, there's, there is no perfection for her, because it's never gonna sound exactly how she heard it. Mm -hmm. But she's going to keep trying until it makes sense to her. Okay. Um, Eventually, I, I think that she'll probably get tired of hearing, like, the sound of the violin and feeling that texture of a violin. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, she'll get up and she'll, like, look at the closet of the outfits that she's been making for everybody. <laughs> and she's going to take hers off the hanger. 
and just like drop it on the bed. Mm-hmm. And I imagine hers isn't done yet. Okay. Because I think that she probably finished everybody else's so she could take them to theirs when they were ready. Yeah. Um, she didn't want them to be like naked and she can, she can whip up shit, you know, however she needs. Um, but she's going to look at the cape of the outfit that she's wearing. She hasn't attached it yet, but it's clipped into like the place of where the outfit is. Mm-hmm. And she's just going to like unclip it, take the cape off, throw it away, put the actual outfit on without the cape, and just like look at her body for the first time without something covering her. Mm-hmm. After that, she's going to kind of just like take it off of her again, put it back on the hanger, hang it up next to everybody else's clothes, grab the cape, hang it over the outfit. And then she's going to go back onto Ku's bed and just try and sleep as much as she can. Okay. Um, before you go to sleep, your mm-hmm. DCD buzzes. Um, <laughs> do you look at it? She's going to charge her TCD! She's going to charge the TCD. Okay. Um, she's going to charge it! Before I forget. Do you check what what's yes. making it buzz? Yes. She's in that, you know, like, in that state of, like, I need to sleep, but I, mm-hmm. I can't. So any little anything. I know that's I know that perfect. state quite well. <laughs> yeah, we're taking it. Any little distraction is mine. I'm taking it. I'm using Valid. it. So, yeah. On the screen is a text from Zophiel, which is not quite a common occurrence. Um, yeah. It reads, "I'm sorry about your roommate." And then a few seconds later, a few seconds later, another message comes through. And it says, are you okay? Ah! Sorry, I should have muted myself. A few moments later. No, it's fine. A few moments later, another message that says, I know what it's like. And then a few moments later, another that says, to almost lose someone in battle. Okay. 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 <laughs> Jesus. Usually, your microphone in here doesn't. It like doesn't pick that up, but mine will definitely pick that up. So I'm so glad that you're was, muted for that one. The best scream I've ever heard. <laughs> you um, got through the wall. Right, so, My door is still open. I forgot. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna make it. Um. I'm gonna make that cannon, but in a pillow. <laughs> okay. Valid. She screams in a pillow. In a pillow. Gotcha. Um, she's just gonna look at her TCD, message Zophiel back, and just say, um, I'm gonna see Ku tomorrow. Do you wanna come? Um, he responds shortly after and says, do you want me to? Yes. Period. You just get okay. And not like a full written out okay, just the no. O and K. And from there, I'm gonna move to Theron. Hello, Monsieur Uh, Mr. Theron. Oh no. <laughs> uh, Arthros <laughs> walks back to the dormitories with you. Um, she waits for you after the end of the sports festival, after everyone has filed out all the people. She has, she's decked out in all of her gear. Um, You see this now, because you don't need to roll for perception when she's right in front of you. Um, She has, like, one of those finger things. That's, like, the number one fingers. Little foam fingers? Yeah, she has a foam finger. It's in purple and gold. And uh, she's, like, holding it kind of shyly in her, like, like, against her. Um, And she's decked out in, like, a sports festival tee. And, like, um, she's got a little hat on. And oh. as I said before, her, her, oh no, I didn't get to say it because you didn't see her. Her horns, I didn't see her. her horns are protruding from the hat. She has cut holes so that they will protrude from the hat. I love um, The two of you walk back to your dormitory together. I imagine kind of just making idle conversation. Um, Was she watching the whole time? She saw yes. like all the decisions mm-hmm. and like the, oh, okay. When you get in to your dormitory, um, and you close the door behind you. Um, Arthros goes to stand uh, near her bed, and she 
uh, extends her hand down to the leather-bound notebook that sits on her bedside table. And she runs a hand over it very softly before she turns to you and says, um, uh, Raffles. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> sorry, every time she calls me that, I'm just like, <laughs> I need to take a moment. I need to take a moment <laughs> to recuperate. <clears throat> um, she takes a brief, deep breath and she says, um, did you really mean the things that you were saying about secrets and relationships and all of that? Yes. Uh, they said honesty was important in this, so I was as honest as possible. She nods, and then she's quiet for a moment before she looks back at you and she says, um, I think I would have answered the exact opposite. About secrets? Yes. As in, you would rather not know? Yes. I, you see... Um, I've told people secrets before, and it's gotten them killed. And so I think that maybe if I were on the other end of it, I would not want to know. Should it be a threat to me and those I love, I suppose. <clears throat> Hypothetically, if it wasn't exactly dangerous to know... Um, or like a threat, would that change things for you? Yes, of course. So long as it doesn't lead to anyone dying. <laughs> yeah, that would be a bad ending for sure. Yes. I still stand by mine, though. Even if it got me killed or anyone else, I would rather face it and know. But what no if pressure, it was, obviously. What if it was what if it was horrible and and there, there was there was proof that it had gotten someone killed in the past like it like it definitely could do that i, I would still want hypothetically to know. speaking of course hypothetically speaking as always yes you would still want to know i would still want to know maybe that's just curiosity but also, that seems like a very heavy thing to carry alone, and if I cared about this person deeply enough, I would want to help in any way I could. Maybe face it together. Oh. If possible. I suppose that makes sense. Hmm. I suppose, though, I see it from the perspective as the person telling the secret, and how they might feel should the secret end in disaster well speaking from the person hypothetically <clears throat> <laughs> yes of course Ooh. hypothetically speaking <laughs> you guys stop it <laughs> um speaking oh. as the person who would be learning the secret possibly um i would i would just want to know if the person was comfortable with it what if it was something what if it was something that changed your entire perspective of the person? What if it changed how you feel? What if, what if, what if you, you loved someone, but then you found out and you couldn't find it in your heart to love them anymore? Um, I don't really see how anything, no matter how grave, like worst case scenario. What is how worst case scenario? Changed. Well, if... I don't know, like, murderers, or if you did anything terrible like that, um, it still wouldn't change. Hypothetically, of course. Hypothetically, yes, of course. Hmm. So hypothetically speaking. If you were the worst person on the planet, I would still like you. But because... hypothetically, right, not me. Hypothetically, not you. Right. A, person, okay. a, yes, person, a person. A hypothetical person. Yes, of course, a hypothetical person. Don't know. A fictional person. Mm -hmm. A fictional, yes yes, yes. yes, yes, right. Someone you would read in a book. Yes, like in a book. Yes, quite, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear that <laughs> echoing through the house. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, she made glances... a lot of noise. It did. She glances at her... Um... <laughs> Careful, you don't hurt yourself. I don't think you're muted, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you are. Never mind. She is. She is. I mean, it was just I'm loud. It was just I'm that not. loud. 
Um, <laughs> she looks back down at her notebook for a minute, and she's staring at it, and she's frowning. And she takes a deep breath, and she says, um, this was very insightful, thank you. Anytime. Are we still going to the ball together tomorrow? Most certainly, if you're, uh, yes. still up for it. Yes. I'm very excited. Okay. Do you, you have an outfit? Do you need Arya to maybe make you one? She's making mine. No, I have one. Very nice. Yes. I can't wait to see it. Oh. I can show you now if you would like me to. No, no. Oh, I think okay. it's best as a surprise. Right, okay, okay. Yeah. Yes, of course. Not that I'm not wildly curious, but I think it's better if we wait on some things. Okay. Yes. Uh, it adds to the suspense, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Right. Anyways, um, are you feeling okay after the day, after after the the sports festival? I mean, you did quite wonderful. I was surprised with how well we did, honestly. Yes. Or how well I think we did. But uh, it was odd. There was a lot of weird scenarios and questions and puzzles. Yes. But all in all, it was quite fun. I think the gods every day that I did not um, sign up. Yeah, I it's, think. A, it's a little bit tricky. Yes. For sure. But I learned a great deal about my friends, so that was that was interesting as well. Good things, I hope. <laughs> well, <So> debatable. <laughs> <laughs> um I, flashbacks to Arya killing her mother. <laughs> and, <laughs> and Julian killing a homeless That's person. Terrible, yeah. <laughs> Julian letting a teacher yeah. die. <laughs> And all the awful decisions we made. Uh, well, I certainly learned a lot. But hey, we got the big money. But we got the big money. I suppose I'm sure you did. the one good thing that you could take from their answers is that they are loyal to the people they love, for the most part, it seems. That's true. And I guess it depends. I should think that the difficulty they had with making such decisions should say a lot about their character. Or the lack thereof. Or the lack thereof, yes. Some of them answered quite quickly. Mm, and that's that true. Impactful. Yes, the dog boy was a little concerning. Not Arya. Sorry, what? The dog boy was a little concerning. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, that was, that was, uh, no hesitation. Yes, but quite. I kind of respect it. Family and all that. I would, I would kill my family before killing a child. Probably. Oh, oh. Yes. A duly noted. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> then I'll see you bright and early. Yes. I need to wash my hair. Oh, of course. <laughs> I need to do my stretches as per usual. Oh. When will you be doing those? Um, in a couple of minutes. Okay, then I will wash my hair in a couple minutes longer than a couple minutes. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good night. Good night. And she like smiles and then kind of sits on her bed and um, she goes about writing in her notebook and every time you start doing a stretch, she like, her eyes jump up and then they go back down. <laughs> All right, jump back up and then jump back down. <laughs> and she continues writing. Karen takes a long time to do all the stretches because it's been a very long day. I get very stiff and tired. Valid. Oh yeah, a long time. That's why. Right? That <laughs> the only uh, reason. Oh my god. <laughs> Stretch them glutes. <laughs> Stretch them quads. Really all of them. All of them. Yep. <laughs> the close, close space. That's for sure. And then I assume you get your little dragon rest. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I might respond to Darian now. Ah, all right. What would you like to say, Mr. He's gonna Star? like get into his PJs and like get kind of cozy in bed, and then mm -hmm. he might. What What was the exact like phrasing and wording of Darian's text? If you I remember. believe he had said, "Are you going with? Are you going to the ball with anyone?" Asking for obvious reasons, I think is what he said. Let me. I can double check. Okay. Um, the exact word. You guys are going wild, and I need to. They want you to make out with Arthros. <laughs> 
It'll happen. It'll happen. They want Bro, it. Bro, you're talking shit about Arthros. Promises, promises. 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 You're talking shit about Arthros? No. Oh. No, I'm saying that she... No. We're talking... No. Oh. Climbed a pole, it would be a red. She would be a red flag because she's literally red. We're talking oh. about red flag. That's cute. And we were saying that she's only red flag. That's wholesome. That's you, well, you said because she, she she said she she's said I would kill. Flag. She said I would kill my family before I kill a baby, and I said in the chat, pro life. Oh, like. oh <laughs> shit! You're not wrong. How dare you're you? You're not wrong. Um, and then we said that's her only red flag. No, and then I said she needs therapy. She left my family. girl. My girl is living in fear. She's living in fear. She needs therapy. Grow up to die before and I said that I would like her to climb a pole because I think we would all enjoy that. So. Me, me thinks she quite <laughs> just she does not her like her. her, her for obvious reasons. Whoa. Me thinks. I love her, but I'm worried about me her. All right. <laughs> me thinks. All me I want to know. I want to know. I want her. It makes sense that that Theron would be the only character that would do well with her because Theron doesn't like feed into her insecurities. He's yeah. just like, yeah, whatever you think, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Sure. And she's like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I like it. I like it. It's a good, it's a good combination. It is a good, good dynamic, dynamic, honestly. I like it. It's it awesome. I like it. It's awesome. awesome. He said, who are you taking to the ball, by the way, asking for obvious reasons with a smirky face? Ah. Uh. With a smirky face? Yes, with a smirky face, in fact. Oh, not the <laughs> smirky <laughs> face. It's like the it's smirky face. face. It's like, not the right. smirky face. Theron's just going to, uh, text back. <laughs> okay. Um, sorry a lot's been going on, sports festival and all. I think that's probably, like, one message, and then mm -hmm. I'll follow it up with, um, I'm actually taking my roommate to the ball, but I hope to see you around. Smile, smile, not smile. smirk, just a smile. smile. Just okay. a friendly smile. I like you. You left the door open with that one. <laughs> uh, you do get a response. You're so nice for taking your roommate to the dance. <laughs> yeah, they're no! roommate. <laughs> oh my god, they were roommates. Oh my god, they were roommates. Um, you get a response a few seconds later. Oh, um, And it says... <laughs> it says, um, <laughs> is this the person you're in love waiting. with? Um... Take us some back. Yes. <laughs> with with oh, a, no. with a He's smiley you? with He's a watching. smiley face back, the same smiley face that you sent him. Oh. He's, He's angry. Spicy. He's angry. <laughs> y'all, okay, okay, okay. Talk about giving tone through a text, to y'all. Oh. I'll zoom in here. Oh. Oh. That was hot. <gasps> I got burned on that Spicy. shit. Yeah. I am not responding. Theron and Darian are gonna like... have, they're gonna be the people that have like the hot, passionate <laughs> sex in a closet. <laughs> what, 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 what is the exact text? Say it again. Uh, oh my God, I didn't write it down. So um, he says, oh. um, is this the person you're in love with? With a smiley face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I am no. distraught. I am going through it. Deflect. 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 Say no you. you. <laughs> no you. I don't know. Who what about reverse? you? I don't know. Who's asking? <laughs> Who's asking? What? The only person I'm in love with is a chicken <laughs> sandwich. There's Who's asking? Like, uh, uh, Darian? It's gonna be like, a a uh, uh, Darian? Uh, watched the sports festival then. Don't, no, that's cute. Get to it. That's a spicy response. I like that. that. Is a spicy oh, response. oh, yeah, oh too spice. I love it. it. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit later, next? he responds and says, "Oh, he waited. Couldn't miss you in Good. those shorts." Oh, what? oh, he's. Oh, he's... <laughs> Um, he's I was playing the same man? shorts, and I looked pretty good in those shorts. He's playing chess right now. He's playing. He's playing four D chess. You're playing checkers. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta catch up. I'm going through a minefield right now. I hope you are. <laughs> <laughs> One misstep and I'm dead. Right? It's true. It's true. You really are. <laughs> on you okay. could be on both fronts too, honestly. On both you fronts. Know, I could, yeah, you okay. could really. With go one message. Um. Let's see. <laughs> Rip. You only have two messages you can send left to. Oh. It's like four messages every like thirty or so minutes. A winky face. 
Winky faces Winky. always put your put the <laughs> message through. What what message is that? Say exactly. say something like <laughs> this has given me much to think about. <laughs> that's <laughs> actually spicy. That's kind of a good response. Not, like if, if Arthro saw it, it wouldn't be like because if you did a winky face and Arthro saw it, she'd be like, oh, she's you're awesome. that's that's you genuinely bastard. that's but genuinely a good like, response. Theo. Yeah, that's, but if you're yeah. thinking about it, then you could have both ways you could tell them, hey, I was just thinking about it. I'm not the bad guy here. Or even just like that's <laughs> I don't that's a lot that. because you're my friend kind of thing too. It's you also could, like take some time to think about it. Have this conversation over text, so you kind of just shut it down. Shut it down. Shut it down. <laughs> shut it down. 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 No, no, no. I just like I like it's, that. It's a, shut it down. Have you seen it from New Girl? Like There's a New Girl scene. Like yes, yes, literally. This. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, it's that's the scene. It's a scene in New Girl where she's supposed mm -hmm. to like, she's like telling all the teachers to like, like not have sexual interactions with each other. So she's like, if a teacher comes up to you and is like, hey, you shut it down. But she does it to the guy she's like, <laughs> crush on, who's also a teacher and then hits him in the, you know what? And <gasps> then, the you know what? And it's, it's, it's such funny. a new girl thing to do. And I know. That's cute. I love girl. So, Jordy <laughs> Wolf in the chat said, Arthros for the romance, Darian for everything else. No! <laughs> no! no. Arthros for everything. <laughs> so maybe Darian for some also thing. <laughs> we'll see. That's honestly fair. <laughs> for, for Arthros is too bad. Arthros is so insecure. I know. I don't think she, she, she would not be for. able to handle anything. Well, we won't she's know until we ask her. We won't know till we ask her. Oh. But you both. also have to ask her. Really for that. Both, both yeah, you have to ask her. <laughs> you also exactly. have to point to ask her. You okay, gotta all have right, a all right, conversation. All right. Mm -hmm. there we got we'll have communication. Have you got to have You don't have to jump into anything serious right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you don't have to. You're, You're, You're a free You're just going you can. can. You're just going, to, you can. You're just going to a ball together. It's only season one. Keep it cash. You're going to a ball. Or maybe. Or maybe. Or maybe. I feel like I'm at a sleepover right now and we're like talking about. <laughs> like, oh, like, around oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and you're all like giving me love advice. It's never happened before. <laughs> oh, okay. Listen, baby, you only get this opportunity once. We're taking it! Fair, fair, fair. fair. Take it or, or spin it on its head. Don't go with either of them and then take hook off uh, oh. yeah, Silas. Not hey, one, yo! <laughs> this out of left field. This hey, this is the one. Everyone on their toes, man. <laughs> God damn. I'll we'll keep you guessing. The whole hey, time. yo. Keep okay. guessing. Hmm. Do you respond, Mr. Rasbold? Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it neutral for now, like okay. Theo suggested. Mm. He's gonna say, uh, this has given me a lot to think about. Good night, smiley face. Okay. Um. Uh. <laughs> you get a response, you get a response a little bit later Hi. that says, don't think Stop too it. hard with a wink face. That's impossible. That's impossible. That's physically impossible. <laughs> And from there, <laughs> I'm gonna slide to Andromeda. Oh okay. God! I <laughs> barely <laughs> survived that. <laughs> I barely survived that. Barely, you you skimmed it, man. You I did. scraped by. You really did. The entire night. <laughs> Let you me fix okay? my camera. Yeah, you're good. You're a good. mess. A Looks mess. Good. Sweet. Okay. Andromeda. You return to your dormitory, hand in hand with Mud. Um, his eyes are a little downcast, his shoulders are a little lax, his brow is kind of strained and furrowed, and it's creating a small little dent between them that tells of worry and concern. Um, the both of you make it back to your dormitory, exhausted from the day's events, from all the quick thinking and the deep-seated thoughts that the festival awoke inside once more. As you enter your room, uh, mm, question, mm -hmm. where did you put the book? Um, I, I put it back in the... Put it back in the drawer? In the drawer. Okay. Same place where it was, always. So when you walk inside, the book, rather than being... Rather than the drawer simply being open, the book is on top of your bed. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> of course it is. This bitch is my door. She's gonna see it and just, like, beeline, like, throw her bag down and run towards it and pick All it up. Right. 
Do you look inside? Yes. Okay. No, I just put it away. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, when you look inside the book this time, beneath where you wrote your poem is another. It reads, If a river can never meet an ocean, am I not simply lost? Maimed and imprisoned within battering waves, hollering out in silence, stuck in an eternal frost. Ever pushing forward whilst my body concaves. Red river, red river, red river. Every day it called with a voice like polluted water, killing my ears with words I couldn't deliver. Eating away at me, a lamb led to slaughter. Even still, this river pours acid down my throat. Please, I just want to breathe once more. Memories rest in thoughts, still and unmoving, but afloat. Everything else sits on the surface, but you sit at my core. Would you rather, would you drown yourself in a red river? If I sat within it, blood covered and broken. The water eating away at my lungs, my heart, my liver. How many oceans will suffer without a word spoken? Year-long rest over and over and over indeed. Oceans still miss, still feel, still wonder, still hope, and still need. Undo years of drought, please, and do not misread. And I will send you the poem. Holy. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm sending it. I'm sending it. I will let uh, you again, Andromeda, reveal what it says. I'm going to cry. Um, that should, sob. should be good. I'm going to cry and sob. <laughs> Shitting and crying and throwing up. Is he in the book? Napoleon. I'm gonna... <laughs> Napoleon. Wait, is he in the book? I'm not so... Why would I say anything? I'm not I saying anything. Laugh. I thought you were gonna laugh when I said that. Holy... Um, you take his do... response however you would like. <laughs> yeah. Um, she is going to grab the book, and this time she doesn't cry. It's mm -hmm. almost like she was kind of expecting it. Um, still surprised her, but... Um, soften the blow this mm -hmm. time around and she's gonna grab the book and she's gonna sit up on the bed kick her feet a little bit and she's gonna read the the message left and she's gonna read it out loud so mud could hear it um and she's gonna say i am here keep me with you mud kind of just looks at you and he's like sorry what he me um um i mean yes you are but alder left me another message oh oh this... the brother the book brother yeah yes the book the book brother he yes. said i i am here keep me with you after i asked him where are you in the poem i left for him before this one that he just wrote keep... do you think he's in the room keep me with you yeah keep me keep me with you keep me with you like in your thoughts or like keep me with you like well i don't know like the in book your head my head the book maybe the books well I'll, I'll keep the book um and he's always like on my mind yes. constantly so that's always already you know mm. checked off um so then maybe so the book cryptic maybe book um hmm. i think i'll there's one passage in here that freaked me out a lot um and i don't think i've t told you oh before and it it happened again at the sports festival oh well, like should you want to tell me, Tree, then I should listen. Uh, I, I think I do want to tell you. My ears are open and my eyes are open. Because now you can see and hear then. Yes. With them open. I need to okay. listen better so my, my eyes are open. I can close them if you'd like. But sometimes I um, focus better on hearing when I can see what I'm hearing. I think when you look at me, it makes me feel very comfortable, so... Okay, then I will look you at you. Look at and he just... Yes. Okay, eye contact is kind of freaking me out. Oh. Um, like... Okay. Um, he drops his eyes, and the where he is looking is, like, right beneath your chin. 
Okay. Um, That's better. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> there is a line in here that, and she's kind of like, you know, wringing her hands a bit. Mm -hmm. And she's like looking down at the, the book in her lap. And um, it says, year long rest over and over and over indeed. Mm. Um, so, when I left to find my brother, um, I wasn't with my family. Oh. They told me to stay behind for some reason. I don't know. You rebelled? Um, yes. Oh. And that was the first time I ever did it on my own. And my brother was, was always, yeah. And that was a bit not not good. No. Um it it wasn't good because I right. spied on them when they were getting directions oh. to make it to the capital where he was going. Oh. I see. We had thought. Um Right. And the person who told them the directions told them wrong. Um oh. they didn't get the correct ones. It was more the the scenic route one might say. I see. Um, and so I heard that, and then they left, and I waited a few days, and I figured they'd be there to meet me. Um, and they would be mad, of course, but they, whenever they were mad, it would be, we'd be fine after. It would be okay. They would forgive me, because I was doing it for my brother, and then you know, we could find him and come back home and we'd be fine. Um, and where, where it took me, um, I made it through the swamp and then I was in some place new and it was this big desert. Oh. And it was hot and I couldn't find them so I thought, I'll continue further in, and I'll keep going. And I can't remember how long it was because it's really foggy, but I turned around at one point to see if I could go back. I couldn't find my way back. It was like a sea of sand and sun. I see. And I was burned and tired. And I saw a lot of things. Some I don't remember. Some I can still see. But I don't know what was not a vision, what was actually happening. And I felt myself dying. Oh. And at one point I laid down and didn't get back up. And then I was here. Oh. Almost as and though the portals saved you. I, I, th I like to think so. Um, Perhaps it was I've... fated. They said Andromeda Maybe. shall not die. And then Andromeda you were here. I, I couldn't tell if it was a punishment at first either. Oh. Putting me here. Um, Does it feel like one now? No. Oh. Um, but before here, like school, I was asleep. Oh. For a year. Oh. Um, they had me in a... in a place where they were taking care of me. And I think a sector, I'm assuming, as much it was a sector. And I would wake up every few weeks, months, I think, and I would ask where I was. Um... 
where my family was, and they would tell me, you know, you are on Earth. And I would be like, I don't know what that word is. And I would go back to sleep. Hmm. And then the day I finally woke up was the day I came here. Right. So and things then, are very new then. New as heavy. They are for most people here. Mm hmm. When they gave me my letter and put me on the bus to come here, I thought I was still dreaming. Mm. But then I remembered, wait, I do not remember the dreams, so. <laughs> right, the book, the book. The book. Yes. And thankfully I did still have my book with me. They didn't take that away, which is oh, very nice of that's them. good. Great, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. But they would not tell me where my tree is or where my family was, or anything like that, but... So the fate of your family is unknown to you as well? They could have died in the desert for all I knew. Well... At least it is clear that you, you have this book that you think you're pretty convinced is from you, your brother, so... At least you know that he's all right, right? Yes, um, but could, you know, could not be him, you think? True. Hmm. I just, I, I needed to tell you that because I'm scared it would happen to me again, oh. you know, coma. Um, and I don't know, I, um, I don't want to do that again. Well, I will say for the sake of our relationship, we will avoid all deserts in the future. Please. And perhaps heat. Should you like to. Should that make in, you feel better? In, in heat in moderation is very nice. Oh, okay. Photosynthesizing. So just, oh, right. Yes, of course. Yes. yes. Of course, of course. Yes. yes. So, so heat in um, extreme amounts, no. Yes. Heat like in moderation, yes. Burns and, you know, dehydration. Yeah, right. And... Oh, right. Well, you are friends with Arlo, so I think that dehydration should be oh, yeah, something you have to worry about. Oh, yeah, he would about. always keep me. Yes, quite. You know. Yes. Moist. Come to think of it, we should probably keep him out of extreme heat as well, because I don't yes. think that would go over so well. Being... I don't think that would be very yes. good. But yes, um, I'm but... thankful that you told me, Andromeda. You, you are very trustworthy. Well, no one's ever told me that before, so I will take that compliment as a, um, a first. Should it make you feel any better? I don't know where my family is either, nor my brother. So perhaps we can find everyone together. Mm -hmm. Side by side. And we could have a big family party. Yes. Hands interlocked. Me Hands and you. interlocked. Yes. Perhaps lips as well from a on occasion. To get okay. us through. Yes. Yes. Well, how about this then? We will, tomorrow, attend the dance mm -hmm. and dance the night away, and we will forget all doubt for a fraction of our lives. A small fraction. Yeah. And, like I told you at the beginning when we first met, perhaps afterwards, after the, after the dance, we can mm -hmm. go out and look at the stars and have the romance. Have the romance. Yes. Okay. You would like that then, yeah? Yes. Right. I, okay. I would because uh, when I look at you, um, the bees, oh, now they're more dragonflies. Oh. My body when they buzz. Yes. It's like, you know stronger oh than before the, the last mm -hmm. time oh mm -hmm. i see yeah well i'm honored that i make your bees go crazy 
Oh, dragonflies. Close. I should hope that their wings continue to flutter so they do not die. Oh, yeah, me, me too. Um, I hope your, your inward bug infestation infestation yes. keeps you know I should think they should away. keep fluttering on yeah. I think they will not stop fluttering until I die cool mm. do you want to sleep next to each other again yes that would be quite nice my okay. toes get cold my feet get warm so yes I noticed. Mm -hmm. Balance. Balance. Okay. Well, okay. Ball tomorrow. Yes. I'm excited. And if I don't wake up tonight, you will shake me awake. Yes. But I usually do. Nowadays. Don't worry. I will be looking over you. I would not want anyone else. Oh, good. Ooh, maybe um, uh, Arya and Theron and Julian and Arlo can also join the list as well if people watching over me, but okay. I'm glad you are also a part of the list. But they don't do the bug infestation, do they? Do they? Ooh. I mean, well, Arlo um, likes men. Oh. Um... I'm not sure about the rest of the three. Oh, okay. Um, but they yes. have not expressed explicit interest in me yet. Right. So. Okay. Well, I should hope not. I don't think you have competition. Oh. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Unless somebody changes up. <laughs> um, he looks at you and he's oh. like... <laughs> Well, I should hope. <laughs> well, I should hope that doesn't happen anytime soon. Mm -hmm. I find that I might be quite saddened should the bugs inside you not buzz around oh, they'll me. live forever. Oh, right. And if they die, then I will, you know, when um, you like live that kind of thing right right mm -hmm. okay um <laughs> cool <laughs> and mud kind of nods at you and then um he goes towards his bed and uh he kind of like makes it up a little bit um and he turns to you and he's like my bed or your bed do you have splinters in your bed still always mm, okay so i'd rather not get like you know poked okay since yes. i am indeed a lady. Mm -hmm. So, my bed? <laughs> yes. Cool. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> a question for you. Yes. Andromeda. Yes. The little stone that Mud found in the forest, mm -hmm. where have you been keeping it? Still in my bag. Still in I your think. bag? Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Cool. It's on your desk now. Oh. Just sitting on your desk. Doesn't look any different. She looks over at it and she's like, hmm, I thought I put that in my bag always. <laughs> always. <laughs> gets up and walks over and picks it up. Checks underneath it. Mud sees you doing this and he says, um, Oh, um, what you doing? This was in my bag, um, And usually. now it's not. Mm-hmm. Um, well, can it move? Like, you know, can it little legs, I, I think? Not that I've seen, but okay. perhaps I should hold on to it for safekeeping in somewhere locked. Um, and he walks over to his desk and, like, pulls out the drawer. And he says, um... Okay. She... Okay. He closes it immediately. And then just goes and gets cozy over on your bed. 
I walks over and she gets cozy too, like, weird. <laughs> weird. <laughs> just, um, before she goes to bed too, she's gonna pick up her TCD and text out a quick little little text to Silas and say, hi, 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 and send it. You receive no response. Hi, hi, hi. Keep sending eyes. Question mark? <laughs> Arlo, we're going to move on to you. Why that rock moving? <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> I'm confused. Question it's Why Rocco. Does, oh, it's Rocco. Rocco. What does hi, what Rocco's mod Rocco. have to do with brother? Hi, Rocco. Yeah, hi, Rocco. Hi, Rocco. Maybe Roth doesn't have anything to do with brother. Question mark? That's how I feel. Um, Arlo. That's how we all feel, bro. Yeah, hi. Hello. Trauma you hunt. and yeah. <laughs> Nari. Hi, Rocco. Hi, Rocco. Uh, you and Nari walk back to your dormitories together. Um, she is kind of quiet um, as she walks alongside you. Um, and you guys kind of are in a bit of a um, familiar silence, a comfortable silence together until you get to your dormitory. Um, and as you walk through the door together, she opens it for you, um, kind of gestures you in, and, and then she closes the door behind her, and she presses her back against the door for a moment and looks at you. Um, and she says, um, So, how do you feel about everything that just happened? Um, handling it the best I can. How about you? I suppose the same. They asked so me was... questions about th things I did in the past that I didn't know that they knew. It's like they've mm. been in my head. How do they get that information? I do not know. I have not written it nowhere. I have not said it to anyone. Nobody knows. And yet. Interesting. Yeah, interesting. I don't think I can go to the ball tomorrow. Why not? I I mean, if I go, I can't go with Claude. Well, why not? That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was forced to make a really hard choice that I think if Claude was watching, which likely he was, I don't think I could face him, at least not yet. And at least not in the scenario of going with him to a ball. Hmm. I didn't choose him. Oh. Well, I mean, I suppose it come down to still how he feel, right? Perhaps he will not mind. Well, then there's another layer on top of it. Oh. Because before that, I was also forced to make another choice. I see. And that choice put me in a scenario in which I kind of had forgotten how strongly I felt about something. And now I'm really confused and also especially confused as to how they know those things. Oh, um, yes. And I... I don't know. I know that I feel like I'm such a hypocrite because I was telling you like two days ago to to forget that girl that you were into and move on and go after the girl who jogs in the morning. Yes. And and I said you should move on. And I said you should, you know, you can't hold down. Wait. And now now I should take my own advice, but I really don't think I can right now. Right. Sorry well, if it's also vague. No, 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 no. I everything in my life is vague. It is really okay. Uh, I think that I think that tomorrow should be a time to forget. I think that tomorrow should be used to momentarily turn off your brain to not think about things and just have a good time. I am going to ask the girl that I am into and I'm going to have a good time and we are going to dance and maybe afterwards I get lucky 
Who knows? <laughs> well, I'll leave you the room to do so. <laughs> well, um, well, that's okay. There are other things we can figure out, I'm sure. But, you know, I think that this is important too. Sometimes in your life, go easy on yourself, you know? And yeah. there is only so much that you can do and so much that you can feel. And maybe this other person that they have woken these feelings inside of you. Maybe they are there. But maybe you can also have the same feelings for someone else. At the same time. It is possible. Yeah. Or even if you do not, at least you can use that person for a good time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um <clears throat> Yeah. Maybe tomorrow I'll just hang out with everyone else and avoid him until I'm ready. That Is that horrible? Uh, no, but do you know if you're meeting him there or if he is picking you up? No, no, I should definitely say something. That would be super lame. All right. Uh maybe do not leave him on the on the red. Yeah, no, say. no, no. Because but, we, yeah, that yes. was horrible. Yes. Maybe I, I should think that. Yeah. Think that you should wait, and pretend that everything is okay. You were put in a position that, understandably, was very difficult, and I think that he would understand. I've seen him, and I hear him on speaker every night. He yeah. sounds quite considerate for the most part he's he seems so and he seems you know like understanding like i don't know think if the roles were reversed what if it had happened to you yeah well i don't believe that anyone should have ever had to make choices the way that we had to make choices today and i yes i think we're completely being judged by it and i think that's i don't know how anyways i it is no, quite I, I wouldn't judge him. Unfair, I should think. Yeah. I will try to forget about it and have a good time tomorrow the best I can. And should you not find me, and I will take care of you. Okay. <laughs> I like and that you idea. can meet new girl, hopefully, if she, I if would she says yes. I would love to. I'll play it cool. Are you already cool. Oh. That's very nice of you. Oh. <laughs> the way you took that compliment. Oh. oh. Um, she smiles at you and she does her little grin. Um, oh, she's cute. With her teeth. And she says, uh, tomorrow I do your nails and they match your outfit? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. I use nail polish remover thing again. I hope, I know you do not like smell, but I will, I will try to do it quickly. It's okay. Out the room. Okay. You know, yes. Yeah. Okay. I water it down <laughs> for you so it feels better. You were so considerate. Yes. Well, you know. <laughs> I am Nari, so. You are. <laughs> so, my friends, tell me it's... if I had any I'm... other friends. Well, I, you are, we are, I, I'm really glad you're here. I am really glad you are here, also, Arlo. Cool. And you know, tomorrow we will not think about our trauma or the missing people or anything else. And we will simply have a good time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. And she smiles at you and she says, um, I shower now. All right. Hey, maybe if we're lucky, someone will spike the punch. And then we can really forget about it. Then that would really be a good time. Yeah, if I'll look out for it. If you look out for it, and then I'll get you a drink. We'll make it a, a deal. Okay. Although I am very insatiable when I am on alcohol. That's a big word. What does that mean? It means that um, <laughs> I am not easy to please. Oh. Okay. Mm. Like dragon gorar when I take oh, alcohol. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll still love you no matter what. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> And she says, I just, I just get cry. I cry a lot and I pour water on people. Oh, I see. Not for hydration reasons, but also for hydration reasons. That's important. A little bit of both. Never hurt anyone. Yeah, a little bit of both. That's what I like to say about um, sexuality. That's fair. That's fair. Although I will only take the ladies, thank you. And I will only take the men. But right. it's a nice concept. But it's, it's nice, nice to theory. be open mind. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, speaking of water being poured on you, you yes. should go take a shower. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go pour the water. <laughs> okay, okay. hydrate the fur, you know. And yeah. she like she like kind of 
It was like this, and her tail does a little flick, and she walks into the bathroom, and she shuts the door behind her. She's so cute. <laughs> uh, Arlo definitely, like, smiles at her, like, in a knowing of, of obvious, just being happy she's alive in there. Valid. Uh, and then after. kind of the moment she... Yeah, after. Yeah, after that. <laughs> and the, mo- the moment she gets in the bathroom, he, like, kind of, obviously, like, his face drops, and mm. he's... He knows he's not going to be able to just forget about it. But he's really going to try. Valid. He's try his best. Um, do you do anything else before you go to sleep? Oh my god, probably fucking not. Um, <laughs> Except cry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm thinking about, like, I would say, like, ask if his, like, his besties, if they're doing okay, but I really don't even think he could, he's not doing okay, so he's probably just to himself tonight. He does not want to text anybody. He does not want to... No. Valid. With That's that, it. then, Arlo, as you go to rest, um, we move on to Julia. And I charge my phone! <gasps> Okay, valid. <laughs> that actually made me gasp for some reason. I went, oh! <laughs> um, Julian. You arrive. Um, oh, yes. I have something for you. Don't worry. Uh, you arrive. Okay, I also the... have a thing that I like. Oh, okay, yeah, you say it first, just in case. Okay. Uh, just brain farting, completely forget. Valid. Oh. Um, is there enough time? to like meet up with someone real quick before curfew um probably not it's pretty close to the evening time um because they wouldn't let Arya go to the infirmary either gotcha <laughs> almost choked <laughs> was there someone that you wanted to meet up with yes hmm hmm I'm very curious <laughs> mm. <laughs> hmm <laughs> um do tell? Do tell. If you want to. You don't have to. No, will just do it in the morning. Okay. Oh, he has a bunch of other stuff to do in the morning. <laughs> He'll wake up early! After that day of sports festival, completely exhausted, mind completely wrecked, I'll wake up early to do this thing. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Arnold will come sit on his door in the morning. Don't, don't, Come don't. on, guys, my dad! <laughs> With all the outfits and stuff. Um, Julian. Good again. You arrive back to your dormitory, dormitory, dormitory with Silky. She hasn't said much to you. She simply kept her head low, and she's clinging to your shoulder, um, clearly exhausted with the day's events, and almost using you to kind of ground herself a little bit. When you arrive at your dormitory, mm-hmm. everything is as you left it. However, where are you keeping Napoleon? Like, currently? Yeah. Or, like, where am I setting down the pole? Where was he when you left? Or is he with you? He's with you, right? He's with me. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do, you take him, with do you take the, him out? To the sports bus. Yes. Okay. Um, I assume you do, because you're usually always looking at, like, when you go to sleep and stuff. Um, when you get him out, you see that his face is now fully formed atop the book. There's no movement. He's not moving. But the sight and the slope of his arrow-shaped no- nose and the concave eye sockets is enough to drip to grip your heart with a sense of hope. There is another dog-eared page within the book. Oh. Would you like to look inside? I it? flip to that page. Alright. <laughs> no, I think I'm just gonna leave no. it there for the night. <laughs> Putting it there. Julian. Um, as you open up the book, there is another message. That is right below the message that was left the day before. It reads, Julian, do you see what you can accomplish when you simply focus your thoughts on the present? Life can only be understood backwards, and so it must be lived forwards. You will succeed if you only reinvent your focus. Regardless, your mind will soon prove to be limitless. I am sure of it. I have been here always, watching and waiting, and I can see you escaping the confines of forgotten memories. It is a truly marvelous feat to watch you overcome. Press on, as I know that you can. And that is all that it says. Who raised their hand? Did you write this? Which part? There was one part that's a quote, but the rest of it, yes. Oh, is, is it the backwards thing? Yeah. Yeah. I was a really cool. I was a quote that I found that oh, I thought was really so cool. Oh, that's so sick! Right? I, love that. Sorry, I, I, was, I thought it was a really that's so good. I thought it was a really cool that's quote. That's great. Oh my god! Sorry. No, it's okay. 
No, you're good. I thought it was really cool, too. Um. Julian gets a bit teary eyed. Oh. Okay. Um. Is the scanner still on the roof? Yes. Okay. Do you do anything with it? <laughs> Just the do 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 What does that mean? <laughs> um It means are you gonna look at it tonight at all? That's a mighty question. Hmm. Yeah, he'll look at it. Okay. He'll check to see if it's still up there or if someone took it. When you check to see that it's still up there, as you get closer, you hear a faint beeping coming from the scanner. Um, I assume you continue climbing and go to get it. <laughs> mm, yes, okay. let's see what the beeping is. As you climb up and you get to the top where you have stored it, um, when you look at the scanner, you see that a prompt has popped up on the device's screen. Um, it is in human language. Would you like to translate it with your TCD? Yes. Okay. Just getting your consent. Um, when you use mm. your TCD to translate it, it states, watch list updated. If you click, oh, do you click on the notification? There is a, there is yes. like a, it's like a little pop-up essentially on the front of the screen. When you click on it, it brings you to a sheet on the scanner screen that lists numerous names. Most of them you do not recognize, but as you continue to scroll, suddenly a few of them become more clear. On the screen, you see several names. It says, watch list. Aria Lux, class four. Andromeda Chrysocoma, class four. Theron Rasbor, class four. Arthros Elvoth, class three. Arlo, class four. Mud Tarot, class four. Silas Basilisk, class two. Zophiel Baratiel, class four. And when you continue scrolling, you also see your name. Julian Archambault with a similar class distinction beside it that states class three. Each name appears to have drop down menus attached, small arrows beside the class distinctions that you can click. What do you do? He's gonna click on his name. On his name? <laughs> okay. Check the drop down on that, yeah. When you click on the arrow, arrow there appears to be a section that lists information in human dialect that you can't quite make out. You must use your TCD. I assume you do to translate it. Mm. Yep. Under your name, it says Julian Archambault, class three. Extremely resourceful, ability to adapt when necessary, strong magic capabilities, attempted escape from designated sector prior to arrival at Ravenwood Academy, can be insubordinate, possibility of corruption through empty promise and memories. Pressure points, forgotten past, spell book, his friends here, with a question mark, more to be discovered. You motherfucker with the pressure points! You dirty little, oh my god! Would you like to look at any, any other names? Look at Arlo's face. <laughs> <laughs> look at place. E you can look at all of them if you want to. You have this. They have the device. I feel like <laughs> I'm crossing some boundaries here. I feel like. Well, <laughs> it's up to you think Julian would actually do it. it. Yeah, do you think Julian you. would want that that's information? Fair. That's actually so fair. Like, do you he think that a, he would be like? Oh, he is no. quite a curious person, though. Because I honestly think he would. He is. But that's just me as the perspective of Julian. So I don't that's know fair. what you're thinking. It's also something you can tell your friends oh, about God. if you should like to. Mm -hmm. But also, 
I saw you guys' files. Pressure point bullshit. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. We don't need that. Dirty Silky's little... in there, right? Silky is not in there. Oof. No? Mm hmm. I was gonna climb down Stop and have disrespecting Silky my girl. Permission. Silky is not listed. That you can see on the name on the What if your list friends names. are in trouble? Motherfucker. <laughs> Take a look. Mm. Take a look. Take a look. <laughs> Do I would you think that he would be curious about Silas at least. I can give you He's the list. Gonna, yeah, I was about to say. He okay. is going to Here's the. He's gonna check Silas. Okay. Oh, oh my god. god. Here's the. Really love him. Love him. There's the people there. This people is dramatic. This is dramatic, and I'm oh, eating it up. God. I'm eating it up. Mr. Julian, class two. you click. Oh, yeah. You shit. click um, the arrow next to Silas's name's name. It says, "Vast tolerance to harsh environments. Rebellious and insubordinate. Already threatened humanity a multitude of times. Attempted escape from initial sector." Self-sufficient, able to survive independently and without aid. Proficient in thievery and deception. Excessive consistency in keeping secrets. Possibility of corruption through threat and torture. Pressure points. Westley Basilisk. Abandonment. Self-loathing. Fear of being alone. More to be discovered. Ouch. <laughs> Love so this man. what are what are the class distinctions that just like what it doesn't classes? say anywhere? Doesn't I'm assuming say it just says class. It just says class with the level. Say. There's no key. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm guessing assuming the that lowest. Like, we know nothing about the class. If you're a two, right? it's a higher ranking, and if you're a four, then you're less of a threat. But like, I so feel maybe Silas is a two, Arthros and Julian are both threes. And everyone else is Which a four. Is surprising. I want to. I want to know our. Please. Yes. I, yes. I want to know everyone. Oh, so for fast. Julian, for, for no, for Julian, is there any thing that's higher than a four that he can see for the list? There are no. Like, is there five? There are no ones on the list, or any. No, no, no. no. I mean, fives. I mean, like five. There are five. yes, there are a few fives, but there are no ones. What's the, what's the highest number? Is there like sixes, sevens? It only goes to five. That okay, you can so. see. That you can see. On the list, the highest number is five. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. That makes sense. <sighs> Damn. We want to know so badly. <laughs> this is uh, something. Um, he's you going to games. take out his T T C D. Okay. And he's going to text Silas. Okay. Um, there has been something I've been meaning to ask you for a while. Okay. Can we meet up and talk in the morning? Okay. Needs to be as soon as possible. Okay. You get a response back from him shortly after. Um, <laughs> he says, I'll be at the ball. Meet then, question mark. Sure. Okay. Do you look at any of the other names on the list? Oh, I don't know if... Mm. I'm just gonna say, put putting put in the thought here, right? So it's like you could you could deduce, I suppose, that they're they're not aware that the scanner has gone missing. Um, you could probably deduce that they would have some sort of technology to to figure that out. Um, so, if there is any good time to look there's a chance that it could be now rather than later. Mm. Just throwing it out there. True. Because <laughs> another note is that if we know what they're thinking about us, then we're in a safer spot. It's true. And if we didn't. 
True. <laughs> like a, True. Like a, he would like definitely a, come to that conclusion. Yeah, because he totally would. He's come a smart to that boy. Conclusion. He's a smart boy, and he also, um, he's also is not doesn't trust and would humans do so. Yeah, he would want to know. Can you also send all these descriptions yes. later? Yes, I'm gonna send them only to you though okay, because cool. you have the scanner. God. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pog. We can leave the chat, and he can tell you, and you guys can tell each other, and I won't watch the YouTube video later. <laughs> 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 Don't no, worry about it. I definitely won't. <laughs> I definitely won't be watching it later. I'll skip right definitely over it. Definitely won't. Yeah, Don't I worry. I will not. He'll, he'll go through each one. Okay. Damn! You, oh, you ah, start from sorry, the top, I'm essentially? I'm gonna scream. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Go alphabetical. All right. Through the order they Through the order please, they're in. Please, All right. please, please, please. Arthros, please. Arya Lux, class four. Oh, okay. Of okay. dangerous lineage. Devoted and loyal to those close to her. Possibility of moral corruption under the proper circumstances and pressure. Pressure points. Mother, fear of self, more to be discovered. Andromeda Chrysocoma, class four. Of regal lineage, powerful family. Evidence of rebellious action and intent, both current and within family relations. Possibility of corruption through empty promises. Pressure points. Family tree. Alder Chrysocoma. Mud Tarot. Zephyrus Arium. More to be discovered. Theron Rasbor, class four. Powerful capabilities, well-versed in, adap in adaptability. Currently weakened. Evidence and possibility of insubordination. Possibility of corruption through threat to freedom and livelihood. Pressure points. Someone of the name Roz, Arthros Elvoth, more to be discovered. Arthros Elvoth, class three. <laughs> Dangerous lineage. <laughs> Providing for vast knowledge in areas that could pose severe threat. Powerful connections. Possibility of corruption through manipulation. Pressure points. Sophia. Theron Rasbor. Members of her family? Question mark. More to be discovered. <laughs> Arlo. Class 4. More powerful than he is aware. Strong loyalty and drive to protect and aid those close to him. Possibility of corruption through those he loves and cares for. Pressure points. Owners of Hanburn Inn. Friends made here. Someone of the name Dimitri. More to be discovered. Mud Tarot. Class 4. Vast knowledge in the art of deception. Strong loyalty to those close to him. Vast knowledge in the art of manipulation. Dangerous connections. Possibility of corruption through self-doubt, self-loathing. Pressure points. Family, outlook on self, Andromeda Chrysocoma, more to be discovered. <laughs> and last but not least, that you see of the names you recognize, is Zophiel Baratiel, class four. Vast knowledge of battle and war. Excessive training in combat and agility. Applies a soldier mindset. Literal way of thinking, molded through loss, thick-skinned. Possibility of corruption through military application, soldier mentality. Pressure points, Remiel Baratiel, unnamed Averial. Friends made here, Arya Lux, Fennel Wistern, Wings, more to be discovered. And that is all you see of the list of the people you recognize. <laughs> Jesus I literally have thrown up like 10 I'm times. I'm losing I am, my mind. I have been dragged across oh the ground. God. I am no, literally like, I can't. I really can't right now, guys. I'm oh. off my shit. No. I am out of no. my shit. No. <laughs> I've been lost. Oh, dear. Oh God, I'm losing so my much. Levels. That I'm was so much. How oh. fucking dare you? Oh, God. <laughs> Sophia? Okay, <laughs> Sophia. God. Sophia. Oh, damn. <laughs> I sent them all to I'm you, gonna Julian. I'm, I'm, gonna literally, I'm literally oh. like, I can't even emote right now. I'm so I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Oh my god. That's <laughs> <just texted him. laughs> Yeah, that's a lot of information. Sorry. I'm gonna, gonna throw up. Oh, I'm gonna throw up out of happiness. 
I'm going to throw so good. We got a lore drop. Please. We got I so much good lore. What the fuck? What's Arlo up to? Military! What's Arlo up to right now? <laughs> Military <laughs> doing. What's he doing? He's... He's... I don't know. <laughs> Are you joking? Are we not going to talk about Arlo being more powerful than he knows? Are we not? <laughs> what that mean? Oh, no, 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 I'm not surprised. What if Arlo is gonna fucking blow up the world? He's eleven. I'm eleven. He's eleven. He is eleven. You lie, Papa. You lie. You lie, Papa. Papa. <laughs> Oh, I want more movies. I dump your ass. More movie, Papa. More movie. It's the ride. I am. I need that whole thing. That's more. Again. 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 I can't believe we're getting so much this episode. Oh my God! It's not even the finale. Fall, 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 fall. Bill, Bill, Bill. So, holy shit. With that, Julian, what do you do? Um, from there. Julian's gonna, first of all, write all of that down inside that, his book. Valid. In case he loses the oh, scanner. Valid. And now you have all the info right. that I have sent you. So. I'm so overwhelmed. Like, you have it written down. <laughs> My heart, like, going! <laughs> um, okay. Uh, do you do anything more? And after he's got. Yes. He, he's just overwhelmed. Valid. <laughs> right now. So valid. And he, he's, he's gonna quickly put it back on the roof, leave it there. Climb down. That's a lot. And then just take, <laughs> take several some time. breaths in valid. before closing the window. So valid. So with that, with that little bomb, um, I have the morning before the ball and then the ball. Would you like to take a break after the morning before the ball, or right before the like right before the ball begins, or would you like to take a break now? I th I think now because I kind of yes. want to get into it. Oh, uh, so I'm vibing, but I also have to go to the bathroom. Valid. <laughs> okay. Do you, how long do you want to break? I can go to the studio real quick. So. 15? Another 15? Yeah, 15. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. 15 minutes to awesome. breathe through. I, let's I, calm down. Really need, I like, need to calm down. Like, I need to calm down. I need to pull out the Tylenol shit. and cut. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to, um, I'm going to probably. Play I'm going to put, I'm gonna put something cute on. Yeah. I'm, so it's if like. If we want to be all. Are you going to fancy stuff on? I'm going to put fancy stuff on. I will too. I just, we'll I'm, 20. I'm just yeah, gonna put a pretty, a pretty top 20 on. Minutes, okay. 20 minutes, okay. You got it. 20. Chat, we will return <laughs> at 11.25. Yes. Okay. My <laughs> time, Eastern time. <laughs> See you at 25. <laughs> Thank you very much. So much fun. I'm so glad. This has been amazing. Uh, <sighs> See you in 20 minutes. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go. <gasps>
He's a little disheveled. Disheveled? Disheveled? Disheveled man. I love it though. Oh my god. We all are. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. We are sexy bitches. We are alive for small. Hello, everyone. Hello. Cheers. Cheers. So, um, James, do you want to give the narrative or shall I? Oh yeah, yeah. I should probably explain why I look like this compared to everyone else. <laughs> Which is great. Um, it's great. It looks so so good. Julia did not go to sleep after learning all that information. Also, he doesn't care about dressing well. He's just going <laughs> into the ball to talk with someone. Yeah, it's so good. It's so, so good. So that's why I look like this. It's so beautifully in character. <laughs> but like, I prefer it, it honestly. So it's so good. It. it is beautiful. Oh. <laughs> okay. So good. We are. Are we ready to get back into it? Are we yes. ready for this? Are we Yo. ready? Wow. I guess I'm ready. <laughs> I guess I'm ready. <laughs> 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 All right. Let's have a great time, and nothing wrong will happen. You all look so. Yay, it'll be a completely time. drama free, yeah. so fun so time with drama everyone. free fun time. Absolutely. Not a thing to worry about. Not a single thing. Not one singular thing. Not, Not a one thing. thing. Not Gracie said the vibes are immaculate. Thank you, Gracie. 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 Thank you, chat. You guys are being so sweet. Thank you. Um, so, I look more just like, I, I said L Queen rather than Bond. <laughs> but it's fine. Um, I mean, it's nice. It's, it's good. Fun. It's it giving Arthros, honestly, <gasps> with oh, her pointy thank ears. Thank oh, I is. thought about putting my Arthros horns on, but it just didn't match. So I was like, I would have passed like, out. <laughs> so it's a good thing you didn't. I, I would have quite literally died if you dressed in the chat. I'm 100% going to cosplay her at some point during session. I want to so bad. Um, Please, if you do, I will pass out. I want to cosplay like. I want to cosplay Arlo. I want to cosplay as We have to do it. Okay, we do want to do it in cosplay thing. I just want to change it out. We'll do it. We'll do it. I want to cosplay Mud, too. I'm determined to cosplay Mud. I don't care what. I, mean. I really need you to cause that. I want you so bad. Please, <laughs> oh, please <laughs> absolutely. I want you so we have bad. Andromeda is almost done. She's <laughs> getting there. She's I will. I'm I will fucking do it. It is going to take me 70 years to make. Okay, but if you, also, if you can't play Silas, I want to do Silas. I'll, I'll lose my mind. I want to oh my god, we have to do Silas and cry. He's, a, he's mm -hmm. easy for me to do too, so like, I want to do Oh my god, he's so easy. So easy. I just need to get green contacts. I'm attractive. Um... Okay, all right, laddies. Um, we're gonna keep this a little brief, but to give a little bit of a vibe to what you guys were doing um, for the. Oh, I can. Do you guys hear me? Okay, because I knocked down the microphone. Oh, yeah, it was I a bit far away. Better, better now. What? Oh, yes. way better. Sorry, okay, better. Okay, cool. Sorry, sorry. I didn't. It, I, I didn't realize, realize it fell. What was happening? But, um, yeah. Oh, valid. So, um, to give a little bit of preface, preface. Um, to Breakfast. what was happening um, before we begin the ball. I will also say as well, I have a few references for specific NPCs. <gasps> I didn't get to finish all of the ones I would like to, but I do oh. have a few. There's two of them I only have sketches for, which I'm only going to send to you guys because I don't really want to show my art as just the sketch Fair. to the whole stream. Um, it feels like I'm showing Fair. myself like half naked. Um, so oh. I will send you guys right. the sketch and um, I will show the colored ones that I have for everyone. Um, and then the rest that I have not gotten to, I will describe, obviously. Um, there will be a moment, I will say, I'm not going to... Not at initial, there will be a moment when you all find each other at the ball, and that'll be when we can all describe, or you guys can describe what your outfits look like. Oops, sorry, hit the microphone. Okay. Um, so, from there. Arlo, oh. Nari helps you to get ready that morning. All right. Um, Oi. She offers to paint your nails and um, help them to match to your outfit. She helps you with Thank anything you. you might need with your outfit. Um, she also gives you words of encouragement after the conversation that you guys had the previous night. Um, she helps you to feel a little bit better about your situation, or at least she hopes that she helps to make you feel better. Um, mm -hmm. she, she continues to kind of try and boost your confidence. <laughs> she tells you how amazing you're going to look. She tells you how uh, Claude is going to be absolutely obsessed with you. Um, uh, yeah, and... I assume that that's what you do with your day. Is there anything specific else that you wanted to do other than that? I think, yeah, I think he's at this point, he was going to just lose his mind. But now he's like holding it together for Nari. Oh. So right now he's like 
putting on a face, but the moment that he's not with Nari, we'll see what happens. Valid. Mm-hmm. Um, Julian, you do something um, quite specific this day. Um, yes. You, feeling sleepless, but still determined, um, <laughs> quite sleepless, you make a point that day to sneak in to the culinary class. Um, the classroom that you are very familiar with, um, considering you have that on your schedule, you ha- you're in the class with Theron. Um, and you use the ingredients and the appliances that they have in the culinary room to make a specific something. Would you like to say what you make and what you do with it? <laughs> Keep it a secret until it's seen. Okay. So. You make something, and um, we'll move on from there. Um, Theron, uh, I assume that you spend the day relaxing, stretching, resting, um, considering the course of events that you have had. Um, your body is probably taking quite a toll. Um, it's probably feeling pretty sore. Um, Arthros seems to be using the day to kind of mentally prepare. Um, she spends the entirety of her day with her nose in a book. Um, and from time to time, she kind of like, you see her or hear her, probably both, um, take a very deep breath before she continues reading um, every now and then to remind herself to keep breathing. Um, <laughs> um, is there anything specific you wanted to do other than that? Oh, I don't think so. I think as soon as Arya like brings the outfits and stuff he'll probably like try it on um see how everything fits he'll he slept in really really late so like that's most of the day valid um so with that then andromeda um how do you spend your day mud spends it um very much just doing what he usually does which is whittling nothing is really different um but he does seem a lot more excited um than usual. He also does disappear for a little while um, to go see Ku in the infirmary. Um, but he returns um, shortly after. Shortly after. Shortly um, after. I think she would just take it like easy. Um, she would probably go down to the to the pond a little earlier in the morning and then like she'd be she, she does her regular bathing but she's like extra scrubbing herself like really really hard <laughs> be so she's, like, clean. Clean. <laughs> yeah she's gonna be squeaky clean for this fall <laughs> um then she did some photosynthesizing she was laying out catching some rays As you know should. just getting just getting her getting her energy back and she's taking like a self-care morning she was just really like you know Good for her. talking to her bird friends talking to some plants telling them how excited she is and then oh. she'll when it's time to go get ready, she'll go and get ready. Okay. Um, Julian, quick question for you. Do you do this in, like, early-ish kind of morning hours or, like, mid-afternoon kind of vibe? Uh, can I get some, like, divine intervention? What do you think? <laughs> I will say mid-afternoon. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. Um... Aria, you go to drop off the outfits to everyone who asked you to um, do outfits for them. Uh, you drop them off at their doors, I assume. Um, do you wait for them to answer, or do you kind of just knock and leave them there? Or um, I think that she'll she's up Quite quite early early in the morning. Like the second that she hears, what's their names again? Cookie and Crackbog, Batbog. Crack bog, bat bog. Crack bog, bat bog. Crack bog, bat bog. Right. That man. As soon as she hears him up and going, um, she's like at the door, like, good morning, and she just has like a giant, like, you know, the things that like soccer moms bring to carry all like the soccer balls and stuff. No, not the duffel bag, but like the little like trolley. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. But she has all of the costumes and like her little suit or her sewing Suitcase. kits oh, okay. with her. Um, and she's just gonna take a little trip around. She's gonna go to like Arlo first and like 
knock real quietly because she knows most of them are still probably asleep. Mm -hmm. She goes to Theron's, but doesn't get an answer. So she leaves and then comes back later for him. So when he's awake. Um, if but... you were to knock on Theron's, mm -hmm. Arthros would probably yeah. answer the door. Okay. Um, she doesn't sleep that much. So sure. she is, um, she hears the faint knock and she does open the door for you. Um, and she, Good morning. she surprises you. She's kind of like, um, oh yeah. Oh, um, can I help you? Uh, is Theron awake? I have his outfit for the ball tonight. No, I wanted to make sure he's good. He's sleeping. Oh, all right. Um, then I'll come back later when he's awake. Cause okay. I know he gets tired quickly. Um, do you have an outfit? Are you prepared? Do you, do you want me to make something quickly for you? Are you right? No, but... no, no. I have an outfit. Yes. Okay. Theron asked okay. me to the ball. Oh, did he? <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Thank That's you. That's so wonderful. I'm excited. Yes. He doesn't know very much about me, and I hope that he, that's okay. <laughs> oh, shit, my phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it was adorable. It gives me serotonin. It gives me serotonin. You're my exact perfect. reaction. <laughs> Maybe the ball can be a time for you to get to know each other better. That might be a good opportunity. On the dance floor. Take some pressure on. Yes. You know, keep it casual. Yes. I mean, I will say, I'm pretty proud of the outfit I've done for him. I'm not going to brag or anything, but I think he's going to look quite snazzy I'm tonight. so excited to see it. Oh, you should be. And she's going to kind of like, she's going to kind of like tap her on the shoulder and just be like, well, I'll see you tonight. Have a great night. Just, I'll come back in a few hours when he's okay. see you living. Later. Maybe, um, right. since yes. it's such a special event and we don't quite know when the next one will be, maybe we can dance together. Is that something that tends to happen at these things? I'm not dancing. Like, I yes. just know that I'm supposed to look nice. You dance with your friends to music, and then sometimes you dance to romantic songs with things and people that maybe you find from more romantic. So maybe we can just dance to like a regular song and have fun. Right. Right. Yes. Um. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm uh, hoping to dance to the romance songs with. Well, I'm sure you will. If he asked you out on the dance, I'm sure yes. something will come of it. <laughs> okay, thank you for coming. <laughs> right! <laughs> See you later! She She's waves. gonna zoom off. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. And um, yeah. Yeah, and I assume I you do the same for everyone else? Yeah, she'll go around, check and make sure everything looks nice. She'll like take in some spots if there's like any weird, like, Rapage. Valid. Um, and then after she's done dropping off Theron's after a few hours, I'm assuming by this point she would have picked up Zophiel, like, in the middle of waiting for Theron to wake up or to go back to Theron's. Would you like to pick him up or would you like to meet him there? I was assuming that she'd probably have enough time to go and pick him up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's That fine. after that, they would both just walk to the infirmary together. Um, when you go to pick him up, um, Fennel answers the door, and he's as sweet I mean, as he nice. usually is. Um, yeah. Um, he's as sweet as he usually is, and, um, he welcomes you, he's and sick. you can see that Sophia's asleep in the back, but Fennel goes over to him and basically goes... Oh, oh, he's, <laughs> he's like, Sophia, Sophia, wake up. Your pretty, he's... your pretty lady friend is here. Oh, I'm not a pretty lady. Um... I, I mean, I, I, okay, um, hi. Um, Fennel just, like, waves at you, and then Zofiel kind of, uh, looks up, and he's like, um, Aria, would you Good like morning. to go now? I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to wake you, I thought you'd be awake, which is a stupid assumption, but I made it. He frowns, he's like, uh -huh. it's no matter, it is simply sleep. Right, but it's important. Um, he immediately gets up. And, okay. Um, right. Should I throw in a little fan service? I could throw in some fan service. Okay, I throw in oh. fan service. Okay. He. Okay. Is that a question? Please is that a question? Do. Please. I guess not. Please. Um, he gets out of bed and he's yes. not wearing a shirt. Um, he what, is... what is it with Arya walking in on men that don't wear shirts? Can yeah, I? Honestly, um, he's not wearing a shirt. 
Um, he's just wearing the, like, uh, the Kaylee Wing, like, pajama pants. Um, and Woo! he, uh, oh. <laughs> Wing. um, his body is well-toned, obviously. Um, he's very fit. Mm. Very um, nice. <laughs> but he does have quite a few scars here and there. They're not, um distinctly like shaped like anything specific it doesn't you can't really tell what they would be from um but he has quite a few lining his body um some that might be burns some that might be um like gashes um all shapes and sizes um and his wings are uh like fluttering behind him and they seem like they're kind of waking up too the feathers kind of shuffle um and he gets to his feet and uh he immediately walks to the bathroom, um, and the next time that you see him, he comes out and he is dressed in simply a um, button-down. Yes, Julian. Quick question. Um, do you have a reference for this for him shirtless? <laughs> I, I would say no, you were so so I, I, I do not. If not, this is new. Bob, you were like, I'm going to do you some fan service, and I literally look over, and Julian with the ha or like, like with the half glasses on. Nodding like this. <laughs> it was so funny. It was, it was like a desperate nod. Yeah, so I don't have reference. I'm sorry. Um, for science. Yeah, that's at the end. I know. I really have strike, strike one. one. I really have failed. Strike one. Make one. I will make. I will absolutely make one. Yeah. For hypothetically yeah. speaking. Hypothetically speaking. For a friend. Hypothetically speaking, I will absolutely make one. Oh, a reference. I want to add, but I want to win with a. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my God. I got you. I got you. Don't worry. Never I will mind. make a reference. Actually, Julian, really now you're um, saving all of us by asking this. <laughs> honestly, um, thank you, James. Sorry, in the chat. Are you just like this? Is the second time this has happened to her. And you, you know the. You know the. If I had a nickel for every time this happened to me, I'd have two nickels. But it was kind of crazy that it happened twice, right? She has like that thing. Yeah. Sure that happened twice. I was just. Yeah, I like was. That. Uh, talking about Verona, what they said in the chat, I would like to have a long talk where he tells me about his scars and I can look at him shirtless, please. <laughs> oh, I agree. Um, That's my goal for Arya. Have that conversation. So, Nipples. he comes out <laughs> and he's dressed. dressed. I have to say this. He comes oh, out, he is dressed. dressed. Um, he looks at you and he says, uh, he like nods like he's ready to go. Right. Um, she's still just, mm. Okay. Uh, Right, we should we should get going. Ah, mm -hmm. um, and she's gonna she's still carrying around her little like valid. Um, because I I mean I don't know I don't think she went back to her dorm by then. Um, and she's just gonna kind of walk like close to him. Just um, the two of you walk in companionable silence. Um, as he is not much of a chatter. Um, as you know about him. Um. And you walk to the infirmary. Um, when you get there, uh, Zophiel is more, as quiet as he is, he is still kind of that comforting presence by your side, much in the way that Ku would always be for you when it comes to moments when you were feeling anxious, how he would stand close to you and uh, let his shoulder brush and things of that nature. Um, Zophiel is kind of that to you because every so often you feel like a feather kind of um, mm -hmm. hit your arm or, um, your shoulder and um he walks with you there and when you arrive um you do see ku and he is in one of the beds the um, infirmary beds and he is um, not awake he's unconscious um but the monitor that he's set up to everything looks as though it is okay his heart is beating normally everything of that nature is normal his vitals are normal um but to hildy the school nurse um once you're there and you've kind of gotten settled and you've gone to see him and you're obviously, I assume, probably holding his hand or something of that nature mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Um, so Hildy does ask you if he has had any previous head injuries. Ah, uh, he, I'm not exactly sure on all the details and he wasn't exactly sure on them either, uh, but he has quite significant uh, memory loss. The only things he really remembers is that his name has something to do with K, O, and U, which is why we call them Ku. Um, he's gotten so much better with, you know, uh, 
having a sturdy schedule and things of that nature and but he yeah he's he's been struggling with this at least for as long as i've known him does it i, I didn't see much is it looking like it could get worse because of this she informs you that um normally an injury like this would not mm -hmm. have him unconscious for this long but she suspects mm -hmm. because of his previous injury it has been made worse um mm -hmm. and she informs you that he is currently in a coma and she's not sure oh. when he will wake up if he will wake up um when you hear this um sophia puts mm -hmm. a very awkward hand on your shoulder and just lets it sit there um as though this is something he's seen people do and so he's going to try and do it as well <laughs> Arian's just gonna kind of like put her hand on top of his and um she's just kind of like imagining i'm imagining he, she's like petting the top of his head like just like as gently as she can because i'm assuming it was like back of the head injury because he mm -hmm. fell like yeah he hit his head like back, back. Um, so I'm assuming she's kind of just, like, touching, like, the front. Mm -hmm. uh, but after, like, a few minutes, she's gonna go to the trolley. And under, like, a blanket that she packed, she's gonna pull out his book and, like, put the blanket that was on his bed on top of him. And then she's just gonna sit there and kind of, like, pat next to her for, for Zophiel to come sit. And she's gonna read to him for a little bit until she's done with the book. So. Zophiel does, in fact, um sit next to you and he sits there and he listens and um you do notice after a little while of reading that he has closed his eyes but he still seems to be aware um like he is just kind of imagining the words that you are reading um mm -hmm. and taking it all in um she, she is after because she's i mean she's heard this story every night and she's read it with him once or twice mm -hmm. um and so while she's kind of reading she's gonna kind of like go between petting Koo's, like, arm to kind of, like, to, like, putting her hand on Zophiel's shoulder, and she's just gonna, like, let her finger feel one of the feathers Love. without Love. petting it. Um, he seems to notice this. Um, mm -hmm. His eyes open for a moment, only, if only to squint over at you, and then they close once more. Um, and he does not say anything. She also pats his head. Gives him a good head hat. Pat head. Head pat. Pat head. A pat head. <laughs> yes. So, last but not least, though, uh, Ariane, when you do eventually get home, oh. um, I assume that you uh, kind of... Do you walk Sophia back, or, or do you I think she would. Him? Okay. Yeah, um, I think that after she finishes the book, she's going to, like, check in with the nurse one more time to see if he's... Like, if there's anything, like, if she can come back later after the ball, or if she's just... The nurse informs you you can come anywhere from um, within the curfew hours, and okay. any time that you're not in classes. Okay. Okay. Um, with that. So, when you do eventually get back to your dormitory, after mm -hmm. um, spending this time with Koo and Zophiel, um, and walking Zophiel back, he thanks you very awkwardly, as he usually does. Um, and uh, Fennel gives you like a like a big wave and like um, says that he he's excited to see you tonight. And um... she's gonna awkwardly like shake his hand, <laughs> like she's gonna like kind of do the like. Oh, <laughs> it was good to see you. Um, it's good to meet you tonight. He just, he, nothing seems weird to him about it, so he just he just like cool. Love and, it for him. Um, Love it for them. And he says, um, "See you later, or whatever." Um, when you get back, there is something at your door. Julian, would you like to describe this, or would you like me to? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. You go ahead. You want me to? Okay, let me know if I describe yeah. it. Okay, oh, if there's baby. anything I miss, tell me. Would you like me to also read okay. the thing? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, let me find it real quick. Is it a box? What's that my step? What is at my door? Um, oh, I'm nervous. How did, you, how did you package it? Julian, how did you? Is it in the little, little box? It's it's in a little like takeaway like cardboard box. Okay. okay. You would get unlike at a lot of places. All right. There is the little box, 
and there was a note on top. Um, Aria, do you look in the box first, or would you like to look at the note? Um, I look at the note first. Okay. I'm not a heathen. <laughs> the note reads. <laughs> the note reads, my mind has been muddled for so long on who mm. I was in the past and what my future would consist con consequently hold. But I'm trying to leave that behind and focus on present me and the people around me, what truly matters. I no longer care about whatever fortunes Sin could share with me, past or future, except for mm -hmm. one. She told me that you'd really like this gift. I suppose there's no point in saying, I hope you enjoy if it's prophecy, but I would not be surprised if you have the strength to break that, as your only limit is your mind. Nervously, but enthusiastically, Julian. Oh. And she's gonna kind of like look around and then she's gonna like take the box and go inside her dorm okay. and like close the door like what the hell is going to be in this box okay and she's gonna like take it over to her desk and like open it up like hello when you open it up there is mm -hmm. uh i'm not sure if Arya knows exactly I, I you probably would you probably had some because yeah okay um you see a strawberry creme brulee and the box oh. in a little one of those little like tins that they're usually That's made so in um, circular tins um and if you remember uh it was something that um out of character obviously because aria wasn't there um it was something sure. that sin had mentioned julian should do um as that is something that she knew that you would like um oh. yeah it was mentioned very briefly very cute uh <laughs> You had me thinking it was gonna be like a killer robot. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a cheesecake. <laughs> I was thinking it was like, like it's gonna be some inventions. Why would you that? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? I don't know. Like, he's a genius. You're like, why are you on the box? You're on the box. 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 you are you just like um yes there is another detail mm -hmm. uh <gasps> when you i assume you probably look back at the note yeah she's probably uh, like after oh. like, uh <laughs> at the bottom i do like it you see just like a little doodle uh at the bottom of the page of a smiley face that oh. s seemingly purposely covers what looks like the erased shape of a heart oh. messily and recently erased and as you can see there's like fresh eraser <laughs> shavings on it she smells it she's like this heart was two days old what the fuck julian <laughs> you erased it after two days of keeping it bro not cool not cool no it wasn't two days it was a day um no she's just like Julian, and she goes and she takes out her t her TCD and texts him. She's just like, "You're very sweet," and she sends it. And she just says, "Thank you for the treat." Said, "Oh, it rhymed." I didn't mean for that to not rhyme. <laughs> I love that. Wholesome, delightful. All right. Um. Also, did you get an outfit for the ball? And says it. <laughs> <laughs> she's so concerned back. yeah does julian write anything back the only thing she knows about she's probably is trying to nap to recover some sleep true and it's kind of not working kind of working valid he's and she's just gonna baby. kind of she's taking like very small bites out of it so that it will last forever <gasps> Warm time for drators no oh. i bet he would like this <laughs> It was prophecy. It was a baby. <laughs> it was prophecy. Um, Very so. good prophecy. That's the best prophecy I've ever had. And Ooh, so. Prophecy so delicious. Just so. What is that from? That's from something. Just, just, just so. Um, so. That's more like I think. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Um, just, so. just so. So, after days of anticipation, for most of you, the Ravenwood Academy Celebratory Ball is finally here. You've planned out outfits, dealt with the anxiety of asking someone to attend with you, wondered just how decadent this event was going to be, and just what the gravity of it would entail. For some of you, you've accompanied 
you're accompanied by outsiders you may have taken a special interest in here at Ravenwood Academy. Perhaps you never thought of even finding a shred of romance. You never thought that that was something that could have possibly, that you could have possibly wanted in the chaos of the last year. And yet maybe it's exactly what you needed to make things just a little bit better. Arlo. There is a knock at your door um, quite early before the event starts um, as Claude messaged and has basically told you that he will be picking you up from your dormitory. Mm -hmm. um, he is obviously a little bit earlier than typical uh, because he is one of the head house advisors and so he has to be there a little bit early as he has kind of obligations. Um, Nari is still getting ready and she informs you that she'll meet you there um, as she plans on taking a trek over to the Kaylee Wing dormitories and picking up her own date as well. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> Claude knocks on your dormitory door perfectly on time. Okay. I assume you answer the door and let him in. I walk up to the door and I put my hand on the handle and I s breathe for a little bit. Valid. <laughs> um... I'm still on, I'm until the last minute deciding whether or not I want to put on a fake face or be mm -hmm. very honest up front. I have not decided as I swing open the door um, and a big smile comes across my face because it is my default. Um, mm -hmm. And I blank out. <laughs> um, I'm just smiling. <laughs> when you do open the door. <laughs> Sorry. Bug. Yeah. Um, same. <laughs> uh, let me find my phone. I have Claude is one of the ones I don't have colored, but I have a sketch for. Um, <gasps> oh, I want to see for me. I'm gonna send it in references. Chat, you will see this eventually when it is finished. Thank you. Um, he is dressed in a suit, um, a suit jacket. The suit jacket is brown. It's like a light kind of tan brown, um, and he's wearing a vest. Um, like one of those little like button up vests beneath it um, mm -hmm. that's in a darker brown. Um, his tie is the aquafin blue, and beneath that he's wearing a simple white um, button down shirt. Mm. Um, his hair that is normally curly and flopping over in front of his face is gelled back um, in a very fancy, much like how your hair looks right now. It literally is kind of how his hair looks. Um, and his horns come through. Uh, you can still Cute. see his little brown horns. And um, he's wearing some dangly earrings that are gold. Um, and I will send you my little sketch of it that I have at the moment. All right. Oh my God. He's wow. not finished yet. So. <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> um, uh, uh. All right. He stands there. We must stay focused. We must stay focused. <laughs> we may, must stay focused, brothers. Um, when you open the door, mm -hmm. uh, he's adorned in a rather glamorous outfit. And you're seeing him now in a different light uh, than you've ever seen him before. Um, he is smiling very wide at you. Okay. He doesn't seem in any way different, uh, okay. like emotionally than typical. Okay. Um, and he's beaming at you and uh, he looks you up and down for a moment. And okay. he says, um, like, like when you open the door, his like jaw basically drops. Um, and he looks at you and he says, um, Arlo, you look incredible. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he, he awkwardly goes, uh, like this and he's got a tiny little rose, a red rose. Um, and he hands it to you and he like looks away for a minute and he's like, I just is like the like most cheesy thing I could have possibly given you, but like, no, no, I love it. Thank you. It's beautiful. <laughs> A rose. <laughs> you look amazing. Um, also, he smiles like, and he looks down. And he's like, "Oh, thanks. Uh, I tried. I don't normally try. So, you tried really good. Oh, you thank did, you. Good, really good try. Thanks. You did a good job. It's always you kind of like it. trial and error, you know. But um, yeah, I yeah. tried on so many. Well, there I didn't try on so many, but oh, I had. Oh. Lots of pet like pep talks, you know. Oh right, yeah, 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 yeah me yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was like really, ner really ner nervous. Yeah, me too. Um, do you wanna? Yes. Okay. We should go. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, and uh, he extends his hand to you, 
Um, mm-hmm. And he's got a hopeful look in his like, mm-hmm. multicolored eyes. Um, and he mm-hmm. waits. Do you take his hand? Um, I hesitate. Mm-hmm. Um, slightly enough, probably, for him to notice uh, and maybe get concerned. And then I snap back into, uh, like, yeah, absolutely, yes. Um, oh. And I do it. Okay. Um, and you begin to leave hand in hand towards mm-hmm. the celebratory ball. All right. Andromeda, you and Mud take your time to get ready, each of you in your designated bathrooms. Um, it's the longest you think you've ever seen Mud in the bathroom for. And you can assume, by the time he's taken so far, that he's putting quite a bit of effort into his look tonight. As though it is destined, you both finish up around the same time, exiting the washrooms to find one another. I have a reference for Mud. Um... I will send. And I also have the reference for the chat, so... Um, That's my Let me send it really quick. Brothers, we must stay focused. <laughs> Brothers, we must stay focused. Okay. We must stay focused. Chat. Brothers. Here is... I don't know how your guys are going to look on the screen. Oh, that's good enough. Okay. And chat, I am sending... Or you guys, I am sending it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> God, uh, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. We, Are you we must stay focused. Right Lord have mercy. We cannot stay focused, brothers. We cannot. We cannot stay focused, brothers. Um, oh, as you can Lord. see, we will renew my the apple of my eye. Oh my god. <laughs> as you guys can see, um, he does have his hair down, um, which he usually yes, has tied up in a little man bun. <laughs> So he does He's, have his hair down, and it's oh. got a little slight wave to it, not very aggressively. Um, wow. You can see that he's wearing a green suit jacket that has um, is adorned in different shades of black and gray, um, and he has his little darker black bow tie. He's wearing a little, uh, like, chain that clips onto his suit that is like a little bug. It's like a little bronze bug, um, and it attach, attaches to the pocket. Uh, and he's wearing a earring in his ear that is very clearly wood that he has very clearly um, carved um, into a shape that he thought might look nice for an earring. Everyone, everyone's like, awooga! Um, he has a slight little braid in his hair that it's clearly just an afterthought that he might be he thought might be cute. Um, and attached to his suit, there is a little daisy that he found outside that he thought, you know, why not? Have a little bit of nature in the look. Um, when he walks out and he sees you, he absolutely freezes in place, um, and he looks you up and down for a moment, and he immediately, like, bursts into a wide grin, and he says, um, Tree, you look stunning. Hello. Hello. And you can, I like, for flavor reasons, <laughs> she's, like, looking him up and down, and she, like, <laughs> kind of gulps a bit. And like one of her like little hair, little willow hair tendrils like blooms a little flower, Aww. and she looks next to it. And she goes. <laughs> um, he looks you up and down after that, and he says, "Um, you you look like sunshine incarnate." Thank you. Um, you look equally as good. Oh, thank you. I that think this is the most effort I've ever put in my life. But, Me too. You know. We typically don't um, dress up when we do, you know, fancy dance gatherings where I'm from. So this is... Woo. Yes, and where I'm from, we don't have fancy gatherings. We just have oh. mud and dirt. And, and dirt. occasionally jacuzzis, but that's oh. depending on, you know, wealth. J- jacuzzi? Yes. Interesting. That's a new word. Mm. I'm very excited to dance with you. I'm very excited to dance with you too. Um, and he smiles at you, and then he says, "Um, he says, um, oh, I forgot to inform you. I got you something." Uh, you, and he you t- reaches into his pocket and he pulls out a bracelet. Oh. Um, it's made up with a rough textured wood-like string. You know that kind of like very rough string. It feels yeah, like that. Wood. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, um, tied within are several small stone-like jewels. Um, they're a strange clear translucency. They kind of have colors that look like they're shining within. 
very much like um, those jewels that are. It's I think it's like topaz, not topaz, um, opal. It's very like opal, opal yes, style, yes. and it's got like but within it there's like flecks of gold and flecks of like green and blue and multicolored little flecks within. Um, it's almost like iridescent in the right light. Um, and he turns to you and he lifts it and he says, "Um, oh that that stone thing, the thing." Um, mm -hmm. I decided I'd break it open because it was freaking oh. me out a slight bit. Um, so when I broke it open to see uh -huh. if there was anything special inside, these were in it. It was like oh. opening a coconut, you know, when there's like <gasps> something nice inside and the outside is boring, but then yeah. inside it's like milk, right? So yeah. yeah. So I thought the jewels would probably be a little better than like little stones. And so this way, now that it's broken, at least I think, it won't do anything... Um, Weird. Weird. Or yeah. move, you know. Or move, exactly. Maybe, oh, it could have also been the, the stones in it making it move around, but if it's on, you know, if it's on a bracelet. I don't think so. I think we're fine. Mm -hmm. I think so, too. Did it do anything when you smashed it? No. No? Ah, good. And he, like, hands you the bracelet, Ooh. um, and he, he looks at your hand and he says, would you like me to put it on you? Oh, yes, please. Okay. And um, he ties it on your hand, and he ties it in, like, a little double knot um, so that it definitely won't fall off. And um, and then afterwards, he offers you his um, arm, very much like this. Um, she takes. She takes it. No hesitation. <laughs> you both exit the dormitory um, and make your way towards the vent. A quick question. Do you want to take anything with you um, to the ball? Is there anything specific you're bringing with you? Uh, or are you just going in your outfit? And that's just my, my, my big old fancy outfit. Okay. Yeah. Then, with that, we will move on to Julian. Um, Julian, good sir. You didn't have any intention. Probably wakes up to a timer. <laughs> Valid. You didn't have any intention, <laughs> nor will, to attend this ball. Um, it all sounds egotistical and uppity and entirely out of your style. But alas, it is mandatory. Um, and you find yourself staring at a mouse in a dress. Silky rolls her eyes and pulls at the hem of her dress, shaking her head. <sighs> Should have gone with a suit. And then she looks at you um, and she looks you up and down. And she's like, you ready to go? Her dress, for context, is like a light blush pink. Um, and the jewelry that she is wearing, she has like a little earring in that's gray for Kaylee Wing. Um, and a little gray bracelet's on her hand. And it's very out of character for her. She doesn't seem like the kind of mouse that would ever wear a dress, let alone wear the color pink. Um, so, uh, yeah, so she looks at you and she says, um, are you ready to go? Um, yes, do I look ready to go? She looks you up and down and she's like, it's certainly a style. You look great. You look great as well. You don't look excited. Am I supposed to be? Well, you know what? We can just eat from the dessert section the entire time. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Um, and as Julian is leaving, mm -hmm. he finally looks at his TCD and sees the text from Arya. Says... Mm -hmm. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Mm. Wait, am I supposed to have an outfit? Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> She's just gonna text back. Julian in all caps. <laughs> that's all she has the time for. That's it. That's cute. <laughs> um, Julian, uh, Silky takes to your shoulder, as she's gotten so inclined to doing. Um, and you both leave the dormitory in the direction of the ball. Um, we love a mouse in a dress. A moment. Aria, we really do. Your time getting ready is a bit different. Um, Ku's presence makes the room feel incredibly empty, cold, and deserted. Um, you put yourself together in silence. Um, and uh, do you take anything with you when you leave? Is there anything specific you want? Um, I think that she i was thinking about this i think that she probably also made ku an outfit mm, for sure for the ball 
Um, I think she's going to take, like, because I always imagine, you know, the little handkerchiefs? Um, that, yes, that the little pocket, pocket squares or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I um, think she's going to take Ku's pocket square out. She's going to, like, tuck it in her boot. Uh, um, wow. And then, like, kind of hang his outfit on, on the bed. And I think she's probably just going to take her TCD. Okay. And I think that's it. I don't think there was anything else that she wanted to take. Okay. Yeah. When you move towards the door... Uh, ready and fully intent on heading towards this laboratory ball. Um, someone is standing in front of your dormitory, and a hand is lifted as though they're about to knock. Um, and when you open the door, you realize that it is Helios. He's dressed in a suit that's as pink and as bright as he is. Um, the jacket is a shade of blush, and he's clad in a white button-down beneath. A small blue pocket square tissue to show Aquafin, contrasting with the pink of his jacket to show his school color. Oh, sorry, I repeated that, but you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> he jumps, startled, um, as you walk out at the same time, right right as he's about to knock, he has his hand like lifted right there. Um, mm-hmm. And he sees you, um, and he looks at you with wide eyes, and he says, um, Oh, Aria, I'm so terribly sorry. I hope not distor- disturbing or intruding. Hey! god and she's gonna kind of do the like thing where she's like telling not trying to touch him but she's like airing around his body like oh my god this suit oh my are you kidding me where did you find this look at the fabric it's so soft where did you get this i need that fabric he smiles he's like yes well i thought pink was my color you know pink is terribly your color i love it right and the special blue is beautiful i love it oh thank you yeah it's, it's like it's quite nice it's like cotton candy you know it is. Oh my gosh! Exactly. Yes. Cotton candy. I don't know what that is, but it makes mm. sense. I only find out when I when I came here, and I, it, I'm it's like I'm obsessed with it now. I mean, candy and cotton makes sense. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pink is a little odd for the thought of it, but I, I'm sure I could get around that. Y- yeah. Uh, are you, you doing? Are you are, are you alone? Yes. Um. Are you? I, I don't know. Going. Heard clues in the infirmary. Yes. Um. Yes. So about that. Um. I I saw what happened. Um, with him, um, mm-hmm. and I thought, well, that since our big friendly giants are both gone, that maybe we could accompany one another to the ball, platonically, of course. I mean, yeah, of course. And she kind of like, um, just like takes his hand, and just is like, I would be thrilled to take you to whatever the hell a celebratory ball is. I still have no idea what's going on. I just think it's nice that we get to dress up. So, and she kind of like takes his arm and wraps it around hers and she's like, let's go. He nods his head and he gives you kind of like a sad (laughs) smile. Um, Like like he wants it to be hopeful, but it's kind of like drops a little bit. Kind of like leans her head on top of his and she's like, okay, we're going to be good. He takes a deep breath and um, he nods and he looks at you and he says, "Um, you look absolutely stunning, by the way. Ah, oh, it's it's definitely a change. Um, yeah. I've never made anything really this extravagant, but you should see Andromeda's dress. So, mm. right, you know, oh, I'm excited to see Andromeda's dress. Oh, you really should be. It's really incredible. I'm very, very proud of it. I mean, I, oh. anyway, let's go. He smiles and he says, "Um, maybe when when uh, Doshi's back, uh, you can make him something snazzy to look in." Oh, I already know he's going to be the most snazzy. The moment we get him back. Which will be soon. Right. Don't even think about it. It'll be soon. Okay. Going to find him. Um, and with that, you both saunter off a little less lonely for the night. Um, the both of you. I love Helios. Mm-hmm. I, love I thought you might him. like Helios. Ah, that was so good. I needed that. <laughs> um, good Ryan. Good Ryan. Ryan. Good That's the kind of fan service I want to see. <laughs> no. His boyfriend, I his boyfriend isn't that. here to go to the ball. That completely subverted any expectation I had of who was going to be at the door, no. and it just- I was hoping for that. Is- that, was awesome. Awesome. that was perfect. Oh, 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 I love everything about that. Oh, way, like, so much. Yeah. That was such a good moment. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, definitely healing. Theron. I agree, I agree, I agree. Theron, I agree. Theron. I oh, Theron. Me? What? Yes, you. Um, oh. You are ready before Arthras is. Um, you finish dressing to the nines in your new outfit. A perfect fit, thanks to Arya. 
Mm -hmm. um, you're smoothing out your jacket and shaking the stiffness out of your scales. Um, and it's only a few moments later when you find uh, yourself ready to head out that Arthros emerges from the bathroom that she'd been enclosed in for the last hour. And I have a reference for you. Um, I'm doing all of the references on the same page on my stream, so you guys are going to see mud for a second again, and I'm going to change the photo real quick. <laughs> I'm, going to... I'm not complaining. See I'm, not, again. I'm not ready. <laughs> um, I'm trying to send them both at the same time. It's going to look so hot next day. I, I'm not prepared for this. I need to mute myself. I should also do that, actually. It's sir, okay. no, sir. We need your reaction. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh! I am quite literally throwing up. She is gorgeous. <laughs> I'm. That is an ultra slay. Holy fucking shit. That is an ultra slay. Like, that is an ultra slay. Like, that is the definition of an ultra slay. Oh my. You can yeah. buy a slayer than that. <laughs> there is no slay. Um, that is peak slay. Um, as you can see, she is really in cool. a dress that has quite a few straps. Um, looks very uh, otherworldly, I suppose. Um, oh my lord. She has a little, like, see-through sheer God. cloak that kind of is attached to the back I shoulders that goes and goes down to, like, n right above her butt. Um, and she's got a little arm jewelry on her side and um, multiple golden necklaces, uh, little golden sun earrings. Um, and her hair is tied up in one of those, like, uh, updos where the braids go, like, around and then fold into, like, a little bun. Um, and she's left a few strands in the front to hang with her bangs. Um, uh, yeah, and she... Oh my god. She comes out, and she's immediately talking. Like, she, she like, barely even, like, gets a chance to look at you. She comes out, and she's like, um, it's been a while since I've been with to one of these. I find myself quite nervous. And, um, she, like, brushes herself off, and she looks up at you, Theron, and she immediately is like, do you... And she absolutely stops talking. Oh. And she's just like wide eyed <laughs> staring. He is, again, he's just speechless still for probably too long, honestly. Just like staring at her. <laughs> she's like, doing the same. <laughs> trying, to, trying to breathe, trying to remember how to do that. <laughs> and it's not working. Um, she looks you up and down, and she's like, You look like a main character out of my favorite book. <laughs> that is the best compliment. That is the best compliment. I don't have a favorite book, but if I did, that's what you would look like. Wow. <laughs> They're both just staring at each other. He usually has, like, words, but he's just... Bella. Wow. <laughs> Wow. You, you, wow. <laughs> you look like a goddess. I, wow. What? I can assure you, you I am not a goddess at all. Well, you certainly look the part. Oh, thank I'd you. I believe it. Is it too I much? Is it, does it look too costume? No, it's not no, a costume no, part. not at oh, all. Okay. It's just natural, it, it suits you. Oh, thank it's you. perfect. Okay. You're perfect. You too. Um, I... I I have a gift for you. I have I have a gift. Um, You've given me I so got many gifts. I have not given you any. No, no, that's okay. No worries. You you are a gift. We're not quite Your on the equal front. is a gift. Oh. Wow. <laughs> this I... I'm like out of character. I am still losing my mind. <laughs> I had like expectations. I was told me like the colors, and I'm still losing my mind. I was really conflicted it. about it. I almost like redrew her, but I'm really glad that you like it. The audacity! <laughs> the audacity. The audacity. Um, no, that's, that's, wow. Um, that's so she looks down again and she like so pulls at her dress a little bit and she's like, it's a bit more revealing than I expected initially, but. That's fine, I, I suppose. I don't mind that at all. 
she is just like totally fine. her skin is like a shade pinker than it usually is um and she just like blinks and she's like okay. <laughs> so, um should we shall we raffles no oh i will give you your gift now before we go oh, okay yes right correct yes hmm. okay he goes to his like little like table desk area and like opens a drawer and he pulls out like this thin little like novella book kind of um it looks like it, it would like it was, it was probably intended as a journal it's just mm. um it's got like black leather bound just like super skinny um and he just like hands it to her and says this is all that i could remember but it's all of like a collection of poems from Osterdell that I hopefully remember correctly. Um, and it's, it's like a journal, right, that you, like, hand wrote in it, right? Yeah, so okay. everyone is, like, handwritten. There's, like, a different poem on each page. And um, kind of short, some are long. She takes it very slowly, and she looks down at it, and she, like, flips through a couple pages, and then she looks back up at you, um, and she's like, this is better than anything I have ever received in my life. Um, and she blinks for a moment, and are there empty pages in it still? Mm -hmm. There's, like, okay. in, I mean, you probably didn't have enough to fill the back. Valid. It's a small book, but okay. there's, like, ten pages or so in the, in the back that are empty. She goes to um, the empty pages and looks at them for a moment, and then looks back up at you, and she says, um, I think that I'll fill this with good memories, in contrast to my other book. And then... I will always remember it fondly and keep it with me. And she's like smiling like super wide that her cheeks are like <laughs> so cute. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, she like holds the book like to her chest for a moment and she looks at you and she says, um, thank you, Raffles. <laughs> um, but I don't course. have a gift for you. Um, I didn't expect one. Well. I will promise to dance the best I've ever danced in my entire life. I look forward to it. Okay. And then he offers his hand so that they could go to the ball. She takes it and she is beaming up at you like entirely charmed. Um, <laughs> and you both head off in the direction of the ball. To the ball. To the ball. Okay. Um, are you guys good with like literally a super quick short break so I can pee really quick? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, cool, yeah. All we have left is ball. So um, you guys can do whatever you want. And uh, we're doing pretty good on time, too. So you guys feeling I'm okay? Is everyone feeling yeah, okay? Really good. okay? Honestly, I'm okay. so, okay. so like, I am I'm, I'm I'm really so right now. I am this is great. Oh. I feel secondhand very nervous. That's not I, I feel nervous. I feel nervous in all of our own way. I feel nervous and I'm kind of in control of it, but I still feel nervous. It's a muscle I'm, so um, I'm gonna pee super quick. Um, so five minutes. So uh, forty-seven. Forty-seven. Oh, 47. Paggy. Oh, I'm gonna put my you. resources for my outfit. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I just put them in my character info, and then we can just move them over. Yeah, that's fine. Time, so. Um, chat. We shall return in five minutes. Mwah. <laughs>
Uh, we return. Uh, we return. Uh, we return. Uh, we return. Uh, All right. So, with that, I will say that. Where's my little description thingy? One second. There it is. Okay. Let's get back into it. Bum, bum. For you all, um, for context, the ball is being held in the cafeteria once more. Um, this isn't the kind of cafeteria, obviously, like middle schoolers or high schoolers get their homecomings <laughs> and proms in. This is this is like obviously the entire building is basically a castle. So this is like elegant cafeteria. I mean, you like guys' food, yeah, your guys' food market oh. is like hella. Um, so <laughs> when nice. decorated for the ball. It already looks like something um, straight out of a fucking Victorian castle. Um, Amazing. Oof. I Fine. do have a little, location, like... Location, location. I have a description, but I also have a little, like, um, picture for vibes. Um, Ooh. So, Ooh. I will describe and then yeah. I will send the Yay. photo. So, <laughs> all right, let's dive in. The ball is in the grandiose cafeteria as the banquet was. But it is clear how much effort went into this event, rather than the previous. It is positively marvelous. Chandeliers hang from the ceilings, elegant and divine, and covered in candles that flicker and cover the entirety of the room in a golden hue. Tables are laid out with plates and forks and decadent cups for endless refills. Candles rest on the tables too, framed by a beautiful array of golden flowers that perfectly match the gold in the school's colors. Purple tablecloths lace the dining areas, royal and patterned with swirling insignias and design. There is laid out, there is a laid out long dining table covered in food and drink, large bowls for punch and water, trays and arrays of all sorts of different foods, and an enormous luxurious display of desserts that even have a chocolate fountain, um, decoratively sat atop the table surrounded by fruit of all kinds. Soft, classical music plays in the background, light and airy, but once it ends, the song that picks up next has light singing in it, and it is clear they've attempted to merge old-fashioned ballroom etiquette with modern-day elements. Right outside the ballroom, they've even set up a small gazebo with a charming white foundation surrounded by beautiful potted flower bushes. It is a picture of absolute perfection and more elegant and surreal than anything any of you have seen in a long, long time. Here is the little reference that I have for vibes. Oh my. We live like wow. this. Wow. It's nice. we, we do be living. We live in the we life, live guys. Like this. <laughs> yes, um, we live like this? Yes. That's, oh my God, that's, that's elegant. That's right. insane. We upper class tonight. Nice. Um, How do we look? We, we they ain't doing like us. They ain't doing it like us. <laughs> Ain't nobody doing it like us. It is a picture perfect moment. Sure um, is. And as you all enter the ball from every direction, some of you with arms interlocked with dates, and within moments of entering, you all lock eyes with one another in a way that feels like fate. <laughs> I heard Haley from oh, oh, oh. Oh, great, dude. That's so good. Okay. That's so, <laughs> I'm so glad. <laughs> I didn't expect it's it to so go over true. like that. Oh my um, god. I'm, I'm already relieved. I'm, I'm excited. Already relieved. Um, Instantly locked on all of you. <gasps> Aria, boop, 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 boop. would you like to describe to the group what you are wearing? <gasps> yes. Please. Okay. So let chat. me drop oh, references well. in just for, for them and then I can explain it after. For chat. Um, <laughs> beep, bop, bop, beep, bop, 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 beep, bop, beep, bop. What, should I do in references? Yeah, you can do references. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's going to send all in one, but. That's okay. Oh no, frick! You can do it one at a time, so you can like describe it to the chat one at a time. Okay, so for outfit first, Arya is wearing a royal blue pantsuit with a cape. Starts at the shoulders, goes all the way down um, to the floor. She's wearing her usual black boots. Um, That's gorgeous. It has pockets, of course, because why would it not? Um, and she's got these little um, gloves on that are not like exactly gloves, they're more just like lace embellishments, um, but they look, they're royal blue in the picture, they're white, but I imagine them the same color as her dress. Um, and they have like, basically they kind of look like little feathers kind of going up her hand, it's really pretty. Um, for jewelry, she's wearing her hair in like, 
kind of like Viking hairstyle braids back with silver, um, like astrological um, constellations in her hair. Um, and she has a little silver birdcage necklace on. Um, Symbolism! Symbolism! I also want to throw in, um, I just made, for now, I'll make it prettier at some point. I just made a live references channel in the Ravenwood students in uh, our Discord. If you would like to send your references in there so that um, ah, chat yeah. can see. I'm also going to send the ballroom reference so people have it. Live um, references. Chat, if you go to the Discord and go to um, the Ravenwood area, there's going to be a thing that says live references. It doesn't have an emote next to it, so it's easy to see. Um, and you should see the uh, pictures. You're free to talk in it if you guys would like, because um, I haven't made it, you know, unable to be talked in, so... Should you oh, like yeah. to see what Arya is wearing? She has just sent the pictures. Yes. All right. Yes, that Sorry. survives. All right. Um, obviously, you guys all see Helios interlocked um, arms with Arya. Um, and we will move on to Andromeda. Would you like to describe what you are wearing? Yes! Okay. Okay. <laughs> I love outfits for d, &D <laughs> things. So I've had this Valid. idea for a long time. I changed it up by one bit. But so now it's it's a it's a new sleigh, it's a new day. All right, I'm gonna start with the dress first because there are some details that I need to dish out. Um, I'll send it to our chat first, and then I'll send it to the other chat. Um, so this is the dress that she is wearing, and it is this. Okay, so all I can describe it is a like a sweetheart neckline. Um, it has a gold bodice, and it has uh, an embellishment of willow leaves going up the bodice. And then it has two off-the-shoulder straps um, that are very, like, delicate, light, like, tulle-type material. Um, the uh, skirt itself is also, like, a tulle material, and it's very, like, light and golden. Oh, it's, it's, it's all light and very golden tones and um going up the skirt itself um it's not in the photo but there's some kind of like light green uh vines like a like a baby willow tree kind of mm. type beat um going up the skirt of the dress where it meets the gold where it goes into the gold there and there is a nice slit up the right side of it so you can kind of get a little bit of leggy in there Bulaga. and um, she has no shoes on, obviously, because she's uh, she does not like wearing shoes. Um, and then I will send the her bracelet she's wearing. So she's wearing a bracelet, um, which is this uh, vine, uh, two two little vines like intertwining. Um, nice. They're green for Terra Claw, so she has a little bit of Terra Claw rep going on. Um, she's wearing the necklace that Mud gave her. And her hair is all nice and loose down her back. It is very long. It is uh, very bright, very golden. And she has um, two like two pieces kind of pulled from the center back to be kind of like a little half up, half down. It's like the first and time I'll... they haven't seen you with the pigtails. Yeah, with the pigtails. Yeah. So she has it fully down now, and it's like boom, down her back. Mm. She has big, thick, thick hair. Um, it's all curly and golden. And on the pieces that are pulled back, um, she has these which she in the morning when she was picking the flowers uh she picked these yeah. forget-me-nots that are white forget-me-nots in her hair yeah. and yeah. um so her her dress itself um has a very low back it is a corseted back in the very very it's very very low and the back is a little scandalous and yeah. you can see whenever she turns her back to you um these lines and they are inky black, super, super dark uh, contrast to her typical golden hue. And it's these willow tree vines that snake all the way up her back and to about like the the blades of her shoulders a little bit back up Julie to her neck. Can finally see it. <laughs> it's her ta it's her tattoo slash birthmark. And it goes all the way past the dress too, so you can assume it goes to about like the base of her spine was where it ends. But this it's this dark willow tree that kind of snakes up her back Love um 
And that is what she is wearing okay. to the ball. And she looks and, very happy and <laughs> well. And beside her, you can see that she is standing with Mud um, in his little his little decked out outfit. Um, and with that, we will move on to you, Theron, Mister Sir. Um, you all obviously see Arthros with Theron, which I think you all kind of expected. Um, same with Mud and Andromeda. You all kind of expected to see them with them. Um, <laughs> Uh, but yes, Theron, if you would like to explain your outfit to everyone. I don't actually have references. That's I was okay. going to draw it, and then I didn't finish the drawing, That's so okay. I will at some point. Use your but... wordsies. We got you. We'll visualize. That's fair. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, much like Theron, just researched Gentleman Thief oh. and based his outfit off of that. So love think very, very proper, like, gentleman suits, kind of like a tailcoat, a little bit old-fashioned. So you really um, do look like what Arthur said, a main character. In yeah, I do. I, you said that, and I was like, hey! <laughs> Oh, I, I didn't plan that. I love like, that's okay. I and also, I mean, you're drawing it anyway, so we'll get your reference eventually too. So yeah, I mean, I can describe it as well. Yeah. I, mean, I have the sketch, but I'm not gonna share. Nice, it it's valid. Done. That's so valid. Um, so it's mainly like all blacks, like the whole suit is. Mm -hmm. Um, he's got like black slacks. He's got like he doesn't really wear shoes because he's got weird like dragonborn feet. Big feet. He has like these proper like foot covers which you'll see once Aww. i like share the drawing but like they're That's like cute they've got little like gold buttons and they're like a deep dark like red um he's got a red like sash around his waist instead of like a belt um it's it's kind of like an homage to his ostradelian like outfits he kind of wanted to incorporate it a little bit um, his tail coat is a modeled, like, it matches Arthros really well, which I'm really pleased about. Thank yeah. you for telling me her colors. Yeah. I, like, I wanted no them worries. to match. Um, but it's very, like, fiery. It's got a lot of dark reds and oranges. Um, the, like, collar is gold, and he's got, like, a little pocket square, which, like, the lining oh. of that is gold, and he's got a orange, like, um, pocket square to match his house colors. Mm -hmm. That's his little thing up front and center. Homage. <laughs> mm -hmm. His little homage. Um, under his vest, he's got like a kind of like this. It's like a very like poofy, like flowy kind of sheer black. Um, <gasps> like a poet blouse. Yeah, like yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty much exactly like that. Um, underneath. And his jewelry, he swapped out his little like ring thingies for um at the points of his horns there's just like gold tips that are like on it and then at the edge of his tail there's like um a band of gold and then like the tail tip is like also covered in a gold like love love this man to call it love but it's man. like a little gold tip <laughs> i love so all his jewelry is like golden Aww. matching and that is his house. outfit uh -huh. i love i love i love i love matches the colors really well which I'm pleased about. I fucking love. Um, <laughs> but very proper. And of course, you see Arthros. Um, so pretty. And Arlo, we'll move on to I, you. Who everyone yeah, everyone sees you, um, arms interlocked with Claude. Um, Claude looking quite in contrast to you, I should think, um, with his little brown hooves and his. Oh, for sure. He's in a lot of brown. Um, yeah, good for him. Very earthy. The way that I always yeah. see you and Claude is literally like earth and water. It is like how I see it. Hi. Cute. He's like literally the candle that I made for him is earthy tones, and yours is like beach and like coconut and smell like smells like that. He's a Virgo, probably. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, would you like to describe your outfit? Um, yes. Okay, so Arlo's outfit is very heavily and completely inspired by the Little Mermaid, Prince Eric. Uh, that is everything to him now. <laughs> I actually got a suit once that had a vibe of it, um, so I'm going to show it, but I, there's extra details to it. Okay. So. I, I had this suit um, okay. oh, where it had the little buttons I see what you mean. and yeah, like yeah. the stripes, but the buttons, and it would be a, a, a royal blue instead, but still with the gold. Mm -hmm. And the buttons would have like the sashes on them, and then there would be the little shoulder pads. You look like, like a Disney like, prince. Yeah! <laughs> like, yes. like this! And like, Aria, I don't know what Aria said, but he was like, I want to be a Disney prince. As he should. 
Um, All right, so she's like, I love what that means. Yes, <laughs> but I love yeah, it. Absolutely. So that's really nothing even sentimental. He's just like Valid. Eric from the movie. As he Mormon. should. As he should. Yeah. He should romanticize his Disney life. Yeah. His little um, Disney life. His little Disney so life. Um, <laughs> All right. And um, Julian, would you like to describe what exactly you are wearing? as uh julian here um you all see silky on julian's uh, shoulder. um she stands out quite a lot in her pink dress um little mouse in contrast to what he is wearing but yes go ahead <laughs> um julian is very clearly wearing his kaylee wing pajamas under his outfit um seems to have very quickly slapped on his slacks as well as the button up but didn't button it up and then oh. has his Kaylee wing tie on not pulled up all the way and seems to be a bit cold as he's wearing this sort of um a baggy jacket overall all of it has it his look. glasses a little too crooked doesn't really notice it or doesn't really care and his hair which is usually well in like proper and tidy and up it's all just down i fucking love him it's rugged the ultimate showing play. off his it's long rugged. hair that he just <laughs> it's rugged yeah he, he outdressed us all really like, yeah, I, I would have to go he's got straight out all right he's truly it's all on the red carpet that would be the most he went for the ruggedly <laughs> handsome look and i appreciate it um so it's a look that, he's working it's a look it. I, oh also <laughs> i forgot yeah, yeah, he's Oh, <gasps> he had a point in his suit, and then he was like, um, I see, I can like see that. I can picture that so perfectly. Make it more casually. Same, same, same. So he just throws <gasps> it up, and then he has like the two bangs oh in front. Oh my god, that's yeah. So yeah. I, 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 I can picture that. that. Like, yeah, with his ears are like right yeah. there. His ears are right there. I picture that to a T. Thank you. So, um, you all group up, I assume. Um, and before you do your little, before you get to the chat, um, you do recognize a few faces around the room as well, um, from where you are standing, if you were to glance around at this grandiose setting. Um, in one section, making a show of being completely over the top, you see Tia strolling in towards the dance floor. It. Right next to Chez Sunpass. Yes! yes! Oh. Uh -huh. She is My grinning. She they is are grinning. They are no. It. They are yes. it. Um, no. She is they grinning up a storm. I did that. Happen. Yeah. I did that. Me too. This was a group effort. This was a group right. effort. Right. Right. She is. So she right. is grinning up a storm, and Chuz is still looking as smooth and calm and cool and collected as he usually does. Wow. Um, He's um, growing up. I, I have a reference. That's my. No. Yes. I have a reference. It's a reference. I have a reference. <laughs> oh my god. Shut up, I'm gonna shut die. Up, oh up, my up, god. Shut up, shut up. I'm gonna cry. At least we get to I'm see not, our Arthur's for a little bit longer. Where is it? Where, where, oh, where, where is I just it? sent I it. I would love to see Arthur's a lot longer. It's sending no! like, the ultimate She's a queen. Slay. She's a queen. It's still sending on my phone for some reason. No. Oh, 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 this is what what are the his couple. Doing? You see is his ass fat? What the hell is going on? You see Ch huh? Like dumpy. That man got a big dumpy. You see Chaz in a very baggy <laughs> suit that doesn't seem to be fitting him. I mean he's small, well. so he probably just doesn't mm -hmm. have She's pretty she's him. pretty small too. Um uh, but in comparison, she that looks tall. Well, in comparison to her, I guess, but if, like, Theron were standing next to them, like, oh, yeah, there yeah, would be course. a drastic difference. Um, <laughs> he has, like, he's, oh, like, three foot five. Measure of height. <laughs> um, and she's, like, like five, like, five four or something like that. Um, he's, oh, God. he's small. That's honestly so, like, not that bad of a height difference. Yeah, so, um, he is wearing a she baggy suit moving. that very clear, clearly looks like it does not fit him. Um, but it he's, he's stunning not. in it. He's stunting in it. 
Uh, he, his, it suits him. His baby <laughs> blues like, uh, are are really popping out with the color of his suit. He's wearing all blue for um, Aquafin. <laughs> and um, his hair is the same as it usually is. He hasn't done anything special to it, except maybe brush it. Um, and he's smirking, very clearly. Um, and next to him, very of course, cool. is Tia. Uh, she is looking quite extravagant, quite glamorous. She looks like the It Girl. Um, she has yeah, her hair like up in a giant... Who girl. Yeah. The it who girl. Yeah. <laughs> she has it in, like, a giant bun, her hair, because she has a lot of hair. She's um, so cute. She's wearing she flower, like, jewelry and decor. She's got the flower necklace. She's got the flower earrings. Got a little stone hanging from her neck. Um, absolutely just in pink. She loves the pink. She... Um, she reminds me of, um, oh, uh, the girl from Hunger Games. Yeah, Effie. Oh, she Effie. has the Effie, Effie vibes, Effie. yeah. I want to yeah. cosplay Effie so bad on a side note, oh my God, but it's I love her. It's um, Serena. She it's is Serena. Effie vibes, absolutely. She would it. wear every single one of those outfits that Effie wears. Um, uh -huh. Yes. Uh, and you see them stroll in, um, and they kind of oh take to the dance, dance floor, and they seem very content with each other. They seem like they are I'm so really happy into it. Um, <laughs> you guys. Hell yeah. In another section of the oh ballroom, you see Mr. Wilson. <gasps> um, he is standing, <gasps> he is standing, smiling Dead. proud and wide at a at the woman that is standing with him. The mental health cleric. He's been talking. He'd been talking Lisa. to you only days before. My mom. <laughs> um, <laughs> she looks absolutely gorgeous in a dark royal purple dress um, that blends beautifully with the blue shade of her skin. Um, I agree. Her curls are done up in a tight ballet bun, and uh, her cheeks are pink as she smiles contently at the homeroom teacher. Um, oh, what? Mr. Wilson Sorry, himself. Nice. I don't have a reference, but I have a description. He is dressed in a far fancier suit than his usual. Um, he's clad in a silver jacket. Uh, he's wearing a white undershirt and matching silver pants. And his tie is a strange shade of bronze, almost as though he was trying to find one that would match the school gold. Um, and it looks as though it shimmers a little in the candlelight. Um, they are talking very happily, and every so often he looks around the room and he glances at the... Yeah, he looks full, uh, looks around at the, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, a handful of change. Yeah, he looks around at the room <laughs> yeah. um, occasionally, yeah. and you see him, like, with this proud smile on his face when he sees, like, certain students in his class. Um, he literally is his dad. Um, True love. And I'm Hello. throwing all these in there because you guys can absolutely talk to each of the people if you would like to. Um, yeah. I want to talk to my father. Oh. My dad. You have had the most interactions with him, actually. It's funny. I. Um, he's, my he's literally your dad. Uh, you do dad see Zophiel and Fennel enter the ball. Um, oh no! They are, no not, they're standing close. Oh, they're standing close. They're standing close, oh, but not right. uncomfortably so, um, and not quite like intimately. You have um, a chance. It seems okay. like two two gentlemen that decided <laughs> to accompany one another. Um, oh, just they've, two gentlemen. Two gentlemen. Don't, 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 don't. They've Jenny, dressed quite uh, stunningly uh, for the event. Um, gentlemen, walk into a ball. They look quite stunning. Uh, a fair way away because I'm not gay. Exactly. Maybe. What? Uh, Zophiel looks as lost as ever, and oh. Fennel merely seems enlightened and charmed by the setting. Um, and I have a reference for you guys. Um, Sorry, I'm not gonna... Give me that shit down. I need it in my face right now. I'm not gonna... 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 i am why do you do this? So, so um, soft. I love them a lot. Um, Fennel has his curly blue hair um, gelled back, um, and uh, there's nothing too uh, otherwise like extravagant about how he looks. He looks very much like he usually does, just has gelled back his hair, and he's he wearing. Looks like he went from he went from I'll get her back at eight p.m. to. <laughs> <laughs> I am the father now. Daddy. <laughs> to, to daddy emoji. Um, he is wearing a wow. all gray suit to match Kaylee Wing. Um, he's got like a light gray tie and a lighter gray undershirt and a darker gray jacket. 
um, and a, and silver earrings. Um, Sophia uh, is wearing so good. Looks black, incredible. <laughs> black, um, a black jacket with a light gray or a darker darker gray, I guess, um, little like waistcoat. Um, and beneath that, he's wearing a kind of bluish gray um, turtleneck that kind of brings out the blue in his eyes. Um, he does have sure slight does. markings under his eye and a little dot um, inside of his, like, uh, between where his nose and his eye is. Um, and you can only assume that maybe this is something to do with the culture from where he is from. Um, uh, yeah, they are they are stunting okay. as they walk in. Um, <laughs> Oof. Love that guy. Love that boy. Wow. He's suddenly most. starting to wow. become... It, why My list of NPCs, Sophia so just keeps going up, man. Um, such a boy. I like both of these. <laughs> both, both. I'll take both. Both, both is good. Both. Um, Actually, both is good. Both, both is good. Um, Arlo, you're the first to see, um, but everyone does eventually see afterwards, Nari and her date <gasps> walk into the room. Crying, screaming, uh -huh. up, crying, screaming, yelling, vomiting, um, screaming, screaming. They enter the hall please. dressed far too glamorously for their own good. Um, of course they are. I have a reference good. for them. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Show me. Show yes. me. This oh one God, I'm really is proud of. I need to get drawing I have way, much fed. Drawing give cat me. ladies give is me. really fucking I'm hard, so I'm very proud of this one. Give me, um, me, give me. I, I saved your life. For her to slay tonight. Truly. Show me the slay. Show me the slay. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god, wives. What's new, Whoa! What's new, pussycat? I am such a furry. They put their whole pussycat into that. Oh my god. Oh, oh, they yeah. really did. Yeah. They really put their whole pussy into that. Uh, good um, fucking god. Oh my lord. <laughs> That's Ooh, everything I'm all genuinely lights up all night. Okay, my, 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 my sexuality has been restored. I feel good. I feel good. Nari, <laughs> Nari is dressed in a... You got me worried there for a second. Nari is dressed in a long, uh, light blue, like, overcoat, essentially. So good. She wears, like, a corset, strapless top. Um, oh. And pants, very much like a lesbian pantsuit, if there ever woman. was one. I love, um, I love it. Uh, the woman oh, beside her, uh, or the cat her. woman, I suppose. Um, her date is so pretty. She has a little silver um, ring in her nose, as well as a star and a bunch of um, chains hanging from her ear. Little danglies. Yeah, a little dangly. She's got bright blue eyes, um, and she wears a somewhat revealing dress that is skin tight, um, hugs her figure. Um, showing her shoulders, showing her it lower back, so good. and showing a little slit in the leg, but it's very simple. She hasn't gone crazy with any jewelry or anything like that. Um, and they are standing side by side, and they seem very content being next to each other. They seem very happy. Um, <gasps> we love the lesbian uh, furries. It's Let's fine. Go lesbians. Let's go. Um, and they look from... incredible. They are so good. <laughs> you best. drew them so well. Oh, thank I am you. Slay. A blast. Amazing. Um, oh, Literally amazing. amazing. Thank Consistent you. Slay. Um, Consistent slay. And Indeed. so, with that, um, you guys are essentially free to do as you please. You are all standing together in the middle of the ball. Um, I assume you probably talk to each other. <laughs> Hi. Ow. <laughs> <Hello>. <laughs> Arya's first gonna go up to whoever is closest to her and like look at them like in their full attire uh -huh. and be like, "Oh yes, yes, this is this is very nice. I like this." And John Basically, was like, "Yes, like <laughs> yes, I agree. I concur." This is my I... tattoo. Yeah, yes, I remember saying it when you tried to tell. Remember? Oh, it's beautiful. Thank that, you. That's one. Oh, I like it. Thank Very nice. You. I've had it since I was born. Nice. Is that a Can it be considered a tattoo then? I believe it's a tattoo. I guess it could be a, a, a birthmark too. But yes, tattoo sounds more cool. like <laughs> it, does. it does sound interesting. I sound okay. like a delinquent with one. Really? <laughs> um, Mine is just so. nodding. <laughs> Uh, Arthros kind of says hello to everyone. Um, Mud is smiling very wide at you, Andromeda. Like, as you're showing off your, your birthmark, he's like, yeah. 
That's my date. <laughs> That's my date right now. Um, uh, Claude is smiling very politely at all of you. He, of course, doesn't really know you all that well. He knows Arlo the best um, of everyone, but he is politely smiling. Um, he knows you fairly well, Arya, as you're both in the same house. Um, the rest of you, he's, he's seen you around on occasion around Arlo. Um, it is Arthros. Uh, well, the mm -hmm. music changes in the room. <gasps> to a slightly more... Um, a romantic song? Romantic song, yeah. Yeah! Oh. Canonically, in my head, I can't play it right now, but it starts playing Dance With Me from, uh, it's from Heartstopper. It's by... Oh, um, stop you. Yeah. Stop um, the audacity. Yeah. <laughs> I will send it later. It's very beautiful. It's oh a very beautiful love song um, for dancing. Um, mm. And as it comes on, Arthur kind of hears it, and um, after she's been smiling at all of you, she, she turns to you, Theron, and she's like, Raffles, would you like to dance? I had promised my best moves, so I'm going to deliver. Nothing would please me more. Um, and she, like, does a little, like, hand extend thingy. He very quickly just kisses her hand, <laughs> oh! and then they walk up to the dance floor. Go one! Go one! Let's go! Let's go! Let's make, make, a double. Double. make a double! Um... Arya just like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. Um, yeah, Courtney, yeah, Courtney. Uh, Mud yeah, turns to you, Andromeda, at this moment and says, um, Andromeda, I should think that this song seems to be of the romance. Would you like mm -hmm. to dance? Yes, I that feel rhymes. it too. I would like to dance with you. Right. Yes! Whoa. Oh, no. right. Perhaps we are poets and we didn't know it. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh my god. Yes, uh, <laughs> I can rhyme. Yeah. The best. All the time? On that time. was so good. All the time. Most of the oh time. my god. I can rhyme most of the time. <laughs> um, time. Arthros is still <laughs> kind of within hearing distance and she kind of just like looks back and she's like, uh, at the <laughs> <laughs> Peter, Peter moment. Red flag. Red flag. She's judging. She's judging the poetry. I can't write them down. Write them down, folks. So she's beautiful, so it's okay. It doesn't matter. She's pretty, so it doesn't count. So that's minus one red flag. I want her to be. I want her to be happy. All right. Pallid. Um. Uh. Aria. You were standing yes. with Helios, um, and Helios turns to you. We're just like happily, like. Yeah, he turns to you and he, he says, um, <laughs> Arya, would you like to go on the dance floor and dance very chaotically to this song? You know, chaos is the only way I know how to dance. And as the, <laughs> she like takes it, she does this with her it. hand. Wait, I can't so, see like, it, sorry. His... Your thing is blocking it. Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, oh, for his hand. Yes. This man is so homosexual. He he literally goes he's like, oh my god. He puts his hand in your hand and he's oh like, god. And she's gonna like pull him out of the dance floor and as she's walking, she's like, I have no idea how to dance. And she's just gonna step to the very center. She's like, I know music. I don't know what dancing entails. He looks at you and he, he says, um, well, if I'm being completely honest, the only parties I'm used to involve a more provocative dancing style. So, oh. not quite sure how to dance at this one, but we'll just take it from here. Pro provocative in, in what way? Lots of oh, like, lots of ass movement. Ass movement. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> right. Sounds about right. Okay. I'm trying to figure that out. She goes and <laughs> <laughs> see him doing that. And when I say this woman is a bad dancer, I mean they are a horrible dancer. Like, um, like on beat, but don't know what they're doing. Like, valid. Very like jerky movements. That's so cute. Very though. jerky. That's jerky so movements. And they're just kind of like bopping. I love, I love. Um, <laughs> around Helios, like, is this it? Yes. Oh, very nice. So cute. I think we're doing it a little too fast. This is very slow. <laughs> kind of. They're going too fast to the song. Honestly, it makes sense. Um, yeah. They're dancing chaotically. So, as they should. Uh, Arlo. They start the inner circle. Okay, so uh, Arya leaves, and Arlo, under his breath, was like, fuck. Um, <laughs> and, like, you know what he hears? It's for him. And yeah. he turns to Claude, like, before he can say anything, and he's like, 
Um, I actually have to go see somebody really quickly, and then we should. I'll I'll come right back. Don't worry. He nods and he's like, the audacity. Um, he's like, oh, okay, yeah, no, not not a problem. That's fine. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Be safe. Um, what? Be safe. I would never be not safe ever. Okay. I'm so safe. All right, awesome. Okay, I'll see. You, I'll see you in a second. Okay. Okay. Um, is Silas here yet? Um. Mm, I was about to say something with him, so I will just go ahead and say it. Um. Yeah, please do. So, <laughs> uh, Mud and Dramada, you're dancing. Uh, Arthur and Theron, you are dancing. Sorry, there's a lot of NPCs here, so I'm I'm gonna probably be announcing things. In my you're head. good. Got this. Um, <laughs> got this. Uh, Arya, you and Helios are dancing. Um. Julian, I assume that you're probably looking for Silas right now as well. Um, yes. Right. Um, and Silky is just kind of sitting on your shoulder, and she's, like, bobbing her head. She's not. She doesn't, she's just taking everything in. She's vibing. Um, and Arlo, as you go to leave, um, Julian, you as well see Silas um, kind of enter from one of the back, uh, back entrances. Um, and he walks in. I have a sketch for him. Don't have it colored in, but I have a sketch um, if you'd like to see it. Oh, he probably looks amazing. <laughs> I'm ready for the uh, He's my enemy. He's, like, he's, he's, really good. Good. he's my he's enemy. Really good. Show me the loose man. man. He looks Show good. me the loose man. man. So, um, Give. from what you Give can see of him, I'm looking at my reference so I can describe to you. Um, as he walks in, uh, you see both Julian and Arlo. You see that his hair looks about the same. Um, he does, however, have it slicked back. Um, I don't have it in the artwork, um, but he, I have it slicked. He has it slicked back, just the, the black side. Mm-hmm. And the white side hangs forward um, in front of his face. Um, his eyes are as green as ever. Um, and he has a lot of earrings in. He has a lot of black earrings that go along the side of his ear. Um, and he's wearing like a choker-esque necklace with a little like black gem on it. Um, his suit, uh, he is wearing a black, like, button-down, um, and it is, like, unbuttoned quite low, um, to show quite a bit of chest, um, and the waistcoat over it is this, like, um, I guess darker shade of black in comparison to the, um, the actual, like, shirt. The shirt is, like, a, a little bit lighter in black. Um, and in his little, like, there's a little pocket on his vest, and in this little pocket, he's not wearing a jacket, he's only wearing, like, this waistcoat vest, um, and in this little pocket, he has the, um, orange, an orange pocket square for Ignis Ember, and beside it, he also has a green, like, a bright green pocket square to show, to contrast with his eyes quite aggressively. Um, in comparison to many of the other people who have attended the ball, he looks more casual, um, he looks like he hasn't really put in, like, a ton of effort. He looks mostly the same. Um, but the one thing that does stand out to you, Arlo and Julian, that you see, um, is there is... Let me scroll down. I have it more specifically written. Sorry. There is, on his face, um, a small cut along his eyebrow um, mm-hmm. that was not there the first time that you guys saw Silas. Um, it looks as though, um, it was, like, kind of quite a bad, um, cut, but the bleeding, whatever bleeding there was has stopped now, and it sort of is, like, a scabbed over little cut of sorts. Um, but it is definitely, like, it looks, like, red kind of around it, um, and a little, like, irritated, I guess, as cuts would normally do. Um, yes, you see him. Let me send the sketch to you guys, um, that I have of him. It's not completely accurate, but I have it, at least. For a boy, for a vibe. Love him. <laughs> oh. Love him. Hate that um, man. <laughs> hate that man. Love that man. Um, I, love him. I love him. Love him. Our love hate he's them. just so. He's so handsome. Oh, Thank you. Ho, ho. Thank you. I love him. Ho, ho. Sure. Um, um, so. Oh, I hate to love him. You don't notice it just yet, but love, he love does him. have love a tiny him. little ponytail as well in the back of his hair, where he's tied wow. his twins, no, the twins, longer hair in the back. Twins. It oh, looks God. like a rat tail because he has shorter hair in the oh, back. Love. Um, but, yes, so, uh, Arlo and Julian, you both see him. Uh, what do you do? 
Um, I'm gonna run him chaotically because this okay. is just gonna be a quick chaotic thing. Okay. Um, so first off, Arlo's thinking I need alcohol in my system like right now. Okay. Um, so the first person he okay. thinks of to ask that would possibly know who or what, like where that could be found, is Silas. And against his own will, is like that's fine, whatever. Um, <laughs> and he sees him and forgets how much he reminds him of Dimitri. Um, and then immediately kind of like, he's like, that was made things worse and I shouldn't have done that. And then kind of like brushes it off and then like mm -hmm. goes up to him, uh, more nervous and also panicked. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I need you really quickly. He like, he looks you up and down and he's like, in what way? <laughs> That's very cute. Um, I need you to do you know um if That's I very cute. promise you to not spit or pour water in your area direction, will you um uh, give inform me on where I could find um alcohol? He frowns at you for a minute and he's like Do you really think that humans are gonna give us alcohol? I think that you would know where alcohol is that humans wouldn't know where it was. He like thinks for a second, <clears throat> he like clears his throat. Great alcohol. And then he goes and he lifts his waistcoat and he grabs out um, a small little container that looks kind of like, yeah, a flask. Um, and he looks at you and he says, um, huh. get yourself some punch and I will give you some of this to add in. You're my hero. Okay, um, I'll be right back. Stay here. Don't move. <laughs> okay. Uh, he's like... <laughs> deep sigh. Yeah, deep sigh. Um, <laughs> and he, he watches you run off, Arlo, and then uh -huh. just, like, runs kind of a hand through his hair for a moment and stands there and shakes his head for a second. And then looks back up again. And he meets your eye, Julian, as he looks back up. Um, do you approach him? He kind of is just looking at you. Because he's yes. not sure why you want to speak to him. Um, okay. Hello? A child. Hello? A child. Did a child scream? Did <laughs> scream it wasn't me. so loud? Did, Did a child, child just scream? Child scream? Sorry, that's me in the background. Oh, valid. It was, it was, oh, it was okay. Chuz. Chuz fell. <laughs> Chuz fell on the okay. dance floor. <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, no. <laughs> Chuz went, <laughs> <laughs> Tia's Stop dipping Chuz. <laughs> yeah. Somebody Ooh. stepped on Chuz. <laughs> Tia stepped on his feet. On purpose. Um, yes, Julian. <laughs> what do you do? Um. Hello? Uh, Silas looks at you and he's like, Long time no see? What'd you want to chat about? Oh, right. At the question. Mm. Wait, what was that whole thing about? Out of curiosity? Honestly, beats me. Couldn't tell you. <laughs> okay. Um, you are automatically grabbing alcohol or grabbing a drink. <laughs> Scooting the punch. Watching him being like, what the fuck is he Scooting the punch in the cup. <laughs> had a thing been meaning to talk to you about oh um looking around is there anyone that could potentially overhear the conversation uh other than like other ball goers um probably not there's like people mingling about but they all seem kind of in their own conversation the only guards that there are they're all by the entrances so they're not really like around the room walking around just yet um they're all standing by the doors of the ball. I know you sort of just uh, got here, but do you think there's any way uh, um, for more private conversation? What kind of conversation is this? Because I, I mean, I know some good spots, but it depends on like the activity. The general type of conversation? Yeah, but like conversation with like benefits or just conversation? 
Well, I suppose there'll be some benefits to having this conversation. Okay. There's the bathroom. Sure, I suppose you know better than anyone else. The bathroom? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, he looks at you for a minute and he's like, let's go, I guess. Uh, and <laughs> okay. he starts to walk uh, in the direction of the bathroom. Um, the bathrooms, of course, at the school are all all gendered. They're not gendered because um, that's stupid. Um, and they, uh, Silas walks into uh, the bathroom. And as Silas is walking into the bathroom, right as he goes to grab the handle of the door, um, the door opens and Nari and her date come out and they're like, oh, excuse me. And they like walk around and around you guys, um, and they continue out to the dance floor. <laughs> um, Silas like watches Silas watches them go, and he's like nodding, and then he like goes back into the bathroom. Um, and uh, we will come back to that. Um, I'm gonna jump to. You, Wait, Aria. real quick. Did, yes. Did Arlo get his... No. <laughs> Silas is not there now. No. <laughs> he left back. <laughs> <with your> punch. <laughs> Walks back in a panic. In a panic with his punch. Like, He's like... Okay. <sighs> <laughs> and I'm like looking at my friends on the dance floor. And I'm like, okay. And I'm looking at... Turns around and he's like, 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 right here. Okay. 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 Well, I was like, um, oh, is that punch for me? What is I'm it? Not it's not even for him. I'm not near him. Is, like is it Ella Enchanted that that happens in? Where she's like trying to like keep away from him and then she turns around and then he's like right there and she's like, oh! I think so. I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure um, it out. We're going to jump over to Arya super quick. Um, okay. Hi. Oh, uh, by the way, Julian. Um, I forgot to add, when you say this, um, and, like, you have this conversation with Silas, uh, Silky does not know where this is going, um, and so instead of following you two boys into the bathroom, um, she, in fact, announces, oh, she she's on your shoulder, she announces that she is going to go, um, to the dessert table, and she quickly jumps off your shoulder and scampers oh, off, well. um, and she kind of, she kind of gives you a look, honestly. and she says, like, have one, I think, and then leaves. Um, very confusing for her to have heard all of that. <laughs> a little bit. Um, so, jumping to Arya. Jules oh, yes. like, fun having a conversation? What? <laughs> this poor man. Um, we're gonna jump over to Arya, because I'm gonna do, like, a little montage, you know, I... where we jump back and forth. Um, how are you all feeling, by the way? Are you guys feeling okay? Because I know we've been going for a while. Good. I'm having an amazing time. It is season finale, Probably so, good. okay. Um, it can be expected, so I guess. Uh, Arya, the song that you guys are dancing to um, comes to an end, and the song that comes on next is still a romantic soft song, but it is classical, um, very slow, kind of like violin music. Um, and uh, Helios is like finishing up his like funny dance. He's kind of laughing to himself. He's laughing at himself as he enjoys doing. Oh. Um, and there is a tap on your shoulder. Um, I assume you turn around. <laughs> uh, She's just gonna kind of like, go from like, doing this to like, ooh. Um, and as you, as you turn around, you see Zophiel standing there. Um, and he looks between you and Helios, and he says, um, is it alright if I steal your dance partner for a moment? And he's looking at uh, Helios. And Helios like, oh, looks if you'd like to dance with Helios, I mean, I, I mean, are you okay um, dancing? He, Helios? like, for a minute, he's like, no, although you are very pink, um, I would like <gasps> to dance with you, um, Aria. Oh. Okay. Um, you... and Helios looks between the two of you and he's like, mm. I'll be by the punch. And he uh, steadily goes and walks over to the punch and leaves you with Zophiel. And Zophiel, like, looks at you. And he doesn't make any move to, like, like dance. Like, he just kind of stands there. 
Um, and looks Ari's going to kind of like put her hand out. Like, oh, this, this seems to work earlier. Um, dancing? He what looks, kind of dance are we doing this time? He looks at your hand and he's like, I don't know how to dance. Oh, thank God, because I don't know how to dance either. Right. I've right. seen it, but I oh. don't quite know how. I mean, Helios was teaching me a, a fun dance. It's kind of like, mm, mm. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Say, that's kind of fun. <laughs> I don't know, it may not be fun for you. Um, that's not quite the dancing that I am familiar with. Oh, what kind of dancing are you familiar with? Um, and to learning, so. I don't know what kind of dancing it would be referred right. to as. Um, he slowly just watch? kind of uh, looks at you and he's like, um, mm -hmm. he does like the, the movement for like, like slow ballroom dancing type thing where he like puts out his hand and then puts another hand like right near like where he would obviously like a man would put like their hand on the hip of the woman or whatever. Um, and he doesn't like touch. He just like puts his hands in the position, like asking almost like how to do it. Like if he should do it or can he do I, it? Uh, Arya's gonna kind of like, do I, do I put my hand? He kind of like imitates his motion. Like he frowns for a second and he says, I think you put your hand in mine and another on my shoulder. Oh, okay. And she kind of like just gets into position and she realizes how close she is. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> you're like, mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 just let me know if I'm touching things I shouldn't. That sounded a lot worse. Oh, he than frowns it. at you and he says, um, what things is there for you to touch that you shouldn't? Um, I, I mean, you don't seem to be too worried about it, but usually I don't touch people's feathers. You can touch my feathers. Oh, good. <laughs> Great. Okay. So long as uh, your hands are clean. My, my hands are clean. Okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure. Do you want me to go wash them? No, I just mean dirt and things of that nature can be very uncomfortable. Oh no, I understand. So unless I, I... you have stuck your hand in some dirt recently, I think you should be all right. No, no, I, I, uh, I waved at Mud earlier, but he was good. He was very clean. <laughs> <laughs> he, he glances over at where Mud's dancing and he says, you didn't touch him, right? No. No, okay. I didn't. Then you should be fine. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that man is dirty okay um so <laughs> in a good way in a good way um i'm rolling over this scene right now. <laughs> um he looks at you for a moment and he he glances at his wings and you guys are obviously holding hands but you're not moving you're just holding Standing there. the position of the dance um Do and we... he he's like um um i've never had the best balance on my feet um, that's okay. Me either. Right. Or maybe that's a problem for us. That's fine. If we fall over, we'll get back up. I don't like, think I haven't dealt with before. Like when we first met and I fell over and you helped me back up. Right. Hmm. Yeah, that's very sweet that you remember that. And then you gave me your phone and I... I did! Yes. Did, that part was... We... Confusing, but I understand now why you did so. Okay, well, that's good. At least you understand now, because if you didn't understand, I would I would explain it to you. Obviously, um, you did so for communication. Yes, because mm. I like talking to you. I enjoy talking to you as well. I should think. Oh, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. Mm. Um, <laughs> maybe moving or. Is that a thing we shouldn't be doing in this style of dance? And she's gonna kind of look around and see if anybody else is dancing, like, like normal, normal dancing. I like imagine, 
I imagine Arthur's and Theron are pretty like pretty good at dancing. It. Pretty we badly. are ballroom dancing. Like, yeah. We are, we are like, as you look no. over at Arthur's and Theron, Theron, do you twirl Arthur's? I do. I spin okay. Her she spins. Spin her and as spin she like, as she comes waltz. twirling back in, she's like smiling up at you, very like. Oh. So I imagine that Mud and Andromeda are dancing sh a little strangely. Definitely very, like, she's doing her own, like, weird-ass fey dance. Like, she's, like, kind of, like, twisting, like, around him and everything and doing, like, different twirls and she's, shit. She's, like, dances and And skips. then she, like, she, like, fucking comes in and does, like, a little, like, irregular and then does, like, a spin out. And does, like, little, like, he's just, like, he's just doing one of, like, these kind of things, like, like, just getting into it. Oh my god. Arthur kind of looks in between the two of them and she's, she's like, dancing for her life. Truly, <laughs> she is. She is. Maybe something in between the two. <laughs> okay. Would you like to move? I, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind it. Would okay. you like to move? I can. That's an important question. If you would like me to, I can. <laughs> Sophia, and she kind of like taps him like on the shoulder, like he looks. You can make decisions too. I'm not quite sure you what I would prefer. Okay. I only came over here to talk to you. And Fennel oh, informed me that this is a dance floor, and so I suggested dancing, although I do not really know oh. how to do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. If I'm getting this correctly, we both don't know how to dance. We've both seen both our friends dancing in ways that are very different from each other. But they're both having fun. So why don't we just figure out a new way to dance? Okay. I can flap my wings. Oh, very good, very good. Um, I... He, as, I... He, as he said this, as he says this, he extends his wings and it... <laughs> his, the end of one of his wings absolutely smacks Chuz in the face. <laughs> Okay, maybe. Um, and Chuz just, you just hear like a, oh! <laughs> and Tia is like, oh! And like, uh, Zophiel just like turns and looks and says, um, I don't, don't apologize. He says, okay. I have He's a gonna large, like tap his face large and just like tap his face and be like, don't apologize. She, he looks back at you and he says, it's a large wingspan. Yes, it is. Very large. And she realizes her hand is still on his cheek, so she's just gonna like, Caress and then like he like oh, looks back. and then looks back at you. <laughs> this is this ever present? This like, we're just what's very... going on behind those eyes type vibe. Um, you have very pretty eyes, by the way. He looks at you and he says, "Um, oh, thank you." Fennel thank said you. that I should wear blue so that they show more. They do. Although they I think he is much. simply, um, I think he simply is biased, considering that he is entirely blue. Well, that's one way to look at it, but I think it's a separate way to look at it. You have very lovely eyes. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, okay. So, great work with wing work. That was very clever. Thank um, you. And also, great job with hitting Charles. Really appreciated that. Um, maybe we go a little bit in the middle. Not as grandiose. He nods. Gets into the end to Theron and Arthur's territory, which isn't a bad place to be, but it's a very <laughs> place to be. Um, he nods for a minute, and then with that, he starts to just kind of move his feet, like kind of side okay. to side, so that his body is kind of swaying side to side a little bit. Um, and he frowns at you for a minute, and he says, um, you confuse me. Oh! Is that meant to be a compliment or a, a critique? And she's gonna kind of like take a step to the side too with him. He um he frowns and he says um from me it is a compliment, but perhaps to you it wasn't the right choice of words. No, no. If it was a compliment to you, then I can find a way around it to take it as a compliment. Do you mind explaining, though? Because it is a bit confusing to me. You're just very nice. I don't, I don't know. A lot of people are very nice. Not in my experience. Well, 
then the people that you're hanging out with aren't the people you should be hanging out with. You deserve nice people, Sophia. The people I am hanging out with most of the time is my family. So I'm not quite sure if I can get new people to hang out with. You can. You, de you definitely can. Although I suppose right now I'm hanging out with different people. Yeah. Family doesn't have to be definite. If I've learned anything. Um, I've, I feel similarly to that with um, niceties. And I've realized being here that there's people around me who could be like family, or at least what I imagined family would be like. If that makes sense. I suppose. It's simply that you include me in so much, and for no reason, and yet similarly you hide so much all the time. You are a contradiction. With legs. I mean, with legs? Yes, a walking contradiction. I mean, yes, I do have legs, I guess. Um, I mean, yes, I do have legs. I, I don't, I don't, I do have legs. Please don't be mistaken. Um, I you think it's- You your legs in the back of the video. <laughs> but legs, I have legs. And she like, kind of like pulls up one of her pants to like her suit at the bottom. And then she like drops it back down. She's like, I have legs. Um, <laughs> we, and she kind of like, just like puts both of her, her face or her hands onto his shoulders and she's like, you deserve nice things. You deserve nice people. If people in your past haven't treated you like that, then that's their loss of you. Mm. And I... And one of many, I'm sure, that has been very happy to be in your life. Even if it is for whatever time period we're together. Um, I know I'm, bit, I'm a bit confusing. And given the conversations that we've been having pre previously with the sports festival and the anklets and such, um, there's a lot I don't feel comfortable, or I guess I haven't felt comfortable talking about before. Um, I see no but, point to rush, should you not like to speak of it now. But you should know that you can speak of it now, and it will not bother me. I think I'm getting there. And right as you guys have this conversation, um, this time, someone appears behind Sophia um, and taps him on the shoulder. And you recognize them, Arya to be uh, Beacon Petra, the oh. elf, the moon elf from the sports festival practice sessions who took quite a liking to you. Um, yeah. And she looks at Zophiel for a minute and um, she looks him up and down for a second and she says, mind if I cut in? I mean, sure, I guess you can. <laughs> and she, she's dressed, that. <laughs> she's dressed in a uh, pantsuit. Um, Oh, look, we're matching! Mm -hmm. um, it's like in dark, kind of dark shades of emerald green. Ooh. Um, And she smiles for a second, and Zofia like looks at her, and he's like, oh, yes. Um, He looks back at you, Arya, and says, um, should you need me, I will stand by the punch. Which apparently just gonna, like, is not something you do, and simply something you drink. And I am learning this. Right. Correct. Um, and he's gonna kind of like take his hand before she walks away, before he walks away, and she's just gonna be like, Sophia, I always need you. He looks at the hand and looks back at you and he says, um, please I don't forget that. I suppose I could say the same. Okay. Right. Um, I'll come find you in a little bit. Um, Beacon, did you want to dance with him or me? Beacon like looks at Sophia and looks back at you and she's like, She's like, honey, I am as lesbian as they come, so you. Okay, well, uh, I, oh, okay, all right, I'll see you soon later. Um, okay. Um, and from there, we will yes. jump to someone else. Um, 
<laughs> I need to take a moment. Wait, I'm like, I'm. <laughs> they are all over the. <laughs> I I'm like genuinely like. <laughs> are you guys? I want to check in. Mental check in. Are you guys okay? I know we've been going for a long time, and I'm really sorry. Mm -hmm. Um. Doing we good. don't have a lot left. It's mostly just conversations for you guys. Um, that's go. literally all it is. And we can round off the session, obviously, if we finish it. And you know what? It's the session finale. We're going out with a bang. We got We're this. We're putting our, our whole D&D &D OC into it. Preferably before 3, I'll be Right. I'll dive in. It won't be any oh, later. Than, it shouldn't be any is. later than that um, okay. at all. Yeah. Um, that's my preferred. Happy to I, I obviously don't care about time, but I know Jazz has work, so I don't want to, like, um, Whoa. What's so, the Daria's uh, ship name? Because I'm down bad. Uh, same. Um, I think it was I Aria. I think it was Zarya. Or, or Zarya. 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 I love you, Zarya. I think it's Zarya. <laughs> I love you, Zarya. They are. They give me like. They give me like. Mr. Dio was with Bennett, and I it's like, almost like oh. Yeah. Don't even get me fucking. I did. Oh, oh I did. They give me um Angel and Buffy vibes, honestly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, oh. So. I can't manage this. There. I'll send you all my songs for them. We are gonna jump to Arthur's and Theron. Um, as you're dancing. Uh, and as you're dancing, um, she's smiling and, and the song kind of slows a little bit and she looks at you for a moment and she says, um, Theron, about that thing you said, the, the thing about how you were falling in love, that thing? Yes. With, with, not hypothetically you? me. Um, no. You meant it. Yes. Right, and um, it's just that there's a lot you do not know about me, and I know that I've, I've asked this quite a lot, um, but unhypothetically this time, what if I have done something unforgivable and it changes things? Well, that's the thing, is like, it wouldn't be unforgivable. Nothing would be that you've done. Right. Um, sorry if I'm dimming the mood. Um, no, no. Totally fine. So, if I felt as though I was comfortable to tell you, would you be alright with that? Yes, definitely. Right. If you're sure you're comfortable. Right now? Yeah. Hmm. Good as fine as any, I suppose. Perhaps I should get to drink first. Yes, I I guess we could go grab some punch. Okay. Um, and she immediately turns towards the like drink area and beelines it for the drink. Leave. <laughs> um I assume you follow. I do. Um always follow the girl. Always follow. Um from there we're gonna jump to Andromeda and Mud. What a cliffhanger. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, as you're dancing, Andromeda, um, Mud turns to you, and the, the song is slowing now. Um, and he looks at you for a moment, and he says, um, You know something? Hmm. I never quite dreamt that I'd be here like this with you. Really? Yes. All my life I never thought really that I could have anything real, and yet here you are. I, uh, I never thought I could have something like this, too. Andromeda, you are one of the most real and honest people that I have ever met in my life. You are the most interesting and... <laughs> Dirty man. <laughs> honest people. <laughs> and the Dirtiest most green people. <laughs> You're the most dirtiest person I've ever met. <laughs> um, he smiles at you and his teeth are like... You're the nastiest um, man I've ever um, saw. And I love it. <laughs> um, and he smiles at you for a minute and he says, um, I should think that if there ever comes anything, that I can always talk to you about it and be entirely myself and always honest and never deceive or manipulate again. I, I, I feel the same way too. 
And right as you say this, Andromeda. <laughs> and she, right as, right as right you say she this. Says, she right says, as you say this. Andromeda, you hear a familiar voice say your name. It is soft and slightly tilted with an accent. And when you turn to your left, you see him standing there, a figure you never thought you'd be seeing anytime soon, or ever again for that matter. Zephyrus stands there, looking glorious in a cream-colored suit, a golden tie beneath an off-white jacket that reminds you of the golden leaves of your willow tree. His hair is the same long blonde shade, and it's tucked behind his pointed ears, gelled back and falling right along the tops of his shoulders. His eyes are that same shade of bronze and silver melding together, and they practically pierce through you, focused entirely on you, standing there in the middle of the dance floor. You've never seen him like this, out of the comfort of the strict rules of the grove, out of the mandated times you'd spoken or seen or run into one another, outside of a strict patriarchal mindset, you haven't thought much about him since starting at Ravenwood. He looks at you for a moment and he says, Andromeda? It's me, Zeph. And he's, his eyes are wide and he's smiling at you. Um, and through this, he remains elegantly stiff, his arms at his sides, but his fingers twitching as though he wishes to move but can't, can't bring himself to. She, like, looks behind her at, at Mud and... Mud is simply smiling looks, and looking at this man with a smile. Looks towards Severus and she writes herself up and brushes herself off from, from dancing. She walks towards Severus immediately and, like, reaches out her hands to him. Only then does he lift his hands, and he puts them on your, like, upper forearms, where he's holding you. Almost like you're hugging, but with your arms, I guess, essentially. Um. And there's a mix of, like, just pure, like, desperation, relief, and then slight horror on really? her face. Um. And she looks at him. You're here. He smiles at you, and he says, uh, Yes, I've been here all along. Have you as well? Uh, this... This this entire time? Yes. Uh, what house are you in? Um, he looks down at himself, and there's a slight bit of color. And on it is the blue of Aquafin. Aquafin. I'm, I'm so relieved to see you, and she goes and hugs him he full hugs on. you back like tight and he's like eyes well and um he's like squeezing you and he's like i haven't seen anyone else i thought everyone was gone I, and you I, especially you left i did uh, what what happened after i left well everyone was quite ruined after your departure and we were quite simply losing our minds and then everything with the portals and, and then I ended up here and everyone was so different and not like me and now you're here looking stunning might I add thank you you're welcome you are here too I am I um Mud, mud, mud. Ah, uh, she turns around. Mud is just like standing, kind of smiling, like he doesn't—he doesn't know what's going on. He's just smiling at you, and he, he sees you turn around to him, and he comes, he takes a step forward, and he's like, "Yeah, who's your friend?" Mud. Um. This is. Can, can I speak to you? Privately. Uh, to mud, right? Yeah, it's mud. Tim, yeah. A mud looks at you and he's like, "Well, yes, of course, Tree. Anytime." Okay. Um, Ze Zephyrus, uh, I'll, I'll be back. Um, and he nods and he says, "Um, yes, of course. Don't go far because I just found you and I'd rather not lose you again." You, you won't lose me. All right. Okay. She goes and she grabs Mud's hand and practically drags him towards. Do you go the to corner? just a quiet corner? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, and he follows you happily, and he's smiling at you, and he looks at you, and he's like, What is it, Tree? Mud. Hi. Um, hi. It's, it's, it's time for me to tell the, the full truth. Well, yes, you always tell the truth, and then, you know, especially if you lie, you tell the truth shortly after. It's kind of our motto. I, I, I never meant to, to lie. I, I just didn't know how to fully tell the truth, and I was here, and it was different, and I had choices, and now I don't know if I have any more choices. Well, you always have a choice, Andromeda. But yes, of course, I'm. my ears are open, as are my eyes, as per usual. What? Yes. Zephyrus is... He is my betrothed. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone freaked me out. Um, and from there, we will jump to another duo. <laughs> <laughs> You don't know how the fuck? For this. No, I pulled it as oh soon as he showed up. Really fast, we didn't get back to this shit. What the fuck is going on? I put on old time music and I have it playing in the back, and this dramatic old 50s song was playing. Like, a, oh, and it felt like it was raining. I was like, in it, yo. I have a reference oh, of what uh, Zephyrus looks like. <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, okay. it's that picture. Yeah, okay, I don't good, have good, a drawing. Good, he's ugly. I don't have a drawing yet, but I have a picture. Uh, he's ugly compared to Mud. Well, yeah, he's ugly compared to Mud. I agree. Oh <laughs> well. <laughs> well, I beg to differ. I think they're the same. Not same attraction. Not. I knew he'd look like that. Similarly I attractive. Of course, this motherfucker looks like this. A fucking course of he does. Of course, he looks like that. <laughs> Um, oh, fucking course. Um, what else would he look like? Talking about this for, oh, for months. Oh, this wild. moment. Oh, why? I'm, uh, I'm screaming. Um, as soon as he showed up, I freaking knew. I huh. knew where this was going. I hate him yes. on sight. Right on sight. It's on sight. <laughs> you guys don't even know. It. I, I love. Uh, our love. I'm, I'm so glad. Who he is. I'm about to burn a tree, guys. I'm about to set that thing on fire. <laughs> it's true. Our love. Our My ship's strong. I'm full of life right now. Sorry. No, you're okay. We're going to jump to you, Arlo. Um, oh, God. My cups. I assume you're kind of just standing oh, there. This geez. is probably, this is all kind of happening simultaneously, as you guys know. Um, and so yeah. I imagine you've kind of gone back to where Silas was standing, but you just don't, you don't know where he went. Nope. Um, and behind you, you hear Quad. Um, oh. He sees you standing there, like, kind of aimlessly, and he says, um, he says, Arlo, do you want to go outside for a little bit and get some fresh air? There's a, there's a gazebo. I helped set it up. It's quite nice. A gazebo? Yeah. Oh. Oh. We can um, just, we can just drink punch and talk and no pressure, but if it feels talk. right, yeah. then we can. Um... Yes, I would love to do that, but I actually, look, I really quickly, I have to talk to um, Aria about um, this outfit because it's like ripping in the back and I need to uh, just really quickly. And I'm, you, uh, here, t punch for both of us and you stay right here and I'll be right back. He, before you can leave, he looks down for a minute and he says, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> um, is there something wrong? Have I done something wrong? You haven't, no, you haven't done anything wrong. Um, I had a really bad sports festival. Yes, I saw. You saw. Mm-hmm. Right. He runs. <laughs> he, he can't handle this. He runs. Does he, he runs run? Far away. Does he run He's outside crowd. or does no. he run Is there somewhere a lot in the? Of people? Yeah. He gets like he finds the crowdiest crowd and he gets lost in it really quick. Okay. All right. From there, we will jump back to Julian and Silas in the bathroom. <laughs> um, uh, Silas turns to you as soon as you get behind the door together, and he looks at you and he's like, so how do you want to do this? How most people do it? <laughs> well, it depends on what you're into, because some people using do... their mouse. Oh. <laughs> he looks at you and he frowns. He's like, 
I am quite good with my mouth. Do you want me to go first? Do you have something to converse about? I mean, there can be conversing if you're into that, but I thought there was a different type of mouth action going on. What? Why are we here? I wanted to show you um, this, <laughs> and he takes out the scanner. Silas looks down at it and he says, Ah, snot and innuendo. Got it. Uh, great. I strike out again. So, um, yeah, what about it? And he the looks at it, and, and then he frowns for a second, and he notices what it is, and he's like, uh, hold on a minute. How, why do you have that? How do you have that? I have my ways. I would certainly like to know these ways, but that is not what you came here for, so. Yeah, what, what? <laughs> no, I'm sure I could teach you sometime. Um... Silas is going through it. He, as you say this, he, like, looks aside and he's like... <laughs> he's like, I'm going to physically combust. He's like, first I have to go to a dance that is mandatory, as if I couldn't hate people enough. And now I'm getting cocked blocked in the bathroom. What do you want to say? <sighs> Wait, what does that part mean? Don't worry about it. <laughs> He's staring at you. We can talk like... about it afterwards. Um, but, so, we have a scanner now to yes. possibly use to <clears throat> study and use for our own methods. But most importantly, I discovered this the other night. Um, and he flicks it on and shows the list of people thing with the classes he and the drop down at... bars. He frowns at it for a moment and he sees his name on that list. And he looks at you for a minute and he says, what do you think this means? This is not, um, comforting. No. No, not at all. Um, and he stares. Hold on, I have an idea that I didn't check before, and Julian's gonna try and go and look for the names of people who have disappeared. Okay. Um, as you do this, um, or right before you do this, um, as he looks at the drop down, he kind of mumbles under his breath for a minute. He's like, abandonment issues. I don't have abandonment issues. And he like frowns. And then, um, Julian, as you look on the list, um, you do not see any names. Um, you do not see Goshi's name, um, on the list as he is the one that you know for a fact is missing. Um, yeah. you do not see his name on there. Okay. Um, but my main reason to bring this to you is to sort of ask if you wanted to collaborate together in figuring it out and sort of possibly reverse engineering it for our own benefit. Silas smiles for a minute and he says, um, absolutely. Um, I didn't really have much else to talk about. You said you had something to talk about your, but talking about your mouth. <laughs> he frowns and he's like, that was it. That, that was, that was all. That was all you wanted to say. Um, yes. I have, he like looks at his wrist and there's no watch there. Um, and he's like, I have like 15 minutes to spare. Do you want to make out in the bathroom? Julian is just absolutely red at this <laughs> point. <laughs> just turned from this like pretty pale white to just an absolutely just tomato red. He's just smelling at uh, you. Um, as in, like, uh, and then Julian sort of stares at them for a bit. Um, <laughs> I 
uh, <laughs> <laughs> I uh, wouldn't be um, against. Oh my god! He's like starting to lean a little closer. Like, like what is? What is that exactly? You know, like. Do you want like specific detail, or like just, you know, just the the the, the, the main details? I don't think I need specifics. Is it that complicated? Mm, not really. You just go with what feels right, in my experience. Um, I'm not sure if you realize, because you seem to not be realizing a lot today, and it's really hard for me. Um, do you uh, know that it is like, you know, mouth-to-mouth contact is kind of included within that activity. Oh. <laughs> Just laughter in the background. I'm so sorry! They just said really hard for him, LMAO in the chat, and then looked at what he said, and then did this. This exact motion. <laughs> Like, pleased with himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did good on that one. <laughs> he did. He did do good he on did. that one. He did. Truly. This has been insane. Well done. Well done. <laughs> the lot of you. <laughs> uh, good job. This is my restoring my faith. He's still um, just looking at you. Ever since I sort of, you know, uh, got here at Revenwood and started getting to know people and getting friends and people mm. like the group and oh Theo! what did we do you left the audacity oh! yo our love it was the pure shock of it all Theo! i saw everything i saw everything change on my screen and it gave me a heart attack for a minute there hey right. we're still on the same spot though we are basically are we kind of yeah on the screen if he comes back it might be fine Oh, I'm uh, No, literally, place. we're all in the same spot. There's the Because, like, Darren yeah. and Julian are still in their same spot. It's oh, literally nothing no. changed. No, no, no. I think it's my problem. Hey, it did put us everyone back. You know what? Okay, I need to not be in charge of the calls anymore because that's what messes it up when someone leaves. Very nice. Because I'm the leader oh, of the call. God, so then I'll just start, I'll just start oh, logging in. Good. I'll start starting it now. Awesome. Um, you okay? Oh my god. Thumbs up emoji. Yeah, I my I was going to I'm switching behind like between like the YouTube page and this and that, and so I clicked out of the entire thing and I screamed Welcome back, welcome back. Anyways, continue oh. continue, Julia. Anyways, anyway, back to the interesting um, conversation. First yeah. make out of you this missed session. it. <laughs> um, just kidding. But, just kidding. Hey, bang. Meeting Sorry. the group, and then uh, you. I don't. There's a lot of um, feelings. I don't really know what they are. If they're like friendship or more. But. Well, it's sometimes making out helps with you. With that. It's. Yeah, I think it, it would, might help. I think we should at least try. Um, Silas, like, smiles, like, very wide, and, um, he starts to just step backwards, um, and he, like, very expertly smacks open, like, a bathroom stall, and then steps inside, and then, like, smiles at you, and kind of does, like, a little, like, kind of thing, <laughs> the little finger thing, um, very wow, just, like, you getting all the that. <laughs> um, and what do you do, Julian? I'm on the back. If you told me that Julian would be the first one to hook up with somebody, him. I would have never, 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 Um, what is it? What is it? You have to do it to do it. Exactly. To understand it. You yeah. gotta do it to do it. Quotes by Jazz. Um, <laughs> and do it to do it. Gotta do it to do it. 
Julian, well, you and Silas disappear behind the bathroom stall, and we are going to jump to Theron. <laughs> Roll for performance. Back to Theron, honestly. Um, Roll for performance, please. <laughs> um, I will give you part okay, of it. Okay, I'm, I'm good on track. I had like specific backstory drop. Yeah. I had specific events on my little like schedule and we have like three more specific ones I really want to like do so it works great. Um Very nice. Hold on. Theron, um Arthros has sped off towards the drinks. Um Yum. and I assume that you begin to go follow her? Yeah. As you do, someone steps in front of you. Fuck. <laughs> it is Darian. <laughs> His long hair is still down and like luxurious but he has it gelled behind his ears so you can see like the point of his ears very like legolas type vibe from lord <gasps> of the rings um he's in a dark maroon suit um entirely like dark red and um he, he has... also matched just throwing that out there <laughs> hell yeah he has the small little orange pocket square much like you do we match yep very much um and his fingernails are painted black and he Ooh. looks at you and he says um I sure hope you saved me a dance. Hi. Um. Po possibly, yes. Um. I'm kind of, I, uh, this is, this is, I'm happy to see you, but this is a terrible time. Um, what if I come find you later this evening? Um, he looks you up and down, and he says, that should suffice. Um, and then, um, as he leaves, he, like, puts a hand on your shoulder, and, um, he looks at you, and he's like that, you know, like, the, like, shoulder to shoulder, but you're facing that way, and he's, like, facing this way. And he's mm -hmm. got his hand on your shoulder. Like the... Yeah, and he looks at you, and he says, I look forward to it. And then he walks off very gracefully into the crowd. Um, I watch him go for just, just a fraction of a second longer than I should. And then I go <laughs> off to Arthros. God, he's so pretty. <laughs> dirty, dirty man. Um, I'm not. <laughs> I never um, specified who. I never specified who. Okay. Better be talking about him, not me. <laughs> Sorry. One second. Okay. Um, so. I was. With that. Oh, okay. Fair. Um, I guess he doesn't know the whole, like, situation, though, so I can't be too hard on him. True. He doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't know what you vibe with. Um, we are going to... Mm, I'm going to save that one. <laughs> oh. I'm going to save that. I'm going to wait until a little, a little bit later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> um, Arlo, I'm going to jump to you. Sorry for the sporadic okay. jumping. No, um, this is great. There's specific things going on, and I have them in just every single kind of order right now. Is um, Silas done yet? <laughs> are they done yet? Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. I need so my I guess, dealer. All right, let's jump to Arlo. Who jumps in there? Let's jump, jump to Arlo jump. and Julian. Oh, brother. Um, Julian, you and Silas leave the bathroom stall. Um, as you do not have much to compare this event to, um, I'm not going to have you roll for performance because it's kind of just an experience you had. Um, also. Silas, uh, like, as he steps out, kind of, like, re his hair back, <clears throat> straightens his, like, jacket, um, and then I imagine you're looking... No, you definitely aren't. You're looking a lot more wrecked than you came into the ball looking. Um... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> with, with Silas being your makeout partner, you are absolutely looking a lot more wrecked than you came into the ball looking. Um, <laughs> Silas looks at you, um, turns to you and he says, um, we should do this again sometime. Um, no strings attached, just... Yeah. You know. Right. I'd, I'd like that. 
well, I can tell that I rocked your world, so I'm gonna head out. Um, <laughs> he, he, he smirks. And motherfucker! <laughs> he smirks for a minute, um, uh, looks you up and down once more, gives you a little wink, and, um, looks at his wrist one more time, doesn't have a watch, and says, um, gotta be going, so, um, we will hook up, if you will, about the scanner thing, and go from there. Perhaps in many different positions from there. Do you want to just... Um, <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, um, yes. <laughs> and he, he does a little one of, like, these, and, okay. um, he, like, Man, swaggers so away. And a real um, slice. A little, a real slice. He is, <laughs> he is Megara, the, or... like... Man version. He's gender bent Megara. That is, the vibe. that is the vibe. Um, and he strolls away. I have never been happier in my life. Gender bent Megara, excuse me. Excuse me. Um, so man Megara. <laughs> Julian has won. Julian has Julian won. Has won. Uh, Julian is like Hercules too. Uh, very much the yes. vibe. Yes. I love them. I also, you're welcome, chat. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Give it the fans. Give the fans the fan yeah. service. Give the fans yeah. what they want. The fan service is coming. <laughs> um, we said we're so, gonna make the oh man of the people. You know this <laughs> little, little this little exchange man of the people close enough. <laughs> This little exchange happens, and um, Ar or Arlo, you see um, Silas coming back into the crowd, um, God. looking a little like scruffy, but you know, fairly still put together. Put together. Um, I see um, you approach him. So, Arlo is underneath a table, <laughs> and he has his head peeked over, and you see <laughs> Silas, and he goes, Psst. <laughs> Silas like. Um, he, you catch him kind of, like, when you see him, he's, like, doing one of these things, like, to his, like, cut, and just, uh, like, double-checking it, and then he, like, he, like, turns and, like, looks at you, but does, like, one of those things where he looks away, but then, like, double-takes, and <laughs> he, he looks at you, and he, like, frowns, and he's, like, and he, like, looks around and, like, steps closer, and he's, like, you're acting like your ex is here or something. Are you okay? Don't make a sexual joke, but get in here right now. Well, I can get, get in. in. He, he, grabs him, he grabs him before he can even say anything. He goes, he goes I can get in many. And then gets, like, dragged in. <laughs> um, yes. He gets pulled under yeah. the tablecloth. And he's, like, okay, so, like hunched down. He's, like, what the fuck? <laughs> and he's looking like, at you. It's crisscross applesauce. And he has, like, a little, like, his drink and his food. And, like, a little napkin. And he's, like, please, um, I need the... Oh, please. Thank you. He looks you up and down, and he says, um, are you sure this is a good idea? Because the last time that we in interacted, you were very drunk. Yes, and I'm hoping to do that again. Mm, okay. Listen, uh, I am, I am, <laughs> I am trying to avoid somebody right now. Uh, a guy that I came here with that I didn't want to come here with. Well, I wanted to come here with him, but I don't want to come here with him now because he, yeah, I, I killed him. Go. I didn't kill him, but he, I, in, in a metaphorical and almost realistic way, I killed him, and then he saw me kill him. Yeah, uh, and then I saw, you know, the lost love of my life, and he looks a lot like you, which is really confusing and very frustrating. Um, and you are also just nothing like him, and not as funny or nearly as charming as he is. Yeah, fish but boy. I, um, I kind of have somewhere to be. Can we make this quick? I'll give you the fucking flask. The whole thing? Yeah. He just, like, hands you the flask. He's like, um, take it as a parting gift. And you see for a moment his face takes on kind of a little bit of a look of, like, um, guilt. Mm -hmm. And as it kind of drops this guilty look, he shakes his head and he climbs out from under the tablecloth and he vanishes from where you are. All right, I'm drinking. <laughs> All right. Um, I, like, still hate you. <laughs> Arlo. You fuck off. As you are adding this to your punch, I assume, um, or are you just drinking it, like, raw? Um, I added to my punch. I don't think Arlo can drink anything raw. <laughs> okay. Um, 
The reason I'm not jumping back to Arya or Theron or Andromeda is because I have something kind of big planned that's all kind of intertwined. So, um... <laughs> Alright, Arlo. So, you do that. You're drinking beneath the tablecloth. Um, Julian, I'm gonna dart back to you for a moment. Um, and Julian, as you come out from um, this bathroom and you guys have had your little interaction um, and you're standing there, um, before you can get very far, you hear a familiar voice behind you. Um, and at your side, you see a tall woman. Um, and she turns and looks over at you and she says, um, long time no see. And you see that it is Sin, Shadow. Oh, no. She is dressed in a completely black dress. It is like a skin tight, um, spaghetti strap type. Just long, long dress goes down to her ankles and there's a slit up the leg. Um, but there's no other color. Very just, she's dressed in all black. Her hair is um, down as it usually is, long. Um, and um, she turns to you and she says, uh, you don't quite look dressed for a ball, I will say. Um, do I seem the type of person to be dressed for a ball? No. But I knew that already. Just thought I'd entertain you for a moment before I get on to the serious stuff. Um, oh. Right, of course. As you know, I have been looking into your past. Um, as you requested of me. Right. Um, about... Is that... Um... Uh, da, 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 da. <sighs> One thing that keeps happening every time that I do try to look into your brain, Julian. I keep getting a mental block of sorts, which does not happen often, might I say. It is as though someone is physically blocking me from looking in your past. Oh, hello. Um, and she, she looks you up and down and she says, any idea who that could be blocking my capabilities? No, because I have no memories. She squints at you, takes a deep breath, and says, Touche. Anyways. <sighs> One thing I do keep getting over and over and over are the words, follow through. I don't quite know what it means. Just two words. Ten credits in you, in it for you, if you can tell me what the hell it means. And she kind of, like, looks around the room. Does it ring a bell for me? It does not. You can't say that I recognize the saying. She sighs for a moment. She says, Right, well, I traveled a long way to get those two words to you, so do with it what you will. We'll keep in touch. I think an in-person session will be best. Oh, wait, you said that there was some sort of danger following me and my friends? Well, yes. I don't know the details. It doesn't work like that, Julian. Uh, oh, uh, okay. She pats your shoulder for a minute with her hand, her very manicured hand, and she says, Anywho, an in-person session will be best. It'll give me more strength to break the wall, blocking me out. So, at your earliest convenience, I say we gather all your friends and meet in the market. Look for the red cardinal, as usual. She, like, winks at you, and then immediately okay. walks off. And... Julian sort of, like, tries to wink back, not knowing how to do it. <laughs> Okay, blinks. Um, and with that, um, Arlo, we're going to jump back to you. This is going somewhere, I swear. How of a thirsty boy. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Um, Arlo, as you're sitting there and you're downing a drink, you see two hooved feet appear at the tablecloth. And you hear them, st you see them stop for a moment, and then very slowly the tablecloth lifts. 
and he kind of puts his head down and he says, Arlo, if you want me to go away, uh, go away, you can just say. Um, I don't want to be creepy and follow you around the ball, ball but uh, if no, you want, no, we can go outside no. and talk. I, I just want to talk. I, I, no. Platonic. I complete platonic. It's no, no, no. It's, it's not like that. It's... <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm under a tablecloth. This is just stupid. Why was this tablecloth? This is stupid. Um, I'm sorry. He I extends should... his hand to you. To like help you up. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, you take it. And so like I like crawl. Yeah, I just okay. take it and I like stumble out. Um, and he lifts you up and he turns to you and he says, "Look, we can just go sit outside. We can get away from the music and the people and we can talk about it. I, you can just you can vent to me if you want. I know that mm. I know the sports festival was a lot, and um, I don't know what I would have done in your position, and I can't even begin to imagine what I would have done in your position, and I don't hold that against you at all. Okay." Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I need to go outside. Why, okay. Why don't you go outside? Um, no, and... no, no. Come with me. Come with me. Oh, oh okay. All right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, and he follows you. Um, okay. I assume you kind of grab his hand and, like, lug him out. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. And as you go out there, um, it's very beautiful. Um, it's mm. outside near where the gazebo is, and Claude kind of sits with you beneath the little roofed area. Um, there is a single guard that is keeping watch over the outdoor sitting area. He is standing at the door that goes back into the ball, um, and he kind of watches you guys suspiciously, but doesn't make any move. Um, you guys are in your right to be out there. Um, there's no one else out there but you guys. Um, mm -hmm. And as you sit, um, it's quiet for a moment, and Claude looks at you and says, um, you know, it's times like these when I miss Osherdell a lot. <laughs> Claude, I'm scared. I I feel like I'm going crazy, and I feel like, like, I don't know. It's it, I feel like so many bad things are happening, and I'm I, I'm not ready to talk about all of these things that apparently all of these humans know about me that I don't even know how they know about me. But I'm also not ready to go inside this giant ballroom and have a party and pretend everything's fine and and I I really I like you but I I, I I'm it's not the right time and that's okay I'm not going anywhere there's no one else I have my eyes on um so I'll be here if or when you're ready, and I'll just hope that you will be ready at some point, and that it mm. will be me that you come to. Mm. Um, look, I can tell that uh, you've had a little bit to drink, and I won't tell anyone. I will keep it a secret. Thank you. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Um, oh, I forgot. You do all the. You follow the rules. That's yeah. Your thing. You follow all the rules. Yeah. Just don't tell anyone. I um, won't tell anybody. And I won't tell anyone that you would ever know anything like that. I would tell them that you, you know, you would, I, I'm so sorry. That's okay. Um, any chance I can know where you got it from so I can, like, keep my eye on that? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's been waiting until <laughs> Um, he looks at you for a moment and he's like, yeah? You can't... Don't do anything about it. I won't. I'm just gonna make sure that whoever this person is uh, doesn't... I'll keep my eye on them. Don't talk to them, because if you talk to them, then they're gonna talk to me, and they do not like me. And I don't like them. Well, I already don't like them if they don't like you. Um... I... Uh... It's... This guy, his name is Silas, but all my friends are really- I don't like him, uh, he's actually, uh, the worst, but- You see he, Claude, all... like, he puts his <laughs> fingers on his brow. <laughs> but he's, he's already like... been so- like, he's been in so much trouble, and I feel for him, and he looks like he's been beaten up every, like, more every time I see him, and I don't know what's happening to him, but I don't want to contribute to that by telling on him. So, if that's gonna happen, then I say it wasn't Silas, I found it in a bush. Silas- Basilisk? 
I don't know his last name. Oh. Sounds like the same Silas. It could be any Silas. I've known yeah. many Siluses. Yeah, he's been trying to sleep with Darian since, like, day, day one. But anyways, um... <laughs> yeah, he's no He's been trying to sleep with everybody since day one. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Uh... Then he's also said Fish wasn't his type. Not that I was trying to be his type, but that was just very uncalled for. I didn't even ask. It was just kind of rude. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's a bit... That's a bit of a generalization. What if he meets a fish yeah, one that's... day that he loves? Well, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. If he's capable of love, I suppose. Probably not. But anyways, uh, yeah, I, I won't say anything. Uh, we've had issues already with him, so don't worry about it. Um, look, I'm I'm going to go in, and I'm going to get you a glass of water, okay? Okay. All right. Okay, thank Take you. Take some thank deep you. breaths. I... Enjoy the fresh <laughs> air, okay? Yeah. Um, and I'll be right back. Um, and before he goes, he grabs his hand and, like, really looks... He's sitting down, right? Uh, um, yes. Yeah. There's I imagine there. they sat down on, like, a little bench. Yeah, um, the gazebo, yeah. And he, like, looks him, like, right in the eyes very sincerely and says thank you. Um, and then lets it go. Claude just, like, smiles and nods at you. Um, and he looks a little, like, disappointed, but not, like... Like, fair. So yeah, fair. but not to the point where it's, like, he's gonna guilt you for it. Um, and so he just, Love like, him. does, like, a little smile, and then he walks past the guard he like nods to the guard as he goes in um and all right we are almost to the <sighs> end here so bear with me um aria uh you and beacon have been dancing um she definitely knows how to dance she has attempted to spin you multiple times um she's attempted to dip you multiple times and i can just yeah. picture kind of aria just like like, I just is definitely foul, and anytime she tries to spin her, Arya just like steps really confused. Valid. valid. Um, and so, uh, she she kind of smiles at you for a minute, and she's like, um, "We really haven't gotten to know each other, have we?" No, I believe not. Given the last time you said you talked to me, you kind of has not scared me, but made me a wee bit uncomfortable. So. That maybe why? Maybe. Yes, as I said, I don't have a filter. I understand that now. Hmm. But. And speaking of no yeah. filter, you mm. looked wonderful in the sports festival. I mean, the way that you tackled that agility course. She's like grinning at you. <laughs> right. Um, again. Filter? Too much. Oh, Maybe a wee bit. Mm. I'm taking notes, but nothing ever comes from them. Mm. I think I don't study hard enough. Study what? What are you studying? Mm, being a good person. Okay. Um, well, maybe just slow down. Take a moment, my love. Take a moment. Deep, deep breaths. It's kind of hard to breathe when you're around. Just... <laughs> you remind me of someone. Oh, <laughs> a and good someone. What? A good someone? Um, that's debatable. I guess it depends on who you're talking to. But mm. uh, I will say, you are an interesting person to talk to. I will. I'm going to be honest with you, though, Dr. Um, Beacon. Uh, it makes me. A little bit farther than uncomfortable when you make comments like that. One, because I don't know how to respond, and also because I don't know why you think them constantly about me. If that makes sense. She frowns for a moment, and she's like... Compliments are always supposed to be a good thing. I mean, I think that they could be, but um, not when you're not used to them, and also not when you're not used to them in that way. If that makes sense. Right. I don't want you to think that that's a bad thing about you because I think it's very wonderful that you're so open and honest with your emotions and how you view people. That's wonderful, but a lot of people need that. But I'm not very comfortable hmm. with that sort of perception. I suppose I, I can turn down the perceiving. 
that would be wonderful. Hmm. Um, As for why I think those things about you, right. to me it's quite obvious, but I will not say if it will make you uncomfortable. That would be great! Well, that is! That's wonderful! Um, would you like a drink? Um, I'm okay. I'm actually feeling not that, um, <clears throat> uh, parched. Um, well, I, for one, am feeling extremely parched, especially in your presence, <clears throat> so I will be right back. And she turns immediately, and her little rat tail spins behind her, and she beelines it for the, um, the, the drink area. Bye! And before you can do anything else, Aria, <laughs> something causes uh, your attention, and this is all going simultaneously, so I will get to it, but something with Andromeda pulls your attention. Okay. I will not say yet. Okay. Theron, you finally meet what? up with Arthros at, don't worry about it, uh, with Arthros at the, <laughs> um, at the drink table. Um, and you see her, like, down her punch really quick. <sighs> and then she, like, takes a deep breath, and she looks at you as you approach, and she's like, Theron, you made it! Uh. <laughs> yes, yes I did. Are you okay? Yes. I'm fine. I think someone may have spiked the punch. It tastes quite like that thing that I had at that one place where there was the red bird and the, the other scary people who didn't like it here. And that Did one she taste it then? Awful snake person. Yeah, she tried the alcohol when she's there because she was stressed, but then she didn't drink it. Fair. Um, Theron's just gonna pour himself a glass. <laughs> <laughs> Valid. Um, she and watches you down do so. Quickly. And she's like, hmm. Oh, lovely. It actually goes down a lot easier with the punch, so there's that, at least. Yes. It can taste quite nice if mm. done in the correct way. Theron. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, um, Arthros? Do you have a secret you've never told anyone? I think most people do, probably. Hmm. Do you have one you want to tell me? Um, Please. maybe, um... It can be an even exchange. Oh, oh, okay, um... All right, we're doing this. Even, even, yeah, mm -hmm. equality and all mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. um... <clears throat> okay, okay. So, so Roz, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Um. He, uh, I guess, not most people like no, nobody really knows this. Uh, he's the only family that I have left, more or less. Oh, that's We're not, like, wonderful. Related as such, but oh. he took me in, so. That's so lovely. And so nice that you only have one family member to worry about. Um, <laughs> I guess that's one way to look at it. They sound like a lovely person. I should like to meet them. Yes, they're quite nice. Oh. At times. Um, she pours herself more punch. Theron walls <laughs> another glass, I guess. Um, and she turns to Theron and she says Theron. Hmm. Arthros. Theron. Arthros. It just I won't come out. And I wanted to. Right? Theron. Talk about something else. Talk about something funny. Some, oh, um. Tell me a joke. Earlier. What? Tell me. Tell me a joke. Oh. Mm -hmm. Um. Or something funny, if that was where you were going with that. I, Sorry, I just stressed you out. Funny. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Um, earlier on the dance floor, there was, um, Arthros and Zophiel. Or not Arthros, sorry, Arya. Arya. Mm -hmm. The A names. Be yeah, valid. There's a lot of them. <laughs> Arya and Zophiel, they were dancing, mm -hmm. sort of. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. Arya and the pink person, they were also kind of dancing but not not a dance i've ever seen before oh yes that was kind yes, of yes i funny noticed that that watch. was like i thought they were fighting at first and then they went so it was good yeah it was like it was like a uh dance fight ritual kind mm. of thing 
Dance fight. Oh, he's funny. Dance fight. Yeah, that sounds like a great time. Better than the regular fighting, he thinks. Sh- sure. Hmm. Yeah, it was, a, it was a dance off. Of sorts, yes, and what I happened? I I don't know. They were just they were just flailing all over the place. And I've murdered a and... lot of people. Oh. Oh. Um. And as she says this, your attention is drawn to Andromeda. No. Across the room. No. How is it drawn from that? Whatever's happening is <laughs> massive. It better be good. It better be fucking good for me to take oh, my attention to this mark. moment. The question mark. The question mark. Um, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> the question mark yes, is back. Yes. Yes. Um, Andromeda. Mm, no, we're going to jump to Arlo. Arlo. Oh, no. I'm so Arlo. You're hitting me. <laughs> Arlo, you are sitting outside at the gazebo, um, still waiting for Claude to return with a glass I'm of water. I'm seeing the little mermaid. As you should. And um, there's a moment before you hear the door open, and you turn to the door, I assume, thinking that it is Claude returning with your water. Um, mm-hmm. But instead, it is Silas again. Um, okay. He stands at the door and he turns to the guard that is standing next to him. And he says it um, loud enough that you could hear it. Um, and he says, okay, let me go to my notes. Um, he says to the guard, um, you might want to hurry. Uh, there's a student inside about to use dangerous magic and I think you might want to, you know, get on that, seeing as it is your job. And the guard, like, looks at him for a moment, kind of stunned, and then immediately darts inside. Um, okay! <laughs> and Silas turns to you, and it is now simply you and Silas outside. Okay! Um, and he looks at you for a minute and looks you up and down, and he's like, Honestly, this might be easier now that you have alcohol in your system. What would And be easy? he walks slowly up to you. Um, and he says, um, look, I need to know something. It's very important. Uh Uh-huh. Last week, I overheard a conversation you had with the Aquafin house guy on the speaker. Uh, which conversation? About a gash on his elbow. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah, that one. He said something about you having a magic touch. Are you really making an- another sexual joke right now? I'm really not. <laughs> and his face, like, drops, and it takes on a look of kind of scary. Um, okay. And he's looking, and he's like, is there anything true about that? Um, I don't, I don't know, I... I I haven't been able to think about it. It just kind of happened. And I haven't been able to do it again. Or I guess I haven't really tried. So you don't know? Well, no. Why? But there's a possibility. Uh, yeah, I guess. And he like takes a deep breath and he looks down and he looks resigned now. And he looks defeated. And his expression pulls tight and stiff. And he sighs with an air of resolution and says, um, I'm really sorry about this. And suddenly you feel a slight prick in the side of your neck. And Silas doesn't move, but you feel this prick in the side of your neck and a firm hand reaches out and grabs your shoulder and your arms. Uh And when you turn in your blurry uh, vision, you can see a dark masked figure standing over you. His face is covered in cloth, or their face, I suppose. Their face is covered in black cloth. Um, you cannot see, you cannot see any features um, on their body or in their face. And within a mere, new fear, bleh, a mere few seconds, you can feel a heaviness settle upon your entire body, exhaustion grabbing hold of the blood in your veins, your head weighing far too much for some reason. 
and it isn't much longer before your eyes begin to flutter shut. And as they begin to flutter shut, you see Silas in your blurred vision, and he drops his head, runs a hand through his hair, looking stressed, and then everything goes black. And we jump to Andromeda. <laughs> Andromeda. You suddenly begin to feel a slight pull at your wrist. Right as you've said these words to Mud. And you see his expression take on a look of like, he's still kind of smiling, but he's shocked still. Like he's not moving otherwise. Um, he's just kind of looking at you and his brows furrow a slight bit, and um, then he notices um, you, and your wrist, you feel the slight pull at your wrist, and you feel a warm, burning sensation, and when you look down, you can see that the bracelet lifting off your, is lifting off your skin and floating, um, and there is a slight glow to the gems that are there intertwined with the string. It pulls harder, enough to move your feet. And before, uh, and right after this, it begins to yank you further until you're being pulled and cannot stop yourself. Your feet are slipping on the dance room floor and you are being pulled by your wrist by this bracelet. Mud calls after you in concern. And the rest of you who are at the ball notice this, Aria, as Beacon walks away, you turn and you see Andromeda being pulled across the dance floor. Julian, you see it from where you stand, where Sin has just left you. Um, Theron, you see it from where you're standing in front of Arthros, as she has just admitted a very large thing to you. Um, and Andromeda, it begins to pull you further and further, and you're pulled out the door. You're pulled out the door that, yeah, you push against the door, essentially. It's one of those, you know, the, the big push like, them out. She's going, she's like, ah, ah. She's, being, mud, she's yelling. Mud screaming. is calling after you. He's like, Andromeda, tree? Um, and mud takes off running after you. Um, do the rest of you take off running after Andromeda? I assume so. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, you, all, you all take off running. You all take off running after Andromeda. Arthos follows you, Theron. Yeah, um, I grab her, like, hand and, like, okay. you go. And you guys start running, and you're pulled out the doors, Andromeda, of the um, ballroom, and you're out by where the gazebo is, and the guard that was there is still not there. He's inside investigating whatever it is that Silas had told him. But Arlo is also not there. Obviously, you wouldn't know that he was out there, but for context, no one is out there. Um, Andromeda... The bracelet continues to drag you along, and the rest of the group you follow. It pulls you out towards Gravelberry Lake, which is very close to the cafeteria. It pulls you past Gravelberry Lake until you're stepping over roots and logs and rocks and scratching your feet on rough branches, mud still very close on your heels, the rest of the group close on your heels. The cold air of the trails that you're making your way across are biting, it's biting at your skin. You can only hear crickets chirping and the slight rustling of leaves and trees in the occasional, and the occasional gust of wind. The bracelet continues to pull you along and the group follow close behind. Julian, Arya, Theron, you all continue to keep up with Andromeda. Mud and Arthros have tagged along as well, their features twisted in concern. It leads you all up and over a hill out past Gravelberry Lake, in an area that you have not been yet, Andromeda. Um, further past the trees, further than you have ever ventured in your trips to the lake. It continues to pull you, and it leads you up and over the hill where you, gather, where you round a gathering of bushes and trees. You see the glow of a strange ethereal light. Across a wide opening in the middle of a flower-clad meadow, sits an archway, its entirety glowing shades of bright white, lights dancing in multicolored rays across the tall grass of the field. It stands like an open door, a gape glistening, and the stone that makes up the entirety of the arch is the same stone 
mud found and handed to you only a few days earlier. Those of you familiar with them would know this to be a portal. Undoubtedly so. In front of the open doorway stands a man dressed in dark shades of grays and blacks. He is dressed in formal attire. His hair is blonde from what you can see, and he wears a large black cloak hanging down and around his arms, extending to nearly his ankles. He is of a very um, muscular physique, um, and there is even a stun cane in his opposite hand, like that of the guards. And you can't quite make out his facial features in the dark, um, in the dark of the sky. And the blinding light of the portal is too blinding for you to really see just who this person might be or any details of this person other than their physique and their clothing. But from the shape of this person's shoulders and the long spiraling uh, cloak. To one of you, it looks very familiar. You're not entirely sure why, Julian, but you recognize the shape of this figure. You do recognize as well, all of you, a winged outsider floating at his side. Surrounded by an array of red, dust-like magic is Zophiel. He is floating at the figure's side, his eyes shut and entirely out cold. Andromeda, as you're pulled further towards the portal and this man, he hears you and the group of you approaching. His head lifts and he eyes you all steadily. Julian, you look at the way that his cloak flays out around him and it sparks something in your mind that you cannot quite put your finger on. With a flick of his hand, Zophiel moves, the aura of magic floating forward, and he disappears within milliseconds into the bright light of the portal. The man watching you waits a moment, staring, though you can't see his eyes, before he steps inside the portal after him. Andromeda, the bracelet pulls you closer and closer until you're a mere few feet away from the glowing doorway. Your friends are yelling your name. Mud is calling out to you, yelling tree over and over and over again. Arthros is concerned, running after her. She's shocked, absolutely stunned. And the rest of you, I assume, are all running in a panic. You're a mere few feet away from the glowing doorway, and you can hear the portal chiming now a whirring sound that sounds almost mechanical, like that of rushing wind and the grinding of gears. The middle of the portal is simply white and blinding, illuminating the entirety of the meadow in an iridescent glow. Andromeda, without a choice, in one solid pull, you are yanked into the portal, rushing air, cool and ethereal, spiraling around you, and all you see is white. Mud reaches out to grab you just before you disappear within the white light. And as he grabs your arm, he too falls through the portal and disappears within the light. Julian, Theron, Arthros, Arya, Andromeda, or Nandromeda, sorry. Julian, Theron, Arthros, Arya. Andromeda and Mud have vanished before your eyes. And as you all stand there, you see the edges of the portal begin to shrink. There isn't much time left before the doorway is closed. What do you do? Julian jumps in? <laughs> Julian, as you jump through, the words follow through ring in your head. Oh! He goes, he goes. Okay. Zofia went through this too, right? Yep. yep. Oh, fuck. Okay. He um, was out cold and he was surrounded by magic. He floated into it, yeah. essentially. Oh, I didn't realize that. Whoops. Oh, you're good, you're good. Uh, Theron glances at Arthros as if for, like, confirmation or, like, to see, like, if she wants to, and then, like, lunges forward. What is she what is, looks like, the expression? absolutely terrified, mm. but she squeezes your hand tighter and gives you okay. a slight nod. So we're, like, we're connected mm -hmm. and we jump through. 
Arya, it is just you standing outside the portal, and it is closing, closing, closing. Shit. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Fuck! Okay! Oh my god, she's thinking of like, where the fuck is our home? We, we don't even know that Arya is, is gone. So we don't like, even like, know that Arya is gone. Of course, Arya would be the one, the one that, like, the last one. Like, that's such a cinematic shot. Like, I can see she's it. Like, the light, light, the so light on her face, the light oh, on her face so shining hard. and slowly yes. starting to shrink. And the silhouette is so good. The big view of, like, her back and, like, facing it and, like, oh my god. The silhouette in black. Well, I'm gonna make this a little bit more cinematic. Um, her, because she didn't have time to fully, um, finish her outfit, she just unclips the cape and jumps in. Hell yeah. Whoa. Just... All you see- Oh my god! All any of you see Fuck. is white. Back at the celebratory ball, as the night is drawing to a close, the Dean of Ravenwood Academy is stepping onto a platform, microphone in hand, and Artera at his side. He greets the crowd of students gathered in the grandiose food hall, turned ballroom, and grins an envelope in his hand. Clearing his throat, he begins. What a week, students at Ravenwood. You've all officially completed your second week of the, at the Academy, as well as gotten to experience the magic the sports festival has to offer us here. I cannot wait to make it an annual tradition. With that, of course, you all know why I'm standing before you to announce the sports festival of 2050's winning school and winning team. He begins to open the envelope. The academy that has won this year's and our first sports festival competition is, well, would you look at that, Ravenwood Academy. And as he yells this out, the crowd of students show their spirit with applause and bright grins. The faculty in the room hoot and holler and the Dean's face alights anew. As I said once before, students, if opportunity doesn't come knocking, build a door. That is what you've all done this week, especially our competitors. You've built yourselves a doorway and you've started to walk through it, heads held high. And I promise you, this is only the beginning. And he looks down at the envelope once more and he says, as for our winning team, the most points scored goes to, and he looks down at his paper, and he looks up and he says, Julian, Aria, Andromeda, Theron, Arlo, Chadwick. And he looks at all of you and in the crowd- Is Chadwick the only one there? In the crowd, Chadwick steps forward and he says, yeah! <laughs> and he looks around and the Dean is like, Aria, Andromeda, Theron, Arlo, Julian, our winners? And the last thing that he does is look at Artair with a frown and a look of just absolute concern um, and suspicion. And that is where we will end season Shut. one. That was better than Stranger Things. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. Shit. Uh, uh, holy. Can we talk about this? Because this is like narratively so wild that, that like holy. not only did we win the sports festival and that ended up being at the end, but also me and, team. and James had like very like unknowingly intimate scenes with, with Silas right before he did that. We had no idea that he was gonna do that. But like what the fuck? <laughs> That's why he does it as well. Fucking guilty. I mean, you know, I with that man he does that like, I, was All right, I, him. Him. I was sticking up for him i said don't don't tell on him because he gets beaten up every week <laughs> Fuck him. Fuck him. <laughs> well he still wasn't happy about it what if he's being coerced well then he in his file it. it said like you know he could be that's true kind of stuff so that's maybe that happened true. to him i mean he didn't feel sad about it I'm so excited so to see all the people. Where all the people are going, Have right? Also, Arlo is uh, trapped and we're all in a portal. We're in a portal! Like, what is happening? What is where happening? This has to be where the people who are disappearing went to. And that's a finale. Man. That's a good question. God damn. damn. This has so so gotta happen. be where the people My who disappeared went to. Holy frick. Well. Also, um, why was Sophia like unconscious? And I'm terrified. Terrified. Boy. He was terrified. He was like a baby boy. He was gone. Yeah. He was I'm a baby boy. Very That's much like. Uh, do you He's remember? Out. Do you remember? I don't know how many of you've seen, seen Thor: The Dark World. Thor. 
Yeah, like with yeah. Jane. Yes, it looks like yeah. the yeah. it looks like it's the ether. Dust. It's like that um, red yeah. dust. Yeah. Where's Claude at? How's he feeling? Did he find look for me at all? Or it's, it's, what's, what's happening with him? Oh, 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 oh Zephyrus, wait, where is he? Wait, what do you say? What do you say? Question. No, because he's never gonna see her again. You told us that you would never leave her side, and you did. That was incredible. You said you wouldn't, and you did. I'm gonna go look through all these comments now of everyone's freaking I'm out. Excited to see, yeah, I'm excited to see the Holy. theories that come out of this. <laughs> I'm like losing Holy my mind Holy. right now. I am. What the? I, I like genuinely I'm like I'm saying stoked. like the fact that they announced the winners and we weren't there is so know, cinematic. It's just, like yeah. it's this so is the thing. No, I love I, everything about this. Oh, thank you. Everything about it's it was so. I, so I wrote. I wrote his speech essentially with like the idea in mind that it could be you guys. Um, obviously, it would have been a lot less cinematic if it wasn't you guys um but it just worked it out funny, perfectly <laughs> that yeah. it was just you guys. amazing we're after just are, amazing. i know like <sighs> there was no way that anyone else was going to win because you guys got the highest box in that room sure. so all of the points that were deducted things of that nature like didn't even count didn't even matter. at that point yeah it doesn't matter 777 points Not is even insane <gasps> y'all have I a like... lot to think about <laughs> Bob, you are so talented like i'm really no but like i'm so serious so... i've spent my You're life incredible. around creative so I, i'm creative and i'm telling you you are so True. immensely talented beyond like, like people i've met like it's insane. dumb it's no it's next Level, like, it's dumb. You are a storyteller. Thank you. I was, I was, I'm exhilarated. I was very proud. I was very proud of this episode. I was like, this is, we're going out with a bang. I'm excited. I'm so sorry. It took so long. No, it was so. It don't even matter. It was great. That was oh god. I like. Wow, that felt so good. I feel so good. That was awesome. Um, like, there satisfied. won't be a super cool. long hiatus for, Insane. like, the next episode, but probably roughly maybe two or three weeks, um, so I can True. work on right. it, but... Sounds good. Spread it out as much as you can, because it's I, our wanna usual be, break. I wanna be, yeah. I wanna be there. It's usual time between valid. break. Valid, 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 valid. Don't you, you need worry. Break. Oh, that's so good. good. We'll come that's up with insane. them soon. I'm so glad you guys liked it. I'm really happy you liked it. Oh, that was so good. I was, I was very Every time. So so I want to make so much fan art right now. Yeah, I do too. Is. I want to draw Arya with the portal as like a silhouette. I, I do too. Really I'm bad. Bad. Hell yeah. yes. With like her Go cape. Her cape. Her cape. Her back. Oh. So symbolic. Really as, okay, as Andromeda was being dragged through the fucking woods too, I can imagine her like her pretty dress being like caught on yeah. the fucking like trees. It was very on the road. I think very Snow White like when oh. she's running through that like forbidden forest. Yeah, that's she's what like, I pictured. Yeah, exactly. she's like very oh, much. Yeah. And you Are guys it? went through this. You went through this portal been. all in your formal clothes, most of you, aside from you, Julian. Julian, you were smart, honestly, at this point. Julian, you're, you were the one who came from- Is- Is- prepared. <laughs> is, is Arlo about to have an, a hopper arc where he's just in the middle of Russia by himself in a stupid <laughs> yeah. outfit? Wouldn't you like to be a <laughs> fish boy? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, what's gonna happen to poor fish boy? He's a baby, he's not gonna survive. Yeah. I was, I, God, I was waiting. I was waiting. Huh? We will have words. What? Huh? If you kill Ku, he's in a fucking coma. <laughs> True. And we're all leaving him. I'm dead right now, really. Um, Not like I can do much, but I'm still I, I didn't yeah. expect you guys uh, to God. interact with Silas as much, so I was like, Wow, okay. that's amazing. Oh, <laughs> okay. We knew. We knew that there was something about wow. him that was distracted all right. Dynamic. Interesting. The fact that Julian just made out with him and then he just kidnapped yes! him. Yes! It's so good! That's it's literally so like, I did, that. I, did that. That. I did that! I did that! I did that! I did that! I am glad that you guys liked it. I won't keep you any longer because I know we've been here for a while. And so I am good. so sorry. That's okay. Um, so at least we took we took some good yeah, breaks in between some long breaks so that's good um but everyone will have a hella episode to watch and i'm really proud of how it all went i'm really glad that the trials and stuff went over like how i wanted them to and like we're at least a little bit like so tricky um so i'm happy about that so um True. yeah I'm glad I you keep guys saying had this, fun. this is like legitimately my new favorite oh, episode. So of all time. I'm, it's my favorite too. It's so my favorite. good. I, I keep like updating so It is my favorite as well. I'm so very glad perfect. we went out with a bang perfect. a little bit. Um, 
And chat, it's it is so not series cool. finale. It is season one finale. Um, season, season two will we be. We will more. have more. There, so will, there will be more. <laughs> there will be there's, so, so, be so more. much oh more. Yeah. So, there's oh so God. much good about this episode. There's so many moments. <laughs> oh it does help that this session was like 10 hours long. But it's literally yeah, 10 hours yeah. long. Yeah. But it was like I, the payoff was amazing. Yeah, and I, <laughs> I didn't right. expect, like, um, it's always that I don't expect the role play to take as long as it does. So it's like, what I plan out, like, we would have, I mean, we stopped with the sports festival at like four hours. So we mm -hmm. were like, yeah. good. That was like the midpoint. So I was like, okay, yeah. like we're or more, more than more the hours midpoint. To, like, the ball. Yeah, exactly. And I was like, I didn't stuff. expect you guys to go for that much longer. And I was like, but, like you know what? If okay. it was any it's shorter, like even two hours shorter, it wouldn't have been as like Epic. impactful. Like it was I'm impactful. Glad. I'm glad. It was so sure. impactful. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. I was hoping too that it was stuff that would like keep you guys on your feet so it didn't get boring or anything. Or there was no like dull moments. Are you kidding? Are you freaking? I was on the edge of my seat the entire time. I've had I've had tables in my body this whole time. It felt like when I was doing the first episode ever, and I was like freaking out. I'm so glad. My adrenaline is like okay. The build the door thing too. Yeah. Before. This yeah. is okay. I was laying and I was working on the very last bit this morning and I started laughing and I turned to yeah. I turned to Jazz and I was like, Haha, I just made a connection that I didn't mean to, but I did it. And, <laughs> and Jazz was like Jazz was like, <laughs> What? Okay. And I was like, mm. What? I was like, I Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. I was like, I love the symbolism of him reiterating this thing from the very first episode in the season finale when you guys just went through a glowing door, essentially. Oh yep. my god. I was very excited about wow. that. Also, <laughs> speaking of the first oh, episode. No. Yes. That first dream sequence that we all had mm -hmm. in Julian's there was a cloak yeah, yes the there cloak. was Ooh, there the was I was hoping you would remember no. <laughs> no. I don't I can't believe you remember that that's amazing <laughs> I was hoping you would remember that's such a cool detail mm, no. <laughs> Big excitement. Big excitement. I'm, I'm so excited. So... I love this campaign so much. I'm so Same. glad. I'm so glad. That makes me so happy. They can see much their tone. I'm, I'm literally... so fulfilled right now. Like, everything was so good. I'm, it's I'm... settled. The story is settled, like, into itself, I feel. I'm so glad. I was, I was a little... <laughs> We're forced to glaze over the fact Arthur has literally killed people. I, uh, I've killed a lot of people. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm just like, and then just Andromeda, like, someone, someone put it in the chat and was like, oh, so did Arlo not get his dog? <laughs> like, like, <laughs> yeah. No, he didn't. No. Yeah. Oh, dog. It's technically, it's been, technically, it's been a week, but you just vanished. We're not so busy. I've been crying and watching Wait, didn't you make a down payment on it as he well? He did. Uh, he did. So I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Okay, excuse me, you just won the sports festival. Oh wait, yeah, we got a ton of money now. You got bank. Yeah, money. Right? Don't worry about oh, it. You, get, oh, you got oh, credit. True. I want to get ten dollars. How much? The, uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you. Just get a whole pack. You'll have to find out. <laughs> ten dogs. Um, I want my bird still. Ravenwood. Back. Everyone no, at Ravenwood gets gets credits still. from winning as a school, but you guys get That's more cool. from winning as a team. Sweet. I'm on the winning team. Yeah. Also, we should. We are the. Fucking Chadwick, just like yeah, I'm totally stoked about this, bro. Oh my god, I love him. Yeah. Him by himself, like. Yeah! And he's like, yeah! You need to write this in the oh, comic after we finish. Crickets. The story is too good. Like, you don't understand like, how badly I've been wanting to make a webtoon just like based off each episode. God, because it's, so it's it's laid out and written for me, so it would be so easy to do. It would, it would just be a lot of so drawing. Good, Bob. I'm, it would be so enjoyable. I also was like, I want this to be like a series. Like, I want to act this out and like make it a series of like short films, but that would be so hard. But I was oh like, but that would be so cool. I yeah, love <sighs> heartstopper moment. Anyways, but... right? Can I say just real quick? Yeah. Can we just commemorate Jade, Vey, and Theo for <laughs> this being like their first time doing D&D related things yeah. and oh, just being no. absolutely amazing at it? Yeah, absolutely, I so. literally. I, I fucking agree. Slay. I lose my mind time. and I lose several years so of good. my life when I work on the episodes, but I love it, so it's fine. <laughs> I was like, are I was working on it really late last night, and I had to pee, and I went to the bathroom, and I was peeing, and I was I like, 
oh my god, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> and I like stopped for a moment and I was like, gotta keep going. And I was like, you know what, fuck it. I don't give a I was, fuck. like taking a dino break. Because it's oh, so no. like, it's so rewarding to like see, you, to see how it you is. guys react to things. So like me putting my whole pussy into it is like, Literally. It's so rewarding. <laughs> Dumbussy. So like, yeah. Dumbussy. Of course it is. But, um, my whole Dumbussy. Um, but I'm really glad you guys had a good time. I won't keep any longer because oh, it's yeah. so late and I love you guys so much. You guys and, so okay. Yeah, go to bed, go to bed. I hope you guys wait, get sleep wait, wait. and dream about... I'm gonna go back and watch the stream. I'm gonna have a night I really <laughs> am too because I was reading, I was reading so yeah, much so I missed a lot of your reactions. So I'm gonna go back and watch too. I, that's my favorite part is going back and yeah. watching everyone like and i get to see the stuff. chat too because so i don't get to read the chat so cool. while i'm playing so i love while that. I'm doing it so oh. I, I love to go back and look at chat i can't so wait to see the theories too. that come out i'm really excited chat There's we so should do like do your worst like, i don't know at some Jim point oh, God, yes yeah at some point we need to do like a watch party of a bunch yeah, of like, no, I don't like, like all the highlight like, down or just like everyone once in a while just watch a full episode i would I would love to. That would be so fun. What the fuck? Especially right. if we've gone for a while and we're like further into it, and then we watch like the first one back or yeah, something. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, oh my god, guys. Just what if? Babies. What? We could do like Lion King one and a half thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Like, you're, really you're probably wondering how I got here, and it's you're like Arlo, so like. Funny. Pointing at the masked <laughs> figure that just injected him with something. Just like, <laughs> you're probably wondering how I got here. Don't worry. I'll get out of it a Don't worry. Or like God. Flynn Rider, like, this is the day. story of how I die. Oh my it's like God. that dramatic thing. Um, I do yeah. want to, like, at some point put together, like, um, a compilation of, like, the best moments. Um, the only thing is that I'm I have to figure out. <laughs> I, I have to figure out how to um, no. <laughs> go through it, but Great moment. yeah, I was really debating whether she was gonna actually get anything out, and I was gonna make it that she was about to speak, and then you guys saw it drop it, but I was like, you know what? No, I'm just gonna. I think it's so much I'm better. Drop a bomb. Too. Me too. Just wow. bomb Me too. I wouldn't change it. About this now. I also would not change a single Perfect. thing. Also, can we come back to what I really want to talk about, so which good. is my number one ship? Uh, I, uh, no PL, I, I am the of the evening. <laughs> you don't understand. So I am girl. Cool. It's a do kind of an issue because I'm self inserting. Do you want to know something? I ship them so yes. much. You want to know something? The minute that Beacon left, do you know where I was going to go? Mm. Do you know who I was going to see? And then you! Zofiel! Zofiel! And then I realized, while we were doing this whole thing, she wouldn't have seen Zofiel. And so she would have been really fucking confused at where did Zofiel go? Hmm. Oh no! Yeah. He's already gone. Oh, oh, he's already gone. He's body. He's just gone. Where'd he go? 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 It's okay, he just floated um, with the cape man. I love my cape man. Uh... Yeah, I like them a lot. So I made dangerous. I I self indulged and I made a Zofiel and Aria playlist. So, oh my God. <gasps> so literally, can I just that's say, my OTP. That's my OTP. Right can I just ha can I just say? Yeah. So good. Part. If you look back through all the episodes, I have been dropping hints that she is betrothed the entire time. Yeah, that's why and I no it. one caught on. Give me, give me yeah, the chat. Way. Chat caught on. They were like, no, because oh, in the beginning, no, there's no really like, oh, you can choose who get betrothed. Too, mm. or like oh yeah that makes sense the that tavern makes sense. um when uh silas starts like hitting on her again she's like i'm betrothed and then just gets up and walks <gasps> away oh, she literally just said she it didn't oh, she, mean mean mud. Mud. she didn't mean oh, mud. Mud. um so i'm also excited for everyone to learn more about zephyrus because <sighs> I, I think that Fine. he's a very cool character Fine. Well, um, I, think, I, I hate him. I have a Zephyrus playlist. I hate Zephyrus. We have Zephyrus playlist. I, I have Silas on site, and I was right on about site. it. On site. You were wrong. So Unless you were so No, good. I'm right. He's and you're wrong. Separated. He can be himself, his own self. Maybe I'm wrong. I didn't. Ex I also did not yeah. expect you, Arlo, oh, okay, to be right. drunk. So I know. It, it worked out quite well for Silas for the moment. He's a complex character. I like complex mm. characters. I can't wait to draw shit yeah. from this. I just want to draw scenes now. I'm like, same. I'm excited. I'll commission you to draw Arlo in that ponytail, by the way. Stop! I will <gasps> fucking do it. 
please. Mm. Put two drinks. Just immediately. Put two but drinks. Like, it, under the like table, that. under the table, under the just table. Just send me oh, something, under... just send me something from Envy Green Manor and I would draw it, literally. I don't care. Um, okay, don't be silly. I was already gonna do that. Uh, don't, don't be silly. silly. Don't be silly. It's a goose. My favorite- You get all of my stuff for free. My favorite is the button down with the mouth. <laughs> with your mouth see on it. you tomorrow, it's in the mail. Actually, this is your birthday party. It's all just mouth. That's my favorite one. The one with the mouth. The one I like. The one with the sunset mouth on it. Oh, oh wait. Yeah, I know what you're That's my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one? <laughs> the one you like just announced. That's my favorite. I love you so much. I'm going to send you one. Oh my fucking god, I will draw Arlo with the ponytail then. I'm excited. I love you. Thank you for an amazing session. I love you guys so much. I will close off with the chat. I love you. I love you, dog. I love you, dog. I love you, guys. Please, if you guys think so of like any theories you have or anything, literally, if you want to send it in the chat, I just get so much serotonin seeing you guys like think about stuff. It's so good. And it also gives me ideas because there's been theories in the so fucking good. Discord chat who have given me ideas as well as theories that are very accurate. And it makes me very happy that as a DM, some stuff is kind of coming across as a little suspicious. And I really like that because that makes me feel like, oh, when things come out, it's going to actually make sense. <laughs> It'll so, it'll yes. all click clack together. So if you guys have anything, please share it. That goes for you, especially chat, because um, I would love to hear your theories. Um, um, and I don't know if... Oh, it's Datboy, actually. Their username just popped up in the chat. Please make more memes. They're so good. <laughs> they're so hilarious. They're so they good. Literally oh, they're so they literally make all the They make all the memes, and they remind me of like those old-fashioned Vine compilations where it's like, like, yes, oh, like um, John Locke as Vines or like Sherlock oh, as yeah. Vines and like things I like love, that. They I give love. me so much nostalgia and serotonin, <laughs> especially when it's about like our characters. So <laughs> it makes me. I will be waiting. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 I love you. Oh my god. Literally makes me big happy. Okay. I love you guys. Love Have a good night. You. Thank you so much for love powering you. through such a long session. Love no power. I love you. I love you. No power. I'm so <laughs> good. <laughs> Sleep tight. Sleep tight. Follow through. Only through. Follow 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 and let me turn on the camera for a moment so that I can say goodbye to all of you. Mm, can you hear me? I hope you can hear me. <clears throat> so, oh, but yeah, that works. Okay, 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 okay. There we go. Ah, hello. Okay, I am on the screen. Ooh, I hate that that looks like that. Let me, really quick, just because it is going to bother me, flip it horizontally. Yeah, thank you. Very nice. Um, ignore the little ending screen back there. It makes it cute when it moves. Okay. Oh god, I'm making, I'm stretching my head here. It's fine. <gasps> okay. Chat. Thank you so much for being here. Oh. <laughs> thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for spending time with us for so long. Some of you were literally here the entire fucking time, which blows my mind. <gasps> you can't hear me. Can you hear me? Oh, you can't hear me. Okay, I can I can see it on on the thing. Okay, cool. Um, wait, you can't hear me, right? It says voice audio. My voice audio says it's moving. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> okay, so um, thank you guys so much for being here the entire time. Thank you. I know it was a really long episode. Some of you were here for the whole ten hours, which absolutely blows my mind. And like, I really appreciate because it, it makes me feel all warm inside. Also because it's so warm and I'm so tired, but also because you guys are amazing and so kind and so sweet. And uh, thank you everyone who did super chats, um, who subscribed, who, uh, Simple Kiwi for becoming a member um, for seven months, that's insane. Um, Soren for um, doing a super chat, a $10 super chat, I really appreciate it. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, I hope you enjoyed the episode. This was like a banger and I'm really happy with how it came out and I'm really 
pleased with how the events took place and how everything went down and it went down exactly how I wanted it to so I'm very happy um, I look forward to seeing all of your theories I look forward to seeing um, so much I think so much is gonna come from this episode and give way to so much theory and um, ideas and you guys know a lot more about certain NPCs now um, and I just think that's neat um, as you guys may know um, I have Ravenwood merch if you are interested I'm going to be making a sports festival shirt very soon now that I have a break from writing up the episodes I'm gonna work on some more merch um, I plan on making a Arlo water bottle um, that will be available for you guys that I thought would be cute for the little water boy himself and um, a lot of different designs I'm gonna be making little designs with quotes on them as a lot of people on YouTube actually when I posted a little community post they said that they really wanted um, quotes from from Ravenwood so I'm gonna be putting like little quotes just signature quotes that you guys really like um, I'm going to post a little thing in the Ravenwood chat in the discord in the quote channel and ask if there's any quotes that you guys would distinctly want on merch so I will do that um, either tonight or tomorrow um, you have your tarot it makes my heart so warm um i did transfer over all of the merch to my personal merchandise website um rather than their own uh website so before they were all on their own mm -hmm. ravenwood merch site um and now i've put them mixed in with my other merch from my channel so um that way i can promote it here for you guys to see and i feel like it's easier for people to find because i found that a lot of people didn't know that we had ravenwood merch um and i think that's because i i just didn't promote it enough on that other website so now it is going to be on that website so if any of you want the mugs with the uh, crests on them they will be in uh, my shop and you can actually click the link right above that is pinned at the top of the chat if you would like to look at them um, they're under kitchenware I think is where they will list the mugs um, but yeah I plan on making a silky shirt um, that sounds funny but like silky the mouse um, I plan on making like shirts for a lot of the NPCs with like different quotes and some really like aesthetic shirts um, I want them to look super like not overtly Ravenwood so that it's like you know if someone doesn't watch Ravenwood and they just think it's a cool design they could purchase it um, but yeah it's gonna be very much like a very aesthetic shirt like for Arthros some really cool vibes and Silas things of that nature like snakes things like that um, I think will be really cool I know I'm blabbing for a little while um, but I'm got adrenaline so I'm calming down now um, I do enjoy a good mug. I hope the mugs are good. Hell yeah. Um, I really want to get a mug for my house. I'm actually Kaylee Wang and I really want to get a mug for it. But um, yeah, so that is something you guys get to look forward to as well as the fact that I am working officially on the candles now. I have everything I need. The only thing I need to do is get boxes to sell them in. Um, for Etsy, you have to measure the boxes to determine shipping prices. So based on how much shipping will be, um, I'm gonna try and keep the boxes small so that shipping is less expensive. Um, same, I'm feeling so alive right now. I'm so glad, baby. Um, so yeah, so the candles will be coming out soon. Uh, the first ones we're gonna be selling is Arlo and Claude, um, and then we will move on to some of the other members. Um, I have to do them one at a time because I've never done single orders for people before like this, um, especially custom orders like this in great detail. Um, so. Yeah, so I'm gonna be taking the time to kind of work on that. They're gonna open up as like five at a time. So I'll only take five orders at a time before I open up the orders once more. Um, for uh, the candles will come with a candle, of course. They're coming in like a little golden tin and they have um, little labels on them with the characters. Um, they're also coming with a letter, your own personal letter from Ravenwood. Um, which will be addressed to you, um, custom addressed to you. And uh, you'll also get a doodle of your favorite uh, character from the streams. You will get a, a little hand-drawn doodle from me um, because I, the price for candles and getting candle wax and getting the tins and getting everything as well as the fragrances is very expensive. Um, so, I have to price the candles at a fairly decent price for myself to make any profit off of them, um, which would really help me, obviously, as a um, work from home, self-employed person. Um, so I want to make sure that I include things in there that, so that you guys don't just receive a candle, I wanna make sure that it is special. And um, so it will have the uh, 
letters and it will have little doodles um, and you guys will be able to customize what name you would like the letter to be addressed to as well as um, what character you'd like me to draw. You'll be able to put that when you put in your order. So yes, so they will be very fun. Um, it's that boy, I'm not entirely sure how much they'll be yet. It depends on shipping price. Um, because I will probably try my best to make it a little bit cheaper if shipping is like insane. Um, it just depends on the size of the box that it travels in. So once I get that figured out, um, then I will officially let you guys know and I will send the Etsy link as soon as they are up and the first five are available. So, um, yes, I wanna make really cool graphic like art with Arthros for a shirt that makes it like very like, not outwardly Ravenwood, but like aesthetically Ravenwood, you know? Um, but anyways, uh, I'm Kai, you okay? Yes, I say night night, <gasps> Say good night. Night, night. Jazz goes to bed. I good night. Oh my God, you gotta have your makeup real quick. I said. Um, <laughs> as you should. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. So we are going to head to bed. I'm going to let Jazz head to bed, let uh, Dee head to bed, and I am going to pass out as well, probably. I'll probably lay in bed for a little while and vibe, but um, I have not been doing anything the last couple days except working on Ravenwood, um, aside from a very brief moment where I played Dino Game with Bay, and it was a good break. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I will see you guys soon. Um, if you're not already in the Discord, please be in the Discord because you'll get a lot of information that way. Um, and yeah, I love you guys very much. Um, it was a great session. Thank you guys for being so attentive, so involved, um, so immersed. I'm really glad that you've had a good time. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna be working on the Ravenwood section in Discord quite a bit um, because I want to also put another chat that has specifically the playlists for each character in there for you guys to easily find because um, they get kind of lost in the chat itself. Um, so I'm gonna make things like that as well as character references so that if you guys ever needed to, you can remind yourself of what characters are what. Um, and I will finish the, um, uh, I will finish up the summaries of the different episodes so you guys can kind of be all caught up if you don't have time to watch five hour episodes. Um, all at once, obviously. <laughs> and this one is a hefty one. So, all right. I will say goodnight to you all now. I hope you have wonderful dreams. I hope you don't walk through any random portals, or maybe I hope you do. Um, and I hope no one injects anything into your neck and makes you disappear. <laughs> Avoid all Silas's. <laughs> um, all right. Good night, chat. Good night. Mwah. Love you. Thank you for sticking around. I really appreciate it. All of us appreciate it as party members and as people playing the game. Really makes it so much more immersive and fun when we have the chat that's just as immersed as we are. So thank you guys so much. Mwah. Love you guys. I'll be doing some streams this week, hopefully. Um, some regular streams, regular good old streams. But uh, good night. Avoid muggers. Yes, please do. Good night, Gracie. Thank you for being here. Thank you for moderating. Um, you too, Verona. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you guys both so, so much. My faves, my faves. Thank you so much for being here. Um, yeah. Good night, everyone. Sleep tight. Have a good night. Um, unless you need to make out LMAO. Silas is great for that. Truly. Um, yeah. Mwah. Good night, everyone. Sleep tight. Thank you for being here. Much love to you all. <laughs>